Hey. Hey. You on your way? Hey. You on your way? To where? To what? Hey, what's up, old buddy? What's up, old buddy? 1.2 billion. Donald. <laughs> Fuck. They are on planet Mars. They are on planet Mars. Chill the fuck out, Total. Jesus. See you later. Holy fuck. Tonals. Fishy, fishy, fishy. I fishy. I summon you. Oh. E F A P E F A P. I see. Ah. There we go. Mauler, what the fuck is this? I really actually don't have a definitive answer. I don't know. I just know that, um, like, you know, the force. I didn't even know that. Was, I, I'm kind of dumbstruck. Wait. Are you on the, the Gideous, Gideous trail? trail? Yeah. You're in Greece. Yeah. I'm on a pilgrimage. How wonderful. You're in Greece. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What the hell? What? What's the problem? We've got... What? 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 Oh my god! Does it hurt? I don't know what the force is, but if you're out there, help me! Wait, don't flush it yet. How? Oh, uh. You hear me? Yes. What the fuck was that? Huh? That, I don't think, was me. It wasn't me. Fair enough. Um, I, uh. Like I said, we have EFAP in an hour at most. We're. We're doing. We're doing EFAP today. Y yeah. Fuck. So, uh, Realize I can't stop here. I have to keep going. Oh, that's cool. What the fuck am I supposed to huh. do? I don't know. Is there a way to? I don't know, man. I guess is killing all sentient life an easy solution? No. Well, let's see. The story and the legend of the cosmic chicken is always moving. So, like, I'm I'm always here for you, Mahler. Whenever you need me, through thick or thin, day or night, winter, summer, spring, fall, autumn. Everything in between, and even seasons that aren't on that list, but exist. Well, thank, thank you very much. Um, I will go to the place. Excellent. Um, I suppose. All right. Well. Yeah. Um, I mean. All right. See yeah. you later. Toodaloo. See you, man. All right. There's gonna be a way that I can use my jetpack okay. of love to to get down. Like I don't. I mean, I, it's the force. I don't know. I can pro. I can probably just. I could probably fly. Hey. Here we go. Bait has a way of stuff happening. I just have to get perfect timing. Alright, here we go. In my absolute defense here, I can get angry. Jesus Christ, Matt. Man, what a piece of shit. What a piece of shit. Humans are shit. Wow, okay. It is pretty, uh, it's pretty bad, not gonna lie. It is pretty, pretty awful. But, let's stop for one second here and think about it. I've got provisions. I've got, um, a little, little cheese, stringy cheese thing. Nom, 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 nom. I'll keep that in my pocket for later. Also, um, what if maybe, um, who are you? Sonny, I'm the sheriff. Hello, I'm Rags. People call me the Don. Yeah. I know all about the greatness that is the dawn. I kind of like your smile. Beep, 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 beep.
Superman Cold, so Wonder Woman can watch Cyborg Flash and Aquaman's EPK teasers, which it can't and which it never could have because that's not how cinematic storytelling, even serialized cinematic storytelling, works. And furthermore... Hello there. <laughs> You know what? Mm. Kind of intense. Oh, I'm. I dig it. I am. I just don't even. If if you would like to. Um... Yes, I will have dinner with you. Oh yes, absolutely. Let's make it happen. Now we're talking. So let's. Um, I need actually to head out. Uh, I have a podcast. It's pretty. It's a. It's pretty great. But uh. I'll, I'll be gone for a while, so... If, well, then if, I got something to look forward to. Absolutely. Looking forward to it. Well, uh, I guess we'll catch you next time and around and in between and all that stuff. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. How about a smile for me, huh? You know what? There it is. There you go. Good night. Goodbye. Ciao. Bob. 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 Mauler. Bad. Mauler. Evil. Bad. Horrible. Evil. Monster. Horrible. Evil. Monster. I will never stop hating you. I will never stop hating you. Murder. Mauler. Murder. Mauler. 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 People you've killed may be criminals, but they're fathers, sons, brothers. You've crossed the line, and I can't accept that. Tell that to Zod Snap Neck! What's up, Paul there? Misa going home. I have a dream. Get fucked, He Man!
Oh my god. Oh, look at that. It's all fucking fucked. God damn it. <laughs> you have to you have to double click it and then it comes back. Hello everybody. Welcome. Oh. How you doing? Sorry, you guys didn't even hear me for a second there because I was a little flumped and just getting things I heard right. It. Oh, yeah. it I didn't heard it. Well, I, I might not have heard the flumpen part. What a wonderful intro, am I right? That was yeah, really that was, amazing. That was, that was I was excellent. not expecting that. That, that was, was incredible. Was fantastic. Starts, starts, you're starts, like, sort of creativity. You're like, you're like, oh, it's just this thing where we, you know, fucking watch movies and videos and stuff, and it's like, wait, my heart, what the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> what's, yeah. what's going on here? Oh, it no, hit me in the yeah. feels. That was, that yeah. was excellent. It's oh, gonna yes. make it weird to talk about farts for 24 hours, <laughs> but that was, that was actually really, really impressive and incredible. That Yeah. Um, we are, uh, hearts go oof. out to all the people who, who work on all kinds- well, you know what, the umbrella term, supporting the show. Thank you so much, every, mm -hmm. everyone. We're gonna check those videos out again in the form of watching them uh, as part of the podcast, so don't worry about that, but, uh, Phenomenal work, and each part has an intro, by the way. <laughs> so we got three. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah, and they're uh, they're slightly different. You see, because I just kind of been collecting these where we came close to one hundred and fifty. I was like, you know what? They they could be the intros. They'll be all real, real fun. Um, so nice to see all of you in, you in chat. Yes, bringing myself and Rags back. For, we uh, are back. We're another... back for a long ass time. Oh well, uh, yeah. yeah. We're it's gonna been... be around for quite a bit. It's been a while, you know, it's been three years, Rag, right, since we turned on that stream. Oh, I thought you were going to say since our last EFAP, but I was like, oh, it hasn't been that long, but... It, it is kind of, it's strange to think about the fact that we are on a three-year anniversary, where it was that long ago, people meeting up pretty much totally coincidentally, and yes. through happenstance, because of a bad mm -hmm. Star Wars movie. <laughs> and so we all coagulated, uh, oh, and no. this is the result. Okay, so this is this is what happens when you just add water and just let it let it bloom, let it grow. Uncontrolled chaos. It's become so beautiful. It, it is so funny that the first video we covered was Jared doing his thing. That, that's that's where it all starts. If someone's like, "Oh, so you have things kind of cool," they go back to that. Like, what what is this? What like, why why did they start this way? And you're like, you know what? Everything Come has a, a beginning. Way. Everything changes. It's a cycle. It's uh, mm -hmm. it's it's all bobs and wheels and ups and downs. Who knows? A year from now Left or two right. years from now, what we'll be doing? Who knows? Maybe we'll just give up. Maybe movies will be so terrible a couple years down the road that we're just gonna say, "Nah, we're just gonna review ceiling tiles." That's, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm tempted. There there is quite a a breadth There's of probably difference. There's a lot to be said about, but. Just think about all the wow! You spent eight hours talking about ceiling tiles. It's like, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, all the trees. Right. Getting, uh, How sad you have to be we space. to talk about ceiling tiles for that long. It's like you know what? You don't understand. That's just that's you. Also, you high metal. Hello, Moodle. he's here. What is up? I'm here. Yes, we did it again. We're back to like always. Um... <laughs> Three hundred years of EFAP. Can you believe it? Wait. Oh my goodness! Look what at day that. Is it? What, what day is it? <laughs> you skip forward a little bit, but you. Um, that's a yeah. lot of candles too. That's that's a, that's a candle for every EFAP, I bet. Oh yeah. Um, I is hope that though? thing is edible. We're gonna have to all jump into it. You know what the the floor of this reminds me of the rug at a skating rink. Reminds yeah. me of the is it the nineties that they did that? Nineties, yeah. Very nineties, yeah. Oh man. Yeah, yeah, but like the. The cups and the, uh, the old, all those skating rink floors are from the 90s. They just, they're That's still hanging true. in there. Yeah. They were built to be roller skated upon, so they're very sturdy. Oh, I'm just thinking of, like, carpet and stuff as well. Just, like, the carpet. I, like, that just, that feels very, I remember that floor from somewhere, and I can't remember yeah. exactly where. <laughs> Even if it's from a dream that I invented, I, I remember it from somewhere. Vague dream about 90s skate arenas. <laughs> Just general 90s aesthetics. Yeah. The styrofoam cups. The, um, uh, what else is 90s? The, 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 you guys remember how, you guys remember the computer smell? I don't know if you yes. were around a, the smell of a computer when it was running and it got kind of hot. Mm. You could smell yeah. it. The smell of blueprints. My parents were architects and they used to have physical blueprints. They'd print out, thus the name, and they were blue. And they just, the ink, it's, oh man, smells you'll never smell again. 
Well, I mean, sounds you'll never hear again as well, I guess. Like, just broadband, uh, not broadband, dial-up. The dial-up sound, but, yeah. I remember yeah. the dial-up sound. Reaching in your ear. Welcome to every frame oh, of nostalgia. There's a memory. Yeah. Also, hello, both... Uh, oh, so actually, I was going to say, I may as well do one at a time. Do you go, are you going by Clipped Coin right now, or are you going by Blame? Uh, okay, so the, the handle that I go by is just Blame, but the channel is Clipped Coin. There so I go. don't know, whichever. What's the name of why? Where? What's the etymology of clipped coin? Okay, so um, a clipped coin was. All right, I'll, I'll try to make this as fast as humanly possible. A clip, a clip coin was basically um, a way to kind of steal a little bit of wealth from something uh, bigger. So what they used to do is. Uh, when you had gold coins, silver coins and stuff, they would kind of clip around the edges and then they would melt all the clippings down and create new coins. And it was a way ah. for thieves and stuff. So if you um, if you look at modern coins that have the little ridges on the side, um, that was uh, done, you know, hundreds and hundreds of years. Actually, I think even you know longer than that. Uh, but they put the ridges on the edge of the coin so that you could tell if someone had been shaving it or clipping it. Um, and we still use it today just because it's, you know, it's just something that's kind of carried over. But the idea that I thought of for using Clip Coin was since I'm not showing the whole movie or the TV show that I'm reviewing, it's just like a piece of it that was kind of. So you're stealing kind of, wealth from wow. other people's work is what you're saying? <laughs> it's, it's, it's more like, uh, it's more like, um, kind of, uh, mutilating the, <laughs> the product, I suppose, something to that effect. Well, all right. Well, I yeah. got my answer. Admitted it live on television. All I right. just thought rags sounded funny, so uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, I also, um, I also thought that uh, just the idea of clipped coin just sound really cool. I forget it was a fantasy story that I uh, maybe it was one of the Game of Thrones or something like that. Um, and I, I heard someone say that it, it was worth uh, less than a clipped coin or or something like that. I'm like, oh, that's a cool phrase. Well. We've Mark, had, we've had a we had a mini clipped coin saga. Uh, we did this past couple weeks, so yeah, that's that's kind of been working. Mark Cyborg, how you doing? Welcome. Hello there. I'm quite good. Yeah, it's great to be back on EFAP. It's been fifty whole episodes, but um, <laughs> I've listened oh to several since. And um, also, I apologize if you guys were at all offended by the image of one of my dogs humping the other dog and the implication <laughs> that. <laughs> Regs this plushie would be humped the second it gets to our house. Well, you know, it's not, you've got to take one for the team, I guess. You know, it's got to, it'll all work out. Uh, I think a lot of people found that hilarious. That part it was such a, it was so unexpected. For those who haven't watched it's... Friday Night Tights for yesterday, me and Rags went on an adventure of sorts. We did. It was really fun. Um, and, and it's really, it's not the worst insult to say, you know what, your plushie is really humpable. <laughs> well, I mean, it'll be the real test to find out if she's bi because uh, the other dog is also a girl. And uh, we've just decided that she's a giant massive, and you know. Ah. And... Well, um, also, Mr. Moriarty, welcome back. Hello. Sir. Oh my God, I'm so excited! The, I came in here, the chat went crazy. I love them all. Hello, chat. So good to see everybody. Yeah, we're already it's... reaching cast levels of insanity, and I have to figure out what it is we can even respond. What what here? has been looked at by everyone, you know, what subject, what topic, who knows? At least we can just talk about things. And maybe you can laugh. Uh, and maybe, maybe I can laugh, yes. I, I, I laugh just now. How's, uh, how's your show laugh. been going? How's, I, you know, I'm having a good time. I'm really enjoying it a lot. Um, yeah, you know, you, uh, doing my thing, man. You, you, uh, you, you cover, you, what do you cover mainly? Is it games, gaming news, stuff like that? Yeah, okay, so like, imagine you guys, Right? Only oh, <laughs> video games instead of movies. Wow, nice. lame. Oh. <laughs> hey, we do okay. video games too. <laughs> yeah, we do yeah, it every sometimes. Once in a while. Rarely, once in a blue moon. Mm -hmm. We'll yeah, try like to do more. Semi exclusively video game stuff. Um, mostly like the kind of stuff where it's like, hey, video games are really bad. You should go outside instead. And then, you know, kind of look at why they think such dumb things. And the last guy we looked at, boy. <laughs> boy. Uh, boy, yes. Super fun. Enjoying it a lot. Oh, great. Um, and then, that's bullshit. Hello, how, about, how you doing? Welcome back. How you doing, man? Get. You, what um, is she? I think, I think people are, like, thirsty and desperate for some Batwoman. 
If only there was some way to get it to them in some way, shape, or form. Who knows what'll happen yeah. with that? Anyway, yeah, I know. nice to see you. How's the ice pack? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's not flat. It's new. Mm. I mm. thought it was a hot water bottle. No. No. It was, if it was, it would be red. I mean, you that's got a new ice pack during the... That's not, I don't think the logic follows on that. Really? Really. You think uh, blue, blue means hot? No, I, I don't think blue means a, a temperature. I think it's just a color. You, you could color a hot water bottle. Uh, or really, a water bottle. Any kind of... Cause, because sometimes you'd have the, the comics and things where they have the thermometer out of their yeah. uh, mouth. You know, remember those? Speaking of 90s, remember those? And, sure, um, you bet. You would have uh, like the, the hot water sort of bottle that you'd put on the top of your head to keep your head warm, I guess, if that was yeah. necessary. Well, does anyone something. have those taps where they have a little blue dot and a red dot on the taps to let you know which one's cold and hot? That seems to be much more common than not. But you do get to wait, the wait, wait, heights wait, wait. of heat where the, the, the stuff turns blue, blue flames, you know? Yeah, but back yeah. in my day, hot water bottles were red. Your day's old. <laughs> it's I know. Done, old man. <laughs> I was I was there at those skating rinks with the sparkly confetti floors and shit. I was there. Oh, dude, I I went to the uh, the the roller skate rinks and stuff too. Yeah, uh, oh, quite a bit. That was like um like the school trip to the roller rink was like the best. Yeah, you ever shoot? You ever win? Shoot the duck. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Shoot, shoot the duck. <laughs> yeah. Leave the oh, ducks yeah. alone. I'm not aware We're... of. I'm not aware of shoot the duck. Shoot the duck is where you would go into your role. You, like the competition would start, and the idea is you would get some speed up, and then you would have to then lower yourself down to the floor, right around on one foot, and then hold one foot out in front of you, and you have to maintain that stance and not fall over for like I want to say ten seconds. <laughs> and anybody who stayed upright, uh, they won a prize. They got like a dessert and stuff. Dude, cool. no, oh, I'm, the, uh, the harder <laughs> that does the hard like... shooting a duck at all. No, well, I'm the know, guy who's like pulling myself along the wall. Your foot is you know, a like... gun. Your foot is <laughs> a gun. I feel like a foot yeah, is a very. Bitch. I feel like a yeah. foot is very far from a gun. Like if well, we think it... about things that aren't guns, foot is like on the opposite <laughs> side of the spectrum. Well, Free My clearly hasn't body played Bayonetta. I, I think well, it's, I have. But her I, feet aren't guns. The guns well, she on has her guns feet. Guns on her feet. Yeah, but you said feet, not the guns on feet. I feel like it's an important distinction. Guns are like eh, semantics. Where's the I, duck? If you're so ice skating, you, you have you, a blade. You look like a duck. Like oh when boy, you crouch down and you stick your foot out, you look like a duck. Like that's why it's. I think that's I'm not pretty true sure at all. I, I feel like that. <laughs> it is. No. Like if How do you think profile, you look like a duck? No, you have to. Because I know okay. what ducks look like. <laughs> right? I it's, thought it's, so. It's the, uh, it's the, it's the, your profile. Like when you're crouching you're down alive. on one, on one, yeah. When you're crouching oh, yeah. down on, on one foot and you have the other one sticking out, you, you kind of resemble like a duck. It, it's, you have to actually see it. Um, um I'm, but you were going to Google this whole time. Shoot I the duck. That. Pretty sure. Was, yeah. If you're, if a light's cast on you, your leg would become the bill of the duck. Oh. In your shadow. Oh, so we were getting looking shot at, the whole I, time. Oh. When you Google shoot the duck, it does show roller skating stuff. So yep. does it really? It really does, but I, oh. I still don't quite. If the next level difficulty though was shooting the duck with roller blades, you were really like yeah, that was a whole other skilled. challenge right there. Yeah, roller blades were what the the men used. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's a shame that uh, roller skates and roller blades just got stigmatized as being gay. <laughs> they, were fun. They, fun. they were fun. I know it was a cat with roller blade around and it was it was yeah. a workout and yeah. Yeah, you'd go down a steep hill without your roll without your knee pads on. You'd go straight you'd down. Be like, oh my god, can I do it? And then you would, <laughs> you'd pull it off. And it wasn't really that impressive, but it was to you because well, when you're a kid, everything's like, you know, squared in terms of its intensity. And yeah, you, you went down, the moon. you made it to the bottom, and you didn't eat shit. That you was didn't your die. Yeah, well, yeah. One of the one of the uh, one of the problems, like when I was growing up, there you like the only place you could really do any of that stuff was at the rink because if you tried to like skate on the roads or anything, like they would always complain, and like you couldn't do it in the malls or anything. Like they would always, you know, just try to kick you out and stuff. So it was. <laughs> I, I, like nowadays, there are like these little parks and stuff where they have all the different things where you can skateboard and rollerblade, but um, none of that stuff was anywhere near where I grew up, which kind of stunk, unfortunately. So, 
I was going to let anyone jump in on that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice, nice segue. I Good did job. it. That's it's one all, of my yeah, most popular ones. So, it's the best so, segue there is. Well, it's funny. The I, do it, Randolph. I do it all the time in my videos. So in any way, just the ways <laughs> I jump to the next topic. <laughs> yeah. And sometimes I say so anyway. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. Um. So, uh, this this is EFAB 150, which means we've got lots of things to get be going with, all kinds of shenanigans. Um, but I suppose uh, we should we should mention, and we probably will a couple times as we go forward. We got um, as a, as a we lined it all up. You see, me and Rags, we were like, you know what? What if we, with our newly coming videos, release them at the same time as we were similarly doing the anniversary, at the same time we release some other things that are coming. Don't worry, and um, do some plushies. I feel like it's, this is actually the first time we've done it on EFAP, by the way, right? It feels weird, right? But it's like, yeah, they don't actually, there's gonna be people in chat who have no idea what these are. Um, They're so cool. <laughs> so the idea I... is that oh. we, we got ourselves little cuddly creature versions of us. As you can see here, you got a, you got a Mutually and a Rags. They are um, they findable are on incredible. good old makeship. We, uh, I guess you could say we partnered with them because um, it was fucking ages ago that people were like, we want plushy versions of you, which makes a lot of sense. Um, that they would, because you, you, you could see how, and, and so I was just, like, trying to find ways of getting around to it. Um, yeah. And yeah, I just feel emails, it was a long time coming. Yeah, emails went back and forth, plans were made, I believe we started talking to them more than a year ago. It was a little bit ridiculous. Um, but they finally happened, um, they came out just the way that we wanted. And so now, if, if you want to pick them up, there's links in the description, as far as I know, and, uh, they how are... How could you not want to pick them up? Hey, you know, some people don't like Everybody plushies, Everybody and you get, you even get a discount if you get both. That is true. If you grab them both, sure. you get the EFAP Generation 1 discount, right? And we're likely, I, I, what I would normally say is, if they get funded, we will, you know, possibly consider doing a second generation. They've definitely been funded. Um, <laughs> yeah. So. Looks pretty good. We'll probably have a, have a little chat with, uh, well, with chat. See, see what they would like to see in a second generation, what they would be after, I don't know. Um. Yes, they're adorable, and they're only up for another 17 days and 5 hours. So, if you want to grab them, that'll be the time window, because unfortunately they are they don't exist forever. But, um, mm. yeah, we'll, we'll let you know about them a few times as we're going through. And, um, well, I, I figure, what better way to start the celebratory anniversary stream in terms of video coverage than oh with an old favorite? I mean, oh. it's become pretty clear oh. at this point what we do when we start an anniversary stream. A lot of people have predicted this, and I, I, I would have to say that um, it feels weird to not do it at this point, even though it's only been two. We are now establishing a pattern. So, in chat, you'll find your links to watch together. <laughs> Get that set up. I'm going to go grab a drink real quick. But uh, before we start also, uh, apparently Kotaku has discovered the Hassan Piker thing. <laughs> 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 I bet I'm. I'm guessing they'll come to his defense because Kotaku oh, is dumb. Of course, so, I, dude. I, I've heard I them know, say, "Dude, he bought a house. That's it." It's like oh, oh. How about, how, <laughs> just, wait, just a house. I'm, I'm very, uh, I'm very out of the loop. Like, what is his house is worth what? three point one million? I think. Oh, that so he just bought like well above the average price oh, is that in it? the he's... United States. So yeah, the, <laughs> yeah. The, the criticism is that he's buying like a, a hyper mansion when he's in like a city filled Hollywood. with homelessness and stuff. So just it doesn't look good optically. It looks a little. Mm. But hey, uh, right. Ethan, I mean, Ethan Klein came out in defense of him, right? so you know. <laughs> he doesn't, he doesn't, did. Didn't Ethan he Klein gets... do the exact same thing? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I think. Yeah. Although I think, uh, in fairness, his his house is only three million. Oh, oh. Uh, oh, that's go. fine then. Yeah, you know okay. what? I take it back. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny to call it a house because you look at it and you're like, um, yeah, I guess that's so. A city! <laughs> <laughs> you bought a country. How did you do that? <laughs> I've been in arguments where people are defending it too. They're like, well, I mean, it's LA, so it's West Hollywood, so any house is going to be around <laughs> that much money or, or like uh, in that, that ballpark. I mean, West true? Hollywood is pretty nice, but my whole thing is like, yeah, but he Twitch streams in a bedroom. You could do that from Nebraska. Like, well, I mean, yeah. if you really cared about redistributing the wealth, I just, get a cheap place and, you know, like buy someone else's the, the, Like, you yeah, know, 200,000, 400,000, 3.5 million. It's just like, yeah, that's the average prices you get around there, I guess. That's yeah. actually why I, I moved a couple years ago, because I lived in Massachusetts, which had, like, unbelievably high cost of living and high taxes and everything. 
So I just moved to Texas where I... Every, you, everybody seems to be moving to Texas. That seems to I be mean, like... Best state the in the country. Yep. Um, I, uh, I bailed well, from Seattle to Florida. Yeah, that's that's another really good one. But yeah, I mean, like, why would you why would you want to live in a place where everything costs like absurd amounts of money, where yeah. you can live way cheaper, you don't pay income tax, and it's just like better, better. Well, I mean, California has some pretty good temperatures and, and climate and stuff, but uh, I mean, for the most part, like if doing this job, you can live wherever you want. Why would you live somewhere where everything is ridiculously expensive? Well, I guess that's the yeah. If like it's an online job, as long as you got good internet, you can live anywhere you want. Like location isn't super important anymore, which is great. I think just gives people more options for what they want to do in their lives. So, um, unless you want to, I was just gonna say, is Rag, Rags you back? Are you there? No. Right, Evidently not. Uh, cool. I'll steal this moment to grab a drink too. I won't be long. Well, I suppose we can just have a chat until then. I was just going to say, it's uh, it feels right. Funnily enough, the video we're going to have a look at is actually the one that I was originally interested in covering, but then I remembered the privilege goggles one, and I was like, oh shit, we have to see <laughs> oh, yeah. that one. And then he came out with the um the, t the Last of Us 2 one not last year, so I was like, well, I actually want to cover that, so I'll have to wait, but this one's finally here. I was going to say, the um the EFAB backlog, we've got stuff from so long ago that'll eventually make it i think it's just going to be a wonderful little adventure I imagine. <laughs> um but yeah as, as the privilege goggles me. the privilege goggles thing was my efap origin story was, oh yeah because i i bought myself a vr headset to train my prosthetic leg and tweeted okay. a video of myself training to mauler and i was like yeah I, i'm disabled and use vr specifically to help my disability so you, mean, you, <laughs> you mean really you're weird. privileged he, you mean you're right. privileged yeah because he was, was, um, was he was appealing to like what are disabled people going to do with VR? It's like, oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Plenty. There's plenty of seated experiences, and it's still great. Well, and for the standing one, it gives us a safe way to train like uh, more elaborate movements than just walking on a treadmill, because that's kind of the I, only one you can do inside. I know. That was somebody a in a wheelchair strange... can still shoot a gun or swing a lightsaber. Well, that, that was a strangely <laughs> naive comment for him to make, considering that there are videos <laughs> of people who have, like, beaten incredibly difficult games on these really interesting configurations. Or even on, like, a normal... Yeah. yeah, or even on a normal keyboard and mouse or a normal controller. Like, people will find a way if they really, really want to do it. And it's awesome. Like, it's really, it's really cool. It's, uh, it's kind of like the Paralympics, and it's like, this is, this is really neat... And just yeah. showing like the capabilities of people. This is there's like a, ten times more interesting than the normal way. Yeah. There's a uh, a CS:GO streamer. I can't for the life of me remember his name. He doesn't have any arms or any hands. And uh, oh, oh yeah 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 yeah. He um, does some really cool stuff. He and he's actually he's pretty. I mean he's he's pretty decent at the game too. So um, I mean he's probably <laughs> better than me. Which is, you know so um, his name but, is yeah. Handy. Yeah, Handy, that's what it is. Yeah. That's a great name for him. Can I just yeah, oh, and I, I, don't to, I don't mean to make a joke about good. it, but you said he doesn't have any arms or hands. It's like imagine he didn't oh, have arms but did have a hand. You bet I'll <laughs> just be like Rayman. Hands, no arms. Yeah, he would be like a, a tiny Sega shoulders. character. Yeah. Honestly, if he calls himself like this, like come on, Rayman. he's aware. He I'm sure well, I'm sure he, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure he's chill. If not, oops. <laughs> um yeah, uh, if everyone's ready, we are, we are happy to, what is it, christen I'm EFAP here, yeah. 150 with the first video. This is from oh, Jim boy. Sterling from a long time ago, actually, but it got oh. remastered. Now, the idea in this video Did is... Did he remaster it? What, um, oh, he, I think it's just like a re-release. Also, for, for yeah. reference, I believe Jim Sterling goes by the name Jim Stephanie Sterling and is... Either I can't remember if it's all all pronouns, but this is from a million Oliver, years ago. So let me stop you there. I just don't care. I just don't know. I I, I don't know how. I've <laughs> I been very know. confused. I don't know. The channel is know. still called Jim Sterling, so it's like so it, it's Jim Sterling, right? Like okay. Yeah, um, I guess it was Jim Stephanie Sterling went from NB and then just went straight up trans. I guess. So I mean, brand, I'm on Twitter. Branding so. takes priority, oh. apparently. Well, yeah. um. So this, this video was made as a result of uh, Jim having made a video that pissed people off because uh, politics started to dribble into it, which is kind of funny to think about now because it's only that <laughs> with Jim Sterling now. Um, and so the point was, sorry, that was the point of a different one. Th this one was just like, I'm getting annoyed at my audience because they're saying I have biases and I'm letting them decide what I have to say. So how about I show you what happens if you try and be objective? 
That's the idea in this video, oh. okay? Oh. I'm excited. Yeah. Wow. What okay. a suitable one for us to start on. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know what? I'll probably mute this part. <laughs> I have no idea yeah, if this is copyright. I don't know if, yeah. I don't think that's copyright. Isn't it like a... It's from, it's from a band of some kind, right? Maybe he bought the rights so, but to like, use it, and he's on their oh, white maybe. list or whatever. I think the band, like, made the song did. for him, didn't they? Uh, I kind of remember. I, I don't think so. That. I'm not sure about okay. that. Okay. Your old pal Jim Sterling here. Now, we friends. have had <laughs> quite a week, and I don't like to miss a Monday. So, when schedules become so tied up that I can't do an episode, I have my art director, Justin McDaniel, go through the vaults and see what we've got in our back catalogue that's due a remaster, because what's good for the game industry oh, is remaster. good for us, except for almost everything it does. Remember, this is, this is, I guess, remember this, what's good for the game industry is good for us. All right. But this one... Yeah, he's a, except everything they basically do. He, he's only appealing to remasters. Mm, Which no. I'm actually fine with remasters if done well. I'm fine with remasters if they're done mm -hmm. good. Yeah. Depends how and they just, just got remastered. Yeah, great. It's great. Yeah. Right? I bought, yeah, I bought it on it, everything uh, just to support it. The I think remaster is fantastic. Are they giving Ooh. free upgrades to, like, whatever platform you have? Like, if you already have it? Or yeah, so if you had Quake on Steam, you now have the Quake remastered on Steam as well. For free. And it's yeah, it's super good. It's great. It's fantastic. You should go play it. Two oh, brand oh, new yeah. expansion packs with it too, in addition to both the old ones as well. Hey. Like uh, four yeah. player co op cross play campaign and deathmatch. It's it's super nuts. super cool. And if you're on Game Pass, you already yeah, have it. You have all of them. Yeah, I was about to mention. It's, uh, I actually oh, played it a little bit uh, yesterday. It's uh, it's fun to play. That game well, pass is a really sick. I don't know game. why you didn't invite me. Yeah. Why do you oh, because pass? I don't like you. Oh. It's a bit it's circular, a... but all right. Nice <laughs> is a because it means so, I don't oh, miss a Monday. Long. No. Not yet, anyway. So with God of War out and people uh, tugging their short and curlies about reviews, uh, we figured it's a good time to remind everyone of what an objective review looks like. Now, before sure you'll nail it, before we are presented with such ideas, if someone said to me like, "Well, what is an objective review?" almost to like dismiss the idea, I'd just be like, "Well, I assume it's going to be you more so." Describing what is right. That's just gonna be the main thing. That's the simplest fucking thing I could possibly come up with but like a colloquial understanding um, Yeah, this is a game. It has this yeah, like and, and then you can expand that in interesting ways it's like much with reviewing Spider literally work. anything It doesn't work Like this is how these things mix and match and here's yeah, if, done. you can elaborate and get as detailed as you want to be Like the simple version for all of these would be like this is a cake. There you go. My objective review is done or this is a car this is a video game. And like there's there's a sentiment, I'm not saying this is Jim's sentiment, but there's a sentiment of like that's as far as you can go. And it's like, well, I mean we could talk about what's well, I mean, in the cake. Talk about what's in the car. If you're a boring loser, then yes, that's as far as you can go. Like, if you're not, not creative even really, at all. I feel like that's not even a review. You're just stating like something. <laughs> like, yeah, you um, you can make cake. You can make qualitative, objective observations of video games, too. Like, you can say something like, this game has a consistent frame rate, and it is always running well. And that is objective, because it either does or it doesn't, and it will affect whether the game is good or bad as a result. As far I as feel like goes. frame rate is the easiest one to talk about, because yeah. it's like, the higher, the higher the frame rate means the faster the response well, time. Um, and Surely resolution, yeah. too. If you, if you point out, it's like, this only goes at 140p, you'd be like... Oh. <laughs> and like, and I love like no, games at 140p. In fact, yeah, I prefer I, to play games at 144p. And if, if one person says, I like playing games at <laughs> one pixel by one pixel, it's like, <laughs> see? Now you can't be objective about anything because somebody has thing. expressed the preference. All they would have done is removed the part where you could say this is bad for everybody. Instead, they've, they've rolled you back to stating that that's the case. And I still think that that should count as a review. You've, you've provided information that's mm -hmm. not going to be commonly understood, and it's useful information for many people. Right, mm -hmm. yeah. And you could still be objective while looking at the camera in funny ways that indicate exactly what you think about each of these things. Yeah, without, and with the tone of your voice and... Uh, 
And if someone was like, well, that's what you're letting your biases sneak in, it's for like, oh, okay, so we have to be incredibly nope. literal there. Because if that's what so, he's saying, if literally, like, if I said, oh, I love TLJ, they'd be like, see, you're implying you don't like it. I should be like, it's, it's like, no, I'm not implying anything. I'll, I'm just. Uh, or are you saying that an objective <laughs> review has to be said in a flat tone? Yeah, because if, 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 if you define it that way, then yeah, they're going to start getting boring. But I don't even know how the, we can uh, justify that. The just text the to robot speech voice. thing. <laughs> yeah, the robot. The text to speech robot. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's it. Microsoft Mike. I don't know. I've seen some text to speech robots that have a tone that's uh, <laughs> well, well, yeah. it, could, it could have a bias in it. Worked well for RB and the Chief. Exactly. <laughs> the robot has a bias. It's like, I really like RPGs, I don't know. <laughs> but I guess I'll try and what be are the, objective what, are, what are these things that he's got? I recognize something from Boglins. Undertale. Those are Boglins. Boglins. That's I, his I, thing. I, yeah. Oh, those are I, another I, I, thing I, from the 90s, right? Or that were those 80s? I, see uh, I think they there. are actually 80s. Yeah, these do not ring a bell to me at Looking all. Looking for a good home, maybe yours. <laughs> Oh, dang, you, you <laughs> speak and he shall come or something. Speaking of Boglins. Nah, uh, more like speaking of Arby and the Chief. Um, yes, that was. The, boy. Yeah, that... Well, if it isn't John CJG, how do you do? Hello. Hey, guys. Yeah. Hello, John. We just got oh, started. Hey, We're talking about reviews and literally just got Arby and the Chief mentioned. And that was awesome. unrelated. <laughs> you know? I so, love it. Nice. <laughs> Um, I mentioned in the context of good use of text to speech. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, you know, yep. it, I don't think I've, I don't, I'm pretty sure I told you when we first had the podcast, but man, you're, the effort you put into the subtitles to make sure everything comes through of how Chief speaks, it's fucking this top notch everything, <laughs> Rick. Oh, or, yeah. It, uh, it, with punctuation, more than people realize, like, because uh, it makes it sound different if it's like a question mark, even though it's not a question, you can yeah. kind of make a sentence sound. It gives it like a natural inflection. Yeah, I can imagine. <clears throat> so you, you probably have to test a whole bunch, right? Like getting them to say the word the way you want him to, but you can still write it down the way it's supposed to be understood and stuff. I used to test it a lot, but I've done it for so long now that I can just, I can, <laughs> I can read a sentence and I know exactly how Microsoft, <laughs> Sam, or Mike are going to say it. Like, I don't even have to, <laughs> I don't even have to one test it anymore. Is embedded in exactly. your mind. Yeah, it's been like two thousand since 2007 or something. I'm just, I'm an expert at it now. <laughs> Um, if you scroll up, you'll find a, a Watch Together link. We're checking out um, Jim Sterling's objective review. It's like a criticism of, we don't want objective reviews. We want people to be biased, and we're just going to see what, what's said, what's implied. Okay, thank you for filling me in. Uh, do you have a Watch Together thing? Yeah, yeah, scroll up, you'll find it. Oh. I can uh, <laughs> repost it, I suppose. It's right under the adorable rags plushie. Get one <laughs> Get one today. Awesome, so, thank you for call that. Call one eight hundred four 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 rags. Four 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 rags. Call one eight hundred. One eight hundred sixty nine sixty nine sixty nine. Oh, I'm jacked in. I'm ready. My right. my origin name is one eight hundred get rags. <laughs> oh yeah, that. it is. You, you can call that, and who knows what will happen. Interesting. Um, if there's a, this, if uh, if I sound like a scared woman on the other side telling you to go away, that's just my little <laughs> joke. Don't let me, don't let me fool you. <laughs> I'm in on it. Who is this? What are they talking about? I don't understand. Uh, all you've missed is is the idea that this is a remastered video, so uh, it's from a while ago. But it was in response to people saying, "Wow, I wish people would be more objective when reviewing God of War," which was was that 2018 or 19. 2018. 2018. So, um, you, you, this video was put out. I, I see. Okay, this isn't funny. It's, it's alright. So enjoy that! Final Fantasy XIII is a video game released on the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. It was developed by Square Enix. It stars characters. One of the characters is called Lightning, and that is the main character of the game that can be played. Now, you can probably understand what's happening here already. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's, not very, he's not, not very creative. creative. By the <laughs> shtick. Yeah, and now it's all like, okay, so we've not got another four minutes of this, and I already get it, and I can already tell that this is... <laughs> yeah, we've gone... We're, substantive. We've tiered above... So, you can do this with... The hypersubjectivity, all right? The equivalent to this with hypersubjectivity is just going, I like the characters, I like the story, I like the fact that it's a game, I like that it's by Square Enix. It's like, there you go, I'm done, review In over. In my opinion.
Yeah. The review's over. We um, did it. This actually has nothing to do with being objective, because, like, one of the most frustrating things about this is, like, wow, you sound so bored. And it's like, yeah, because objective views are boring. It's like, okay. So there's a That's lot of subjective. creators on YouTube yeah. who do this and are highly successful because of how entertaining they are. Absolutely. Yeah. This is where what we call the talent comes in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you find this a lot of the time with some documentaries. There was that video that I think I mentioned a while back on EFAP where it was like comparing documentary styles, ones where they basically dictate how you should feel about things, and then ones where they show you what's happening. And it's so, like, the, the event itself is so um, interesting or... or uh, a particular way that that's enough to just make you feel things from the fact that they're just showing you stuff that is. They don't have to add anything to it. And I find that, like, you know, if, if someone's trying to bring down a game and they show you a compilation of the hitbox is not working or the AI not working, is if someone was like, this is boring, it's like, is it? I don't know. No. I seem to I, recall uh, that Total Biscuit did it pretty well. Exactly. I was literally about mm -hmm. to say, I miss Total Biscuit. Yeah. He's the reason so we need him more than ever. He's yeah. literally the reason that I started making content. He was a yeah. huge inspiration. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, for me, it was Hitler. Hey, <laughs> that's mine. Total Hitler. So this is you know, this is the first time that I've I've sorry to in, uh, interrupt your. Hitler no, we can fill you in on Hitler. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, just ground um, upon Hitler some more, please. Um, so this is the first time I've actually seen this video by uh, what's his face. Um, is is the argument here that if you're in, including any sort of uh, excitement or or emotion, then somehow the review is bad. I think what I think what I think he's trying, to, what I think he's <laughs> trying to say about the like this topic is this idea that you there is no possible way to like make an interesting review that is worthwhile to anybody unless there's elements of subjectivity in there. A bias, or, yeah. And significant yeah. ones too. And it was probably in response to some criticism he received, I would imagine. Yeah. You um... know, this reminds me a lot of the stuff of that stupid shit they say about how everything is political. Cause uh, when because this sounds too. this is a way for Jim, right? Is if people go to, to Jim and say, Jim, you've got a really big bias showing here on this review, he'll make a video like this to try and justify why it's okay to be biased. In mm -hmm. the same way that somebody could make an extremely political, uh, you know, slanted review of something and people complain about it and they say, oh, well, actually, you don't want something not political because uh, actually everything's political and they try and justify it that way. It's the same energy. I would also say that, mm -hmm. like, we, they try and turn it into a binary all the time when it's clearly a scale. Like, if, if, for example, I did a whole objective review and there was one moment where I go, though I do like this character, even if it is just for the little blue hat, I really find it cute. Moving on, and like you know, the, and someone went, "Wow, your review is fucking worthless." When you said you liked the little blue hat, it's like, oh shit. <laughs> um, this is this this video game is one out of ten. Fuck it, I hate it. Fuck this game, and it's like beloved. You're just like, oh shit. Like, it seems like something's going on that it's like because uh, Jim's been through this a couple times. Um, the three I remember are Zelda, the, the, the um, what, what's Breath it called? Breath of the Breath Wild. Of the Wild um, Hellblade. Yeah. Don't forget Hellblade. Sinua's Sacrifice, and uh, as far as I was concerned, anyway, ukulele. Like, he, I think he gave ukulele like a two or three, and I was like, fucking hell. Jesus. <laughs> because, because Laylee is racist or some shit. There was some what? really oh. fucking. I was going to say, watch my ukulele series. There are some weird fucking arguments Jim comes up with. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> you didn't hear about that? Oh, so, it's, been, it's been a long time. I, I probably did hear about it at the time because I have watched like Mahler's videos on it. But again, it's been so long since yeah. I've seen them. Uh, and there's so much in there that you, you know, you don't remember it all. But I, I can believe that Jim is dumb enough to do that. It's like, um, <laughs> it's like an escape hatch in terms of like, well, fuck it. Everyone's got biases in there. Leave me alone. It's like, yeah, but we're, we're highlighting that your ones are fucking up the whole thing. Like, it, do you not see the difference? It's like, okay, yeah, when fine. I say I like the blue hat, people can recognize that. As pretty much self-evidently as just me subjectively saying i like this hat and it doesn't it's very self-contained yeah i feel like we're almost missing the 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 obvious part though when it comes to the idea of because i think i think the big um thing that's getting pushed back against in this video is the idea that you can make any qualitative assessment at all without immediately becoming subjective but it feels like that can't be the case if we have defined like definitions of things and then we can use those definitions to figure out 
exactly how well something is is doing at being like that. For instance, if you have a hat and it's got like a massive hole in the top of it, and then like whenever it rains, you get like soaked in water. It's like, oh, this is a this is a neutral hat. This is neither a good nor bad hat, despite the fact that it's failing to do what it fundamentally <laughs> needs to do. And that's the thing, someone will be like, ah, so you're saying if something fails its purpose, then it must not be good. And it's like, so to be more specific, because I had this trouble with the hitboxes in DS2, people were like, what if I like it when the hitboxes don't match the models? Like, what if okay. I... So, what if, I'm a what if I like it if I get my leg broken by a sledgehammer? <laughs> Humans are amazing like that. So I was like, okay, but hitboxes are defined like as a, as a skill set, as a craft. They're supposed to do this. This is what they are designed for. What we have here are a whole different subset. They're really good, shitty hitboxes. They are excellent at being this other thing. Because they're clearly not hitboxes, because they're not doing what hitboxes do, like, definitionally. As, as we've yeah. all come to label it and understand it, rock it in stone, what is a hitbox? It's like, it's supposed to apply to the model and it provides you uh, damage or whatever, a marker, because the, the model itself doesn't. That's the way it looks versus the way it's programmed. And it's just like, no, that's subjective. It's like, okay, well, me pointing out that the hitboxes are out of sync with the model throughout the fucking game is still uh, going to be very useful. Objectively correct. You yeah. can make up your mind on that if you want, but that's exactly... Whether you just, like just what the information it. is... I mean that yes. that's on you, but the information yeah. is what it is. I think it is people very much that scroll of truth near thing, isn't it? I think people that like bad hitboxes probably also like MCU smoke monsters. <laughs> oh yeah, MCU smoke monsters <laughs> are the bad hitboxes of superhero. <laughs> also, I don't, I don't, uh, I guess I just, I don't really fully grasp the the argument that they're making where. You can't be genuinely excited for something that is objectively good, or you can't be genuinely upset at something that is objectively bad. Like, you can point out something that is not subject, uh, excuse me, something that is objective, and you can be happy for it, which is kind of like a subjective, uh, you know, feeling, but it, I, I don't see how that, how that kind of changes anything. Like, if, if you're, if something is bad or something is good from an objective point of view, um, I, I it doesn't really change the 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 review. Uh, like I, I guess I'm I'm kind of failing to. I mean, most of these arguments don't make sense, but I guess I kind of don't understand. Like, so I get you know, what you mean, right? Like, yeah. do you lose anything by watching somebody try and do it in that way, even if you disagree with the notion that it's possible? Do you, do you not get a single thing out of it? Or is or is your issue yeah. just with the fact that they've labeled it as such? Mm. Which I guess is one thing, but like, what do you, what does this video have to do with getting that point across? I would almost argue a classic direction of this as well is that two people come to the conclusion I fucking hate character X, and then you ask them, it's like, oh, why? And then they go, oh, shit, I just don't like the way that he fucking talks to people all the time. He's like, he's like a real asshole. And you go, why is that? Do you not like asshole characters? And he's like, <sighs> and after a while you get it out of them, and like they kind of remind them of the abusive father or something. You're like, oh shit. Okay, yeah, no, that's, I, I understand. Meanwhile, the second person is like, no, I just don't like him because he just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Like, he's angry all the time, but um, everything, like, the, the in terms of his actions are always incredibly, like, useful, helpful, and positive. Uh, or, or something, trying to highlight something that just doesn't seem to work for them, and they, they're getting confused as to how they can get uh, invested in the character. It's like very, two very different conversations. Um, mm -hmm. And you, you could call them objective subjective based on it's this experience they have that's forcing them to, to experience something that you can't possibly, you wouldn't have the same experience. Meanwhile, the other person is like, you might actually take that information in because it comes from the content. You might even conclude the same thing. Or you could be like, no, 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 that's the point. They are, they're angry exterior, but the actions they take are always in favor of people because they don't actually feel that way. They just they just want people to look at them that way. Also, when you have log, a lot of information to support it. And I find that the conversations are super interesting when you can recognize the differences instead of saying, fuck object, like being objective in any way, everyone just say how they feel about stuff. Like, oh, okay. And it always seems to be like you're buying a car when you're buying, let, let's stick with a car analogy. So I need if you if you have to choose between both sides of the, in, in an extreme sense, a purely objective review, which is basically a, an exact description of something and a pure subjective review, which one will actually help you pick out the car that you need the best? Absolutely the objective one. I mean, yeah, yep. 
Yeah. I don't know if anyone could disagree. I suppose there's someone out there who's like, well, I don't, I want to know what the feel of the car is. I don't care about imagine, what it has. Imagine trying to construct a building Based not on feelings? being extremely objective. <laughs> well, that's the thing. There's no, will, there's, will, there's no room for that. You thrown in jail. Yeah, there's no room for that in, um, like, I don't know how to categorize this, but um, building a house or, or architecture and stuff is still, still a skill set and artwork. Like, you can still make incredible Absolutely artworks and stuff. Is. At the same time, when you build it, if you fuck up any of the regulations, like, you can't go, well, it's subjective. <laughs> like, no, 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 no. Structural yeah, you, integrity not... needs to be objective. <laughs> Do yeah, we when, really when need the, a foundation? Uh, when, when the building inspectors roll up to your building, and they measure the grade of your handicap accessibility ramps, I feel like it was flat enough is not going to be a good defense <laughs> when they hand you a big-ass fine and tell you that you have to spend even more money to change it. All mm -hmm. right? Well, both you, both you my parents are architects, building. for those who didn't know, and they have to do that stuff all the time. Yeah. They get hired to go out and check buildings and make sure they're all up to all the codes and everything, to measure, um, to do a bunch of surveying work. But also, they, they talk often about, well, if we do an addition, we have to have the style of the addition. We want it to match the building that's being attached to. But we also should take into account what are the other buildings around should it match them as well? We don't want it to stick out like a sore thumb. Things of that nature. So it's a no, huge mix of you know beauty and you know. Yeah. Whenever houses come up in these conversations, it's impossible not to reference the uh, the Simpsons episode. Look at the yep. house that love built. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like. Was that it? It's like, well, in my opinion, a house that falls down as soon as it's been built is good. So there's no such thing as a good or bad house. And it's like you could say that. But yeah. let's be real. Nobody, <laughs> it's, it's, it's nobody. Like people. Sorry. Oh, I was just gonna say it's like nobody really believes this, like including Jim, because there will definitely <laughs> be games that he considers to be just completely irredeemable or completely broken. Yeah, awful, and I'm not, terrible. I'm not gonna and I'm not going to worry too much, nor do I think anyone should really worry too much about trying to really win over the crazy ass people who are in the vast minority fringes who are just nuts. Yes. Um, as much as they probably exist through mathematical probability. Oftentimes um, we're still more honest, though. Because like we've seen it with yeah. so many people we cover, where they will slip randomly into oh yes, like this is slip. bad though. This is but well, you're like wait, wait, whoa, that goes against the room, everything you the said. The room is a bad movie. It's impossible not because again, nobody believes that cost is revenge, and like Grand Theft Auto Five can be compared in terms of like quality. There's nobody in the world who is sitting there and unironically going to pretend like it's interchangeable whether those games are as good or bad as each other. Grand Theft Auto is Custer's revenge. Yeah, basically the same. They're both misogynist. Yep. <laughs> Remember when uh, the Chinese built that hospital in like a week or something and everybody said, that's impressive. It's like, yeah, the hospital fell apart and it sucked shit. <laughs> so, How long did it take to fall apart? I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that. So I saw some pictures of the foundations like just like cracking in a horrible, awful way, like uh, something out of a disaster movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, yeah, um, regu regulations are incredibly important, and they're used because of health and safety. You can't, have, like, lucky for, well, to a degree, rating systems are an example of actually trying to get some level of objectivity in terms of what is in the thing so that we can properly represent it to the audience. Of course, there's going to be uh, biases with how people execute it and confusion in terms of the rules because they're rating, like, thousands every day or whatever. Um, but it's still an attempt to be like, this is what is in there, and I'm going to represent it with a symbol. Um, because you need to know for the safety of your, you know, children or people who aren't uh, equipped to, to view what's going to happen and stuff. And it's just like, there's no space to be like, it's fine though, it's all blah blah blah. It's like, no, 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 you can't. You gotta get this right. <laughs> Stop it. Especially when we get into mathematics stuff. Um, when we're when we're dealing with things like that, that are as pretty much as objective as you could possibly get, because they're they're essentially constructs. Um, they're not even a part of the universe in the sense of even a solipsist would probably have to agree that mathematics are provable things. You can't pull the it's just subjective card on stuff like that. And it's why it, it's the go to, you know, the two plus two is four thing. You can't well, you can't get out of that. We've said before as well that if you want to pull the card of we are human beings, we are like fleshy creatures that exist. Too, like there's no way we every can view or understand anything in an objective way compared to the universe or whatever it's just like man that is so useful 
Well, oh, it, can't wait to use that for everything. He could well, be in the Matrix, so everything's shit. It's like, well, no, go away, is, crazy like, person. Like, I, I get that, but, like, I'm a human being. <laughs> this is all I've got. <laughs> Like, in yeah. terms of understanding. Well, yeah, this is how a maximum like, capacity for all in, yeah. uh, awareness we have, so. It's like, well, what you can do is if you really feel that, you can go away, and the rest of humanity can continue to use the scientific method and all of these other incredibly reliable methodologies to arrive at the best explanations for the truth of the universe, and we'll keep building civilizations and advanced machinery and philosophies and stuff, and you can sit Sorry. there and you can bitch about it. <laughs> and it's worth noting, um, being objective doesn't mean being uh, reaching some level of absolute truth. Of course not. Yeah, because it's, um, it's not it's not that well, easy. One of the one of the comments that I I actually see quite often is that well I don't Church. care if I don't care if this you know if if such and such is wrong or this you know dialogue was whatever uh, I still liked it and uh, my response is always it. it it doesn't matter if it's, you know, you can have movies that are objectively bad in terms of CGI and dialogue and this and that, and you can still have a fun time watching it. And uh, for some reason, people like get really defensive about that. They're like, well, you can't say that the, the movie's bad because I liked it. Like, no, 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 it's objectively a bad movie, but it's fine if you like it. If you enjoy it, then watch it. Well, and if you switch out some of the words, you'll you'll get through to them quicker typically, right? Like if you say it's objectively inconsistent, ever, uh, what we are told to be true is uh, folded back on. And so investment is, uh, I'm struggling to get invested. Meanwhile, other stories don't do that. They uh, establish X and stick to X or something like that. And then you're just like, that's that's how I prefer to, because like, I, I find most of the time, whenever people bring in their list of criticisms, they'll, uh, it'll often be some form of a contradiction, even if they don't, want to appeal to that um mm -hmm. like I, I think people's I, I, brains often will notice things and they just it, it's like the whole the, the plinket thing of you might not have noticed but your brain did there the there point. is an aspect of this just doesn't work and my brain can recognize this yeah. doesn't work how much that. attention i give that uh but and there's how, um part of us like there's a uh, I'm just going to say quick, like, we want to solve problems a lot of the time, and so we're trying to figure a lot of these different things out and naturally, like, in a, in a way that can just happen without us necessarily realizing it. And so, someone like High Top says, fucking Teen Titans sucks because the plotline makes no sense. And then he's like, Wonder Woman 84, though? Top notch. And you're like, oh, but, huh. The thing you said about that one is in that one, though. And it's like, yeah, I can pick whatever I want as my flaws and my positives in each thing. And you're like, oh. Also, I'm not a reviewer, by the way. Also, he's not a reviewer. Yeah, uh, well, no, wait, wasn't it Phil Mento that said that? <laughs> I, was like, I don't know. They're not a reviewer, like, but he'll um, tell you which things are good and which are bad. And so, yeah, it's, it's just like, so why did you even tell me those were your reasons if those reasons aren't meaningful in any way? They just, they happen or they don't randomly. Like, I don't, I don't know what's the point. Like, even from his perspective, what's the point? Because, like, what, what do you achieve when you're like, oh, today this was annoying me. I don't know if it will tomorrow. You're like, oh. Have you, uh, have you, anyone seen Willy's Wonderland? I want to. Really? Yeah, I, I've not heard it. It's on my list. It's, of the Nicholas it is. List. Yeah. So that's, it's a, yeah, it's basically Five Nights at Freddy's starring Nick Cage. And, um, like, it is, like, oh. the CGI, the costumes, a, lo a bunch of the dialogue. It is, like, it is objectively, <laughs> objectively bad in a lot of ways. But it is still a hilarious, uh, fun movie to watch. And um, yeah, something, one thing that I didn't even know going into it, because I was like 10, 15 minutes in and I'm waiting for Nick Cage to say something. He doesn't say anything. He, he, he <laughs> basic, he, not a single line of dialogue, not a single utterance from Nick Cage for the entire movie. That was like one of the points like that. They thought, OK, hey, let's uh, let's make a horror movie, horror, air quotes, horror movie horror. Uh, where the main character doesn't say anything. And I'm like, you know, 15, 20 minutes in, and then I, I did a quick search on it, and I and I found that. But like, when you see the costumes for like the animatronics, like there is, they look like bad sports mascots. Like it's so obvious that it's a guy in the suit, and they make no attempt at all to hide it. And like, it's it's so bad, but it's so good at the same time. And like, this yeah, is. 
I think it'd be worthwhile if, say, you reviewed it and you went over all of the, the technical stuff, and then you went, oh, now I, I want to talk about why I like it so much. And if you figured it out, like, you know what, what elements are making you appeal to it, then it's totally fair to yeah. go through it all, I think. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm already writing the script on it. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a great movie. If you haven't seen it, go and watch it. You can get it for, like, $3 on Amazon right now. I feel like but, it, uh, our, uh, yeah, it's, it's hilarious. Oh, Batman and Robin. Say, I Oh, uh, Batman uh, and Robin EFAP movies kind of is is where I would point to if anyone was curious about that with us. Like, look how much fun we're having with that movie. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was that was an <laughs> that was so much fun. It was really uh, that cool. made that movie made me smile like endlessly. Also, can I say that um it is objectively bad to bring in Nicolas Cage and not let him act. Oh no, he he does he does a great job. He he's definitely oh, he actually Cage. he actually does act. You, you said oh, he, he doesn't he, say anything. He he has no dialogue, but he is absolutely Nick Caging his way through that entire movie. His facial oh. expressions can be pretty priceless a lot of the time. Oh. Like there's okay, there's a good. lot of gifts of Nicolas Cage for a reason. Okay, good. Never mind. I take it back. Sweet. Um, he can give a really restrained performance under the right director. I think um, it's just he's got so much energy that dude and I, I think most directors are would rather just like take a step back and be like okay you do whatever you want dude you're Nick Cage and the audience loves that but yeah, like he was in the uh, Lord of War I kind of want that that, that yeah. legacy for um, Brendan Fraser great. I want him to start turning up in all kinds of things as just guy we oh, like man, he's, he's doing more stuff now right he's, Brendan Fraser yeah. being cast in a Scorsese movie was a victory for Canada I I hope that's because Cole Cor says he's just vaguely aware of how Brett Frazier needs a break. You know, he needs something to yeah. happen. Like, please be that reason. On the uh, topic of it. Nick Cage, has anyone seen the movie Pig yet? I have not, yeah, but I want to. That, no. that really impressed me. I loved his performance in that. That was like the most restrained I've seen him in. The f I can't even remember how long. When, that when was really that interesting because like, the trailer was really kind of confusing um so I when was did pig come out really like recently ago. it's yeah it's yeah. like a month old oh okay I've, yeah, honestly the i've only, only really heard good totally things on it sorry the the movie totally wasn't what i thought it was because it's set up to make you think like it's a revenge thriller it's like they killed my pig and now they're gonna pay it's totally not that like i was expecting it to just be a yeah that's kind of what i thought act, but it's much more um contemplative than that oh uh thanks i guess <laughs> spoilers should have cut him off rags if you didn't want to know <laughs> okay. should have cut him off no, sorry no, no, no. i did i didn't mean to say that as a spoiler i just i was just talking about the tone of the film broadly like it's i i, I mean i think it's better if people go into that movie not expecting like a a bloody revenge thriller because I, I was like off put i felt like the rug was pull out from under me a little bit it's like, oh, that wasn't what I thought it was. And it took me some time to like appreciate the film based because of that, like being caught off guard like that. I, I would have enjoyed it better had I known what I was in for, broadly speaking, going in. Yeah, fair enough. Mm hmm. All right, then. Very well. Let us see what else we got. It can be played with a controller. The game's story is about lightning and a collection of other characters who must fight some other characters called Falsy and save a planet called Cocoon. The story has a beginning and an ending and a middle bit. And an ending. Yes, this would only be critical of the speaker, because even with this script yeah, you could make it more is... interesting. Yeah, oh, yeah. absolutely. Oh, I already yeah. would... I'm already imagining how I would do this better. Would and it, it isn't difficult, be... because doing well, things better than Jim Sterling's not... It's not that much. Of a I guess the thing would be, would it would it be ninety nine percent objective to be like, this is a game that has a beginning and an end. You know, like is that does that? Is well, that because your inflection what implies if, the the fact that there's an end is a good thing, which is subjective. I feel like anything sequel, you though? read into it. Well, no, just anything you read into it. That's a you problem. All right, that's yeah. that's that's all on oh, you. Well, okay? especially if Throw sarcasm exists, you can't be sure of exactly what. You're in, you can't like be 100% sure you've inferred the correct Yeah, see, because I thing. think that Jim's being sarcastic, so this isn't a 100% objective review. You you failed at parodying what you were trying to do. Ah, that's true. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. Uh -oh. Yeah. Your sarcasm is not very objective. That's a bit of a... breaking mm. at the seams. It's disintegrating before our eyes and screaming oh as it melts god. in the puddle. We've just got the, <laughs> the, the rough irony of like... You know like um, Grand Tour stuff? They'll often describe the statistics relating to a car 
and then they will get into how they feel about it. And there's this obvious, like, you can understand the difference, as in, it has this horsepower, it uses this engine, it's made from this model from this time where it's uh, been updated to have blah blah blah, has this, 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 and then they go, and it just feels amazing! It's like, and then they just, you know, fire forward. It's like, I don't think it objectively would, would, would work that way for every person who's in that car, but it's just cool to know that, you know, the person you trust for cars is saying it feels amazing to use. Or it um, mm. reminds them of XYZ. And, like, it would be weird, yeah, if they said, like, well, so that's not an objective review. I'd be like, well, I mean, all of, this, all of the statistics and descriptions are all true. Um, they all relate to things that exist in our... Like, I, I don't see what the problem is. And, yeah, this seems more like a bitter video to be like, screw you, I can do whatever I want, shut up. Otherwise, I'll give you this in future. And it's like, huh. Oh. When, like, nobody was asking for this. <laughs> it's kind of exhausting already. Like, I'm already super over it. I think it's annoying, yeah. It's... yeah. Like, this is just the, this shtick, and it, we just, we, like, I get it, you know? Yeah, this is not five-minute shtick. You get it in the first 15 seconds, and that's yeah. it. Yeah, but this it, is where you cut I, it off and you go back to, see, I'm me right, Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. I keep waiting for that. I'm waiting for him to be like, okay, so there you go, you've seen, and then to make some sort of commentary or, or criticism, but to just continue doing this is just, it's killing me. Mm -hmm. He'd probably make the point much better if he was talking about how much value there can be in a person explaining their subjective experience. Yeah. Uh, like, to where, be like, this is why subjective is better, not why objective is bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where is it appropriate or where is it helpful to be subjective? Where is it not? Where should you, you know, how do you make the distinction very clear? Because some people have an issue with that. Um, yeah, those, would, those would be things that would be legitimately useful. How yeah, do you keep both of them in your review, keep them distinct from one another, and when would it be appropriate for one to hit instead of the other? In yeah. The equivalent for, like, Grand Tour is if the the beginning of their review, he's like, so I think the chassis is just, it's, oh, it's so, it's just, oh, I really love the colors and the and the look of it. The wheels, they're really just, um, I, f I find them so, just, just set, oh, gosh, so round? cool. They're the, very round. The engine, really cool. Look how cool this engine is. It's got so many, like, pipes and things going into it. <laughs> so fucking cool. The uh, coolest engine. <laughs> the boot, and he's about to say it's small, but he's like, it's, it's, um, it's design, it's, I love how small it is. It's so good. Uh, and then you just keep, you know, everything's, we would just be sitting here like, what the fuck is this? Like, I don't even... <laughs> So, in the interest of saving everyone's time and sanity, like, this bit ends at the 418 mark. Do we just want to skip right over there? Well, you know what? I'll put it on two times works. speed. Yeah, we can do that. It's there the fastest he's ever moved in his life. The mouse just Japan, zero tolerance, right? Or zero, zero punctuation. Zero tolerance. Zero tolerance. He's already fucking up. He's already fucking up with his little blurbs that he's putting down there. The little I can read. He's already messing up. And he's almost I guess he's um, trying to be jokey with it. But he's almost reaching the level of like, wait, you're you're skimming the surface of what actually would be interesting, where you go into detail about how new systems, how they were developed, would work and what they do. Well, mm -hmm. and explain because yeah. by explaining how it works, you you've done something here yes. that could be valuable to somebody. <laughs> it shows the audience your knowledge of the material you're covering, and it will help you be more accurate about the things you actually say. And they would assume that it was hard to acquire compared to just watching this video, and therefore what you've done is a service. Hmm. Simple as that. That's because like a lot of documentary style um, breakdowns of things. That's usually the appreciation where you're just like, man, all this information is so easy to just take on. It's from all these different places in time and different sources and stuff. It's just like nice, good work, sort of thing. Um, I think it was mentioned the last time Moriarty was here. I'm not sure, but the uh, the Polybius and the the first game ever from Ahoy. From Ahoy. Both Incredible. of them are very objective. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. He's uh. It's, it's actually fun whenever he lets a line into his scripts that are clearly like just how he feels about the particular thing. You're like, hey. Ah. Mm -hmm. um, and he does it incredibly well, like masterpiece. Yeah, the point of it all is that he's trying to get an answer to these questions without like his own beliefs involved. He's like, look at these things, where do they lead us? Mm-hmm.
New to Final Fantasy 13 it allows players to pre-program how characters behave and the player can swap these behavior patterns whenever they want during a battle to deal with different circumstances. Many people enjoy the paradigm system, but other people do not like it so much. Players have the ability to restart a battle if it doesn't. See, some people like it, some people don't. It's like, haha, being objective is pointless, isn't it? It's like, well, why don't you look into that? What did they say and why? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what makes it more effective than the combat system in Final Fantasy twelve or ten? You can, yeah, and to you the point of what does effective mean? You know? or less. Subjectively. This it's is a... what these people say. This is what these people say. It seems this is what the rating of the game is, and most people feel this way about it. However, others say this about like this is ideally like what like a news uh, like a, a a news broadcasting channel is is how to, how can we try and be objective about everyone's opinions on things and stuff like that. Right. This here's party a, thinks this. B. The other party thinks yeah. this. Here's such and such from such and such, and here's someone else, and they'll yell at yeah. each other for five minutes. Yeah. What are they saying? Is well, it plus, true? then and you, you can let, start. And, and you, then the viewer decides. To explore, well, you can start to explore whether or not any of those are legitimate or not, and still be completely objective. Right. Like if, if they're making these complaints, user A likes this and user B doesn't like this. Um, is there is there any water behind that? You know. Also, even just looking at this still frame here, I can see that I, I'm, I could have the subjective reaction that this UI is very cluttered. I've never played Final Fantasy 13. It's just one of the ones I've never missed personally, like actually. But the, it's very cluttered. There's a lot of stuff going on. However, you could also then say, as a person with experience with the game, here's why all that information needs to be on screen and why it is very effective for the, the combat system. And then yeah. I'd be like, oh, that's, that's interesting. Also, and I don't even, know how much of this is animated right now, but it I'm seeing a lot of empty space in the middle. I don't I think it's mid animation, but if it's not, then that's going to be a problem. And if someone was to say I just like like whatever, all of that's still subjective in some way, I was like, but it's still way more useful than literally just going I like it or I don't like mm -hmm. it. Cuz mm -hmm. I I don't know what it is about these people, but it's like they they often want to just be like, "No, I don't care what the reasoning for you liking it is. Just get on with it." It's like, "Damn." Isn't that like the interesting part? You would think so. And then, um, you know, the 100% well, objective it, review. It's just like, again, you could do the 100% subjective one. You'd be fucking wor as worthless as this. You couldn't, you, well, to be fair, it'd probably be more worthless if I was to be bad faith about it and just go, I like it. Mm. <laughs> 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 what? what was that? <laughs> that was, that was Welsh coming through. <laughs> that was the Welsh. <laughs> I like it. Uh, I, I like, like it. it. <laughs> I like it. It's right, I guess. Uh, uh, good. Looks like Fringy's been hired by Jim Sterling, huh? Oh, yeah, no. that was quick. Mm -hmm. No, Fringy, don't do it. <laughs> uh, don't let him have your goo. Hired. It says for hire, not hired. God, let's, God, just read. Well, I mean, <laughs> I, it was an assumption I made. I, I might still be right. I don't know. Well, you don't want See, us to be objective in analyze, yeah. uh, analyzing this. It'd be boring, and you'd hate it. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah, it's what I think happened, Fringy, and you can't tell me yeah. otherwise. Yeah, you talked about it longer than I needed to look at it, so now it's bad. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> it's your <laughs> lived, it's, <laughs> yeah, why are you denying us our lived experiences? It's your truth. Wow, Fringy doing it once again, just like with the UPS guy. That's like the <laughs> new, in my opinion, it's my truth. My truth. Uh, what, the lived experience? You know, like you could you could say in my opinion da da da, and people use it as a get out of jail free card for anything that comes afterwards. Because they can say, "Well, it's just my opinion, it's just how I feel," and so you could do the whole. Well, that's my truth, oh, as if I live in some separate pocket dimension from the rest of all of you guys, where yeah, the yeah, objective facts are just different for me. There was, a, there was a point I think 2019 I put a tweet out about it, but I was noticing like when did we transition over from saying opinion to take? Because like. It, hmm. it sounds so much more agreeable when people say it's my take, like, like, okay, here's my take about this, or blah, 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 rather than, it's my opinion. And I wonder if it's because opinion became a bit more sullied in terms of, like, it, it gets read now as more so, please leave me alone, I'm about to say something that you might not like, rather than, all right, because when you say here's my take, it sounds a lot quicker and just, just like, yeah, I'm getting it out there, I don't care what you think, this is it. Especially yeah. with hot takes. Well, it's like, you know, three syllables versus one, it's like, you know. That's what I was going to say. my opinion. <laughs> The terms keep getting overlapped, like uh, subjective truth and objective truth, but people will say my truth and you don't know which one they're talking about. <laughs> which, which one's that? They, they always need to be distinguished and they're not. Well, no, it's... whenever someone says my truth, it just means they're wrong. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, they would just say it's, it's the, the truth. Generally what that means, yeah.
I suppose you could also read that as the actual truth, but you would only know it if you saw things from my perspective, because I know things that you don't based on the experiences that I had. But it seems like it's always used in the context of, you know, like a like a Twitter person being like, well, I don't need to explain why this happened. It's just my truth. And it's like, oh, God, that's, that's so probably cringy. a good response you, you, when they say that you go, you mean not everyone else's truth. Yeah. <laughs> you, yeah. They're like, yeah, no, mm. <laughs> may not find useful depending on reference. You might also oh, find weapon leveling useful, but that's only if you find weapon leveling useful. So whether or not you find weapon leveling useful is down to how useful you ultimately find weapon leveling. See, so that's, so, so, so like, that's just tautology. Yeah. So, well, no, but just, like there is weapon weapon leveling, but that's it. That's all I can do because I'm being objective. So if you like it, that's good for you. If you don't, it's not. It's like you didn't even tell us what it was. I don't know if I like it. How could I possibly know if I like it or not? You haven't. This is such told a great what example is. because when you talks about like weapon leveling. You could say a lot without saying your opinion about it. Yep. You can talk about, okay, so when you level up in this game, it only increases its stats by this much, or it only increases damage, or like makes you, gives you more health, gives, makes it so that your weapons are more effective against these types of enemies. This is different from, say, X game, where upgrades fundamentally change what the weapon does. And then yeah, you don't you... even need to say whether or not you think that's good or bad. You can just leave it at that and let people figure yeah, out every for themselves how much value kills that has. The weapon it increases by such and such yeah, percent, I... and that's, yeah. that's well, the. I, I guess uh, all I'm trying to get at is like you cannot say anything about how you feel about it, and it can be incredibly useful for other people because they can figure out how they feel about it. If I and whether or not that's something they're interested in. If I describe a system as this game has a pistol, a shotgun, and a machine gun. That's the, all the weapons they have. Um, when you get to the final level for all of them, the fire rate is almost the same for all of them. The damage is highest on the shotgun, um, and the range is the highest on the. I guess point being, you lay out statistically what they're all doing by the time they hit the end game. And there's one that's clearly a power leveled above the other two, and you're like, so this will be the one that most people will end up going with, and it uh, like brings a disbalance to above the game. Other... The plasma cutter in Dead Space. <laughs> oh, well, in Call of Duty, the easy example is there's always one dominant gun, and then everybody uses that one gun. And you can say something about that. It's like, well, you know, it. I, I wonder what can be said about the fact that this game has 20 weapons, but everybody uses one. I wonder yeah. if there's anything about that that's not great. Well, you can it's like uh oh, you can uh -oh. Well, you can they establish have, weapons have statistics like numbers. You you can look up what is the DPS of this weapon. Yeah. What is its reload time? What is the size of the magazine? And these are all just objective facts about what the I gun is. I think that's what's interesting is that I video games in particular. It's like there's a lot in video games that's just locked in stone because it's code. Like it's just. This is what it is. Yeah. And so you can you can describe what it is, and in a video game, that's a lot of what a game is. It How is you feel of... about it is obviously entirely up to you. Well, There's a lot that can be we, said. If we if simulate what you feel about it. If we simulate that conversation, ahead. right? They, you go. So this gun is stat statistically better than all the other ones, and your goal in this game is to end lives as fast as possible. Uh, you pick this one. They go, no, I don't, because I don't like the way it looks. You're like, okay. Okay, but, <laughs> and then of course the big thing is, can you disagree with my statement that this is the gun that kills the enemies the quickest and Most the game's objective yeah. is to kill enemies the quickest? Yeah. yeah. We can be like, the skin well, isn't solid gold and it doesn't have a pot leaf on it, so I don't want to it's, use it. It's actually uh, kind of funny, because I've heard that argument before in like World of Warcraft and stuff, where people would deliberately not use better equipment because they thought it was ugly. Like it's, I don't know. So there are people that make weird decisions. I yeah, guess, I'm, but... I'm oh, sure there are. Um, the, 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 this course, thing. Yeah. As long as they were saying, "Oh yeah, I know the gun's better, but I way prefer the skin I've got on this gun." And you're like, okay. Um, or just I'm, it, I'm more used to using this one. Like, yeah, specifically. Because, yeah, because this happens with guns. I am more familiar with this gun. So even though this other gun is objectively better in terms of just the sheer damage output or whatnot, because I am so personally familiar with this weapon, I just get better results from it. And and literally, like, you can appeal to just, I just want to feel good, and I like the rainbow skin on that 
gun. So I'm just I'm having fun Absolutely, shooting people with rainbow yeah. bullets. I, it's good that we have uh, representation within firearms. Hell yes. You can take the game if you want. Real quick, I, I just maybe you you would know maybe the the chat would. Is there a filter over this video? It looks pretty. It ass. It's a green. It's a green. It looks filter and which I is hate it. Funny to yeah, call I don't it. know why that's objective. It looks it just, objectively bad. Can I just say this is supposed to be remastered? <laughs> so, right? so like, Jim has remastered the video by adding a new one minute intro that he probably recorded at the same time as doing modern intros, just added to the, like a quick script. It's like if you're gonna remaster it, wouldn't you change the visuals to be updated? But no. Right, this looks so. terrible. What does remaster mean to him? <laughs> Fuck all, re-releasing. Re-release, that's it. <laughs> re-release. <laughs> just the same old again. shit. Full price. And I want to highlight. I think it's supposed to be conveyed as like it's 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 an extra boring visual filter. This uh, it's not boring. It, it just it, it it looks fucked. Like something happened in in translation. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. But, um, yeah. Failing miserably again. If you're gonna make fun of the whole objective review thing, since when would anyone go? You can save the game if you want. Sometimes. Like what? nobody. <laughs> this, is, this is just not popping yeah, up not in helpful. any review. Yeah. So at this point, it's like, what are you even making fun of? Like, what is this? Mm. You're just making what fun of someone who's me? shit at fucking explaining themselves or explaining what's happening? <laughs> what's He's really commentary? going with the concept of the only thing objective is a video game in a video game are the bullet points that you can read on the box. Like you and can everything save. else is subjective. Yeah. The, the nature of saving and how, how it works and how but it compares to he... past iterations has no relevance. It's just, you can save. It's a binary. I think even he would disagree with, with his uh, very justifiably jaded look at the industry. Even he shouldn't be saying stuff like, yeah, just trust what's on the box. Right. Well, I mean, uh, how do you... Man, well, like, he, I feel he would... like when you start applying it this way, then it's like, well, jit. Would people not just say this to you when it comes to any criticism of like aspects of the video game well, industry's funny, business practices? It's funny you say that, Frank, because if you remember, he gave the one out of ten to uh, Hellblade. to new sacrifice Hellblade, because Hellblade. of like, yeah. a game breaking bug, a game no, breaking there... bug. What do you mean game breaking? Yeah, it's what do you mean? Making bug. It's a game making break bug. Game? That sounds pretty subjective. Yeah. <laughs> Are you implying that there is a state of I like breaking and functionality? Game. I, I like that. It makes me happy to see the game breaking bug. Yeah, like I love it's, it. It's really it's cool. my favorite experience. I love I love when I love when there's a paywall that prevents me from finishing the game. That's just like it's so rewarding to fork over money to continue playing a game I already bought. I love it. How can you tell me that that's wrong? That's that's the one we really push them to the limits because you're like, if I load up my game and it only push it can't get past the, the menu, and it's like, is this game objectively broken? And they're like, no. No, because some people <laughs> might like that they can't get past the menu. It's like, this is not... Some people might like when a roof collapses on their head. That doesn't mean anything. <laughs> What's the thing? Yeah, it is no longer a useless. roof. <laughs> it is a shite roof if it is a roof. Like, it's well, a it's terrible a, hat. It's, it was a roof. It's, that's right. It's just a really interesting <laughs> hat made out of like... <laughs> made out of Made out of roofing tiles and the blood you know, from your brain. And it's just a horrible. Horrible hat. There, there is no it's such really thing as a bad Well, I think... With uh, Cyberpunk, we learned that people are willing to put up with quite significant games. That's true. Uh, like, that's yeah, true. Because that's they're true. on your side. They're on our side, guys. They're the, they're like, the good guys. And this shit's important, man. Because, like, you know, Cyberpunk, if, if you just absolutely love the genre, you love video games, and you're ready and willing, but you couldn't afford it, and you're waiting a couple weeks later, you're going to buy it, but then someone comes out with a review detailing all of the errors, it's like, thank you. I won't be picking it up. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'll save my money for but someone goes, whoa, 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 yeah. whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. It's about whether or not you like glitches or not. I feel like Chromecat's a really good example. He doesn't say anything about yeah. whether or not anything's good or bad. It's just presented. I think um, I think Jim and many others would say that's still not an objective review because you've chosen... Well, because... Uh, it's like you framed it, so it's still... So, so the... Uh, uh... But, like, this is framed, what he's doing right here. He's describing the but game. But he's not it's that a, smart. <laughs> yeah, but I guess this is what I mean, is, like, once we get this broad and nebulous, it's like nothing means anything, and it's like, mm -hmm. cool, but I'm, again, I'm a human. Like, there's only so much that my little brain can <laughs> wrap, it, wrap its thing around. Well, too bad. I, I reviewed Cyberpunk on Geeks and Gamers, and, and I liked it more than most people did, but even my video ends with me saying, yeah, don't buy this game, though. 
because it's certainly not it's yet. got a lot of problems that need to be fixed yeah i mean i was running it on like basically a supercomputer because i built this machine for editing and thus mm. it runs games very well but i'm like eh, even even my experience had a lot of very objective problems like the way the police system works in the game it's just flat out bad and I, I think it would be silly to be like well but i had fun with it because I, I like the genre so buy it it's like well no the, <laughs> there's objective problems in, in addition to my subjective enjoyment has sub has uh cyberpunk been been fixed like to any reason i've heard degree? it's gone better I don't the know. newest patch is supposed to fix a whole lot, but I've kind of just said, okay, I'm going to go back to it in like a year or so. Maybe I'll give it a shot my, again in December. And see my plan is to wait until the first big DLC releases for it. Yeah, that's the solid uh, thing to do. And like uh, you had Hearts of Stone and Blood and Wine for The Witcher 3. So when, whenever they make their big first DLC, I will go back then and I will play through it because I want it to be very good because I have not played really really any cyberpunk kind of stuff so it would be nice to have a game to play that's you I know feel like that, a, i just stuff. recommend like really human recommend. revolution or ghost yeah. oh yeah that's you, right yeah if you I want really a new one human revolution i got ghost Runner. Kind of divided ghost runner is really good it's I've like a, good kind of a, one. it's a bigger a cyberpunk cross between mirror's edge and hotline miami it's like all these sort of parkour puzzles that you go through. It's it one hit and you die, but also one hit kills every enemy. Katana it's, Zero uh, was like that too. That's uh, that was a really cool game. Yeah, oh, first, Katana Zero is pretty solid. Cyberpunk too. as well. So that's and and it's it's probably like ten bucks. In fact, yeah, that that would be and it had a really cool story as well. The Ascent's well, first, also a fun time, and it's it's on Game Pass for both PC. Yeah, and Xbox. I got. I've got that bot. I gotta play it with my uh, with my friends. Friends, ew. Yeah, <laughs> lose. Well, I feel like they're my friends. <laughs> um, alrighty. Let's see if we can get to the end. I don't know if anything else of interest is gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> the video and sounds. The graphics are seen with your eyes, and the sound is heard by your ears. When you start Ugh. the game, the graphics and the sound will occur almost at the same time. Well, I feel oh, like here's an God. easy one. What if you had a game <gasps> what that, like has epil? Well, I mean, we got an example, right? Wasn't this a thing with Cyberpunk that there was like epi There were there was a, a sequence of flashing yeah. light that potentially could trigger epilepsy. Yeah, is that not really? No, that's that irrelevant. And <laughs> I guess I will push it really far. <laughs> what about a game that deliberately tries to cause? Epileptic seizures in people by having oh, a certain configuration of flash wow. and lights. Legendary development. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's kill some people. Let's go. <clears throat> um, oh, well, we have hit max capacity. I was going to say we are now at 10 exactly, and we'll see how, how, how everything goes with that. Hello, Thought Theater. How do you do? Good. How are you? We're, we're sitting here, we're chilling out, well, watching some videos as you do. Good stuff. Yes, um, things are going great. I'm getting married in a little over a week. Oh my god! So that's hey! Really, uh, boy. Yeah. Congratulations! Congratulations! Excellent. Very excited. Mm -hmm. So yeah, things are yeah. things are looking up. We uh we did move EFAP away from next week just for that. We didn't want to get in the way, you know. We didn't want to take viewers <laughs> right. away from the experience. <laughs> Thinking that's of right. uh, having a family later? Uh yeah. Yep. Sick. Me and uh, me Thinking and a of... woman and a dog. Maybe yeah. a maybe a baby. Are going to curate the really? movie experience? You're going to show them. <laughs> you're going to show them all the Star Wars saga when they grow up. That's right. Oh, no. All no, well, like like the, like uh, four, five, that's and six. <laughs> As in that that saga or the oh. seven, eight, nine. You know, you, you can throw one, two, and three. It's in all there, the Skywalker right? saga, the whole thing. Yes. Yeah, I'll I'll throw the I'll, Palpatine I'll, saga. I'll save I'll save one, two, and three for when they're when they're ready. When they understand what makes <laughs> four, five, and six good. And then one oh, yeah. can... This is like an, an an incel podcast. You're not allowed to be on here if you're married. The fuck? Oh, that's she right. I forgot. Ruin it. Lose your membership. I, yeah. I got married a month ago too. Damn so. it! Oh man! Okay. Everyone's getting married. Well, What's the bachelor's Greg's, life for me. I guess it's time for us to maybe tie the knot. I don't know. Just saying. Just saying. Oh, hey, I'm down for that. Nice. Oh my god. <laughs> um, if you got the link, we are checking out Jim Sterling making fun of the the idea of trying to be objective. Oh, it's fascinating. Unfortunately, wow. the bit itself, like we're we're playing it on double speed right now to get through because it. the <laughs> point he's making, you could do it in fifteen seconds. The guy tries to do it in well, four minutes, and it's, it's pointless. that bad. I will All admit, right. yeah. 
I find it, it slightly terrible. more interesting than that. In the in so if you were like, how do you talk about audio objectively? That sounds absurd. I'm gonna write down in my script there is sounds. Ha ha ha. You're like, why would that? Why why would that? Why? Like so, there's a couple ways to to go about that. Like when you're being an objective critic, typically the value comes from how the audio is in relation to the story or like how it just further gives context to what's going on. But if you just describe it as is, I mean, that's objective, but I don't think it's valuable necessarily. Like, there are so many things, like, uh, I say this as if you all don't know, but how many things you can talk about related to audio, holy shit. Like, yeah. um, mm -hmm. near infinite oh, amount, like, you can't Again, really limit the amount of things. A video game that, that plays audio so loud that it deafens you. It's like if, I, actually can... if I said this opening door sound is played in almost every mainstream movie because it's a stock sound, and then I play examples and I don't comment on whether or not that's a good thing, that's still really useful and interesting. You'd be like, oh shit, yeah, that sound pops I... up everywhere. It's, it's neat trivia, I suppose. I yeah. hate the Wilhelm scream. I hate the Wilhelm <laughs> scream. Every single time it comes up, I cringe. I, I oh. find it cute. I'm like, I'm oh, there wondering. it is. It's like a punchline now. Like, whoever yeah. uses it, it's like tongue-in-cheek. Pretty much. Also, think... another, another really objectively useful uh, piece is if, like, audio is done in a way that, like, actually triggers um, uh, people's tinnitus. Like, oh, there shit, are some yeah. people that... Dude. Yeah, yeah. Well, when you push it to extremes, right, if you can't hear anything because it's so quiet or it's so loud, like, I'm assuming all of you have dealt with this and you boot up a fucking game on Steam and the intro crowd is like, <laughs> just like, ah, yeah. fuck. <laughs> that that all yesterday. right, you kids, I want the zombies <laughs> lay a fall. Oh, it's... I'm like, go away. It's go away. I mean, even... Yeah. And it's always even... the same for the intro. As soon as it loads your profile right after it, it's like, yeah, it's fine now. Like, now I remember hey. what I need to do. <laughs> I mean, yeah, even reminding me, but yeah, Sinner with Sacrifice is, it's just Ooh, not yeah. the same game without the audio. Yeah. Being, uh, you know, well balanced and done. It's really kind of, for me, it's one of a kind in the terms of how it's done. But if you just, if, if you fail with the music in that game and the sound stuff, you just flat out have a different game. As, yeah. that, yeah. as, as it that's said the... Uh, at the beginning of Booting Up Amnesia, The Dark Descent, I think it says, like, please make sure there's, like, no noises around you and uh, mm -hmm. that you have, like, a, yeah, a setup yeah. that you can pay attention because the sound is incredibly important. Yeah, yes. you got headphones, put them on. Yeah, Hellblade is a like different that. game if you're not wearing headphones or have a very good surround sound setup. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's kind of what getting to almost, like, is it not... Do we really want to not credit the the work that people are doing when they're doing a really good job at what they're, you know, at specific things like Last art thing, direction or sound design? Oftentimes, that's fine. It's when you do the other thing. It's when you're negative, yeah. It's, uh, but it's the, the thing whole... is, the sec there's always, I always, whenever, like, a Chris Stuckman is like, oh, this fucking movie is fantastic. It's like, meaning if it wasn't doing what it was doing, it would have been bad. Dot, dot, dot. Mm -hmm. it, it's, like, it's like Jim with the broken thing. It implies a state of unbrokenness and and functionality and a difference between the two that can be measured and recognized. Mm -hmm. right. They do it all the time. They just don't know they're doing it. They're not well, aware enough I, of their own positions. I think it is the fundamental thing of like everybody agrees on some level that there is like good and bad to, to some degree. Yeah. Well, yeah, like, I was I was about to say, even if all else fails, this is co colloquially accepted. As in, like when I say the audio is shit, someone's in their head immediately thinking, like, is it scratchy and staticky? Is it really yeah, low? Is it? Yeah. Not just in your opinion, there's something with, wrong with it that most yeah, people, with a lot of claims. not everybody. Well, how did how did everybody with? conclude the whole like Black Widow has problems certainly in the plot armor? That then you'd be like, well, still everyone's subjective. She's like, well, so everyone is highlighting it was hard for them to stay invested if the character can't take damage. Simple. I would go even further. I would say that you could make a lot of objective assessments of uh, the plot armor. Oh yeah, well, what I'm suggesting is that like everybody has a un like a, a unified understanding of exactly what is happening there and where the issue lies, rather than going, "You're gonna have to explain it to me because it's so subjective that I don't really understand." Like, what is it that you're having trouble? It's like, no, I know what you mean. Yeah, a lot of things are just collo colloquially understood. Like wow, that w I was like, yeah, like no one, uh, you if it's raining and it's cold and it's just miserable outside. Well, I kind of did it in the fucking thing right there. But when you tell people, yeah, the, the weather was miserable yesterday, most people yeah. will just go, yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. It's gonna be dark gray, probably 
an annoying kind of rain where maybe it's like windy yeah. and road just going into your face it's and like stuff. sleety yeah. and windy and you can't really do anything yeah. and it's the bad visibility on the roads and it's just uh... yeah nobody i don't know how many people ever say it's miserable outside the sun is shining I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah or it's like I, the weather was so shitty because it was raining and then some people be like but i like the rain it's like oh well well, yeah, I like the rain. I love the rain. In I fairness, rain, yeah. to clarify, that's why I went to the example. Yeah. I often like rain when I'm inside and I can yes. hear and appreciate it. <laughs> as, I don't, uh, as someone who has spent many, 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 many nights camping outside, the ones where it's raining are not fun. Rain is shit. Okay, when you're camping, <laughs> when like you're camping. rain oh, is yeah, shit. Dude. It's better you... that it is freezing cold and dry than it is if it is just raining in any temperature rain is shit because well, um, you, wow. when you go to fucking festivals and you're like getting fuck, fucked up drunk into your tent in the night and you wake up in the morning and everything is wet and muddy around your tent it's like oh this sucks dude so, so you've got of, your own little I, swimming pool in your tent oh, what's not to like <laughs> oh, oh we, oh, we, we had a name for those in a search and rescue whenever it was raining and your tent wasn't all the way waterproof which it didn't happen much, but every once in a while it happened, you know? And, and you would have the water get into your tent and it would pool to the lowest place. That was Lake Fletcher. Dude, I had, I had my uh, tent flood when I was in the middle of the desert in Kuwait. I'm not even kidding. Um, Man, I don't, how many I, days like, does it rain in Kuwait? <laughs> it, like, for like two weeks out of the entire year. We just happened to be there in the rainy season. And, you know, people, when you <laughs> look at the desert, when you, pe when you think of the desert, people think of like these big sand dunes and rolling hills kind of thing, right? No, no, no. Most uh, of the desert is just like really hard packed. It's like almost concrete. Yeah, it's so just the water dirt, just dust, sits rocky. Yeah, and the water just sits there. on top of it. So here I am in, in the middle of the desert and it starts pouring rain for like days and days and days. And of course, the place where we had set up our camp was like in this small little valley. So... The entire camp in the middle of the desert was flooded. My tent was flooded up to like the three foot mark. And like everybody had to keep every morning when you would wake up, you have to move your cot a couple feet to the left so that it was no longer in the water. Huh. So irritating. Oh, uh, yeah. Someone asked about snow, right about snow. I'd much rather camp in the snow easily. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Than, uh, yeah. camp Would you rain. rather yeah. camp in Snow Antarctica camping is, is a totally different skill. In the Amazon. I feel, <laughs> I feel bad for my parents because when I was very young, every time we went camping, I would say, God, I, I just hope it rains so bad. I love the rain. Wait. And it always ended up raining, and we'd had to go home early. So, uh, so well, you underestimate how miserable 100 degrees Fahrenheit is with 100% humidity. It's like, what the fuck? Do, what? <laughs> when, did you, well, when did you even mention true. that? So We're first off, I'm, I'm from Arkansas. We have 100 degree Fahrenheit days where it feels like 100 degree humidity. We It is lush around here. And it is that very, sounds, it is a, it is a, that's what sound, that sounds like hell. I recognize it is, it is oppressive. It there is. are extremes for temperature. <laughs> Thumbs up. I, <laughs> it's okay. I guess, I guess it's, not. it's always interesting that. for me because the POV that I have living in this place where it gets really hot and doesn't rain that much, it's like, I, I don't know. Like, I like rain. It's just, it's, it reminds me of, ah, uh, life. The life I've been to places you know, that are super, rough. super hot, but it's also very arid as well, and there's just no humidity in the air, and it's a lot more bearable. It's mm -hmm. a lot. Right. Well, I mean, yeah. I've been to the Arizona. I, I, oh, it I'm absolutely sure. it is. If, oh, if well, you, it, it is more compare, bearable for sure. Yeah. If yeah, if if you compare the the same, if you take a hundred degrees in the Arizona desert, right, where there's as dry as a bone. And 100 degrees in Arkansas, where you have a lot of humidity in the air, I'll take the desert any day. Yeah. Especially if you're not used to the humidity in the air. Like, when I go well, out west to the desert, I have to, like, my, my nose and everything will get really, really dry. I, I, put, um, I put Vaseline inside my nostrils so that it, it doesn't dry out and just kind of, like, hurt. Man, you, I don't I think I've to. ever done that in my life. To, to well, yeah, deal with it's, <laughs> well, yeah, it's just it because where if you live around here your whole life, you're just not used to that lack of moisture in the air. 
I mean, there's definitely elements of that. Like, I remember for me distinctly, it was when I went to the UK and it's like, a heat wave, 29 degrees. It's like, ha, I feel like, <laughs> feel like I'm playing on cheat, you know, like all cheats on mode when I was there. <laughs> Everybody's dying. It's 27 degrees in Toronto right now, but the humidity makes it unbearable to be outside for even like two minutes. <laughs> Oh, I mean, it's 27 degrees. It's like, <laughs> that's, that's like, that's just a Ryan's noble like, spring day. Nostrils. Yes. So here's the thing. Vaseline, petroleum, we just call it Vaseline. It's like calling tissue, tissues Kleenexes. So mm -hmm. I don't understand why, why people call it Kleenex, to be honest Especially with you. Because the brand, because the brand is so like, popular. It's like I, Google or Zero. Man, Do you call it adhesive bandages, band-aids? Yeah. yeah, we we ah, did. We, yeah, we will generally yeah, call go. yeah the little sticky bandages. We will call them band aids. It's just yeah, it's so that brand is so commonplace and ubiquitous, and everyone knows well, about it that they're just called band aids. We call them plasters. Yeah, and I can't tell you why. Yeah, plasters, really? Yeah. Yeah. I, I only I know no the term band aids for them. I don't know another one. That's the thing. It's like if you say anything <laughs> else like bandage, you're about to just encompass all kinds of things. But if you say band aid, it's it's super specific. Well, so people just know yeah, because you can have gauze bandages and gunshot uh -huh. sort of gauzes and things like that. Nature. Yeah, I think adhesive strip bandage is the technical term for it. But even on like I'm an army medic and our ad rep, so like our request for supplies, even on our official documentation, it says band aids, and they are not band aid <laughs> brands. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just become it's just it's become so common and they're specific for kind of what they are. It's yeah. just sort of taken over the language. Like when I, when you Google something, no one says I'm going to Bing something, and you're like, <laughs> oh my, who the fuck yeah. are you? Hey, ranks. Hip therapy. Yeah. Fun fact. You know the first yeah. use of I'm going to Google X uh, of all time in media was. Oh. 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 Wait. Let me think. Can, can you can you give me know. a year range? Can you help me out? 2002, around that. I was about to say early 2000s. I know this one. Uh, <laughs> what would it? What was that voice? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Can you say it, it more was, sinister and it, like oh, lewd? How was that sinister? That was like, hey, uh, that I, was I know. super I'm, sinister. Also, and don't really know. Like, and don't I look know. at chat. Ch was that you? Chat <laughs> is spoiling it. Don't look at chat. All right. Um, oh, okay. I won't. I, I I wasn't looking at it, but okay. Um, two thousand ish, early two thousands range. The first time to go was it a movie or a show? Am I? Do you think that's telling you too much, or do you, do you think that's fair? Um, it was. Let, well, let me keep thinking. <clears throat> let me keep thinking. Let's see. Early. You've got mail. I think that's no. a fair guess, but no. Hmm. I think people were still using like AOL. Yeah, like AOL. Yeah, I, I think, think, yeah, think I, Google. I you've got mail. People were using Yahoo back when that movie came out. I'm sure people Man, were Yahoo. still using Yahoo for a while. Uh, it's just it's one of those things that's just does, yeah, hung around for ages. Um, let's see. Um, well, I think it's a fair guess. Is it Buffy? I have suspicious people. I what the chat was saying, but I what? looked, so I didn't want to cheat. Well, no, I, you talk about Buffy all the time, so yeah, I wonder maybe that's I'm, how you... I'm going to be honest with you, Rags, I talk about a lot of things a lot of the time. Yeah, but, but you oh, TV, TV shows from 2002, though. You, I didn't, wait, did someone confirm that. it was a TV show? Oh, no. I, thought, I, I, I thought you did. I just so. no, we never Mahler, said. he brought no. it up, Mahler talks about Buffy a lot, and mm. he knows it uh, really intimately, and mm. it was kind of around that time. Well, know. I think that's a totally fair guess. Mm. Was I right? Is that what you I think you already it, knew. It is correct. It is I correct. I didn't know. I was thinking really hard. There were many seasons of Buffy. You've watched it a lot. That seems like a fact that you would know about do, one do of Do you your know your how many show? things satisfy those criteria? <laughs> I, <was> <laughs> <laughs> I, I, mean, I have it, watched it, Buffy it, several it, times it, and, and I did not remember. I think it's totally fair. Hmm. I'm gonna post what, the what are you upset it's, that I guessed it? You know it's what? Just... You know what? I've been watching a lot of JCS, and Rag seems quite angry, which indicates that he's telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> that's see, that's that's one of those things you learn in like that's useless because yeah. they could do if they knew that that they would do it. That's now now remember. Waller, I didn't know that. Maybe maybe I am like peak JCS and you're just little virgin JCS. I've seen more but, of it than oh, you have. Oh, virgin <laughs> Buffy Googler. Is that <laughs> all I was gonna? Say. I've seen now more JCS stuff than you have, Fringy. So 
Is it? Right. Wait, so is how it, can you say that? I've seen all of JCS. I know you have, but you haven't seen as much of that content as I have. Okay. All right, I, I introduced sure. you to the other all channel. Of... You haven't you haven't binged it yet. I've, you should I've be, watched a you lot should of share Matt my hat that I was able to guess it. You should be. You should I, be like, oh yeah. It made it, it, it. I honestly thought you were going to guess it because of the way that you were t you were asking the questions. I was like, oh, he's he's probably got it already, and he's just trying to make a reasonable way to get there. That, that, no, that was my suspicion. I'm, no, I, I was legitimately because I'm not that familiar with stuff in the early 2000s, so it would have helped a lot if I could distinguish between shows and like maybe that would help me as I sift in my mind through imagery of shows from that era because maybe I would have gone like I think my other guess would have been the X Files. Well, again, sorry, did someone tell you it was from a show? No. Why are you? Because it sounds like you you well, confirmed it was a show. Well, it had to be I either a movie or a show, show so... Yeah. Yeah, it's one or the other. Yeah, that's... that's the, like a there's, there's a lot of yeah. movies, like... There's, there's a lot of shows, yeah, I mean, I... I it just seemed the, like I, a reasonable it almost, guess. How, I, how am I losing this here? The, the, knocking out all of movies? You, that's a lot. <laughs> no, <laughs> Why is that being ignored? The, the problem, I mean, I'm sorry, sorry, I guess the, correctly, the problem based is, like, on some punches? All of movies. I guess that's... Like, so the problem, well, the problem as I see it is, it seems like if Rags guessed it right, he was always gonna get this reaction. No, prophecy. honestly, no. Um, I I wouldn't have expected it that quickly, and the way that he asked the questions ah. gave me the impression that he was just trying to connect the dots the most logical way, knowing that it would come across as weird if he simply guessed Buffy. Well, I was I was trying to. <laughs> well, that's why when you asked if it was a show or not, I was. Well, I, I guess if we assume, if we're going with the idea that I knew beforehand, it wouldn't have mattered, but I I, I think it was a decent guess, and I, I, I mean, I don't know what to say, honestly. No, I mean, it just, I, Rags, as you've stated on this show many times, I can't control what I believe. Uh, I can help it's, influence it's it. No, truth. no, you, well, you, I, you can influence it. Oh, yeah, is that his truth? Yeah, that's it's right. It's my truth. Theory. Uh, this thing will never will never be able to know the 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 objective truth. We can only assume from, yeah. from the limited information we have. Voluntarism strikes again. Yeah. So was the answer given? It was, and he was correct. I I was I was correct with the Buffy thing. However, I will say this: when you have a show that runs for how many seasons? Like six or seven? Seven. seven then that's a whole lot more span of time that it can be referenced instead of a single movie. So well, yeah, but there's too. there's just a bazillion movies, right? So that's the sure, competition. but like one guess for one guess, you know. And if I guess a show that covers, you know, that covers more than a movie would cover. I've Hashtag been looking into because yeah, no, so the... like so if you asked what season, I would have no clue. I'd guess and say like two. Well, oh God, is it trying to do the math on what two thousand two would be? I was about to say, I thought you would have been able to figure it out because you'd know, you would have known where. Uh, it started in ninety seven, so two thousand season yeah. five, I guess. Along yeah. with glory, I just know it was around that time. I didn't know the exact years. I was just going by early two thousands, and Buffy seems like a show from the early two thousands. It's well, it's a nineties show. In in the, I think the majority of Buffy was made in the, it was ninety seven, ninety eight, ninety nine, two thousand, two thousand one, two thousand two. No, so. And three, so majority no. two thousand. Yes. No, Angel season yeah. five was made in two thousand three. No, Buffy season seven concluded in two thousand three, meaning it was made in two thousand two. Oh, okay, right. Well, it made partly in two thousand three as well. Well, I haven't checked the specific dates for the crossover, but and it... two thousand would count as this would count as the 2000, so it'd be 1997-89 versus 2000-2001-2002, it's equal at that point. Well, no, so my impression was 97, 98, 99, 2000, 2001, 2002. Yeah, so that's equal, no, not more one way or the other. Wait, is that? They couldn't, it couldn't be equal because there's seven seasons, so what am I missing here? <laughs> so what, I, so there were two seasons in 1997. Two seasons in 1997. Oh, I guess one of the because the first season would have been made in '96 then technically. Um, I think it might have been because it yeah. started at the beginning of '97. Oh, well, there's then, where I was case, confused. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Ah, there yeah, you see. Someone it can all be solved with a little conversation. All right. Someone in the oh, so was in season six, seven. Ah, oh, okay. Someone in the chat just said that uh, Kang decided that Rags would know. 
That's true. No, they killed, they killed Kang. Either. Kang doesn't affect us anymore. That's right, we have free Fuck wolf Kang. for the first time, guys. Wait, wait, are there other Kangs, or was that the only Kang? No, there are many there's, Kangs there's now. There's an infinite number of them. What if the yeah. other Kangs are controlling this one, too? Well, that was no, my- that was the there's... huge problem I took with Loki. I was like, what if they just generate another one of those Kangs immediately, because the timeline is constantly no. in real time? No, that's not- What no. a segue. Wait, I thought that's what you were highlighting, is it not? What were you saying? What if Kang didn't die next week on What If? <laughs> oh, no. It's like it's in the a, Eternals it's such trailer. An amazing show. Oh god. Honestly, I, I think they could have done the whole what if season if they just made it what if the other That's half it. of the Avengers were snapped away. And that would have been really cool to see how would Doctor Strange and Spider-Man and all those people yeah, have figured that out how to retrieve one. them without the like, help of Tony or Hulk or you know. Well, I, that's what I was saying on Friday Night Tights is that the, the concept is really great, but the way that they execute it and the ideas that they've put forward have been so mangled well, yeah. and just crapified. There are only two ideas so far. What if Peggy was Captain America and what if T'Challa was Star-Lord? Well, no, I, I think it's more than that because you it's not just those two things, especially with the second episode. Virtually everything is different yeah, about what if, everybody. What There's if nothing Nebula, to latch on to. What if Nebula was never tortured by Thanos? Because that seems to be happening. What if Thanos didn't snap? What if Yondu was a good guy? Like, all this shit is happening all at the same time. It's like, wait, what? And they want us to yeah, think that it all came like, from T'Challa. Yeah, if if T'Challa got abducted instead of Peter, then it's just it just they just say, oh yeah, basically the entire universe would have just been way better in every way. <laughs> I've been looking. Uh, I'm like, to they, find... they just suck his cock so hard in that episode; it's obnoxious. I keep trying to find why we call them plasters, and I'm not, all I'm finding is people saying, "Yes, British people call them plasters." <laughs> like that's fucking Cause... useless. Because well, we know, because I've I heard like of plaster casts. Yeah, so I was maybe, thinking for me, plaster, I immediately go to casts. So maybe it's just one of those things where, so we, I, I would imagine that we had the style of band aids that we have now after we had plaster casts. So they just sort of overlapped and you, the use, and, the, and the name just stuck for both of them. The use of plaster for this type of bandage in Britain is an allusion to the traditional use of sticky pastes to ensure the bandage stayed in place. Ah, yeah, I mean that's what a plaster cast go. kind of is. It's how you apply yeah. it. Yeah, that. Yeah, so I guess they just kept calling them that because they had similar sort of functions, and people just called them that, and it stuck. It's like the knight thing. <laughs> I'm a British <laughs> or tradition. Who would have guessed? Plaster is the word everybody uses that. Nobody says Band-Aid in Scotland. <coughs> well, it's all of Britain, as far as I know, we all say plaster, and, and I only today plaster. found out why. Oh, yeah. the first time I've ever heard the term. I, well, I mean, not the word plaster, but the term plaster in reference to what we would call a Band-Aid. Well, yeah, apparently they call them that in, in Norway as well. Neat. Do you do oh. the, what, in the, and like I said before, the, the Kleenex thing? Do you guys, what do you call them, tissues? Tissues. Or? Because it's pretty, it's kind of half and half here with that, but a lot of people will say grab me a Kleenex, regardless of what the brand actually is. Because yeah, Kleenex is such a you know a, a popular brand. Yeah. Well, that and it's all like when you say Kleenex, you know exactly what it's for. I think everyone will know what you're talking about if you say tissue. Also, yeah, they're not uh, going to say know, I need to wipe, wipe my floor with it? ass. I need you, you know? to get me some tissue paper for my for my butt. Exactly. Are you going to wipe your ass, the floor, or your nose? But when you say Kleenex, it's specifically for the nose, and they don't bring you yeah. something rough. We say we say tissues for the nose. Tissue paper is for the, for butt. the butt. Um, something oh, about toilet. tissue we just paper. Call it toilet paper. Yeah. Paper yeah. Um, toilet. Oh yeah, we use toilet paper a lot too. Tissue yeah. paper is also yeah. TP. I've never I guess TP I, either way. Sorry. So. I guess that's the thing is I have never in my life heard anybody describe toilet paper as tissue paper. That's not <laughs> what we do here. Yeah, that's a first for me too. Yeah, indeed. It's just. Toilet I feel paper. like that's not new news to me. We don't do it here, but I'm pretty sure that is something I've I've heard about already. Like possibly because I talked to Rags a lot. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. What are you speaking? Do you call, speaking uh, of shit, we're still watching talking Jim Rags Sterling. a lot. <laughs> What's that? What? What's that? Oh, yeah, we're we're talking about a, we had a video. We were yeah, watching. I said, speaking of shit. You have some tissue paper. Oh, yeah, you know what? Let's, your let's ass, it. man. It wouldn't, we wouldn't, we haven't technically began the anniversary stream until we finished the gym video. That's the what man. makes it official. Right? <laughs> You've got to finish the gym video, and then it's officially an anniversary stream. Time, letting you know that the game has started. There is also text which players can read, if they can read. <laughs> he's accidentally, <laughs> he's, you know what? 
Do you remember the conversation that uh, I've talked about before that I had with uh, I Hate Everything and he was like, you can't you can't say objectively that anything is a bad thing. And then I said, okay, let's start with an easy one. And it worked straight away. I was like, Suicide Squad, black text on a black background, so you can't fucking read it. <laughs> he, was like, he was like, okay, yeah, that counts. It's like, oh shit, okay. Oh, um, he folded like a cheap tissue paper. Well... <laughs> it's just funny that he's like this text. You can read it if you can read. It. It's like what if what if there are legitimate problems? Like what if the subtitles are tiny and you can't fucking read them and there's no options to change them? It's like that's probably worth mentioning. Black what if it's in a language that opposite. doesn't exist? If it's just well, random what, symbols? What if what if the typeface is so bad that it's in uh it's not legible? It's in cursive writing or something. <laughs> yeah, just something cursive, I can't read. Cursive subtitles. <laughs> That, that sounds like a hell out of me. That's like when a fancy person talks, they get the cursive sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I am Marjabelle Davenport. <clears throat> if you buy Final Fantasy, you like it. Then you like Final Fantasy 13. If you buy Final Fantasy 13 and you don't like it, then you don't like Final Fantasy 13. It has things in it that some people might enjoy. Other people who have different ideas of what is enjoyable may not actually enjoy it. In conclusion, Final Fantasy 13 is a video game. It scores numbers out of a number. Buy it. Or don't buy it with money, or the barter system, if the barter system is available in your particular region. Is this ain't even funny? I know. No. Doesn't it make right. sense? It's if not clever. Doing, uh, if, if, you, your whole video, if you're doing it's, the it's... objective review, and you go through all the fucking, all the things you want to talk about, and decide on this review, oh, by these standards, this is absolutely terrible and not worth your money, you don't say buy it if you like it or don't. What? What is How happening How can I buy here? it if I like it? I don't know if I like it or not. Yeah. No, don't. <laughs> Yeah, that's why I'm here. Well, so, t uh, tell you what helps you figure it out is knowing more about it. Crazy. Information and accurate descriptions. Yeah. Like, if your whole video is a joke and it's not funny, like, that's just, that's not good. And he chose uh, this out of all of the films that he has on his channel. He chose this one to, quote this unquote, is the one worthy of remaster. remaster. Yeah, as if it's supposed to represent a point well at all. It doesn't. No. So hold on, I'm kind of foggy on the remastering element of this. Is he seriously <laughs> remastering an old fucking YouTube video? Is that what I we're can doing explain? Now? So they were all a part of Escapist, <laughs> so a different channel. He's just moving them right. over whenever he has a, a time where he doesn't make his own video for the year. It's not a remaster; it's just re-uploads. That's it. Oh, so yeah, remaster yeah, so. sounds cooler. So. Way cooler, yeah. <laughs> That's so cringe remastering YouTube videos. <laughs> <laughs> remaster. Hey, I've considered it for, for the, a new generation. Uh, the older TLJ ones. I, I thought about it at one point because the visuals on them was is so different to the way I do it now. But then All again, from I was like, cringe. I, was like, yeah, I, I actually, I kind of did with my um, Republic Commando review because it was the first video that I made for Geeks and Gamers and um, Josiah uploaded it, re-uploaded it with the Geeks and Gamers logo, but re-uploaded it at 30 frames a second. And that always drew me up the wall. He did the exact same thing with my Force Unleashed one. So when they announced the re-release of Republic Commando, I talked Jeremy into letting me just like re-upload it with a new intro and mm -hmm. have it actually be at 60. And so, I don't know. So that you, I changed, think is... you changed the content of the video. Uh, well, I mean, I did add a new intro and basically said, hey, this game's being re-released on PS4 and Switch next week. And uh, yeah, I made a review of the PC version like a year ago or two years ago, whatever it was. And um, the, it looked like crap when they uploaded it. So here's a version that looks good. Um, enjoy I mean, that's, my that's old fair. Review. Like that, that would count as a remaster, I'd assume, because you want things to well, look better in some, the future. Some people are saying that it's probably on purpose to make fun of remasters, but I'm just like... I'm so confused. But I don't think remasters should be made fun of. Like, there's value in remastering but certain games. Most of them come out like they've improved. Like a lot, there's a lot of ones where they go, "Oh shit, they've actually somehow made it worse." But that's what we usually end up saying. Somehow they made the remaster worse. <laughs> Not, oh, that's part of the mm -hmm. course. Can you imagine well, uploading a director's cut of your YouTube video? <laughs> <laughs> Jim yeah. Sterling's. That would be cool. One hundred percent objective <laughs> review. Yeah. That's too. Oh, that would be a fun idea, though, to take an old video and not not just remaster it, but remake it. Um, I am doing. Like, that. I will. Like I'll. I'll. I. I should do. That. I should take an old video I covered years ago and, and then just essentially remake cut. a response to yeah. it. Updated. That just to Bring see how to... different they are. Maybe even calling style it... and all that. Well, like, calling you... the video a uh, a remaster instead of a re-upload sounds a lot like calling your video a critique instead of a review. 
I do that. Well, well <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like several of us. Shots do over that. here. <laughs> yeah, All our confirmed double cringe. Wow. Could you, could you technically <laughs> argue that a review is purely subjective, but a critique is well, inherently objective? The difference for my ones is is the tone. Usually, in a critique, I'm, I'm trying to be as straightforward as possible. I'm not. I'm not doing it for like. Like in the rage videos and praise videos, I'm trying to like generate a very specific kind of experience or whatever. In the critique ones, I'm trying to talk to you as if you're in the room with me about storytelling. It's like this isn't working, I wonder is it? If, well, I like, isn't that basically bad, what I said though? Where kind the, of. I mean, I'm trying to the, be fair to all references that I use in the rage ones as well. Like, I'm not trying to, you know, fuck around or anything. I'm trying to make sure I get it all right. I think a critique is be based on subjectivity, so I don't know if that's always true. Like I suppose. Oh, yeah, those words can refer to a lot objective. of things, I'd imagine. <clears throat> right. I think they might just be baggage as well, because when people think of review, they think of, like, the IGN five-minute don't say a lot, or, like, yeah. the newspaper column one where they just say a bunch of vague things about a film without really going into much detail at all. There's a little it's something like for everyone. A lot of <laughs> IGN videos yeah. aren't too far off from Jim's video yeah, here. Yeah, but that's but the third right. Oh, so third right? What? A little something for everyone. Oh. Ah. Uh, well, it's like going on uh, Rotten Tomatoes and reading the reviews that are like one sentence that's just adjectives that could basically be applied to any movie. It's well, th like that. I mean, those uplifting. are like the summaries, but yeah, Stunning. like the, they're definitely, <laughs> it is, there is that issue of like the newspaper one where it's so short that it doesn't tell me anything. And it's like, what are we, what are we doing here? Like, you haven't. <laughs> I don't know. It feels like we haven't gotten anywhere at all. I'm no closer to understanding this film than I was when I saw the trailer. By the way, he's uh, this this stupid boring bit is done. You can return it to normal speed to see how he uh, wraps Caps this all up. up in a nice oh, okay. little bow. I'm excited now. This is going to be really interesting. Mm -hmm. Vote Republican. Well, wasn't that fun? <laughs> Wait, Honestly. what? What? The implication that Republicans want reviews like that, I suppose. Mm, Why would you? That's that's does, that doesn't look good for your side. <laughs> I think yeah. we have a problem <laughs> here, Jim. It's like lol. Republicans always looking for the information. You're like, what? What? <laughs> yeah. They don't care that's about a feelings. Republican thing now? Why? Why'd you give it Damn to them? Like policy dictated on emotions. What was that? It was it was luminal, subluminal, and superluminal from The Simpsons. <laughs> it was superluminal. <laughs> Just shout vote Republican at someone. <laughs> I came in late, so I didn't see what this man looks like before. But this is like alternate <laughs> universe Elton John. <laughs> oh, no. I can see the Elton John. In, yeah, I can see the inspiration, baby. <laughs> With the top enough, hat. I apologize for not having a, an all original gym position up on a Monday. You yeah. know me. I always like to have fresh content here as and when possible. Uh, but uh, this week has just been a thing. You don't uh, need I'll to talk explain more in detail it to me, about right. everything that's been going on uh, in a state <laughs> of the world. Well, the part about how hard a week you had in a video it, from three years ago. That's where I talk about behind the scenes stuff. And there's quite a so bit of So he's not even wrapping it up. Never mind. This is a waste of fucking time. Still, we've got more content coming. We've got internet content. On but imagine you've completed your the thing at like four and a half minutes. You're like, there's more on the way. Do not worry. To me, I'm like, you haven't done the intro yet. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like he didn't color grade the footage. Like, it's very washed out. Right yeah, in. yeah. From the webcam he shot it on. Like boys, when we advertise that. Probably not, but if you do, we've got that coming, yeah, and uh, we're still working on another season of Commentocracy. Some of you will remember that, so that's good. Uh, we do have stuff coming. Uh, do excuse. All right, well, there's no point in finishing this then, I guess. Yeah, this is <laughs> no. completely pointless. This entire video could be summed up in 15 seconds. We did Gosh. it. Just yeah, it's yeah. like a like, music in the background intentional. I think yeah, so. yes, that's the, usually the music the track in the he always has. Is, yeah. Just like oh. a, a sort of semi-meta thing here, this is the problem with having a rigid schedule as a YouTuber, is that y you have to have a video up on Monday, so you put out a piece of shit like this. Right. right? You yeah. have to do it, so you're gonna, well, we gotta do something, what are we gonna do? Better grab this old video that sucks, and we're gonna throw, you know, a minute on the front end, and a minute on the uh, back end, and turn it into a five-minute video. <laughs> video and Ooh. and just shoot it out there into the world you know um 
boy, just just no. You don't yeah, I don't even think the minute on the back end, I don't think is new. I think he's talking about all the stuff that they'll have coming up on the escapist because he now wears mm -hmm. like a long wig. The, like, yeah, that's no, no, so this is how he was at the beginning of this. This was from a while ago in fairness, so yeah. yeah. But um yeah, it's it's not remotely insightful. Like but you it could be. You could make your position very clear and interesting on this, but like you did that, so nice, I guess. Mm. Um This was probably easier to do though. But yeah, yeah, um I just find that the discourse on the whole like being objective is impossible versus it's... not even Jim broke a sweat making this video. <laughs> <laughs> Shocking. I find the videos like this just make the discourse way worse because everyone's just like, yeah, objectivity is stupid. Trying to figure things out based on standards that relate to bubble is stupid. It's all stupid. You're like, okay. I yeah. don't have standards. Get the shit out of here. Yeah, I'm better than you. I don't have sta- what? Wait, hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> so, the full pog. Pog? On the bottom? Yeah, the bottom left of his- It's a, it's a, it's, it's a literal pog. It, it's, it's a, a milk yeah. pog. Yeah. Yeah. Long you- enough. you- yeah, Pogs, back in the 90s. Yeah. That's uh, that's another thing. He does Boglins and Pogs. Poglins. Yeah, and, we're not, and we're not talking about the mangled English language. We're talking about the actual product, Pogs. Pogheim. Yeah, it's not a Poggers, man. No. <laughs> you prefer to be called Poggers. Pogger in Pogs, I suppose. People I can almost Pogger. guarantee that this man is the leader of his local satanic temple chapter. <laughs> <laughs> um, Look at those gloves. So, who knows how many videos we will cover across the, the full 24 hours, um, but what I'm going to try and do is, is sneak the meme videos in between them as a, as a different style, we'll see how it goes. Oh. But uh, the first ones we'll probably try and watch in this stream, at least, is the uh, the ones that people would have seen in the intro. There'll be a couple people here now who wouldn't have seen them, and the people who made them can see what uh, we have to say about them, I guess. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play the, I guess, play them in order. The first one was called EFAP The Long and Hard of It Part 2. Uh, mm -hmm. by Stout Stag. Mm. This is um, the previous episode, which yeah, uh, yeah. Just in case anyone's confused, this is being seen in the from the spider Oracle. Yes, spider. that's right. There's a story. Two billion. Oh, the fuck? They are on planet Mars. They are on planet Mars. Chill the fuck out, total. Jesus. See you later. Holy fuck. <laughs> Holy oh fuck. no. <laughs> Very impassioned yell there. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that's plot armor if you survive that. Rags. <laughs> <sighs> Rags, please. What was that in your ribs? It's it a Luke like Skywalker a toy. Luke Skywalker toy. <laughs> <laughs> is that Luke Skywalker? Oh yeah. yeah. I saw some people say it, it was probably Buffy. I was like, I'm not sure. Be either. Is that, I summon you. Is that Begidius pointing at a cosmic chicken in the background? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a cute little growl you got there, Rags. Yeah, thanks. I only got it out for special ah. <laughs> Mauler. Ah. What the fuck is this? I really actually don't have a definitive answer. I don't know. I just know that um, <laughs> like you know, the Force. <laughs> I didn't even know that. Was, I, I'm kind of dumbstruck. Wait. Are you on the Gideous, Gideous Trail? Trail? Yeah. You're in Greece. Yeah. I'm on a pilgrimage. How wonderful. You're in Greece. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell? What? What's the problem? We've got... What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? 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 Oh my god! Does it hurt? <laughs> you're out there, help me! Oh, Wait, man. don't flush it yet. Don't How? Flush it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you hear me? Yes. Oh, what go back to Kylo. That? Huh? That, I don't think, was me. It wasn't me. Think. Fair enough. Um, I, uh... Like I said, we have EFAP in an hour at most. 
we're we're doing we're doing EFAP today. Yeah. Fuck. So uh Realize I can't stop here. I have to keep going. Oh, that's cool. What the fuck am I supposed <laughs> to do? <laughs> I don't know. Is there a way to I don't know, man. I guess is killing all sentient life an easy solution? No. Well, let's see. The story and the legend of the cosmic chicken is always moving. So like I am I'm always here for you, Mahler, whenever you need me. Through thick or thin, day or night, winter, summer, spring, fall, autumn, everything in between, and even seasons that aren't on that list, but exist. Well, thank you thank you very much. Um I will go to the place. Excellent. Um <laughs> I suppose. All right, well Yeah, um I mean All right, see yeah. you later. Toodaloo. See you man. All right, there's gonna be a way that I can use my jetpack okay. of love to to get down. Like I don't, I mean, I, it's the force. I don't know. I can pro, I can probably just, I could probably fly. <laughs> hey, there we go. Fate has a way of stuff happening. I just have to get perfect timing. All right, here we go. Oh. oh my god. I didn't know you had a Mauler mobile. And it got <laughs> killed. In, yeah, in my a lot of things, you know. <laughs> oh, that's so I can get angry. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Matt. Man. What a piece of shit. <laughs> what a piece of shit. Humans are shit. Wow. Okay. It is pretty, uh. It's pretty bad. Not gonna lie. It is pretty. Pretty awful. But, let's stop for one second here and think about it. I've got provisions. I've got um, a little little cheese stringy cheese thing. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. <laughs> I'll keep that in my pocket for later. Also, um, what if maybe... Um, I know who this is. Oh, who are you? Sonny, I'm the sheriff. Hello, I'm Rags. People call me... The Dawn. Yeah. I know all about the greatness that is the Dawn. I like your smile. <laughs> 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 So Wonder Woman can watch Cyborg Flash and Aquaman's EPK teacher. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 All this <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Mm. Kind of intense. Oh, I'm. I dig it. I am. I just don't even. <laughs> if, if you would Cidic like stacks. to, um... yes, I will have dinner with you. Oh yeah, there, oh, there is. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's make it happen. Now we're talking. So let's. Um, I need actually to head out. Uh, if I have a podcast. It's pretty. It's a. It's pretty great, but uh, I'll, I'll be gone for a while. So if, well, if, I got something before you. Absolutely, looking forward to it. Well, uh, I guess we'll catch you next time and around and in between and all that stuff. Yeah. So uh, yeah. How about a smile for me, huh? You know what? There it is. There you go. Some crazy shit going on in the background. Yeah. yeah. Bye. Right. Yeah. Clearly, Goliath. <laughs> Twelve angry women. It's the time of the month. Oh no! <laughs> I like how the the signs are also in Greek. He remembered I was in Greece, so all the signs have Greek on them. Yeah. Weekend warrior on the wall. Bob. Oh no! I remember that drawing. <laughs> Bob. Bob. Mahler. Bad. 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 Horrible monster. Horrible. monster. 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 He looks just as disgusting as he does in real life. It's uncanny. <laughs> His appearance is always so unsettling. <laughs> yeah, it's like an actual photograph. <laughs> Drooling. <laughs> oh my god, what a cliffhanger. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I have to know what happens next. People you've killed may be criminals, but they're stuck fucked. Nice. Brothers, you've crossed the line, and I can't accept that. Tell that to Zod's snap neck! 
What's up, Paul dear? I have a dream. Get <laughs> 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 fucked, man. Get fucked, man. Ah, excellent. Nice. Fuck you, he man. Excellent. Beautiful. I love how oh. his art captures the likeness of everybody seen on screen. So yes. I know we're not I know that we're not supposed to pick our favorite children, but um <laughs> this is really good and I <laughs> I absolutely adore these. Um uh, it it the voices go so well, the art and the little animations and everything. It it really is like you you just buy that it's an actual like a show with episodes and you're looking to see what happens next yeah it's, it's so good it like transcends being a meme for What's just um, a moment there at the beginning i was like did mauler and rags record this because yeah, yeah i, I, I wanted really to know well together. like i i couldn't tell if this was like something that you guys had scripted or if it was just ripped from from evhaps yeah, and, I mean, and eventually I could figure it yeah, out. Yeah, I think you can like, figure it out eventually, but like, it is hard as fuck to get to the point where you're making us wonder. Yeah. Um, no, it's super good. Yeah, it's from Stout like, Stag. Uh, it's called EFAP, The Long and Hard of It. This is the second part. We covered the first part. I don't know when, but um, yeah, I really love this little ongoing story he's making and uh, really neat. All the production elements in it. Yeah, it's really yeah. good. Great sound design, not just the ambience, but when Mahler's coming down on the parachute, it pans from left to right. Mm hmm. Um, a lot of, <laughs> lot of attention to detail. I like that. I Super figures good. Probably makes sense actually to just play the three intros at this point instead of like breaking them up just because these are the intro videos. So it's, uh, it makes the most sense to me. This one is uh, actually like a. We, we had, if you remember the EFAP 100 intro, was uh, amazing from uh, Gaia Ray. I think that's how mm. that's said. Um, this one's called 150 episodes of EFAP, but we tried pretending it's what we wanted. Oh. <laughs> Great little reference. <laughs> That's a great line. The critiques are poor. Those bonies. Those bonies. <laughs> <laughs> I saw wet bread. <laughs> Hello. This is incredible. White Samari. <laughs> That was great. <laughs> hey, it's me. Wow, the ego on this person. Yeah. I know, right? <laughs> Very good. Quite the beat. Did it good. I am curious if that is holy custom music because it was a bop. I think it is. Um, it I'm is. pretty sure yeah. it is. There were mm -hmm. uh, there were credits later on, and there were like three people, including one was a composer. Super super bop. Oh, that's the other. So music info track clocks bones NCS release provided by no copyright sound. So it's. A track ah, you gotcha. can find. It's the next one, yeah. Because yeah. in the intro, they played one after the other, so that's probably mm. why I was thinking, yeah. Yeah. Um. But just another fucking fan. It's such a like a hype generator. Those intros for <laughs> like, <laughs> you really are. Yeah. They're legit impressive. Mm hmm. Got me tapping my toe. As we're yeah, watching. man. Um, and then we have uh the third one, and uh the third one is that is that the name? Just <laughs> well, it's the cool. Third one. Um, the third one. Also, um, I imagine for the people who've made these videos, they're probably disappointed to see that Watch Together is not playing them in the highest of quality, and unfortunately, I can't do anything about that. It just doesn't. It refuses sometimes. Um, 
piece of shit. Yeah, we hate Wash Together. Also, thanks Wash Together for supplying. <laughs> <laughs> we can't do this without you. Please don't be me. Please don't die. <laughs> Please don't um, bully. Yeah, so this is called uh, E5150 Anniversary. It's from uh, Mad End the Owl, and then there were uh, the, mm -hmm. I believe, oh, yeah. animation was done by Rigel, and the music was provided by Rainbow Soap, and Rainbow Soap's made a oh. shit ton of uh, EFAP boppers. Absolutely. It's an epic rap name. Oh, hey. Is that the Disney castle in the background? Might Possibly. be. Oh, yeah, maybe so. It looks like the Van Helsing castle. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> This is just—he's waving. I like that. Hmm. Laura's coat looks amazing. Ooh, I reckon all four of them look at that. I love Mel's little slippers. <laughs> yeah, they all look so good. I, I meant the the wind effect. Of, I think it looks really great. Yeah, Fringy's got his legs moving back and forth. I feel so cozy. This yeah. Music. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I adore that one. Like, yeah, that's so great. That was really good. Ooh, it's hard not to adore so that great. one. This is yeah. the funny thing. The, is... the tone for all three of them is very different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That one is, I like, legitimately to... uh, emotional, though. That's, that's beautiful. I it's need like to, a Final like, Fantasy intro. I need right? to pay them to make, like, a, an animated icon. For, yeah. Um, well, yeah. That would I'm, be... I'm, if I could I'm get something stupid. like that for us that match... <laughs> And because when you talk, your your gif will play when you're when it's picking up sound. That would be really cool to see too. Make one with your mouth moving. Oh, that's true. You could do that. My, I'm not even expanding my uh, <laughs> my my little gray cells as much as I need to. Oh <laughs> man! If we were to assess this objectively, there are people Ten. standing on a rock. And there's oh yeah, <laughs> there are people, and by people I mean. A person, yes. a mysterious <laughs> figure. The face, middle oh space. Like, how did it get up here? Fuck! <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna roll it back to that, actually. <laughs> Hi, could you help me down? <laughs> Please. Look at it. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's a really, really uh, evocative image. It's just again, cozy is probably the best word for it in a way. Even though they're at the top yeah. of like this, this really <laughs> narrow thing. It's just like, oh, <laughs> I feel is like just this me is or a is... good point. I can just pay them in exposure. That's true. That's true. I uh -huh. I wasn't, yeah, I there you go. Easy. It. Yeah, I do that. I can't pay with them with money. I need that for, no, for my I can't mansion. Just... <laughs> yeah, I can't. It's a house. My mansions, if I am. <laughs> It's just like a house. It just has a really nice pool with a separate hot tub <laughs> section. Muller and Fringy's coats have like bends in the sleeves, and then Metals is just a shirt with lines. <laughs> I, I like it. It's, it's, it's a fun contrast. It's, it's yeah, really fun. he looks like he. You look like a character on Sesame Street. <laughs> I like this idea of as well taking his nose away because he doesn't typically obviously have one in the icon. The beard is just <laughs> between the eyes. I, uh, like, I, I really like the uh, the angular kind of art style that it's got here. Yeah. Just uh, it's 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 just a really it's 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 really great. It's just yeah. really great. It's, like, it's sharp. You've done such a great job. So. They've done such really, a great job. Really good. Um, it's also kind of cute that Metal seems like he's the only one who's aware of the camera. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he puts the meta in metal. Yes. Uh, it does. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. There's so yeah. much in the background. The there's like a there's like a cloudy cosmic chicken to the right. Yeah. Oh yeah, because of course we there's the, a lot of details on that moon there. Like a lot yeah, of a lot of neat little references. 
That's the Isle of Man legs. legs. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um. So the the moon or the the moon is it's got like little fans and stuff for computers. It's got the mm-hmm. Lucasfilm logo there on it. Yep. I yeah. have to zoom. I have logo. to open it up individually and zoom in on some other. I think but... the implication is that they're ready for the fight against the big corporate overlord machine. Against what Star Wars has become. <laughs> Um, we're finally, I've got someone to bring in now, so I'm gonna have to get rid of someone. How terrifying. Um, I suppose it makes sense to go by whoever was here first will leave, but before asking that, is there anyone who almost needs to go anyway? Like, that would be the more preferable, if there are no takers. Which... I, I, I'm willing to get going, just because um, I'm happy to be on here to begin with, so I, I do not mind stepping aside to let someone else on. Um, well, very well. Uh, well I... 24 hours to stick your <laughs> Yeah, probably take you back anyway later. Ah, possibly. I am a cyborg with nowhere to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Um, well, you know, thank you for, um, for joining us for the, what was that, the two hours-ish. Um, we'll yep, be yep. here for another 20, probably three, because of the way the brakes work. So, um, perhaps we'll see you again. Who knows? Sounds good. Thank you very much. And yeah, um, I guess if anyone doesn't know who I am and was wondering, I saw a couple of people being like, hey, who's uh, Terminator Tim Pool? And I'm like, uh, oh, I guess that's fine. <laughs> Tim Pool. So, oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm uh, Mark the Cyborg. I, uh, actually a cyborg, though, but I do have two human eyes. It's just my right leg is robotic. But uh, I make YouTube videos. I have a channel. And actually, I have a video ready to go for after EFAP, so I'm going to be paying attention to when you guys go offline. And then I'm going to put up my review of Days Gone and The Last of Us Part 2. There you go. Oh my God. Days, Days Gone is good, The Last know. of Us Part 2 is not. It's interesting yeah. because I still haven't gotten around to Days Gone, but I was told like after like a 10 hour mark, it gets like super great. So I, I was really surprised by how much I liked it. And I guess the main point of my thesis is that it it's a video game and like Last of Us kind of isn't. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I'm, I talk about that for 40 minutes. And yeah, it's on Steam now. It was a PlayStation exclusive, but uh, they ported it to Steam, I think about two months ago now. It's been a little while. I've, I've been yeah, working yeah. on the script for some time, but yeah, it's a 40 minute video. I'm pretty proud of it. And well, I do do still work with Geeks and Gamers. You I'm starting to put do. my, oh yeah. I, I also do work for Geeks and Gamers, but um, I'm trying to kind of get my own channel going a little bit more. And this is going to be the first big like review that, that I'm doing for it. So yeah, if, if anyone wants to check it out, uh, youtube.com slash Mark the Cyborg. And um, yeah, happy happy 150, everybody. And uh, Rags and Mahler, your new videos were both awesome too. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Um, yeah, it was All right. good to have you, and we'll see you around, sir. All right, yeah. take it easy, everybody. Yeah, we'll see you see later. later, man. Have a good you, dude. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, just... Also, I, I uh, see you just messaged me and said, uh, I should point out that the moon is literally the corporate sphere. Hey. Ah, the corporate oh, sphere. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah. <laughs> Terminator Tim Pool. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop seeing it now, right? Like, <laughs> it really does look <laughs> like it's clearly that. Mr. Ads from Heel vs. Babyface. Hello, sir. How do you do? Wow. We haven't seen you in ages. No. I know. It's, it's been so long. <laughs> Who is this? I don't remember. Per- help. Hey, you should be more excited. That's your wrestling friend right there. <laughs> you could talk to yeah. all things wrestling. Yeah. Right, yeah. Didn't wrestling things happen yesterday of interest? Oh, oh, big oh, things. oh yeah. Big things. I, I even was... did a video for Sports Wars yesterday after I finished Friday Night Tights. I was up till 7 o'clock in the morning. Oh, my yeah, God. Ridiculous. I was, so, no. I, was, I was sober after that happened. Again. Oh, man, look at that. <laughs> chat, chat. You are making me, you are making me smile. Making him blush. <laughs> I know. Hi. 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 Hello. Well, you know what? You're just in time because you're possibly the only person here who has familiarity with the person we're about to cover. Grace Randolph. That's Mm. it. So for those who don't know, The Suicide Squad came out and a lot of people had a lot of opinions. And Mm -hmm. apparently she she had one that was quite disagreeable. I've not even seen the video. I didn't actually check this one. I've just seen that people are pissed at it. And I was like, huh. What does she do? Right. What does she say? 
Oh. Um, Did you? Are you trying to get us cancelled again, Mahler? It is. This is a female. <laughs> we are covering a female, so I am. Okay. You know, got to be careful, everyone. Uh, just <laughs> I just hate females. Those people. <laughs> um, <laughs> But, but the thing is, I can't really introduce her as a creator. So she's like, like, as what, what's, what's the, what, what does she do? What is her thing? Do you know? I, I would call her a pop culture commentator. All right. I would call her a retard. Oh. That's it. We're done. Oh. And we're cancelled. Oh, there's a knock <laughs> on the door. Uh oh. <laughs> what's going on? Um, As people already pointed in the chat. I'm German already. I ha I don't have many points left. Like, can't. <laughs> <laughs> I do you think you ended up on that big mountain, nearly falling off? You know, this is punishment. <laughs> <laughs> this is punishment. Um, it's not as a wave. This is like a cry for help. So yeah, she she reviews <laughs> stuff and things, and she reviewed this. And and from what I gather, it's mostly liked the Suicide Squad. Uh, so she yep. must have pissed them off in the opposite of that, um, which means she must have said she... something. Go ahead. Is she objective or subjective? No fucking. <laughs> this I guess we'll find it's out. Very, say, very important. Yeah. yeah. We shall discover exactly what she has to say. Because this is the thing. This is gonna be a great little adventure. I don't know what's gonna happen. Nobody sure. on the face of the earth Whoa. tried harder to like this movie. I think we should probably comment on these gonna... this format. It's a. Oh, I, I need the link. Where's the? Uh, oh, where's sorry. The yeah. Uh, if you scroll up, you'll find it. But I can try and get it for you again. Oh, yes. in a Turn that down. That kind of flew in my face there. Jesus. Yeah, she's I'm, really I'm the aggressive. New, I'm the new kid. <laughs> there you go, new you kid. Thank you. So I'm coming into the womb. She's got the the square that's not quite in the top right. It's snaps to the to the right <laughs> side, but not the top. Then the poster, what are we and then. Talking about? I had to grab a beverage. So this looks like one of those websites from 1990. <laughs> like a GeoCities oh, like website. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, they got that. Movie. They got that menu on the left. What's, not every blonde that? person looks like Harley Quinn. Come on. No, no, I don't know. No, this like, this the, looks like no, one of my from, thumbnails, you know. So. From <laughs> the, the first Suicide Squad when she was still a doctor or whatever. She oh, had kind of big kinda. glasses and the hair was down. So she well, looks a little like Harley Quinn. Maybe she will role play her in this video. I think that's what's so, that might be what's going on. So. Though. By the way, if you haven't noticed already, the format is she's sort of given you her topics on the on the left. There you got let's not fight for media, mainstream audiences, social media. She's got didn't care for Peacemaker, King Shark, Harley Quinn, or Amanda Waller. What? Oh, it's already down vote. Let's just, like King Shark. Uh, hey, let me, this is, let me just ignore what whatever this says. So we have clearly separated spaces, but they're not separated really. Like it, we have like this black bar, but it goes like to the over to the right to the middle one. Audiences is, goes out of it. Then on the bottom, Star in all caps. On the too. bottom, the, yes. <laughs> on the on the bottom right, the chapter starts in the picture of the Suicide Squad. Like if you have like clearly There's a lot separated of stuff spaces. Basically, yeah, over stuff. these borders, it's, yeah, yeah, there's a lot <laughs> weird. Yeah, it's, it's very haphazard from a, from a design, this from a design really standpoint. Shit. It's it's really bizarre, and something that's bugging me. Um, you know how, like, when you try oh. to do lists and stuff, you huh? oh, all right, what's 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 the observation? <laughs> No, no, you, you said something was bothering you about this, and I was, it, I, it, just, it shocked me for a second, and I was, I, I'm glad I didn't have any, a drink in my mouth, or else I would have, oh, I would be wiping maybe, stuff off maybe, right uh, now. Maybe, uh, you guys can relate, but, like, whenever I'm writing something down in Word, and it's, like, listed like this, I like to use dot points for, like, the first one, and then I do indents with, like, the, the dash for the next sure. one. Sure, subcategories, to make, yeah. Yeah, to make it clear that it's like, oh, this is like under this umbrella. All that we have mm. here are indents, and it's frustrating me. It's, it's really it's also weird. <laughs> yeah, She's, um, I would have. I guys... use dashes a lot. I like me some dashes. Dashes yeah. are my friend. Did um, you guys notice that she's put drop shadow on it, but it's mainly over black, yeah. so it's... <laughs> yeah. So it's... <laughs> oh, you're right! Oh, yeah. Have... yeah. She has a passion for graphic yeah. design, man. You have to go yeah. out of your way to do that. That's not default. Yeah, that, that's different. Like, she applied... Like... The only useful part of the drop shadow is S and question mark. It's like, okay. Uh -huh. so, I'm just... That's I guess weird. I'm not understanding these colors. We've got text in white, text in light blue, and then text in red next to a poster that's mostly light blue. And all of the text is shadowed background. too. All of yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, every single, yeah, exactly. Even every the chapter. single one. Yeah, yeah. chapter is. I don't, 
I don't. I really. This is a bizarre image. It just. It, <laughs> it just seems a little haphazard to me. She she shoved stuff on screen and tried to make it work. It's just like, why don't you get like an actual? She's been doing this for ages, right? Well, just get a template. Just get a template that you can reuse for uh for different videos. If if this is like the format of the reviews, then yeah, template. I don't see why not. This is the kind of image that you can just like hear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's noisy. Then, it's a very and... noisy image. <laughs> I know she has so. those uh, those subscribe now templates that you can download and throw in. <laughs> Everybody oh, I've gets seen those. those popping up everywhere right. now. They're it's everywhere. Dude, it's, it's the worst yeah. when YouTubers grab them without putting them in properly, and so they're extremely fucking loud. And so they're like, oh, and then you a ding. ding. Press the fucking yeah. button. Oh, they don't balance the ding sound. Nobody does that, yep. and it's terrible. Yep. I mean, I'm so glad you're taking a piss out of this because I was looking at maybe putting one in my video the other day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. They're not, they're not all just anymore. Turn not it down. Okay, well, hold it. Well, hold it. They're not all made the same. They're, yeah. they're on a spectrum of obnoxiousness yes. and fitting, you know, in, in, in what style they appear and whether it fits in with anything else. And then there's the audio element. Some of them have the old school mouse clicky noise. Some mm -hmm. have the ding. Some have the ding. So you want to really avoid having that. <laughs> what was that? Like the clip on one of those. I think the noise production <laughs> butchered that one. Rag, right? Yeah, Rags, you got you went so different that Discord thought what, you weren't human. That? What? <laughs> really? <laughs> To, oh so, my to, 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 it's so fucking weird. Yeah, to explain what like happened, a spoon right? Getting <laughs> thrown into the sink. <laughs> to explain what happened. <laughs> <laughs> to explain Whoa. what happened for people who have no idea what's happened. So Discord blocks out like it, as best it can background sounds, and so Rags did such a strange voice that it blocked out pieces of what he said, so he just sounded like a monster. <laughs> Oh yeah. my goodness! <laughs> More of a monster than usual. Oh wow! So if someone could clip that for me, in, <laughs> they could do that on YouTube just, like, now. Post it in Discord or something, because I would like to no, hear that. Come, well, yeah, can... Rags, if you pull up the stream, just a uh, uh, left arrow like ten times, you probably have it. Oh, yeah, that yeah, might yeah. be true. Yeah. Um, I love how the paused image here just like implies she's subscribed to herself. And has no <laughs> You know, well, I'm subscribed, really are you? In a way, we're all subscribed to ourselves. That's right. <laughs> you know, I'm what really, really okay with those motion product, graphics, right? except for when they're just so blatantly bought or downloaded, and, you know, uh, and right. it's like... Just out of it, coherence with the rest of the video. It, right, it doesn't fit the style at all, like... Come on now, really? Hey, look, you, you need the poster taking up 60% of the frame just in case you forget what fucking oh. movie she's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so I listened to the noise. Not at all what I would have imagined it sound like. That was yeah. bizarre. Yeah, pretty that, is, that is bizarre. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this, this image is just, it's just a failure of design. <laughs> it's some... Yeah. Many, what the longest we've spent without have, listening to anything? Almost a million. I just she has... Almost she a has million. a million. No, Can she that fuck? Can't be real. I imagine most people listen to these. That's probably why. Can she why. hire one of the people that made the <laughs> meme videos, and maybe they can get something how, better for her? How do you have a million subs, and this is acceptable? This I would be embarrassed. <laughs> I just oh my so goodness. They all look like this. I think that this channel probably falls into the same category as Chris Stuckman, I think, in terms of like the appeal. You've been doing it that for ages. Be yeah. The well, appeal of a woman doing, talking about doing... movies? Like, what's the appeal? The no, only, I, I think, well, so, you can check and see when they first made their account on well, their so, channel. I, I think it's the, um, it's like the, you've done it for a long time and you do the thing where you like talk about movies, but in five to 10 minutes in very easily digestible, just the broad summary, you don't say a lot. Kind of like, again, Doing? like the IGN thing, you just, right, this... you talk about movies and people subscribe and then they'll always get something on like every single movie that comes out. And it's never particularly like in depth. And I'm not sure that you would be anybody's favorite. But like, there's a utility, I guess. I if you are someone's favorite, that says more about them, if anything else. I would think Frankie's trying to she, say that no one's joined... passionate about this because it's it's wide appeal. But yeah, it's, she yeah. Nobody's. I can. She's nobody's that. favorite. Yeah. That. The only way yeah. this could get lower quality is if it was auto played during Hassan's stream while he's eating lunch. <laughs> 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 I knew this video was missing something. Well, by the way, he got, an, empty chair in the got an empty chair because he's gone off to, to make his nuggies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Grace Randolph's just playing in the background.
we talked about um, a moment ago how she must have, you know, how did she get 932,000 subscribers? Well, she joined November 3rd, 2008. Oh boy! Yeah, I, I, honestly, I think oh, that is it. Wow, <laughs> you've Man. just explained it. Get get in early. Well, I, that's helpful advice. Now, build a time machine and go back to build a time machine. Get in early. Mm. Make lazy content, but for a long time, but consistently <laughs> lazy for a long time. That is key. Well, Google I've actually, me. I've actually watched some uh, videos about um, like Game of Thrones, specifically the books and some other fantasy stuff. And the videos themselves are meant to be more kind of like a podcast, and they do have this kind of text. And it's very low quality. It's like someone who's just kind of slapped the stuff on the screen because it to to have something other than just like you know a black background and they're more videos that you would kind of like listen to like uh, as you would a podcast but with this like she obviously like she has her webcam so she wants people to see this garbage and i don't know why she's okay. also one of those youtubers who like doesn't have a dedicated microphone right they they just take the audio from whatever their webcam? laptop speakers that are. is not okay <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. That's not like okay say, for how big your channel is. It's not yeah, okay. Yeah, all the time I tell people, if you're gonna splurge on something, have it be a microphone. Microphone, yep. come on. Yep. I just got Absolutely. myself a show this week, last week. So, you know, come on, guys. Come on, up your game. I mean, you can get a, you can get a rock solid microphone for like 60 to 80 bucks. I mean, there's no excuse. Yeah, I think that's why it hurt my ears the very second the video started up because it must be that laptop speaker. It was just, oh, how can you? There's, there's that's there's man. something about her cadence when she speaks that just makes we'll, me so we'll get to that. Uh, <laughs> so I was gonna yeah, say, so, uh, I feel like just by looking at her, I know exactly how she sounds. <laughs> It's like, you oh, know, those uh, videos of the, the AIs people make that sound like humans. I, I'm convinced she's one of them. She's the closest to, to real human. Yeah. Well, Google has it down as a an American film critic. Ah. That's mm -hmm. that's not Google. And, oh wait. And, uh, I just I just did a little check to see you know how healthy the channel is comparative. I I compared her to my channel because I'm an egotist, <laughs> uh, and I have two hundred and eighty thousand subscribers. She has nine hundred and thirty two. She right. has got six thousand more subscribers this year than I have. Hmm. Okay, but when did you start YouTube? Uh, 2012 bet... as a gaming channel. I hmm. bet you get more views per video than she does on average. Probably, yeah. I would Let's imagine. have a look. Yeah, maybe um... there's an interesting like sub count to view count ratio going on there. Yeah, I yeah. actually um, I had a conversation with uh, someone who was starting up a, a YouTube channel and whatnot, and I was telling them like, people get hung up on the subscriber number way too much because you got channels uh, like oh what was it um uh it's the hbo's channel i think or something they have like millions and millions of uh subscribers and some of their videos are getting like two thousand views which yeah. is just bizarre yeah and uh mm. what what's uh What's the number one subscribe? What was that like? T series? Yeah, oh, T series. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do we even really need to? It's like, come on. Yeah, yeah. I agree if about she can the get analytics. This many subscribers with this content. I'm just gonna stick a PNG of the cover of the film and <laughs> talk about it on a black screen in the so, future. Here's another weird yeah. thing. I just lo looked at her videos and just went from sort by oldest first. Like, 12 years ago, first video, she had, like, green screen, was standing in front of it, <laughs> things in the background. Oh. Look, looks way better. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, now she's easier. made it. She, she was have to better do that. before. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Now she just pushes out a bunch of, you know, just a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm scrolling <laughs> for the newer ones, but they're all in this format. Why YouTube didn't, regression? Like, why didn't you take like that? You, you get famous and rich, screen? you get lazy. Weird. And when you look at Mahler and myself and all kinds of other people, you see how it, it changes a lot over time. There's this big increase in the work and effort that goes into like the visuals and the audio and everything. And with some people, it's the opposite, because once they get to that point where they're just where they can just coast. Oh, they just she's outside. She's outside interviewing people it's, as well. It's genuinely way oh, better. Look at her first that video. That sounds like a lot of work. Look at the editing like in it. It's it, There's images that, that are relevant to the things she's saying. 
Yeah, <laughs> I just click through it. It's like moving in and out. It's like, what, what, wow. what is happening? But yeah, it's, it's but now that I'm big enough, I don't have to worry about that anymore. I just glide ah, on my now, own success. I don't have to was, worry. She, uh, was she part of an MSN uh, and they were kind Providing of fighting an editor it. for it, maybe? Oh, yeah, that could be. Yeah. That could oh, be. Maybe, maybe. I didn't even think about that. Maybe. Um, hmm. I mean, she could have I just realized that she yet. doesn't have to do it, right? Mystery. Like, we haven't even started the video. The mystery is just. <laughs> This is an oh well, I was going to say. So I'm afraid we have to. We've got someone coming in, so someone's going to have to leave. And according to the the way that at <laughs> the entry, well, so I first of already? all, already, wow, that was quick. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> it's, been um, a, it's been a blast. It really has. That would be funny if you just came in like a hundred times, but for just a couple minutes every time. <laughs> <laughs> That's how the rotation works. <laughs> I'll um, see you in two hours for another couple. Okay. So um, I'll see you in ten minutes for another two minutes. Assuming everybody <laughs> would like to stay, it's going to have to be between M and Blame. All right, I'll see y'all later. Oh. <laughs> all right, I have to I have to stay for twenty four hours. Yeah. I went shopping to get snacks and all kinds of stuff before mm -hmm. this. I um, got you're in for the long beer. haul stuff. This is the, the, I had you both at the same time, so now I can't be objective about it. <laughs> oh no! Oh, no. I, well, luckily, because I got beer, now I have beer bottle caps that I can use, and I will flip it to decide who goes and who stays. We will let oh. Blue Moon decide. Very well. Mm. All right. Um, if the Blue Moon lands upwards, then um, M has to go. If the Blue Moon lands downwards and blame goes and then they can come back later because we'll be here for a whole fucking day <laughs> so <laughs> I mean, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna flip it we're gonna see what happens blue moon is up which one was I that? I forgot was what that? you said. Yeah, I've, I've got, I forgot. I forgot what the rules were. I forgot what that, 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 that means. That, that's him. Oh, uh, I gotta go. All right. Yeah. Well, All right. We'll fun. see you okay. later. Like I said, we'll uh, see you in a bit. We'll grab I'll you back. Around. Don't worry. You'll get back. No, I'm not worried. I've been... Rhymes. This is like my 25th time being here or something what? like that. Like, <laughs> I'm not that <laughs> worried about it. I'll be back. <laughs> and you'll be back All for right. a 26 in a few hours anyway. So Right? Okay, guys. Have fun. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye. Bye. See -bye. Bye. 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 you later, man. Belch. Nice one. All right. Outro belch. Man, what a ride. What yeah, a what a journey that was. We haven't even started the video. Let's <laughs> right, fucking do it. Oh my ah. goodness. It's Jay. I hope Jay doesn't have any commentary for the, the format of the video because we've got to get into this video at some point. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what do you think of, Jay, what do you think about this image? <laughs> Does it make your ears bleed and it's not even have sound? Like <laughs> I I feel like I can hear it. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. know, yeah. That's uh, the noise. Right. Smells like a wet carpet. There's your know, wash it, together. It's more low quality static for me. Um, I'm old, okay. So the audio is going to peak this, immediately. This, it sounds like um, everywhere at the end of time, but the parts you yeah. skip. <laughs> what? That's fine. Don't worry about it. Carrying on. Um, I'm going to go back to zero, <laughs> and we are going to listen to what is one of the most unpopular reviews of the Suicide Squad right now. Let's find out why. Ooh. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Nobody yeah. on the face of the earth exactly. tried harder to like this movie. Just like what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not shocked at all. We got is one just... second further than before. Good yeah. Is... <laughs> <laughs> hey, this, is, this is six seconds. We, we did, did it. it. You know, we talked about audio quality. I think she needs to like get some soundboarding on her walls or something because it, I don't like. She's is in she an in, office. It looks like well, she's so, in an office. I, don't know. I was going to say, is this where she lives, or is she like on the move because she sees these that things looks at like premieres? New York. No, I think this yeah, is a uh, this is a typical position that she stays in. So I think this is her either her home or uh, oh, okay. or her office. Yeah. So that's a. It looks cold. I I would hate it. See, I like I, it. I, I, think I, think, I think it'd be cool it to live like, up somewhere like that. Yeah. I think the view yeah, of the city would be pretty cool. Made. Yeah. I think yeah. at night it would be awesome. The first principle of cinematography is that your eyes are drawn to the brightest part of the scene, and I, I just don't trust anyone as a film critic who lights like this, where it's like, yeah, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna make the background way blown out, and just have dark eye bags all over my face. It's disgusting. <laughs> well, I, mean, I mean, it seems but, to me that the... I feel like if you have a background like that, you should use it. Yeah, yeah but well, like, there's there's lots of ways you could use it. Expose your camera right. Yeah, like that, with, and you need you need a light on your with face. that poster too. Yeah, it's, it's pretty distracting to have such a bright spot on the poster. It's like, 
and and it's the center. You know, I don't know. This we we keep going over this part. We should listen to what she says. That's yeah, probably going to be the. <laughs> why you would have it be why? a black background Almost rather like than find a, a 1920 1080 image that goes across the whole thing. If you're gonna if you're gonna insist on having it be a still image. Oh, it's the like thing. The it like doesn't matter. Like, probably with people will watch this shit. I you never know. I never know who's really met who and stuff, so um, I guess if, if Blame and Az, if you guys haven't met each other before, you're sitting right next to each other in the call, so there you go, you'll know. <laughs> oh, yeah, hi. I, mean, I, I, haven't, I, haven't, I haven't met anybody, really. Uh, just a couple That's of people sad. That were <laughs> from... That's a bit lonely. Yeah. That's really it's depressing. Whole life. So <laughs> Bringing down the... Yeah. You're well. kind of vibing over here until you said that. Uh, <laughs> wow. Fucking asshole. Well, I always, I always seem to get the far left. I always get the far you're, left. You start with A. You yeah. start with A. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, you're on the far left. Thought Theater is the I far know. right. Well, we like to have Jay in the center. They're both the same. They're both the same. Let's be honest. I don't the want to uh, far right. <laughs> I don't want to sidetrack the conversation too much. But, oh, um, have, uh, don't you go as, for it. <laughs> what is the, because, uh, you know, some, I, I always get asked, like, why, why did I name my channel Blame the Controller? I wanted hmm. to know, why did you name your channel Heel versus Babyface? Because uh, I, I'm a bit of a wrestling fan, and uh, it's a wrestling terminology. A heel oh, is heel. a bad guy. And, Yep. Yeah. Okay. And a, and a baby face is a good guy. So I I was always going to be talking about stuff that I liked and I didn't like. So I thought it had that sort of synergy there. And you know, as you know, the the internet is such a. Caring I thought you and just hated place. children. No, yeah, just kick them in the face. Mm. <laughs> going around kicking kids in the face. Okay. Yeah. How to kick we'll go with someone that. with your heel? Forget we'll what I just said. Skill. We'll go with that one. We'll go with that one instead. <laughs> You stomp on them because babies I, are yeah. small and short. So yeah, they, can't, they can't fight back. Yeah, just stomp yeah. on them. Yeah. I've never heard anyone describe a baby back. as short before. You'll never take me alive. They are, really? They are short, though. Babies, yeah. But it's, it's just not a word that people normally use. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. We went back and restarted the video and then played it again and only made six seconds through this time. <laughs> well, we made one yeah. second of progress. You wait for it. <laughs> The UI is just so atrocious. It's hard. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. We're doing it. All right. Then so, oh, wait, wait, wait. Speaking, you... speaking no. of UI, no. as, as I noticed no, your thumbnails, you used that. No, no, shut up. No, and quit it. We're going to be here for a day. We got time. <laughs> as I noticed that you had your thumbnails used to be the whiteboard and you'd yes. make the things. What, what got you to change? I just, I just thought it'd run its course. I just thought it'd run its course and it was time to do something a little different. Did you keep um, it? Do you still have it? Yeah, it's. I actually found it the other day. Yeah, I found it. It's back. Oh. I, I, I can. I can bring it back. You know. Do at least Anytime. one more for All rags, right. okay? Just push one. Just put. Well, no, I mean, thumbnail. it's not like a. It's not a huge. You don't have to do that on my account. I was. I was just curious why, because that's how I. They always had a very distinctive look to them. The thumbnail and the writing and no one else i'd ever saw had done that so yeah it's so it, they were my anti thumbnails because i used to see people with like they'd spend hours on thumbnails and they'd be you know some of them be good and some of them would just be messy and i just thought i, I just want like to this. create the, yeah i just want to create the anti thumbnail so i just bought a, a whiteboard and some pens and then i thought yeah i could just write what the yeah, I can just be. fucking write Captain Marvel takes a shit on Chris. Yeah, and then wipe it off. Hold it up to the picture. And, you know. I liked it. I thought it was very unique. Oh, no, yeah, I liked it. Are you are you trying to hustle me into bringing them back? You can no, do what, like you could do whatever I'm, you want, honey. Yeah, you know, I, I was I was legitimately just curious why why you swapped. I mean, who knows? Maybe it'll make a comeback. Maybe it'll be. A th I don't know. It's uh, I think may, you should maybe do something more minimalist. I think you should just have like a black thumbnail with a single word on it. A letter or a letter. A video. A letter. Yeah. <laughs> video twenty one. Word video. Oh eight. Yeah. Two thousand one. This is a video period. Your video, your video, the video, your video titles are just video and then number. <laughs> yes, <laughs> or just video and then date or something like that. You know. Yeah, whatever the video computer rate for the screenshot <laughs> with the date and everything on it. Dot JPG. You know? Dude, it'd be really cool if there was a YouTuber from like 2005 or six or whatever who had been naming them Video One, Two, Three, Four. They just never stopped because they don't want to anymore. It's I like... think I think Lockpicking lawyer, lawyer does that. Yeah, he. Yeah, does that. he he has oh, titles yeah, prop yeah, yeah. he has titles proper but he'll also have in the, the, the in the title the number that it is Ahoy does that so. in uh, Roman numerals he he numbers all of his Oh uh, really a, mm -hmm. There's a couple oh, of not on the um, title though 
Oh, there's a okay. couple of gaming channels that uh, that I Look follow like that do that too. That have the um, they're like up, you know, video number eight hundred or whatever. Also, like we used to have to do that when I did like let's play videos. I would have you know video Minecraft episode three hundred and twenty eight, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Um, well, when it's, well, it's all one continuous series, it's more it's more important to have, well, it's it's certainly more relevant to have the numbers in the title, right? But when it's literally just a YouTuber uploading their next video, I like the idea of them putting just, you know, unrelated. video 600. <laughs> unrelated. That's the, um, the end of Ahoy's recent video wow, about the flamethrower. You're making me gaze longingly at the uh, Wait, this the is his 2021st now. video? <laughs> yeah. Wow. He's, so he's oh, uh, to, to make that make sense to you. He used to do um, breakdowns of individual guns in COD, so they would be really quickly done. Like you just slam oh, through okay, them. Okay, I got you. I got you. Oh, I bet no. they got oh, eaten up. Two thousand is like. Well, like, I, I think that's a lot of videos. I, th I, th I, th I think he was obsessed with like this is the thing. That's why he's doing what he's doing. He he knows his shit about like all guns and all video games. Well, normally, people use Roman numerals to count to like twelve. <laughs> Your face. Some, oh, people, right. some people are saying Fuck it's the year, me. so I don't think it's the year because he does it for it changes every video. Um, it's as just a counter. coincidence. It happens to be the 2021st video. I think in so. The year of our Lord 2021. Unless, unless I've been tricked, and this whole time he's been doing it literally just the Roman numerals for the year. But that I don't know. That just doesn't seem as. Because um... if you're getting to in, because here's the thing about Roman numerals, they are not. When you start to get into particular big numbers, they can be long as fuck. Well, the BBC um, over here in the UK, no. when, oh, when they have a show, when the show finishes in the end credits, the the date of the show is always in Roman numerals. Um, well, in, so wait, Jones, in fairness, so right? people are saying he's only got two hundred eighty-six videos. I'm pretty sure he has more than one channel, but I'm not. Um, now, if everyone's saying it is the year, then it probably is. It, it's quite a coincidence. True. Because it would be, it would probably get to a point. I think a lot of people would say, "Oh, here's a cool idea. I'll use Roman numerals to do videos," and then they start like actually following through on that, and they realize that Roman numerals are kind of shit, and so they're like, "No, I'm I'm actually gonna stop because this is getting crazy, <laughs> and I feel like I'm doing math, but I'm just writing a number down." What's his other channel? I, I'm pretty sure it's like Ahoy Two or something. Uh, I'd have to check, but um, I think U.S. movies have dates in Roman numerals. Is that yeah? True? That I'm pretty sick. sure all films like right at the end they have. That's the, neat. Yeah, I, I think the like format it. just gets in the way at this point. I mean, well, when it gets when long, you're dealing yeah. with huge strings of letters like X V I I V, I'm, I'm, I don't know what the fuck that is. I'm not even gonna. Yeah, yeah. you have to like <laughs> try sit there and well, break it down. I assume it was, it was that's part of it though, right? Like, it's it's kind of like you can find out exactly what that is if you're not familiar. And it's a fun little like I don't think it's supposed to be informative. I guess like, that's as the thing it yeah, be. it's more of a style I thing than anything else. I, I'm not right, sure yeah. if maths is supposed to. Well, maths can be an adventure in a certain it sense. Can. You know, Especially if you're I, using I, Roman numerals. That feels like a kid show that probably exists. Like, just adventures with numbers. It's like one, two, and three going on a spaceship, flying around, learning. They go to the planet of division and multiplication and just learn new things every episode. That feels like a fun show. Some people are like, please play the Grace video. Are you new? <laughs> you have to be new. You know, you know who you are. You know, you know, you know you are. who I am. <laughs> So, Grace's dude. video is so just pure emptiness that it's more <laughs> entertaining to speculate on Roman numerals. Yay! <laughs> to, okay. To, fear, to come up with hypothetical children's shows based on anthropomorphized numbers. <laughs> uh, is Jay, are you in as well? I'm assuming you are. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Before we move on, can oh. I just say I don't understand? <laughs> oh, I just, back. I just don't understand yeah. why everyone's mad at Hassan. Three hundred million dollars isn't that much money to spend on chicken nuggets. <laughs> 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 what I mean, you guys want him to starve or something? That's What's that. wrong with you? What am I supposed to do? Feel... Die? Die? <laughs> yeah. That feels like it should be a feature in his house. You know, you walk in and instead of a waterfall, it's a chicken nugget fall. <laughs> Dude, just or it's just like, oh yeah, where it's ketchup, like a massive fondue no. thing. Oh, I, I mean, <laughs> just like, I just mean chicken nuggets. It's like a massive chicken nuggets falling down I'm, I'm and then going back. Him eating from that and he doesn't like grab chicken nuggets. He just puts his face to the wall. <laughs> <laughs> nom nom. My nuggies. Yeah, 
Mm. If ever we get more of that fan art, can it be that? Nuggy four. <laughs> <laughs> I never have to told. worry about dying again. I watch the dog's face against the wall too, just consuming. And he gives he gives the the nugget full legs so that it can come into a stream. So he <laughs> well, well, no, he he likes to go stretch his legs, but it it could work either way. Either he gives it legs or he well, brings a new pair of legs, so he doesn't even have to walk on his own legs. What if a like be his mum is like, can I just grab him from the nuggy fold? He's like, no, make new ones. <laughs> no, he <laughs> must be rushed. Yeah. <laughs> the ones I don't eat will go into the Nuggy Fall. <laughs> I like I like what Aiden said in the chat where he's like the Willy Wonka, but of chicken nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is chicken nuggets. Like, Did you make anything else? And he's like, no. Chickadee-do. His mom sews him a quilt made out of chicken I've got nuggets. a ketchup <laughs> back and for you. I got I, a golden I, chicken. chicken. <laughs> I got a golden nugget. <laughs> nugget, yeah. A golden nugget. You bite into it and you just... Your teeth break off. <laughs> and you're like, yay! <laughs> I get to go to Hassan's house <laughs> with, with five other lucky fall. children. I'm just, I guess I'm trying to think about what the features would be if you had a nuggy, like, Willy Wonka. So I guess the first trap would be, like, I guess a ketchup river or, or, or yeah, a nugget river, maybe? Yeah, that's what I think. A ketchup river, yeah. A ketchup river, yeah. And then it's I a guess. Ketchup the, river, yeah. The ketchup river, yeah. The next one, the. Where you have like a special nugget that turns you into a giant chicken nugget, it, would that be <laughs> the next one? Oh, like God. an experimental nugget well, not, that turns you a, into a big nugget. At some point, there's going to be live chickens, right? Oh no! Right. Well, that would the be harvesting. the last one, right? Where that, uh, whether the one chicken who was ring, like a yeah. rotten egg got tossed into, not an egg and nut got tossed in. So it'd be that was chicken. Veruca. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it would just be a bunch of crazy chickens that just be like, nah, you, you're you're a bad egg, and we're just going to toss you in with the bad eggs." Oh no! Well, it would just be the the chickens instead of laying eggs. They just they just poop out straight nuggets. Straight <laughs> <in your head. laughs> Incredibly chicken chemically, <laughs> everything's engineered, and they'd just be. I nuggy. feel like that's horrible. It'd be like if it, it, there are dude, kids like who think that's where they come from. But it'd be <laughs> yeah, like they called his son Pika. No, uh, but that would be like again if a human being just shot out an arm, just like an arm <laughs> falls out of their butt. Yeah, we're talking about a <laughs> fantasy scenario here. We can make whatever we want. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so Hassan being shit out babies. Hassan thinks that That's chicken close. nuggets come from his mom. That's all he knows. His brain <laughs> stops. <laughs> his life cycle. He just Close. assumes that his mom. The, water, just, like, the waterfall is a life nuggets. like. A lifelike I marble statue of his mum with chicken nuggets spewing out of his mouth. He doesn't even know what chickens are. He doesn't know that chickens are animals. He just knows that chicken nuggets are a thing that exists. He chicken thinks that's chick inside a chicken nugget, Rex. I like yeah, like there are just nuggets with legs roaming this, around in a field. This reminds me of uh you pluck them off of vines. This reminds me of a, like a video, uh I think it was like BuzzFeed or something. They were trying to convince kids. To, to go vegan or something, and they showed all the kids like how the chicken nuggets were made. Oh, thinking yeah. that, and they're like, like okay, yes. now who wants a chicken nugget? Me, me. And everyone. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't eat this chicken nugget, like, then that chicken do, died for nothing. <laughs> I do really like chicken nuggets. Like, in mm -hmm. fact, thinking about they're all this neat. makes me want to get a, chicken a good, nuggets later Yeah, on. a good chicken nugget is like great. The, not the shit yeah. you get at McDonald's or some crap like well, that. Well, it's really funny that you say thing. that, Rags, because I like the nuggets at McDonald's, but it's well, it might be because now, your, in the your McDonald's well, and our McDonald's it, might it be. It does sound that way that the the conversations we've had that like McDonald's yeah. in America is just absolute shit. Just they like, taste like is, a wet first carpet. time, um, the first time I went to uh, America, I had a McDonald's and it was garbage, and then I had McDonald's here a few years later, and it was fine. And I don't know if just my taste changed. It might, I, but I, I have a strong suspicion of American McDonald's. Have you evolved garbage. as a critic? A food critic? I, uh, critic? <laughs> quite possibly. I wonder, I, I it just seems to be, uh, maybe it's, is there like food standards maybe is a difference? Like, the worst well, you can get? Well, I mean, get, it, we have, we have, in terms of health and safety, yes. In terms of hey, what people minute, Grace, are willing to eat. <laughs> No, maybe like there are, wonder, there's, there's enough people. You got a country of 330 million or something like that. There's going to be enough people who just thought I just I just need something to eat right now. That's cheap. I'm, I'm going somewhere or I, guess I just, I just want to go in and get something. Because here we don't have a lot of choice. Like we have McDonald's Hunger Jacks, which is basically Burger King. We have okay. KFC 
and we got we got like a couple other things, but that's it. We don't have Wendy's. We don't have like IHOP. We don't have anything like that. We, we have, we have so very many. We have we so have, fucking. Many. I guess, but but that's kind of almost the point I'm building to. If we have less choice, shouldn't it be more likely that the food over there would be more competitive in terms of like trying to be better? Well, you know Maybe. they use different mm. recipes for different countries, right? That's that's yeah, true. That's true. Yeah, I think that's probably it's yeah. What the case different is, companies, yeah. I think, like Hungry Jacks is almost like independent from Burger King, even though it's a subsidiary. Cause, yeah, because hmm. here stuff like um, like Burger King and Wendy's are way better than McDonald's, and then you Very have true. the upper yeah. tiers that are far better. Um, five guys, stuff like Chick Fil A. Yeah, Five guys, stuff like that, which is just clearly better. And then, then top um, tier is always just whatever fucking independent restaurant you have around. Not even like <laughs> restaurant, right. like no, not restaurant. Wow, like, independent fast food places are always the top yes. tier ones. Yeah, yes. or the originals. Yes. So yeah. you have like we have Whataburger, but the original Whataburger is in Arkansas here in Russellville, and eating there is so much better than the chain Whataburgers because um, they're just run by different people. And it's it, it's practically a different restaurant. Um, and some are great, and some are. Uh, it just depends where you go. Because I do not. I just don't eat McDonald's. I just will not fucking do it. It's just. I right. had. It's just like I uh, had it a little while ago. Um, like uh, you know, I just needed like what you guys were saying. Like I just needed something quick, and I was on my way home, and I and I I grabbed it, and it was gross. <laughs> like I just. I like, and I remember liking it back, you know, years ago. Um. But when I tried it like a couple weeks ago, it was just nasty. Remember, there are I people was... in the chat right now that think Grace Randolph's video is going to be more entertaining than talking about this. <laughs> <laughs> <Just> talking about <laughs> I'm, like, like, dude, I'm, I'm learning so much about like American fast food <laughs> stuff. It's like super <laughs> interesting. I have but a strange you have relationship. Have you, and there are places I will not allow you to go. And oh, I remember. <laughs> um, I, I'm not sure if anybody's had this. Exp when I went to uh, I went to Malaysia on a trip once, and um, I remember the thing that blew me away was like, you go to KFC, you get like rice with with the chicken instead of uh, mm, like chips, mm. that, and that was just the case everywhere you went. Everywhere they served it with oh, rice, yeah. um, and that was that was surprised. super interesting. Cause, yeah, here it's, it's chips. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah chips. here it's fries and fries and chips are here, predominantly fries, but and oh Jesus, and just the discussion on who has the best fries. Some fries mm. are disgusting and some are oh, some fries, yeah. Blind. Yeah, I hey, I, I want to get in on this because because <laughs> I am I found a place that did some good fries the other day, but I am sick and tired of fucking floppy, wiggly. <laughs> Flipping pasty yeah. ass fries that we've been getting here in the UK. They're horrible. So you know, yeah, you want to have right. yeah. Then you have you crispy have the... taste, that potatoey taste. You want it? Come on, man. Come yeah, on, man. I want. Mm. I want. I don't want a potato. I want. I want what a potato could be. Potato. Yeah. You know? I want a. I want a potato's potential. Yeah. Served next well, to a dead cow. A That's yeah. what I want. Potential. <laughs> potential. Boom. I really like uh, sweet and potato waffle fries. fries. Whenever you can find, you guys them. have those. Oh, waffle fries are great. Uh, do you guys have? What do you guys have waffle, waffle fries? fries? The ones that like have the wave, like they yeah, kind they're of like a, they're like a grate. No, 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 they're like a grate. Oh, um, yeah, Chick Fil A yeah, waffle here. fries are amazing. Oh, Never Chick Fil A is. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like the um, like the lettuce. You know what they call it when you lettuce the uh pastry on the top of a. Huh. This this is like what a waffle you... fry is. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, I've had. I think I've had one of those before. Yeah, those yeah. are those can be quite good. They're often good. I would say that on average, a waffle fry is better than a yes. typical fry. Just something yes. about how yeah, they're made. Totally, yeah, they're low. Yeah. Oh, they can be so good because they get fried like throughout the the, the fry stuff. Exactly. Can get everywhere. Yeah. You know, inside of it and out of it, and it, they, it they doesn't turn a wet mush in the middle. Yeah, yeah. Because like even a, even a fresh potato that you dice yourself and serve up. They can be shit if you just don't make them as good fries. Mm -hmm. I also noticed that waffle fries tend to not be like they don't need to be salted as much as like McDonald's fries do. Oh, McDonald's. Yeah. Well, the thing is, McDonald's fries are basically just eating salt. <laughs> and grease. That's just McDonald's period. Like the, the potato, its only function is to just be a delivery device for salt. So it's, yes. it was made by Bender then. Oh, that's a reference that I, I, I'm not able to appreciate. Maybe oh, man. 
Yeah, uh, I, I haven't seen that episode. That's the thing. Um, man. So, it was like a matter of having to lose one of of Blame and uh, an M, so that one of them couldn't see what's going to happen in this video. But now we're going to have to lose Blame as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll take the hit. I'll I'll take off. I would I would like well, to come back though. You knew what you signed up for. <laughs> I was going to say in terms of the order back, you, were, though, if you got you, it space I was going to say you added later, so. You're not next in queue. If you if you can and want to stay, you can. You've got to be fair I about mean, it, I, John. I, I can, I can, it's okay. I, I don't know if I have a lot to contribute to Suicide Squad anyway, so maybe I'm a better fit somewhere else. Well, but, anyway, I, he's like, no, we have I'm, to I'm quite happy with guys. leaving a space for somebody. We're anyway. not, we're, we're, look, dude, we're not getting to the fucking video, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no one's going to talk about, you know, salads and something, and then we'll never shut up. Well, so interestingly, I was actually going to suggest a possibility that we actually take a I can't even say this. Take a break from the video and, <laughs> and, uh, and play what? and play a game of uh, Gothic Foe with the selection we oh, have. Oh fuck yeah! <laughs> so there oh, are people in cool. chat who's gonna be so upset. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I wanted Randolph to watch my Grace Randolph. I just uh, yeah, and I was gonna say, John, you're um you're actually very into drawing. We haven't had you on to draw shit in a while, and you haven't oh, even played I, Gothic Foe with us. I I would love to play Gothic Foe. It's true. Um, <laughs> you get them all with Gothic phone. <laughs> um, well, I, th that was honestly that was that was the thing I was going to be doing anyway. That's why I was like, oh, how do I break this to the chat that we <laughs> yeah, come for the Gothic phone, stay for the nuggies. <laughs> honestly, yeah. for what I see, people fucking love Gothic phone every day of the week. Yeah, I don't I think anyone's going to be upset about this. Um, phone. But yeah, there'll be only one person who's it. upset. I'm be, gonna be upset. It's not gonna be in my stream library this time. <laughs> um, so Let's stream this. Nah, do it. So, so, so I'm sorry, day. but um, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm getting another person in for the rotation. We got quite a few people to get through. Obviously, we won't be able to get through everybody. Um, depending on like how things work out, but I'm afraid, Mr. Blame. Yeah, yeah you, I you... overstayed my welcome. I <laughs> but yeah, of course, like I said, if you keep, keep an eye out for this stream, we're probably there's going to be a time where there's not many people around, and you'll definitely be welcome back in if, uh, oh, if yeah, you're yeah. still watching. So, um, but yeah, uh, thank you so much for joining us, and um, I suppose we'll we'll catch you around. Oh, uh, can I can I pitch? Go I pitch right first. ahead. Okay. Yes. Oh, um, fine. Uh, yeah, it's actually really simple. If you just go to clipcoin.com, it'll take you right to my YouTube channel for reviews. And uh, it's kind of like my secondary hobby thing. I have a main channel for gaming, but you guys don't care about that one. Uh, the, <laughs> anything, the, anything on the fries? No, nuggies? no, no fries. No oh. fries or nuggies. But uh, okay. my my review channel. So the last time I was here with you guys, I only had like 200 subscribers, and now I'm about to break 6,000. So Ooh, that's nice. right on, man. Neat. Kinda, that's really kinda great. Cool. And it's it's weird because. Like I'm actually getting excited about the the YouTube thing again because, you know, back when I made my gaming channel, it was like really exciting to get like a hundred subscribers and then five hundred subscribers and now I have like three hundred and something thousand, and it kind of gets you know mundane. But back with the the new channel here with the reviews and stuff from Clipcoin, it's actually like genuinely exciting again. It's like to to build the audience and all that sort of stuff. So. Well, it's nuts Anyways. because once you start making like a uh, a jump like that, like you start rising like quicker than you ever imagined. It's pretty nuts. So right, I hope you make it there real soon. Yeah, and um, mm -hmm. chat for reference, you'll you'll like his video on uh, John Walker quite a bit, I would imagine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and that was actually a request by Mahler to make that video. <laughs> oh yeah, when you told me about your perspective from um, how these things would go in real life, I was like, oh yeah, you should totally make that. It's uh, super interesting to think about. Um, of course, John Walker did nothing wrong. It he got did a, nothing wrong. You got to mention in my video is just it's incredible how much he's condemned compared to someone like Melina. Um, oh like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, and even Natasha and Yelena, all of them are monsters. So. Or you know Wanda, who <laughs> yep tortured an entire town. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, Clipcoin.com take you right to my YouTube channel. I'll catch you guys later. Thanks. Goodbye, yeah, sir. To lose. See you in a bit. See you later, man. Bye you. Uh -huh. Another one lost. And uh, there's another uh, one. Uh, another one. Gained. Now, uh, one. if you could all just remain in the watch together, I don't know when we'll be going back to it, but, you know, it's not gone forever. Don't want to lose sure. our six seconds of progress. Oh, you've been a yes. mistake. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Number really six seconds and zero info. So welcome, chat, right. to a sudden gothic phone. There could be 
you know, a couple of these as, as time goes. Um, hopefully everyone here has either played it before or knows how to do it. I also, have not. Welcome, Hawkus. How you doing? Howdy. Break that. I'm we're, doing fine. I'm sorry, Hawkus, we're not responding to a video. We're playing Gartic Phone. I know you hate that game, so if you if you can just... You can just, just are you able to deal with well, such I mean, things? It's no pummel party, yeah. that's for sure. Mm. <laughs> hey. That was a tiki man. An owl. A pizza. I'm, I made Porcus uh, sad yesterday that I didn't so invite him. That you have to like, rotate. You can't like choose. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a bizarre thing. I want to be the, the unicorn. <laughs> oh, Rex, I, I played Apex Legends yesterday for a couple of hours. Did you? Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, so either I'm really bad at games by now, or everyone is just better than me. Which is, it's been around it's for a long time. It's been yeah. yeah, it's been out for two years, but it, it is definitely a game that you have to learn, and it's so much yeah. better when you play with people who are decent. Yeah, I, mean, I, we I, don't, just, I do not I play that about, game solo. I thought you were talking about I Gothic gotta, Phone. I was no, like, no, yeah, true. No, no. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I had a friend. Yeah. Gothic Phone team. I had a friend yeah. over here I got uh, yesterday, and we were just drinking and just looking for something to play, and we saw it on Steam. And I was like, oh, let's give it a shot. It's pretty fun, but man, I, I'm still getting used to the weapons, and everyone's just yeah. annihilating me. It's like, I don't know, what does It is this definitely do? a game <laughs> you have to learn how everything just sort of works and functions. Um, also, I'm going to get a drink, and I'll be right back. Then we can start guarding. Very really well. Really quickly, Mahler, I, I have not played <laughs> oh, oh. this game before. So right, well, you know that. what? It's, <clears throat> it's good for that. Uh, the, we can explain to people who don't know it as well. So the Phew. way... Oh, yeah, of course, Az, you haven't played this, right? No. Okay, so all you need is a browser. You join the link, you click your little character, and then you're right in. What's going to happen is you will be prompted to start a story. And it could be, you know, a guy walks down the street, could be a dinosaur attacks Mars, could be anything you want. Then you'll hit OK, everyone hits OK, and then everyone gets each other's prompts to draw an image. You have to represent what they've just said in text. And then it gets swapped around all over again, and we have to describe in one sentence what that drawing is, and then we get to see the results by the end after many rounds. Of It's mm -hmm. essentially the game on... of telephone, switching between text and image. Yeah, and, depending oh, on the art style cool. and cheekiness of certain other people, it can go completely off the rails, or it could be all very consistent. Well, this is EFAP oh. we're talking about. Going <laughs> off the rails is kind of built in. Yeah. Yes. Word of advice <laughs> is treat them kind of like frames and not like storyboards you want it to look like a movie by the end because it's going to flick through like an animation no that's it's not a storyboard that's, oh, that's other, something else that's we're getting to those different game modes oh fuck or me animation then mode, yeah we're yeah, doing no fuck you. <laughs> well so we're doing normal mode first but we will probably try animation mode or whatever else it's yeah. they are fun well, we have to it's great the animation mode well, is like so much fun the thing is, we'll probably pace out Gothic Phone so that we can have them a couple times as we go through the stream, I'd imagine. You know? Gonna try and do oh, it all. Fine. Do it all. Oh, boy. Maybe, maybe two rounds. I, seriously, though, if there are oh. people in chat who are furious we didn't do the video, it'll get done eventually, but oh, I'd be... <laughs> like, you'll, I'm so absolutely sorry. Absolutely I can't help it. You'll be okay. It's only Grace, right? You'll be fine. Just 24 hours of this. I mean, I'm not gonna be here 24 hours. Wow, rub it in that I am. I, I just, I'm I, just I, using my privilege as not of, of not being Stop using your privilege. <laughs> privilege. <laughs> I, I want to hear the person who's mad about us not doing the Grace Randolph's video <laughs> explanation <laughs> as to why. What is the draw? I guess they're sad that we won't laugh at whatever she says. That must be it. I don't know. We will, though. We're going to come back to it. I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah. Have we got... <laughs> is, is Rags back? No. No. What about now? In that case, we'll simply have a, you know, just a chin wag about this, that, and the other. As we do. Yeah, well, so, uh, seeing Punk return, how how you thought that one more, more like oh. that? Cyberpunk? So, uh, shut Sam up, okay. Punk. Oz, talk Cyber to me, Punk. please. Oh, that's, um, <laughs> is he like Triple H? Or The no. Undertaker? Tr oh, he, no. if he would tell that to CM Punk, he would beat the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would be rude, and I would call the authorities. Uh, have yeah, you have you people seen the new yeah. Eternals trailer? What do you mean, you people? No. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking racist. White people. <laughs> like, oh my god. Um, white people seen the Eternals trailer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, funnily enough, I, I hadn't seen it until it was played on Friday Night Tights, and I thought it was shit. Yeah. It was I saw well, it. They, I, I... They, bring up, they bring up the why didn't you step in when you know all these wars and stuff and i really i i really did expect them to say so there's this black guy at the end of time <laughs> and he's just <laughs> he didn't want that 
And then he I said uh, we were told that we couldn't interfere unless it was a deviant. And then Thanos is actually a deviant. Yeah, they've yeah, classified like him as a, a deviant. Eternal deviant mix yeah. combo. So, so uh, that was well done, Marvel. <laughs> you Good played job. yourself. Is that, is that from the comics or is that like continuity in the MCU? So it's That's from, on the Marvel website. Yeah, like Marvel. apparently oh, it's wow. from the okay. movie canon. Obviously, it's not said in the movies yet, but apparently that's their canon that he is a deviant. So it's like, what the mm. fuck? Good job, Someone, guys. Well done, the writers. Also, he's, he's, uh, he's an eternal with a deviant gene. There you so, go. Oh, why, why didn't you help against Thanos? Sorry, we only help against villains that are purple. <laughs> <laughs> their, their equivalent Alfred just forgot to relay the voicemail message. That's it happens. Somebody's, somebody's just gonna go. Kang told us not to. <laughs> well, you know, you know that's gonna be used to justify any plot hole in the MCU forever now. People yeah. have people have been doing that. I quote tweeted and I was very sad. I was just looking at it like, uh, Kang, oh my god. Kang wrote the contrivances into the MCU. Yeah. Kang gave it Black Widow the plot armor because she Kang was doing it. That's why. No. Oh, okay. Um, is every everyone That's seems to be Black here? My Black Widow uh... didn't die when she fell off the rooftop and hit everything on the way down. Because how Kang racist is, is it that technically Kang wrote slavery into the world? He did. Yeah, he chose that to happen. <laughs> yeah, the, the KKK slavery, the whole thing that was Kang. Yeah, because in the oh, multiverse, the, there was that the, the or, like, origin of is, like racism. There was a chance it went. You know what? No, let's not do racism. Shit. And Kang was like, "You, no, I want it. Just get it in here." <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, if Fringy, are you here? You are muted. I don't know if. Uh, yeah. All right, there we go. Sweet. Yep. Is everyone good for me to start? I'm assuming so. Yes. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> Excellent. Let us go. Did, did oh my way god. Back. I'm here, yeah, I'm here. Oh, okay. Wait, I didn't get to choose. Oh no, wait, I think that happens later. Okay. It's gonna be so much concentrating to be doing. Actually, you know what? I can I can read out a couple. I'll go chronologically of the super chats we've had today, and we'll see how many we can get through in these uh, these portions while everybody is stretching their artistic talents to the maximum. I just read something. Something's going on. Kang melted the steel beams. Kang was on the grassy <laughs> knoll. <laughs> I should probably click done when I wrote the sentence that helps. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Obviously, it'll it'll fast forward us to the next round as long as you've all pressed done. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good start. Yeah. <laughs> oh, how do I draw this? I'm so confused. <laughs> you draw it like you mean it. How do I draw a butt? <laughs> Wait, you have to draw a butt too? <laughs> Everyone gotta draw a butt. I'm googling butt drawing for reference. <laughs> Don't forget control Z works. <laughs> um, I, I switched colors. Uh, I've been here since Jared's dirty room in the days of Wolf. It has been a privilege, and here's to 150 more. TLJ did something good after all. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, TLJ deserves a little praise here and there, I'd imagine. You know. <laughs> it's like, you know. Also, uh, the way that this works is I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to catch the ones that were sent during the. Uh, the premiere chat because they didn't they didn't show up in the in this window that I've got and now it's too late so I'm gonna have to grab them from the um the other window once I'm able to get it so the people who sent ones during them they shall be caught don't worry um oh, what was it it was like a there we go I think that's how it looked guys this is this is art don't lie um, this is Longman. He's got my back. I would have not advised getting critiqued by him. His videos trap the writing of its victims. Oh my god. Oh my god. That sounds a little bit overt in terms of exposition, I will say. Still think it was a missed opportunity for him to not say that with uh, any of the other characters in this film. Yeah. This is Weasel. He's got my back. <laughs> <laughs> Cut you all in half. Weasel's only line should have been, what are we? Some kind of, and then he dies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I prefer the fact that he didn't talk at all. Actually, yeah. No, I think I think so, a character should have just been given the line "What are we?" Some kind of just before dying. Yeah, we we could we could have done that. 
God, I gotta be fast with this. There's only how one way to. How long we got? How long we got? There's a little timer in the top right. Timer at the top right. Or just someone going oh, right. oh, oh, some oh, kind oh. of death brigade. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, I locked it in. <laughs> oh yeah. By the way, if you Should don't hit done, it will just right? take whatever you've got. Okay. 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 <laughs> My image is. <laughs> um. <laughs> 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 no, okay. That was easy. <laughs> yeah, I nailed this. I have nailed those. What the fuck Dunzo. is that on your screen? I, I shouldn't be looking at your screen, should I? Oh yeah, no. Well, it let it won't spoil the whole thing, but I mean, you'll you'll get less surprises. I've been switched off. Yeah, I'll Sorry, turn. I'll turn. I'll turn onto another. I'll um, put Grace Randolph up. <laughs> there you go. Ah! Wow! <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is complex as fuck. Well, it's all right. You got like a minute. <laughs> <laughs> um. I first found Rags ripping apart uh, Riley's smash head cannon, which led me to Captain Marvel's mare, and finally EFAP 66. So, hi Rags, and welcome back. Hello. It's good yeah. to be back. It's good to to be EFAP. But that. Ooh. Fap. I mean, everyone likes a bit, a bit of a fap, you know? Oh. Um, I'm getting not, AZ not in my description. Is that Arizona, or am I missing a reference to something? Thank you for coming to Az. That's heel, heel vs. Babyface's name. Me, it's my name. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So it is that. also Arizona, so whichever you feel is more appropriate. It's right. short for Azrathon, right? It's like a god name. Every yeah. time it's used, it refers to both the person and the place. Yeah. So that's As the rules. An Asmodal, just because mm. he's an angel. Got like distressing. I've so got like dread music in the background oh. from Kevin McCloyd or whatever, and it's just so unsuitable for what I'm There's drawing. not enough time. <laughs> There's not enough time for this. I can't. I can't I know, make my I'm part. Not, how? This is a. This is a whole movie it wants me to do. <laughs> I can't make art under these conditions. I'm an artist, all right. I'm so sorry. I can't. Artist. It's just uh. not. It's not good enough. The pressure! There's too much pressure on this! This is a hand, not a peen on a stick. <laughs> Liar. You need to write that into the image so that we know. I'll, I'll call this abstract. That's why there's like half of the lines aren't finished. Oh, I'm definitely going for a, 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 a yeah. We're definitely going for a thing here. An abstract, yeah. This will be in a modern art gallery. Mine definitely. There's not even a question. There's people going to be looking at this and the uh, oh, high hydrant man. next to it. It was that black pill, man. That 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 fully it canvas that was just red. It was just all red yep. and and like no, nothing on it. And it's like, can we talk about this? It's like I don't know what. What do you want? What me can't to you say talk about, about this? <laughs> That's true. What can't you talk? Oh. <laughs> um. Uh oh. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh my god! I'm. This is meta. Belch. <laughs> 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 uh. Here's to another year of pausing at every frame. Forty-eight hour episode, two hundred stream next year. Let's freaking go! Oh man! Well, yeah, we're we're really doing our namesake this episode, <laughs> <laughs> aren't we? <laughs> Congratulations on 150 years of EFA. I was so close to finishing it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh my lord. Hmm. Why? How do I Why? draw this? How do I capture the essence of uh <laughs> okay, this is not I don't um I need a reference. <laughs> yeah, I don't tell me about it. Some of these it's like man. Oh no! This this actually this could be this could be something. I I see something coming here. Ew. <laughs> no, not like that. Stop it. <laughs> Ruining it. <laughs> <laughs>
They're just drawing some speed lines, naturally. No, that's not right. Um, my dock is rowdy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just you don't know what to do with that, you know? I'm so gutted I never finished the last sentence. I, 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 I had it. I know, I sometimes it. genius is just out of your grasp, you know? <sighs> sometimes Cornelius is just out of your grasp. <laughs> One day I will catch you, Cornelius. <laughs> Who is Cornelius? It sounds like... <laughs> This guy, I can't catch him, but oh. I will one day. <laughs> can't catch! He's just this guy, I can't catch. <laughs> no, go back to the... Uh, these are some impressive scribbles. I have I'm, no idea what I'm doing. Well, I've got I my drawing so tablet sorry. out, so like, this time around I'm really trying. I I have my regular setup, so you know it's going to be great. <laughs> Of course, so it doesn't fine. have all the tools. <laughs> it's not—it's not—it's not exactly Clip Studio Paint, but it's—you know—it's—it's—it's it's, it's got some features. It's a living. That's what it is. Wait, I need to add the toe hair. Give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I, I would have drawn the toe hair first, honestly. That yeah, sounds important. yeah. Even before the toes. Different people, different values. What can you say? Oh god, that's, that's, that's a drawing. It. That's what you're getting. That's what you're getting for that. Mine's gorgeous. I love it. Mine's gorgeous. acceptable, probably. <laughs> what? The, what? The f what? <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Um, God, I can't see what I'm typing. EFAP restores my faith in our species. Cheers, gents. Oh, I'm glad. Yeah. Hope you have fun with the stroom. Uh, can't thank you masses enough Mother. for providing quality entertainment and making long working hours bearable. Cheers. Well, thank oh, you. Well, um, that's, uh, that's what I like to hear. I like yeah, to hear man. it helps yeah. your day go by better. Yeah. No. 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 I got kicked, I think. What? I think I got kicked or something. Oh. Did you draw an, an N-word? Am I back in? Draw the N-word. <laughs> no, I, I'm back in. Oh, thank goodness. What are the funniest lines from Man of Steel? Krypton had its chance. Maybe. <laughs> that <laughs> is what you have taken from me. The General farm, the farm one's my favorite. This woman. Well, where he says, how dare you put your hand on my mother. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't hate that one. That, that feels like an actual I'm person. I'm fine with that one, yeah. I'm, I'm <laughs> yeah, fine. Like I can imagine myself saying that. Yeah, I, I might say something I like think, that, too. I think it was weird to for people to see Superman doing that, I think. That's what that's what made people comment Maybe, on that yeah. one a lot, was just like, whoa. Yeah, they, I don't feel like they've earned that kind of anger from him, because we haven't seen him so nice well, and reserved. Well, clearly he doesn't value the... his family on Earth that much. We know that much from that that stupid movie. Hey. He cares more about his, his <laughs> other family. feels wonderful. Not the family that actually did anything for him, the ones who raised him and then instilled him with all these values. <laughs> this image mm. brought to you by creativity. I'm... I'm gonna get fired up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is your boss gonna tell you that he, you're not allowed to be at work here anymore? She's like, you're never allowed to touch pencils or the internet again. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Can't touch the <laughs> internet. You gotta add color though, right? That's just if you don't add color, like what do you do? You know, color yeah. makes well, something I, I, so I'm, much I'm better. Well, maybe you have impressive I'm, line work. I'm trying. I just, I'm saying, the, once the color's added to mine, I, I'm like, wow, this. I don't need anyone to tell me this is artwork because I know. Wow. 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 There's a whole timeline. Wow. Kang made me do it. Wow. <laughs> wow. What a piece of shit. Wow. Boom. Boom indeed. <laughs> um, this game's amazing. Oh yeah, yeah, I love this game. I wish it, I wish we it haven't even gotten money. to the payoffs yet. There's more. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um.
<laughs> I can't imagine what prompt what prompt inspired this. <laughs> oh god, I can't fit this in. How what what magic words conjured this image? <laughs> I'm just getting cursed image after cursed image. <laughs> <laughs> I need a reference for this one. Thank you. Thank you very much. I love how I've got the dark theme on Google, but then when I go to images, it's bright and it fries my eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Why doesn't it remember? Why? Oh, dear Lord. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I just can't even. Sometimes I impress even myself. Oh, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I, I shame myself. <laughs> I'm I'm learning about color though. I am starting to learn about color now. Uh, did you notice that you can change the opacity with the slider bar? And oh, how no. big your brush is too. Yeah. No. Yeah. This quality. Oh, what? Yup. That's crazy, man. Shit. Shit. Oh, the tone just keeps changing with this backtrack. Oh, yeah. And what's coming next? Uh, hello you massives. Crazy how we're already at 150. It feels like yesterday I started around the 70s. Ah. Um, you lot in chat have been a lot of fun to interact and get to know the community. Here's for 150 and many more. Hope you lads have a great day. Oh, thank, thank you, you very much. I will do my best. Yes, sir. Hopefully this, this game of Gothic Phone is exactly what you would have hoped it would be. Um, alright. I need some signifiers for what this person is and I'm running out of time yeah I know <laughs> blue will have to do already green it is <laughs> oh I can only imagine what's going bad oh no who's drawing oh. me <laughs> I have drawn you this nervous. game Frongo no I get nervous when that happens oh that's all I can do <laughs> all right oh <laughs> Wait, that's it yeah all right I don't want to draw him. <laughs> It's all I can do. All right. All right. Yeah. Right. The voiceover is on. So I'm mentally exhausted. I've never felt like this in my life. I've, so I've never played a more intense video game. In my <laughs> I'm more fucked up at the head than The Last of Us Part Two. Now, come on. Now, what people who've not seen this before don't know is there's a little robot that will read out the the prompts. I've set it on, and that makes it even funnier. So it all runs automatically, and you just get to appreciate oh, no. what we've created. So, oh, oh yeah, so we get the payoff now. That was yeah. all the build up. That was the build up, yeah. Here we yeah. go, everybody. Oh, Have fun. A wet man consumes his nuggets. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> Yeah. I see the whistle. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, this is where the red eye comes from. An angry man with a yeah. red eye blows his whistle. Angry. Angrily. <laughs> Angrily. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell by the eyebrows he's angry. Angry, angry skater. skater. Oh, because the hat? Maybe yeah, the hat's the hat. backwards. Yeah. He's a skater. Oh, God, it's the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> the forehead. <laughs> Alright. Right. Yeah, yeah, but I that see, I see the it followed I along see enough, you know? Yeah. I see how they became the things they became, which is more than what happens half the time. Nice job, everybody. There's a nice logical progression. Eating a fart. No. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> a man serving a fresh fart. Oh, wow. <laughs> 
Who the fuck are you? Year 30,029. I fucking knew that I was coming from you. I knew it. Uh, <laughs> 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 Yummy boogers. Thank you, booger. Oh, no. Oh. Long tongue man eats his own nose stuff and like no stuff. No stuff. No. 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 It's a great drawing, right? <laughs> Jesus Thank Christ. You. I like it because I don't expect it. Those were a lot of hurting, man. They're, they're just, they, they don't want to provide commentary, but they will through their facial expression. <laughs> there once was a man named Schlemack. Oh, oh, my favorite so character. Fucked, man. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. makes his way through the town. <laughs> <Grimly>. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Like Running to the store. Oh no! <laughs> Bearded man prepares to throw an ice cream at a store. <laughs> yeah, I see it. I see it. Ice cream beater. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Yes. <laughs> How'd you fill it? How'd you fill in stuff? That's amazing. You have, you have a tool. Yeah. One of the tools on the right is the, the right, yeah. Oh, it exactly, yeah. It look exactly like the MS Paint bucket thingy. Although it's worth noting that in the that other version. I'm fucking dying. <laughs> <laughs> I want to appreciate my whole right. guy, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Hawkeye successfully killing Natasha. Oh, no. My <laughs> <laughs> strangulation, of course. Like Hawkeye strangling Black Widow. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> okay, I'm. I'm oh. Good job. <laughs> I guess that's where you're going. <laughs> <laughs> Black Widow getting strangled by Just... masculine. You noodle! Oh my god! <laughs> Space to draw the head. So oh my hey, god. look, first prompt, last prompt, it works. Yeah, not yeah. yeah that, that works great. We made, we did no one. We did one. We did it. Followed through. No plot armor there. I am not Mexican, Martha. <laughs> <laughs> That's a throwback, by the way. That is an old reference. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I, okay. Uh, uh, that uh, was oh my stood god. Next to an S. Well, that was out of the window. <laughs> 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 it's worse. S. S. <laughs> 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 Hey! Nice! Yeah. Go, Jeez. The Superman logo. Ooh! This is gonna get weird. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, look at that. oh no. On Crichton, this stands for S. I've got Crichton. a P! I've got Crichton. What are you in a mound of shit? I had to reverse it because he put hope, so I had to reverse it to S. Yeah, there's, there's an interesting dynamic going on there. Oh, the no. local fries were really soggy. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Throwback to the soggy fries. That was great. Oh, as is worst fries. nightmare. Nice. <laughs> 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 no! <laughs> Long go looking into your soul. <laughs> 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 That wasn't, that wasn't even my Cringy intention. reading my mind. <laughs> the policeman can see Fringy's pollocked up thought crime. <laughs> Stop. Oh my lord. Oh. You can tell he's a policeman because he has a P-load. <laughs> <laughs> escalated quickly. 
<laughs> like, we just gotta make sure Free doesn't doesn't think too many crimes, all right? We're just looking after. Turned into a bloody monster. <laughs> great position. That's a great. That's a great position for me. I like how we got there from snoggy fries. These are the ones where you want to keep them going to see what happens. <laughs> how does it keep them evolving? I, I kind of. I, I want to save that image of the weird looking one. <laughs> Wait, which <laughs> one? For anybody that thinks history is accurate, just show them this game. Yep. <laughs> oh, give me a hoo oom, where the baby face <laughs> roams. <laughs> That's where this started. Oh, nice! <laughs> nice! Very good. Cool. Pause touching grass. <laughs> Yay! Uh, no, that, yeah. This is this is this is <laughs> not me. Because I thought it was my penis. Face wanted to touch. <laughs> I wanted to touch grass. That was I was putting grass at the end. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god! Man with I'm strange sorry, guys. face. <laughs> Why are there breasts on the face? Get <laughs> <Spaghetti> legs. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, mercy, man. Oh, it's three more. Oops, oh, yeah, yeah. A butt walks into a bar. <laughs> that, oh. <laughs> He put eyebrows on it. <laughs> I mean, that's still pretty similar. The titties ran to the bar where they belonged. Looks like a really Titty weird chin. I don't know where this goes. <laughs> Oh, you look so sad. I'm gonna explode. I'm gonna explode. <laughs> I thought about uh, putting some boobs on the <sighs> building, but I felt that might be too much. Yeah, that would be. Yeah, that would. That would be <laughs> <laughs> you don't, you want, the, the one thing you don't want to do with this game is take it too far. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you have true. to remain, you know. You've got to have some restraint. Be grounded, yeah. for goodness sake. <laughs> Hassan Biker reading Nuggies from Nuggy Falls. Ah, uh, nice. Ooh, okay. All right. <laughs> 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 Nothing is more delicious than the first cum flakes of winter. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, that works. It's in the game. <laughs> hey, yeah. There we go. <laughs> I'm in the game! <laughs> I'm in the game! I mean, oh no, that's where this game. went! He's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> he burned it all. Oh no! Kang oh, spent my God. stimulus, Che. Che? <laughs> I keep losing that. So. Nice! Black guy buys a car. Oh no! Uh oh. Cash. Oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what guy? Kung Fu man gives money to the Thanos. Pa <laughs> 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 was unhappy with the amount of money the ninja had. <laughs> Rick. Rick. Regrets. I ran out of time. <laughs> from the door slash windowless car. <laughs> Oh my god, I am, I am undone. Holy money. Look, it's glowing and it has a cross oh, on it. It's holy, yeah. Holy money. Yeah, holy money. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. Very good. Uh, animation? Uh, I don't see why not. Um, yeah. So animation, does anyone want to explain it? Because I might do it wrong. I can't remember how so it works. Animation so. is what... So basically, the gist with animation is when you have still images and you have enough of them that move quickly enough, it creates the illusion of movement. You don't okay. say. Oh, I meant so, explain so, the mode, not animation, literally. <laughs> Alright, so, 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 so the way that this game works is that we're 
We're all going to draw a picture. The key is that you draw a picture that occurs right after the picture before you. So oh. that when everybody draws the picture, it's supposed to tell a little story or show some kind of an animation. Oh, right? okay. And don't forget so, motion lines. Yes, yeah, so things like mm -hmm. motion lines and the, and the um, let's say, the implication of what might happen next is very helpful. So someone will draw a picture, you draw what happens a moment later, and then someone else will draw what happens a moment later from you. End? It gets played. It's a big old gif, so we can yeah. see how well we did. And you'll be yes, given an onion skin, basically, of what the last person drew. So you'll want to mimic the thing from, um, you know, to completion. Oh. Um. Okay. Just yeah, draw anything you want, but you won't have the some fill in tool. By the way, you won't. You don't have the fill in tool. I would suggest yeah. you do not color shit in. It just makes it really difficult, especially yeah. given the the lack of time. Obviously, uh, a lot of concentration in this one, because as you saw how good the wick was last time, now it Animation, moves. Yeah, yeah, well, there's even more to take into account. I think my guy is gorgeous. Um, congrats on making it this far. One hour into New Vid, and it's great. Now watch Vinland Saga, you massive. Oh my god. A lot of people like Finland, that. Finland, that's, Finland that's uh, North America, right? That was when the Vikings went there. I believe that was Finland. I, no one's confirming, so I think you're right. I think, well, because that was where they went, and then Columbus went, like, 500 years <laughs> later. Not to Finland, but to, you know. Would Columbus have listened to EFAP while he took the voyage? Yes. Um, that's a hard pass. You're not Columbus, what would you know? Yeah, you're right. True. True. Yeah, name the continents you've rediscovered. <laughs> I feel like it's, it's kind of funny, right? Because it's like rediscovered, um, and that's true, but did was there any reason for them to know that the Vikings went there, or was that just... Yeah, I don't lost? blame them, you know? It's, it, it, you know, I, I don't blame the guy. Mm hmm Well. well technically, the people I mean, who live there had already discovered it, too, so. Well, of course, the first people <laughs> to discover it. You gotta do, like, you know, Land Bridge. noteworthy. Um, and, I mean, it was discovered by mammoths before then as, as well. And Man, oxygen. And oxygen, yeah. And the sun. And love. And love. That's it's right. beautiful, love really. There's yeah. no boundaries. Well, no, love's like oxygen. Yeah, it just, it rhymes. It's like a stanza, it rhymes. No, you, no, that, you know what, yes. that's alright. Yes. It weighs more than helium? It's a song! Fucking banana again? <laughs> <laughs> it's like the last time we played. <laughs> okay, oh my god. Hmm. This is hmm. pretty easy to do, I think, this one. Can you, can you erase what you've done? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. That would be masochist if they didn't let you erase oh. your mistakes. Yeah, that'd be cruel. Maybe they did like a hardcore mode. Well, <laughs> Kang doesn't. Kang doesn't care. There's no such thing as mistake. Well, I guess everything is a mistake. It's not what he said. No, it's, forget what I said. Um, Wait, what did you say? What's I'm a saying? <clears throat> I'm unfortunately at work, so I can't join in, but here's some money, you massive Jew Lord Supremes. Oh. Woo! Neat. Right, let's do a little bit of the. There we go. Beautiful. Um, happy longening, everybody. Love y'all, even when we disagree. Side note, look into the Battle of Castle Itter. It really needs a movie. Or Itter, I guess. Itter, Itter. Was that like a Japanese, like, if during... What was it called? The Battle of... Uh, Castle Eater. So Castle I-T-T-E-R. Oh. Okay. Uh... Oh, it was, uh... The last... One of the last battles in the European theater of World War II. <clears throat> they said I didn't change anything. Look at... Look closely. Look at... Look at the specific thing that's moving, right? The rest of it is apparently mostly staying still. I just realized... 
halfway into this drawing the motion that was originally implied from the drawing. But it's okay because it's only the first frame so I can add my own motion now. It, it's okay. I think the I have that same that issue. I have, I have, I have reinterpreted the original happen. image in some ways. Um, I must be doing my history homework at the moment. Entertain me while I toil, you wonderful massives. Well. Hopefully find this somewhat entertaining. <laughs> Uh, would love to see a Wally -E breakdown sometime. Something to reference as a movie marketed towards younger audiences. Congrats on three years and high ranks. Hello. Ooh. Thanks. I've been Wally thinking about it. Wally's great. No, oh, Wally's shit, pretty was pretty cool. Cool. <laughs> Oh my god. What the I mean, fuck? I've been... <laughs> I, I Man, like this, this one. I like this little character. I look forward to drawing it. exactly <laughs> where this needs to go. Why Why would someone press draw this? I, I'm not comfortable drawing these this caricature of God damn it. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, I'm erasing I'm erasing the other picture as well. No! No! Come back, other picture. Oh, it'll you. it'll I think it'll pop back afterwards, yeah. Right, whoever drew this picture, fuck you, because I'm going to take this somewhere that you're not going to enjoy. Oh my god. <laughs> that uh. my picture. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was a noise. Yeah, I did not like that. That's because you're, you're too close-minded, sorry. You know? you're clothe, yeah. Clothes-minded. Um, <laughs> this one just says, does it hurt? Which, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I just, this image is hilarious, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't even... This has gone all wrong. No such thing in this game. <laughs> Excellent. First time catching you all live, hello Ragu. Yeah, I, I, I could, um, all right, well. All right, bye. There's, there's nothing like it. Yeah, there you go, Fringy, Fringy got it. Congrats, guys. Here's to another 150 years, um, I mean, episodes. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure we'll make it the 150 years, but we'll give it a shot. Why yeah. would you stop? Might as well, right? I might be dead by that, I'm not sure. I have to check with science. Well, ba I just bum, what bum, I just bum, bum, bum. Rags, quick, say hi. <laughs> Hello. There you go, nailed it. You fucked that up. No, we didn't. Thank you for being the voices in my head since episode 61. I won't be around the entire 24 hours, but my chair will be there. Also, Groundhog oh. Day is the best comedy film of all time. I'll fight you on Twitter. Um, <coughs> yes, I, I love Groundhog Day from last time. So, oh my god. Oh my lord. <laughs> <laughs> this is an image. This is, this is not happening to me. Well, <laughs> <laughs> is there one predominant color in your image? Black? Uh, in this one, no. Oh, no. This one's just. Oh, no. I'm already rubbing out. Oh, oh not right now. Really like Come it. on. You're on stream. No one, really. Come on. I, I made the same joke. No, um, I got it. Yeah. Moodle, yeah. I'm I'm distracted by this intense. Well, I would go as far as. Used. Some jokes people won't laugh at. It's not that they didn't get it, it's that they thought it wasn't funny. You know? Yeah, but just, just say that. I don't understand. <laughs> You want me to call out every single time I think you're not funny? You always do. <laughs> Don't even pretend like you wouldn't. <laughs> you know what was a pet peeve of mine last time I saw you doing the animations is when people would change the line fit, uh, thickness of the entire drawing. Yeah, I've been trying to keep <laughs> the, the consistent, but I think I you're might have fucked up. You're trying to stick with the art style that's been established, but it can be tricky. Yeah. Because sometimes the art style shit and it needs fixing. Yeah, sometimes you just want to <laughs> make the penises a little yeah, bit more, that. you know, <laughs> a little bit more sure. rich. Yeah, well, yeah. even if the art yeah. style is shit, you don't need to change the line thickness. Yeah, but the line thickness is part of the style. But that's not a problem yeah. with the style if it's uh... Well, Fringy's saying that his thickness is better than your thickness, you know? Oh. 
I'll get down the with the thickness. <laughs> get up, get up, get down with the thickness. Oh, yes. Get up, get down with the thickness. Something, something, something. I'm writing something, to inform something. you that that wasn't funny. Oof. Oh. See, I would have liked that. I would have liked that. <laughs> it was like I've just been stabbed in the heart, to be honest. I Apologize, like Jay, right now. Better, better to be silent. I'm sorry, Frango. If, if you're silent, I, that's okay. I won't hold it against you forever. How long will he hold it against me? I haven't decided yet. I need okay. to put it before the committee on the amount of time. Yeah. I've I've uh, I've left this one in an ambiguous place. Whoever gets it next could uh, decide to take it one of two ways. Sweet. Oh, I, I look guys, forward to. I give up. Oh my god. Oh my god. Which? Oh, I need to know. Wait, I need to know which way this is going. Yeah. What is, what is this? I don't even know what this is. Oh I my shit. This god. I'm very confused by this. Let's this see what. going can... in two of two directions. And okay. I don't like any of them. Right, I'm... I'm doing a thing. Don't do it. Don't do the thing. Don't come. <laughs> I'm gonna come. <laughs> I'm gonna coo. I'm gonna coo. Pleasure cartoon face. <laughs> I was forced to draw it, chat. I was forced to. I wish I had any control over this. I simply do not. Do you though? Did you enjoy it? The Euro Control. I, I thought it was... it hurt. It did it, it did hurt. But in all the right ways. Oh god, this is the most gory drawing I've ever drawn. Same! Oh wow. I'm um, gore is cringe, Wombo. According to who? The gore police. I just pretend there were motion lines here before, so I just hope that works. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best thing I've ever drawn in my life. <clears throat> I like, nice. I can't even, I have to spend all the time focusing on getting this image right because it's so complex. Well, this is this shit. This image is absolutely <laughs> fucking dog shit, but it's the best thing I've ever drawn in my life. <laughs> I don't know what this is or what it started as, and I'm not even sure that I understand the motion. I don't even know what I am anymore. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? What am I drawing? <laughs> Whoever gets this for next, good fucking luck drawing part two. I decided to change the tone of this, but uh, I kept the, <laughs> the the motion the same. On one of them, I forgot to fill in the previous area, so it's. Oh no! Continuing. What is this? What the fuck <laughs> is happening? So uh, any of you could have gotten by what I guess. What? No, I know who I've got. I know who I've got. I recognize this art style. <laughs> and I'm, I what? just have. Why? Just what why? What is this? <laughs> it's. The practice thing you ever got my. What is this? This is gonna be. It's gonna be what something. In fairness, I I haven't really reacted to mine. I I've I've seen it. I haven't really processed it. There's not much to. I don't know what to do <laughs> with this creature. Though I never shy away from a challenge. Big. Uh, with greatism comes great accountability. Good luck, give them hell. Oh yeah, got plenty more to come. To cube. Cheers. Cheers. This will make this a bit flippy floppier. Ah, oh, art. Weird. What a weird character this is. This what? is like... That They're also normal. Well, quite possibly. Enjoy this small gift for all the years of entertainment. Also, my first time posting this. Hi, Rags. Hey. Hello. Why, thank you. 
Hi, Rags, and the rest of you too. Hello. Hello. Hey. Zoom hey. height. Okay. Whoa. These should be brown, but it, I, I gotta respect the artist's fucking vision. Probably came from me. Yeah, we got Zack Snyder line. in this chat somewhere. They <laughs> 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 everything black and gray. <laughs> Probably Zack Snyder is in chat. I don't know what these lines are, but I'll just draw them again. I, oh. I don't know what I've done with this image really, but have fun. <laughs> <laughs> One bar. Oh shit! And I went to look at chat and I saw the live stream. I was just like, what? Oh. I haven't looked. I don't know I'm what it is. Wrong. You I must know something about it, maybe. <laughs> No, I don't think I've seen that one yet. Um, I don't know what this is. <gasps> oh, what is it? I don't know. I... <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know what this oh, is. I, what this is... planet? This could be a wild on... round. Um, okay. This... Why am I just drawing death? <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere! Everywhere! It's blood! It's like... <laughs> I think you got yeah. I was involved in that one. I, I'm pretty sure. Blood, every picture is blood and death and gore and violence. It's animation. <laughs> if Pixar have taught us anything, it's the magic of animation. It's yeah. the magic of animation. So much death. Again, I got the chill music in the background. It's just like yeah. Bit of dead. I'm listening to synth wave while I'm drawing all this. Oh, that must be relaxing. Wonderful. That must be nice. Yeah, I I do like me synth wave. What artist, Frongo? I saw your tweet and it was very interesting <laughs> well, <laughs> in terms of the observation. It is the truth. Wow, I, I guess I'm wondering what what is the workaround for that? Of just like people like to have it all compiled in a playlist. Should what what well, yeah, should I don't uh, think any individual in that um is doing anything wrong so to speak well I think it's a matter of like maybe we need to change what we sort of expect in terms of um giving people credit and stuff it's like can we go above and beyond well, like, like synthwave um, compilations generally have really good credit given I was watching one today which is what inspired the tweet and I was look I went and looked in the description and not only did they give credit like full track name uh, with the time that each track starts but they also yeah. gave like every link uh, for like that's, every platform you could find the artist on. I think so, like, that's, that's here's the, the YouTube, here's the SoundCloud, here's their. Uh, what I do is I ask whatever. people what link they prefer <laughs> for my credit. Do you prefer SoundCloud or YouTube? And then they'll tell me which one that they would like rather me use. Time's almost up. Oh, how quick do you really like played back to back? Pretty oh, quickly. At oh, the my... end, they play really quickly. Oh, like one second each. One back. Oh no, no, no! It plays probably like at twelve frames per second. I would say. something like that. It's not <laughs> Fuck really? fast. Yeah. yeah, it's pretty it's very quick. quick. It's supposed to be animation, so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. more death. Oh. The only motion you people can think of is just like death. <laughs> what is yes. wrong? How many death ones are there? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> Everyone's dying. Mine wasn't death, but it was blood. <laughs> it is now. How? Right. Fuck. I got it. Right. Fuck this picture. I know I'm going to do this one. Putting me out. You know who you are. This was an interesting choice by whoever started this, but, uh, you know, things you developed. Know how the it was yeah. even Born. supposed to be, honestly. But I'm drawing it. Can you guys hear the seagulls outside my apartment? No. no. <laughs> so fucking loud, can, man. Can we what hear they're doing at 11 o'clock at night? They're just screaming. <laughs> <laughs> what do they do? <laughs> just letting everyone know that they're there. What's up, boys? Well, once you've done that, they'll shut up. They're like, fine, thank you. That's what we wanted. I just wanted Sometimes, some appreciation. Yeah. Sometimes I'm sitting, um, like, trying to record a line for a video. And I have to wait like five to ten minutes for the seagulls to shut the fuck up. Hey, it's their world too, dick. I will kill them. <laughs> no. <laughs> Make no. Out of them. Yeah, survival of the fittest. No, nuggies. 
they're just they're just chilling out minding their own i feel like seagulls are an animal they, they're kind of like you know rats like in suicide squad they should have a character called seagull catcher they attack Talking people about... for any yeah in this game, they attack people i i know that they kind of attack people but they're just defending themselves by not, attacking. no they're not defending them no 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 they attack people for their food yeah they will do um i've seen a seagull in my town Go up to someone Let's who go. had like a styrofoam container of food and peck them in the face until they drop it. <laughs> I mean, I do that too. I get a dead seagull around me. Yeah, it sounds like the uh, the seagulls over in, in the Albion are like incredibly aggressive. It sounds, this is what you get when you have a bunch of pussies living in your town or the seagulls know they can oh, get away with that kind of you shit. You don't want to say that about this town. It's very much yeah, not Yeah, they true. could just be genetically I'm modified the here. pigeons and <laughs> stuff. If anything, the seagulls learn behavior from the people. Yeah, the seagulls, they saw us and they copied us. I remember the big thing I noticed was how big <laughs> they were. Yeah, that's... I don't I don't know what the motion is here. Like, what am I meant to... I don't know what motion is in this. The, what, the character has clearly dropped the object, but the motion lines show the object going up towards the hand, and I'm so confused. You just got Guys, you gotta guess, I'm guessing. I don't know what's happening here. You gotta work... Let, let, let art flow through you. <laughs> <laughs> Art is flowing out of me. Mm -hmm. It's oozing. So art much is ooze. flowing out of me. Delicious art. I feel like we've really achieved a lot with all these images. We've explored the psyche of the human psyche. <laughs> the psyche of the human. <laughs> the psyche of the human. Smaller, I'm now I'm now working on the one that you had on your screen when I uh, when the hyperviolent one. The stream. Not the hyperviolent one, a oh. different one. It's a confusing and uh, disturbing one, really. And it's deteriorated so much. <laughs> no it, shit with all of these. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my one right now, but it, I don't the know facial, what this the is. Face, the face has turned from like quite a unique space, face into clearly and distinctly Splat's face. <laughs> and I have no idea why that would have happened. <laughs> like the, the face that I'm seeing on your stream. Only like three <laughs> images ago, it looks nothing like Splat. <laughs> and now this is just distinctly fucking Splat. I'm gonna continue the Splatification in my, uh, in my <laughs> that's, just, that's just good, that's a solid strategy for life. I like yeah. the idea of a developer trying to build like a new area and it's, they call it instead of gentrification, it's Sportification. Just put Sport <laughs> everywhere. You got Sport on the road. Sport? You got sport? Splat, Splat statues. Splat, building shaped like Splat with apartment shaped like Splat and fridges and, and ovens like who look like Splat. A Splat go all in. A Splat, oh, yeah, yes. That's patent pending on that one. Oh, yeah. It, they're very culture. They have a lot of Splat galleries. Splat galleries, yeah. Splat yeah, centers. They have a, yeah, there's a big agricultural influence where they have a lot of... Squarmer, mar, farmer Sporkets, I guess you have. <laughs> Squarmer Sporkets. Squamalade, Squadalade, and Squatter, um, Squatter melons, and yeah, and they know they're safe because they have a really strong, you know, really mighty Squarmy. Oh, another one. Yeah. What? <laughs> Why? What is this? What? Why? Why uh, is the uh, Why is the inside red? What? The person you drew. Well, no, it's more purple. Why is the inside of this thing that you drew purple? I guess you don't know. You just received the the purple from the last person. Based on the previous image, right? Yeah, there. You'll see culprits by the end. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Who's responsible this is, this for this? This is no, no. I refuse. No, you must. <laughs> you must. You must participate. It is your responsibility. You must participate. <laughs> I take responsibility. This, I like that this character is so happy. Yeah, it's a nice way to end it, I think. Happy that he's just make finally him... dead and it's all over? Yeah. <laughs> no, he's not dead. He's doing pretty well. He's having a good chomp. Oh, boy. How did I need to know how this image began, because, like, I'm just not... Uh, where was it? Where did it all start? How did it all go wrong? Maybe this, oh, maybe this went man. right. Have you ever considered that maybe it went right? Oh shit, this is the last one, by the way. Yep. Yeah. Ah, we're finally there. I don't know what- how this one started, but... jeez. 
Uh, <laughs> wait, I forgot, forgot your eyebrows. With all of the death that happened, I'm very concerned <laughs> that someone may have killed my character that I started with. And I'm very I want to, yeah, with my character, I wanted him to be okay. And I, I don't know, I guess we'll see what happens. From the, I think it was the first EFAP I was on, we did the drawing bicycles in <laughs> MS Paint. <laughs> and I, I remember those. How could I forget? I, uh, I drew an abomination. I'm sure this will translate over to here. Excellent. Um... Well, someone's character survived. Someone's character survived is looking very happy just having a good chomp on something. Yeah, this one's nice. not dead yet. It's oh, well, there, yeah, there you go. The, um, the end of that message, by the way, was working two 84s or 84s this and next week, so um, I'm looking forward to the long, happy three-year anniversary. Well, you'll have plenty of company. We will have 24 yeah, hours you'll worth. Have, you'll be sick yeah. of this. You'll be like, oh. Oh, my oh, God. Thank God, that's all. <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Boy, I need lots of therapy right now. <laughs> Is everyone I'm ready? I'm so worried. <laughs> I Here don't go. know if I am, but let's do it. Okay. To begin with God, this is just violence. a bunch of snuff films in a row is all this is. Is the safe oh no Where did his body go? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no The guy is already God, gone. No. Oh boy. But, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh! The <laughs> face is coming towards us. <laughs> what is happening? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so, I must have clicked back one too many times because I did, I did draw a buddy. I like what? how his face kind of turns into an orphanage that's on fire. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is the event. <laughs> this is your brain the on bullet. bullets. <laughs> I love that the shooter just exists, like <laughs> evaporated. <laughs> I was never real, except I am. <laughs> I have fulfilled my purpose. It was, it was all a metaphor. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! What? I just what was yeah, this? I don't, this is I a don't falling... even know what the fuck to do with this. It's a falling banana. Banana. It's oh, a falling it's getting banana. peeled. Yeah, we're trying to peel it again. Yeah, we just got oh. a What the uh, fuck? <laughs> and then it, it was so crowned. simple. We found the culprit. So <laughs> <laughs> now it's rotting. <laughs> oh, I think I know where this goes. <laughs> that is clearly not the way it went the last oh, wait, time. I had no banana. clue what this was supposed to be. Oh, that was a yeah, I got it. That was a dick. <laughs> I know, that's what I thought it was too. A weird uh, fucked up dick in a blanket uh, or something. Uh, Nobody no knew what to do <laughs> with this into fucking a, thing. Yes. The only thing the an that animated was that neon sperm. I just love how it's red, like it was super. I like the way that people said, "Hey, don't don't put colors by the way," and then everyone went Jackson fucking Pollock on everything. I love the. He's so happy. Look at him. This is his day is done. Yeah, he doesn't know where that dick is. He's he's just he he grew the dick banana. He's the happy satisfied farmer. He's the farmer. Right up the tree. My high oh, road on the words. I can't wait to sell these to stores. <laughs> oh, oh no. Oh no. He could be oh, diving no. into a pool. Exactly. Oh no. Oh. Oh. I guess not. <laughs> that was a short fall. What's great is that, that this was the end of the story, ball. so I just drew it again. <laughs> so <laughs> 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 What? What? Uh, what? That was what, supposed what to be a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what was happening at this point. Ghost. Using uh, his trunk. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I'm so disappointed. It's it it like a continent spot. or something. Oh, Why did it so become a spot? I put a whole bunch of motion. <laughs> Transforms. There were so many opportunities for motion. What and for some the reason, hell? you just had it in the oh, ground. What? Oh, Honestly, man. I feel like imagine pretty fucking <laughs> simple with the fucking motion I did there. It was a simple there. idea. Dude, it was it's so like, simple. The tree is I falling. Saw. Ghost! <laughs> Dude, all you needed to Ghost, do spark, is just have it fall. I just gotta say, there were like, there were clouds and stuff that could have movement, but we just yeah. lost hey. it immediately. No, no, you... I, I moved the clouds, Springy, I moved That's the clouds. That's true, you did They made the their clouds. choice. You're saying the you prefer. The dead guy just stayed where he was, because I about... just got a picture of a dead guy. So... Listen, just because they had him fall and snap his back, that's not a bad decision. That's just an option, you know? That's, that's yeah. an yeah. option. Yeah. Right. yeah. It's an option I, it's an well, option I disagree he's, with. He's got no parachute on him. He's got nothing. He's just like well, sure, falling. But again, you could have had him jumping so into a pool on a diving board. He could have had him die as well. You know? I, had a minute, I had a minute to draw something. <laughs> All that time. I, this wasn't gonna All go in the time. Louvre. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> okay. Oh, bottle cap challenge. Oh, I know what this oh is. no. Yeah, <laughs> he's already <laughs> <all> wrong. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's what this was? Oh, oh. No. oh my god, that's what this was. Oh. What? <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh no. my god. There was no. I don't get it. He's got a dick nose. I don't get it. <laughs> Licked up. Oh, I was hey. <laughs> and he's dead. What in the no. That's not bad. That's uh, pretty good. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. I there... know he just grew a dick on his forehead. I don't know. Yeah, I don't there know. is there is a sequence of events. There are there. We haven't we haven't gotten to the one that I described as gory yet. By the way, <laughs> there was a secret power. <laughs> See, this was simple. Oh, oh, right. yeah. oh, that was oh, simple. I think this one. I think he lives through this one. <laughs> oh, he already shit himself, so there we go. <laughs> How did I think this one? He lives through this one. You fool. You fool. Oh, oh, no. oh, no. I know where this goes. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why is it always me that has for this emotional roller coaster. That's <laughs> 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 got a bit of fluidity to it. Oh, uh, uh, your character, your character shits himself and dies. <laughs> the weight start melting in a house fire. Is he that what slipped happened? on his own shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Why does that have to be the best one so far? Yeah. Of uh. <laughs> You guys remember how this EFAP started with this wholesome, wonderful, uh, emotional animation and music, and now we're just drawing people dying from their own shit. I can already tell you there's so many more death comedy. Yeah, there's a lot on the way. Metal, oh. I remember you saying that you hope your character survived and he's yeah. <laughs> died after Like, how could someone possibly die doing this? Save that one, by the way. I'm, I'm, I'm saving that one. Oh, this is second frame. <laughs> 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 oh, laughing. <laughs> I can, this is a good one. I followed the events so clearly. Like, oh. <laughs> that was amazing. This oh, no, all right. Man. What the, I don't even know what uh -oh. the fuck this I is think, going to be. I think this one. I think yeah, I know where this goes. I, what? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what is this creature? Uh, I don't even remember. <laughs> oh, no. oh, okay. oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
He's a liar! <laughs> He's trying! <laughs> What a shape of art style as well. Oh my god. Oh, looks so good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, like, uh, I like how oh, he gradually just frame by which I can die. <laughs> I must use it. I like how he just <laughs> gradually loses features and becomes more yeah, like a But when you blow your head off, you do lose features. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh Jesus Christ. I'm so oh my god. one that happens slow enough for it to actually be slow motion for <laughs> real time. I think everyone of us right now needs to just speak to a therapist because we've all got, <laughs> we've all got suicidal <laughs> tendencies. By the he way. was already, by the time I got him, he yeah, was by the time I got, Yeah, yeah like the, uh, when every I got time. Him. Every time. Every time. Only, him. The only drawing that hasn't died yet was my banana penis. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Well, the no, he got eaten. eaten. The did, 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 did get eaten. He definitely hey, died. I, one, of, <laughs> one of the trees made it out okay, sort of. <laughs> well, there you go. And hey, the, <laughs> apple, the apples on that tree them. grew bigger. I'm it's sure we'll be murdering ball. clouds in a few minutes. It'll be yep. fine. We'll find <laughs> some way to kill them. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> We're doing good. Oh, boy. here we go. This is going somewhere. This will be, be the This will be the whole somewhere. Oh, right. It, He's doing okay. I don't recognize Look. this. I don't recognize this. That's the issue. Getting thicker. I do. Oh, no, He's I getting know. thick. He's gonna go. It's going to be so good. Okay. <laughs> so good. He's gonna die. He <laughs> 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 yeah. needs a little boost. A little bit of the boost. He needed that double jump. Yeah. Of course, it's got to come from somewhere. Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, now I know. Now I know. Oh, come on. I keep thinking plot twists. Like, what happens next? You know what I mean? Like, I'm t I totally just like, what? <laughs> oh, God. No. Uh. <laughs> Animation really works. Oh, I really see the motion. It kind of actually works. Yeah. <laughs> That's a, that the, the motion is so convincing. I love that. That's great. Well done, guys. All of them <laughs> die. <laughs> in mid -air Every single one up. of them just dies. <laughs> 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 he crashes into the edge of the frame. There's no object the there. <laughs> he didn't realize how small his world really was. Too meta. Too meta, man. Too meta. <sighs> good explosion as well. It's nice looking at it. It looks yeah. great. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's good. It's this good. is genuinely a hilarious joke. The, the onion tried to jump across the thing. <laughs> Little did he know he would shit himself into the edge of the universe and die. <laughs> <laughs> classic, classic it beginner happen. mistake. Classic, classic onion. Yeah, yeah, that's onion. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Fuck me, there's three left. All right, we're dancing. How's this guy going to die? <laughs> Just wait till you get to me! You'll oh, no. Oh, oh no! Oh no! I know what this is. I know what this is. Oh, no. yeah, I'm so sorry. Uh -oh. What? What? I thought that was a half-run man touching a kawaii girl or something. <laughs> oh no! Oh no. Uh, uh... <laughs> <laughs> right. He's a he might survive. No, he's yeah, dead. He's yeah. he can live. I know he's dead. Oh. Oh, no. oh he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Another death. So Another one bites like, the dust. Can't even have a nice little dance. <laughs> well, at least, well, I mean, at least the murderer didn't die. I guess. Something. Who's a nice? It was such a wholesome um, little dance, and, and just suddenly. <laughs> he died terrible. by a car. Dance of death. Station. The dance of death, indeed. I saw this. I saw this image, and I was like, "Is this a guy touching?" Oh, here no, we I go. Want to see spot, actually. I want to see spot. Oh. Oh. I don't remember it drawing a squad. So I, oh, he's got a Cock is a hand. He wants to shake your hand. Oh, he's slipping. Maybe. I um. I don't. But but I nope. don't remember. No, he's fine. Yeah, he's still going. Here's here's, here's the trip. 
Oh. Uh, oh, no. uh oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. How do I kill him, do I kill him in this bigger. one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. The penis is growing. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> now he's dead too! Oh, and now we have a camera. Oh! What did I do? What the fuck? I was just waving! Now the dick died too! <laughs> Why? Is he the dick? Is he the chain here? I used to think my life was a tragedy. <laughs> 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 what the oh, fuck happened? I thought, an egg. I thought it was oh, an egg with no. a cock stapled onto it. So when he fell and tripped and broke his nose, <laughs> like yolk filled out. <laughs> uh, we're you all grown. Him. We're all grown adults. <laughs> yes. Got him. Look, you have to grow old. You don't have to grow up. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, this is oh, okay. ruined by not filling. Can't in wait the to rest. see how the lemonade dies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember my laminates. I don't remember well, any of this. Somebody's just appeared one. after one image. Somebody's just gonna what? completely <laughs> fuck this one up for me to Whoa. kill them again. I don't even know what this is yet. What? Oh, what? Oh, yeah. This what is happened? what this was? What this the hell some, happened? Yeah. I have no idea. I made I a jellyfish out of there. it, I guess. I don't know. I thought it was Bane's oh, mask. It's, it's, a, <laughs> it's a face hugger. Star. Yeah, it's a face hugger. And now he's enjoying it. <laughs> I don't understand. How does that happen? <laughs> I don't well, understand the events here. It's I thought like... it was a jellyfish. Well, yeah. I think it's fair to assume it was a jellyfish. I'm just wondering how it got from a man it's running to a man. man. <laughs> to this this is like my mass propaganda. Like something happened there. It's a it bird just... that plop human and then jellyfish. <laughs> and then like, okay. to a <laughs> At least the lemonade disappeared. It didn't die. I, th I think it was an anthology. <laughs> it was several stories put together. Kind of the lemonade died of cancer off screen. It's told by the way. out of oh, chronological no. order. Oh. Didn't it's like Pulp Fiction. <clears throat> <clears throat> now, um, wow. Should that should that be it for Gothic Phone or one more? What's what's the for feel? Now, I'd, I'd say that's a good place to stop and good, come back yeah. later. Yeah. Can, yeah, we can come back later because there well. are. It takes a while to get through around. So There's yeah, a whole yeah. video yeah. to see. Oh my Some god! Of those were great. I need to. I need to actually seriously get my head back together. Well, yeah. I was gonna say, oh, as you Randolph. should make them play that on Friday Night Tights, like. Oh god, oh, yeah. yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> this is gonna be a blast. Oh, the infection spreads. It's yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're gonna do it. Um, it's, we're all gonna get kicked off the internet. Oh, hopefully. I mean, what? No. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm surprised. No. Been... Yeah. Do I need to be replaced by somebody? Um, nope. I'm next. I'm out. Oh. oh okay. There you go. I'm all sure. right. I mean, I I came in the, that order, right? No, well, I mean, nobody's getting nobody picked yet, but if anyone wants to leave, they can. Well, I actually do have to finish up something, so uh, I can I can come back later. You can never leave. All right. If if you want, I'd like, sure. I'd like to go smoke a cigarette, so I'll be right back. Very well. Um, but yeah, for those in chat who are pissed off that we just played that, they can finally, finally, finally get their... fuck off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> finally get the Grace well, Randolph you. content. Um. I mean, should we should we wait until the cigarette is complete? I suppose I don't know. No, just he's go. not missing, and you're doing him a favor by starting the it, video. It, it just well, okay. Just now I know he's that you guys going to hate me for this, but I am going to start us from the beginning. So I'm going to. Oh no! Six seconds oh, went to oh, wait, yeah. Mola. Uh, I'm so quick, sorry let me, about that. Let me make something up to stop. Uh, uh. Also, to just to clarify, uh, are you heading Look, out? Look, there's an exploding cock poo. Quick. Um. I, I assumed that's what was happening. I was, uh, we were kicking somebody out. That's why you. No, I said that we didn't have to kick someone out, but then you said you needed to go anyway. <clears throat> I mean, I, I could probably finish what I'm doing while we're here. Um, <laughs> I, I, I was, I was trying to uh, watch this video earlier. Oh, so. were you now? Well, who, who, yeah. who were you actually next in the order? Let me check. I kind of am. I'm so sorry. Well, unfortunately, because you told me that, I've got someone lined up now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys in a few hours. Probably. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Goodbye, Sam. See you later, man. Tell you, man, that gothic phone, they need to get a uh, Steam version going.
I did. Yeah. I, I'll pay 20, for 25 real. bucks for this easily. It's so much better than the Jackbox ones. I got dude, telling them to put it laughing. behind a paywall every I, time. Dude, you know what? Jackbox might copy it. Um, That's true. It seems like the smartest thing to do business wise. Yeah, it's just really, really good. Yeah, but Jackbox has to do an annoying ass voiceover over the whole thing. That's what makes it. I, I mean, <laughs> I don't hate the voiceover, but it is interesting that they've made it like almost silent on this, so you can just do whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. You're right. It, it's not always a problem. Some of them are just like it's <clears throat> non-stop and really obnoxious. There's only there's a few modes that are like that, but most of the time it's fine. I do hate um, when they just repeat it every single time you want to play, and you're just like, please end, please stop. And some of them you can't <laughs> skip. Right. Yeah. Horrifying. Um, Evan Monroe, how are you doing, sir? Welcome, welcome. Hello. Doing solid. Glad to be on. We um we just got done with some garlic phones, so if you you were hoping to play that, I'm so sorry. You're instead gonna have to listen to Grace Randolph talk about the Suicide Squad. <laughs> you guys seemed very interested in it when I was watching. <laughs> it was that was an adventure. Holy shit! I, uh... Quite a bit to talk about in terms of her presentation, I suppose. So... Oh yeah, we, we did all of that. Okay, we can't get caught up on that again. Otherwise, for God's sake, this could be a long stream, and that, that... <sighs> we can't be having that. Okay. We're actually. Hey, the, the, Steph. The plan is to do three eight hours, so we are three hours and twenty minutes away from the first gap. Actually. Oh boy. Can you believe it? Um, I am. I am. I am yes. seriously wondering about. I'm going to be filled with coffee. By the end of that is hot. All these shenanigans. Um. Alrighty. Oh. Here we go. Is all right. Finally. Hopefully, I'm everyone has the link. Yeah. This is. We're about to find out why this video was quite hated. I'm excited. Nobody on the face of the earth tried harder to like this movie than me. In fact, well, just true. the other day when I was talking about its initial Rotten Tomato score, I said I didn't see any way I would ever give this a Rotten Tomato because I felt the actors were just doing too good a job from the trailers and I, I liked certain elements of it. So, man, that's just. So I guess man. she's a contributor to Rotten oh, Tomatoes. <laughs> Oh, it's it's yes, just I, I appreciate I appreciate that some people will do it that way and say that thing, but like this to Efat, we're just like what? <laughs> like, yeah. you, you would never give it a bad score because the trailer looked too good. Okay. <laughs> I guess you never. Uh, you know, even you further back thing to say, I'm not entirely sure I understand the concept of like trying to like a movie. Like if you watch it and you just you can't stand it. You, is, isn't that really just the pretend it's I what you totally, wanted and see how I you can, feel? I can understand the whole thing of like almost being on the thing's side based on what it I is. Th yeah. Shouldn't the word like, you want um, is you want to like it? Um, yes, not tried to like it. You you wanted to like it, but then it just you didn't. Still, yeah. You can still try to like something, I think. You, you can, can like, try, try, to, sure. yeah. try to focus on the positives and ignore the things that might bug you. Like mm -hmm. That's a conscious yeah. effort that you could make. I guess the problem is that I can't help but see this as don't get mad at me because I think it's bad. It's like almost like you're throwing up a shield of. Well, no, I wasn't coming to yeah. hate it. Like I actually wanted it to be good. Kind of. I feel like there are a lot of people who aren't saying what they actually think about <laughs> like the Suicide Squad, and I think yeah, Mola probably knows what I'm thinking of with that one. I'm but, uh, also. It's okay to say I wanted it to be good. That's fine. But if you say I wanted it to be bad, uh... well, so the interesting well, thing that I that mean, promise yeah. is that surely, way. surely they want all movies to be good, right? Right. Yeah. Right, some right. movies that you want to be bad. I think basically bad. everyone yeah, wants movie. movies to be good. Like, I don't think anyone goes into a movie exactly wanting to hate I, it. Like, maybe if there's stuff I, outside I, of it, but you probably want I, to enjoy it. There's going to be there's going to be exceptions. There was no part of me. There was no part of me that wanted that went into the Rise of Skywalker going, "I hope this is cinematically well made." <laughs> I, I, guess. Yeah, I, I, I hoped I, it was, but I just didn't expect no, it to no. be. Because the point of Rise of Skywalker is like, fuck it, let's have fun, let's see what they do. And if what they wow. did was just make a vaguely competent film, I would have been like, oh, okay. <laughs> For me, it was well, I mean, if it was adventurous... really good somehow, like somehow they pulled off with the writing, I don't know how they would have done it. Yeah, but, like you know, oh, it's possible. I do, I do hope that things are unironically good, but the problem is that there's just too many examples I've seen of people wanting things to suck, and maybe it's influenced by Rags will probably remember like the console war shit where it's like. People were rooting for the the games on the other platform to fail and be shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like I remember that being oh, a yeah. very common thing. You know, like who oh, to Halo Five is gonna suck. Oh, like Uncharted Four sucks. It's just yeah, I I can believe that people go into stuff wanting it to be bad. 
for this movie, you had the Snyder people who wanted it to be bad. Yes. There's the, yeah. Some, yeah, some of them, in fairness. This is, away, this is a move away from Snyder. Well, yeah, the, the particular Snyder people, because this is a move away from Snyder. So if it's good, that uh, represents them, uh, like that, what they want being even more in danger than it already is. Yeah, the, genuinely, that motivation lines up completely. You can see why. Yeah, absolutely. And so, if the movie is even average, that means it's like it's time to crank the negatives in terms of talking about them. Yeah. Because it's yeah, the more publicity and popularity this movie has, the less likely the Snyder slash Aya verse, if you will, has a chance of getting more lifeblood in it. So that makes yeah. sense. There are people who just genuinely hated it. Um, but as for like wonky motivations going in um it's, it's all over the spectrum right but like if you were going to be completely honest about rise of skywalker if we ended up watching it and it turned out to be extremely well written i feel like all of us would be like it's kind of nice that it turned out that way that they managed to fix That's a right. lot of what they'd fucked up mm -hmm. but it still it still wasn't like what i was looking for going into the cinema you know it was like i wasn't thinking i want this to be great i want them to fix everything i was thinking well it's fucked let's see something funny like yeah, like, that's kind of, like, my attitude for Venom, like, Let There Be Carnage or whatever it's called. Like, yeah. the first one was so funny and bad, and it's just, like, I'm just going to enjoy the show. I, I expect it to be bad. If it's good, it's good, but I expect a funny experience, basically. I, I guess I would say I, I would rather have something be conspicuously bad in a way that, like, even normies are going to notice than, like, fucked, but in a way that's, like, passable to the majority of people. Um, because, I mean then we won't get more of it. If it's if it's fucked in a way that everyone notices, then we won't and I think I think that often means it's worse. Um if if it's fucked in a way everyone notices, then we're less likely to well, get more. I think, and that's a positive. I think I agree in that if I knew that Rise Skull was gonna be bad, it's like I really hope it has some funny bad stuff in it instead of just like mundanely bad. Like or or, mm. or even kind of up close to average because it's just kind of like, well, this was kind of a not even a blip on the radar then. It's just a yeah. kind of a yeah. Well, yeah, I remember yeah. when the leaks came out and I just started expecting <laughs> funniness because I was like, holy yeah. crap, if these are the actual plot points, good God. That's like, the thing, it's, it's hard for me to be like honest and objective about that one because I can't quite remember. Like, Because I, I knew about the leaks, we did a whole stream on them and most of them were true, so... Oh, well, I, I didn't want to go and see uh, Birds of Prey. I didn't want to see it, but I knew that if I watched it, there was a good chance it was going to be fucking terrible and I can get a video out of it. And lo and behold, I went... It was absolutely abysmal, and I got a few videos out of it. Um, but no, I didn't go to see Birds of Prey with any expectations that the movie was actually going to be good. Yeah, well, I didn't expect Birds of Prey to be good either. Um, then again, I'm, you know, this is Efa. We're pretty cynical about most things these days. Like, we, we don't expect... Yeah. It was funny, Um, someone, like, chewed me out in chat for that. They were like, oh, you, you think that all films are pretty much going to be bad. Is they, like, it's not much of a worthy prediction if it's always the same. It's like, so a prediction's based on past information. Uh, like that's how we create any kind of pattern and it's like these aren't on nothing like why would i think that um anything in the mcu is going to be good right now when we we're in a phase that's just entirely shit it, and you'd be like oh what a useless prediction i'd be like well no that that's the prediction well, what else is there well it's based on the fact that four out of four of the things that we've had so far have been kind of disasters i think it's fair to say that we got raimi coming up as well as james gunn with guardians 3 so it's like there's a chance that Which those will, will turn out better you know but, hey, um, maybe Shang Chi will come out and be surprised, but well, I've um, heard it's a triumph. A triumph. Yeah. a triumph. That's true. It's, it's a triumph. Sent. It's a triumph. Man, well, I, feel I think like people. Need... Yeah. Go, go, go on. No, no, no. I'm basically done. I was just gonna say, like, I think people made that prediction with the Suicide Squad, is like all the other films in the DCU were bad, or like, and they were just like, this might be bad. But then you got James Gunn. It's like, eh, maybe. It's like you know, you kind of like take it based on like information that you have versus like the filmmakers and there's a lot of factors that can influence your opinion before you go in yeah because obviously the people who made black widow like they got fucking no clue how to write characters but james gunn does and so yeah. if you're gonna bank on one of them with their next film it's like oh, i guess james gunn yeah i'll take him like hopefully he can get that right especially with who guardians because he's very invested in the guardians uh, he's just got so much Holman, baggage to work with was... with the uh, end game like Australian director, oh, I, think sorry, I think she did a like, movie uh, called like Berlin Syndrome or something that uh, I saw. Yeah, that well, was yeah, the only movie. Sure. It seems like the the thing now with like Marvel movies is they get people who made one or two like indie films and then just scale it up to this massive production, which feels like feels like that's a weird way to approach 
making the film to to well, get somebody who's done stuff small and then not like work them up in terms of all right we'll like build up scale to get familiar with how to make a f- I, I feel I'm like that's how, like sure I'm, I'm maybe maybe, you know, maybe it's well, maybe I, it is I don't know if I agree with that but I think it's it's part of the the concept that it's like a successful indie film is a marker of good writing when typically it's not like part of the draw of these indie films is their more experimental nature and so i was more referring to the idea of just managing a production that's like 200 million dollars has probably got to be a lot a, a bigger task than managing a production like that's on a few million dollars in terms of just logistics and things like that you sure. got a bigger like crew though right so like there's more people handling that's true all the that's aspects and, of I mean, it it's not gonna be kate shortland like signing the documents mm. to get locations that's what the like that's what kevin oh sure does. but, She's but just... i guess i would still assume that it's like it's more complicated right like to to make a film but on that scale than it would be to make a film on a smaller scale hey we oh, got i, I imagine like this time we got what we got 22 seconds in this time. Yeah, 22 <laughs> seconds, everybody. <laughs> progress. That is. Hey, we're talking about something progress. that she was talking about. Like, at least we're making a little <laughs> yeah. progress listening. To her. Sort of like tangentially related. <laughs> we to appreciate that you, we... Grace. Appreciate you. Imagine my surprise as the movie. Oh, yeah, the no, emoji. No the emoji, <laughs> and it's behind oh, the text. The movie. Yeah, yeah. That. everything Anything is behind the text. On there. The text is the top yeah, the text on the top. <laughs> Yeah, yeah she, I guess that's it, on her top layer. The text, the text. Think about it. The text would probably be the last thing she put in because she needs to listen to herself to figure out what topic she even went through. I guess. Uh, oh, unless so she, she did it before. Do it where, oh, I instead don't know. of doing like the bullet point text first and following that, she did it the other way. So just whatever she rambled on about, she put the text in to give the well, impression or like just to lie about the fact that there might have been structure to it. I guess we'll find out because. Didn't care for Peacemaker or King Shark. <clears throat> wait, wait, we gotta we'll wait. There. Let her get to it, okay? I, I, just I know saw you're... It. I just saw it and I'm upset. I know it hurts. I know it hurts. It makes <laughs> it my hurts. brain go, uh... ...before me, and I realized much, much, you know, I was just so disappointed about it, but that there was no way that I could not give this a Rotten Tomato. It, oh. I just have too many problems with it. The horror of a By Rotten way, Tomato. I've... How I've never you? heard anyone talk about the reviews in terms of whether or not they would give it a particular <laughs> ripeness grade of tomato. Well, like generally, well, like, like I don't actually gives a fuck. Well, Rex, maybe maybe when you're Rotten Tomatoes certified, when you're a, a, a oh yeah, when I'm a real critic, yeah, yeah, she's a professional critic. You could tell by um the glasses. You could tell, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the landscape the behind. Did I miss something? I mean, she can't give it a rotten tomato because she has problems with it. No, she can't. No, she, 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 she give it, give it a tomato. fresh tomato. <laughs> yeah. Which, which well, by the way, okay. you can tomato. tell we're just from different realms because when I, when she said like uh, I have to give it the rotten, I was like, so is that fifty percent or lower or or is it? I think rotten is six is fifty nine percent or lower. Yeah. 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 So you got so, nice. so that's fucking useless. Tell me what nice. you mean. What what the yeah. is sixty or below? Well, there's a big difference between a movie that's a five point five and a movie that's a one. Yeah. Like, can we like what are we what are we doing here? Tell me the truth, well, Grace. We've only given her forty seconds to speak. That's enough. True. How many <laughs> views does it have? Hundred nineteen thousand. Oh my gosh. All right. Damn. Taste wise, I'm gonna I, I'm I'm gonna give this a very fair review. All right. But I don't All right, no, hold give, it, and, give so it an unfair review, please. <laughs> yeah, as if anyone's ever been a of a review like that. I'm going to be very unfair today. I'm going to be unfair. <laughs> what, what Fuck this movie. Like that now? You, if you like it. We'll see Honestly, how consistently good luck she with, sticks to that. Good luck with all the topics that you're going to cover, man, in like 18 minutes. Like, good God, that's, that's well, going to so, be like, I'm, less I'm very confused by a particular topic. Incredibly well made. It's like, oh. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Well, before that is matter of taste. So oh. right, yeah, 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 yeah. You're like it does all of these things that I hate, but you know it did them well, so that's uh, gonna be the... okay. Yeah. Compromise, I'll make you guys. I've decided not to give this film a tomato at all. Because... <laughs> <laughs> wow. What a what a kind what a what a what a, what a 
magnanimous benefactor. Dude, it's so like he's withholding the tomato. I want my no tomato. tomato for you. Dude, this is so strange. I would have like, given you a raw tomato, but I'm gonna give you no tomato because I'm compromising. <laughs> I'm just picturing someone you're... watching this and she says, like, I was gonna give it a rotten tomato. They're like, oh, and then it's like, but I'm not gonna. It's like, oh, it's oh, oh thank God. Oh, it cares about the tomato. It does, I don't negotiate. When I'm in a position of strength, you do what the fuck <laughs> I tell you to, woman. That's not how this I, works. I'm not gonna compromise I, with you. You have nothing to compromise like, about. Before, Great before we, like don't negotiate with terrorists. Seriously, though, <laughs> no, like I, I feel like it needs to be said before we get into it. Like Rotten Tomatoes is one of the worst like systems for understanding True. how good or bad. You just say that because you're not ever. on there. You're not tomato approved. Uh, now, was on there. now you haven't been it. given that, the tomato that is, badge. That is that is cutting into my soul a bit. However, I, I I do have arguments. The first one being, I I don't know that there is any system that I think is more useless than one where the percentage score is based on how many people gave you a score of six or above, rather than just an aggregate score. Like yeah, that can totally yeah, mislead you. Everybody gives it's, a movie a 6 out of 10 and it's 100% rated, but a film that's divisive ends up getting like a much lower score because of this system. Or, or what's interesting is that, like, you can have a... I guess it's technically possible to have a film that is rated at, on average higher, but it has a higher tomato score? If yes. you If, it, if the numbers align, line up the right way? It's entirely yeah. possible. I'm pretty sure that Joker has, like, a lower Rotten Tomato score than, like, Wonder Woman <laughs> or something because yeah. of just the way that the system works. It's a really stupid system because it seems like a lot of people aren't very familiar with it. So they see 91 and they're like, wow, like, that's what, like a 9 out of 10? Whereas that's not what it is. It just means 90% no, it... of people gave it a 6 yeah. out of 10 or above. <laughs> That, uh, which is really and not a that six impressive. out of ten yeah a six out of ten is not something i could really cool. work with that much especially with a bunch of the people nowadays well, who are just and of course slapping yeah. tomatoes to everybody and that's that's the fundamental thing is this weird abstraction of like what this film is without any information on what i can get out of it and that's the issue is like number scores are already not great but number scores are better than rotten tomatoes like i can't I don't understand why it's such a prominent system that's used for like films. I don't get it. I feel it. like I only I only explore Rotten Tomatoes to see how it compares to other yeah. like things rated there just out of just for the lulls almost or because I want to check to see how much of a stupid bit of nonsense it is. Well, um, yeah. just... I, I wouldn't get so, like, someone, like, if I'm having a conversation about film with somebody and they, they tell me as a sort of opener to help me understand their position, so th I'm not going to give this a tomato of any kind. It makes me feel like, like, like that. I don't understand what... I've, yeah. I've got I've it on screen. That, that is my reaction right there. I just imagine someone saying that, like, 25 years ago and everyone thinking they're just insane. Yeah, like, this this feels like something needs to be on interdimensional cable. Like, without, is... without, yeah, without that context, it's like... What what uh, what did you think of the film? Well, I'm not going to give it a tomato. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking? What about? are you talking about? This is what I mean. I've just pulled up, and it's like new and upcoming movies reminiscent. Thirty six percent. It's like, does that mean it's a three point six? No, it means that only thirty six percent of people gave it a six or above. But then I go on Metacritic, and it's like fifty five. So this is very confusing to me. It's like the number is more helpful than the. It's dumb. It's a stupid Honestly, system. you want a graph. You want a fucking graph that shows, like, um, 1 to 10, and it shows them all, and each one has got a bar for, like, how many people oh. put it in that, in that number category. Oh, That's here, the best way to show it. Here's a better one. one. The access needs to be intelligence. It says, protege, 60, so it's certified fresh. And on Metacritic, it's 45, which means it's lower than Reminiscence, which has a rotten score. It's like, so a film that is broadly considered to be better has a lower Rotten Tomato score. I, yeah. Th think what? about the graph, is that's a more practical, like, solution to, like, learn what people think about the movie and, like, what overall people believe, but the, the reason they keep it as the score is so they can, like, put it in trailers or, like, on Blu-ray yeah. cover. and of course, with critic Rotten scores Tomatoes. are useless. Critic scores, critic, absolutely useless. I mean, I know that. Well, they you know they that. don't contribute <laughs> anything the norming... to the film. They don't contribute any financial benefit to the film. The only person they should be listening to is the audience. Well, no, no, that's not necessarily true. Like, if you have a high tomato rating, just because of the popularity of the system, people, I think, are going to be more inclined 
to go see a movie with nope. a 92% sorry, rating sorry, than a sorry. 22% rating. I'm just, I got slightly confused here. Uh, I'm living in a world where we're not grading movies by the tomato, tomato. <laughs> ripeness. The problem uh, is here. that we are commenting on how dumb all that shit is, but like loads of people use it. And it's like, oh, why? Yeah, I mean, people people pull it up and see, oh, 92, I'll go watch it. And it's like, you don't even know what they said. That was and a 53.2, really. I mean, it's, it's several things. You don't know what they said. You don't know who said it. Do you value everybody's opinion equally? Or do you value these people's opinions more highly than your own? Or like I've seen it. To, it always comes up to defend films that are really shit. it will be like, yeah, well, this film did this. It's like, uh-huh. Yeah. But this is levels yeah. of critic, because you have your critics, and then you have your top critics for Rotten Tomatoes. And you could great, you could. She's, like, I'm pretty sure she's listed only. as one. That's so cringe. <laughs> well, surely she must be one if she's talking about if she's going to give him a tomato or not, or else she's just yeah, doing she the most cringe. Or else she's doing the most fucking cringe role play I have ever seen in my life. Where There's she's no pretending tomato. to be a certified critic on Rotten Tomatoes. It's tough because it's like film Dude. is such a complex medium that i didn't like and a number score just doesn't tell you what you need to know it, yeah. it well i would i would appreciate it's a green banana out of 10. i would appreciate it if i knew what she was trying to like i appreciate one out of 10 to 10 out of 10 because i i, I get your idea uh, uh, much quicker than i'm sorry rotten tomato i'm used yeah, yeah i'm like what the fuck is well, a rotten tomato mean? I mean well well i feel an easy way to put it into perspective is it's like saving private ryan and like cars would both get a certified fresh, but like they're not the same by any what? stretch of the imagination. What? Come on, like, that's, we need to, it's the crossover. I was judging it by like the trailer. If you're judging it by like the trailer, I, like, right. the trailer, I feel like the most one of the most normal things you can do is judge a film by the trailer and then the Rotten Tomatoes score, right? Well, so I think you, a trailer is fine you, as, a, as a point of reference, but well, yeah, you, you get target audience from um, like you get. The target audience from the trailer and then you get the well did they actually achieve to appeal to that target audience from the rotten tomatoes would be the idea so it's like oh this appeals to me did but did they actually pull it off and you go oh five percent of rotten tomatoes probably not i think well, that's... i mean what's even weirder is that sometimes they'll see films on rotten tomatoes that have like 55 percent, but they're they'll still be certified fresh which is really weird like what do you do with that I pee on it. Why is the yeah. haunted, I don't get why the haunted mansion is on the screen. Um, yeah, no, so her. Oh, <laughs> describe that PNG that she just slapped on Yo, there. Beyond, beyond the trip. Oh, so it's a thumbnail from a prior video she did. Oh. Where she was talking about suicide squad. Oh, the haunted oh, mansion. Oh. Nothing. Well, yeah, it's fucking her. It's hideous. It's all hideous though. Like, <laughs> look at the emotions. Yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, yeah. It, How it's, many? I mean, luckily, it's it. It's cohesive in the sense that it's all hideous. Nothing stands out in the sense it's, that it isn't hideous. Well, it's remarkable. It's like, it's like a bunch of sham pop ups that are just how appearing the on the screen. How the fuck does she have almost a million subscribers? <laughs> oh, yeah, we. we yeah, she's been doing this for a long time. Her first video time. is horrendous because she started in 2008. Fuck and she maybe her. cared back then, but now she's made it so she doesn't have to care anymore. Speaking I, of, I, I would love yeah, to see just... the statistics oh. of how many subscribers <laughs> she got from this video. Like, like people saw this and said, "Yes, I want to be notified when more of this is made." <laughs> In fairness, she pissed Grace's people off with thought. this one. She pissed people off with this one. So maybe she lost subscribers. Who knows? I don't want to fight with anybody. So here's the compromise I'll make with you guys. I okay. hey, I've decided not to give this film a tomato at all. <laughs> Stunning and brave. My rotten tomato would not change the score that much. And it's just not that's, worth the headache. That's not a reason oh my to God. not say what you I, believe. I can't deal with like I don't You're give a, a fuck. Just, just, just get on with it. Fucking score for fuck's sake! Just, She's just, just, as a just tell us what you thought. I'm not going to talk to give, about the mechanics of to tomatoes. I don't because want to get kicked back. The internet is going to give me kickback anyway, regardless of what I say or do. So I'm just not going to give it a tomato. Give it a fucking tomato, woman. I just want tomato. Because you know what people, you know what people. I'm, I wouldn't want to cause truck controversy, so I'm not going to write a Rotten Tomatoes review. I'm just going to make a YouTube video. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> also, like, yeah. it doesn't matter, oh, or, but it's like, what do you wrong. mean? It, like, it'll go in, so it might as well. Not even this one. There's two, two videos about the Suicide Squad she made. 
It's like a spoiler Hermione review so, as well. That's even longer. Her mind is so conditioned to writing in <laughs> tomatoes and like rotten tomatoes that if you asked her to just give it a number score, it would be like in the office when uh, Michael tries to give Kevin a math problem, but he can't do it. So he starts listing it with M&Ms instead. It's like, all right, uh, do you, is it eight tomatoes or four tomatoes? And she could probably give you an answer then. I, I just, I'm, I'm blown away by the fact that she's not going to do it primarily, or at least in part, because it won't change it the won't overall change score. The score. Yeah. What the hell? I think that's just this something is the that ultimate. She, said. she lives in critic world. Feels it's that way. Yeah. That's so that's weird. Doesn't happen when you throw it into like a giant conglomerate. Like, of course, it might, it might get like, like if, thrown in and forgotten. If someone said like, "Hey, your your Black Widow video is not going to make a difference to what people think of Black Widow," I'd be like, "I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Put it out anyway." <laughs> Sure, like, this is, like maybe, like... maybe I have a principle that is to tell the truth and what I feel. Sure, yeah. No, could you imagine if every backlash. critic, if every critic used that same thought process where they're like, eh, it wouldn't change it that much. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm... well, I mean, you know, I, I, I won't make a difference or won't do anything. It's just a stupid attitude. Well, like in general, surely it's actually thinking about it because it's got 101 there. Like, there's not. A large amount compared to the people who could be possible to to change that number, right? Like that's a that's a select group. So it's like she needs to let everyone know that, despite my opinion mattering much more than the average person, I'm not going to share it because I don't think it'll have a big enough piece of the pie to change anything. It like I'm reading yeah, too much into is, this. That's, that's, that's not her job, video. though. That's not her job. Just avoid her job as a critic person. is to, to well, pass uh, on her her fucking ripish tomato. But we made like consistent the tide her, in film critic world. Yeah, the, the, like, like, the point I'm trying to get at is that we've made so many, like, criticisms of tomato bullshit, like, but in their world, like, that is kind of the... I don't know if you guys remember, like, when Chris Stuckman got, like, officially put on Rotten Tomatoes, he was, like, super happy about it. Yes! Of course he is! He's a superficial prick! That. And, like, uh, to me, I'm just like, why the f... Stop! It's cool yeah. kids club. <laughs> Only the coolest kids are allowed. It's very mm, scrabble. So lame. Because, like, yeah. to be honest with you, I hate the reviews on Rotten Tomatoes, because they're all the blurb <laughs> style. This film offers a lot of what could be considered lacking in the latest portions of the latter eras, and I find that much of it is wanting, despite the incredible visuals supported by a cast that really cared and a writer that did phenomenal work. You know, yeah, like, what, just... what do you, what? It's, <laughs> like, what? Okay, but tell me about it's always like two to three paragraphs at most, and it's just like vapid Whoa. and vague Paragraphs. and never any really specific it's examples. Not, it's two helpful. to three sentences. Sentences, yeah. So <laughs> it's it's not, indentation. Not, Mean. Yeah, like the, gaps between the sentences and fairness. nothing is really said, and it just we're not. You're not. You're not helping me figure out what. <laughs> you're not helping anybody. <laughs> yeah, what and am I supposed to do with this? Nothing. It's so it's so weird that she even made this video because if her whole point is I'm not going to give it a rating because it doesn't matter what I say, and then proceed to make a video because. She, I guess she does think it matters what she says. Well, it matters on YouTube. It's a, it's it matters on YouTube, but not on Rotten Tomatoes. If, if, her, Wait, like, if, her, do if she think... doesn't think she can move the needle with this, or she, she doesn't think her point of view matters with this, don't make the fucking video then. Well, well here, I mean, I'll, I'll say this, is this is what happens when critics care more about... Money? Like... Well, I, I almost want to. This is what happens when critics care more about Optics. themselves than the audience they're trying to communicate to. Because oh, this is this oh. or like of changing the consensus, my, changing like, yeah, the. Overall well, this is all view. about my career, my notoriety, my presence in the film industry, my my me 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 me. me. It's not about well, how do I convey honestly what I actually feel to the people who watch my content. I mean, well, that's you, why you, she you, doesn't give any effort into the editing. That's could, why you, it turns out like this. And you could lose all of what we've seen so far. She could have just cut right into Suicide Squad or The Suicide Squad came out and blah blah blah. Let's talk about it. Instead of, look, so... Rotten Tomatoes. We need to go over how the system works and whether or not I shall provide a tomato. You're like, okay. <laughs> Unironically, I think Chris Stuckman and Jeremy Johns do better at that of just getting straight into the movie well, I mean, than Jeremy what she's Johns been doing. Just, like, gets the point. Just yeah, Jeremy exactly. Jones, yeah, but... Stuckman, he's, I don't know, he, I, I can't watch his shit. Neither can I. <laughs> you're, you're in good company. And at for least that shit one. has a flavor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a like, fan you of speak like like your rice. Rice. Wouldn't you prefer no flavor to shit flavor? I feel yeah, like yeah, yeah, but, no I flavor mean, to shit flavor. I like rice yeah, cake sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> but like, even, Dang. like, even shit, there's something about it that makes it what it is. 
<laughs> no, it's just stuck going, doesn't doesn't give me even shit flavor. Well, no. is that what you're saying, Rags? Chris Owen lacks the flavor of shit, even. There's not, yeah, a, at least, even as bad as poop is, <laughs> at least you're like, oh, that's poo. I know what that is. <laughs> well, I, know what I think Chris I prefer Stockman bland is. to poop. Do you know, hate it, but it's unique. Do you know what Chris Stuckman is, Jay? Do you? I don't even know Chris Stuckman. Chris, Stuck, Chris Stuckman doesn't know what he is. All he knows is there's a version of himself that he wants to be. Yeah, that's right. That's, honestly, that's the most apt thing said about Chris Stuckman. And now he's <laughs> directing a movie. You guys saw that news, right? Oh, yeah, did, yeah, well, yeah. Did, oh, yeah. Did you see the funnier yeah. news where he was like, when I make my movie, they're going to say they're gonna call YouTuber me the turned critic. movie maker when really I've been making <laughs> yeah. movies since I was a child. I, yeah, I, I, he's like trying chill. to change the way his channel is he's like saying he wants oh. to talk more so about like how to make movies and stuff like that and it's like okay dude you, when he's you talking shit. about the like... movies he made as a kid it's like the the vhs indiana jones fan films he made with his like buddies like really man yeah but... it's like kind of juvenile it's not the best things to be showing right. off like you probably yeah, want to be something you're from just a more loser experience in the it's still that's still like kind of like good to show it's like i've had passion for this from a kid well, before i knew what that's I was the doing. nicest yeah. way to yeah. interpret here's, that here's, let me go the opposite direction and say stop shitting on the project that is youtuber stop looking at it like it's a well, shameful yeah, yeah. label i was about to start, yeah, yeah so what if you started with youtube that's fine i mean i've well, i've been making movies since I was nine years old, like with stop recording with a camcorder, but I would still say like I came from YouTube originally because that's yeah. where people knew me I from. Say, my yeah, platform. It's, it's, a platform it's, in my it's a valid platform right. that has allowed a lot of people, a lot of talented people, an opportunity to get like in and be able to create their stuff and show it to the world when there otherwise would have been a lot of barriers in their way. And the reality is, is like Chris Stuckman came from YouTube. He wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't because he had a YouTube career. Ooh. So it's really, I don't like it when <laughs> yeah, I'm going to turn this around ladder, and then I'm going to yeah. insult the ladder. The ladder and, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I'm the ladder, pull it away. We, yeah, you're ashamed of your with, origin. Uh, is, this is something this, that we yeah. notice with other film critics on YouTube, who like they belittle their own craft. Yeah. Even though they're big yeah. and famous, they're like, oh, I'm yeah. just a oh, critic. Oh, it's a dumb YouTube oh, just, video. It's, it's just, just a, a dumb, dumb YouTube video. video. And, yeah. It, well, it but tells like, me a lot about how they see what they do. High Top does that all the time. While simultaneously being like, this is the greatest thing I have made with every right. single video. Well, I yeah, well, Some of my is. favorite stuff is on YouTube, and there is some serious dog shit on Netflix. <laughs> so I do not yeah. care about the media. It's just so whatever true. you're giving me. What's the content? Is it good? What have they done? The thing is what matters. Does any of it even matter if you can't give a tomato? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Even Chris Stockman's videos point? are better than a lot I of the stuff I seek the approval of the fruit. Uh, Chris Stockman's videos are like just... I don't know, man. Chris Stockman is just the the critic thing that has he's been around critic for a critic sludge. He is the white gray. noise. He's just white noise. Yeah, yeah he's, that's he's, better he's... than like hoops. I don't know. I think I'd rather watch hoops. Watch you and say that to me again, Fringy. <laughs> I, I, I see Chris Stuckman video. All I hear is just like. Oh, I'd rather what? I'd rather watch Neil Breen than Chris Stuckman. Yeah, but oh, yeah, I was gonna say great. with with hoops, you He's can still comment blind. on the badness. With with Stuckman, oftentimes you'll fall asleep. You don't want that. It's well, just maybe you the do. Color yeah. gray personified. You should get Neil Breen on EFAP. That would be incredible. That would if be only. amazing. If only. He wouldn't belittle himself. That's the thing. He would say, how can this help my career <laughs> as I ascend into filmmaking? Uh, it's like, do I want to associate with that, my old life, my old self? That's well, how he would you'd say think, it. You'd think Chris Duckman would take pride in the fact that like he's been very successful on YouTube. And so when, it, when it's like fi YouTuber turned filmmaker or... You know, just even taking that perspective, it's like both of them are like they work together. You don't have to belittle your but craft thinks, simply because it's... he thinks success. On, OK, you guys seen A Knight's Tale? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Love that In A movie. Knight's Tale, our protagonist is he's really good at the sparring. He's really good at it. But there's not as much. He doesn't see that there's not as much glory and money in it. And so he belittles it, and he doesn't treat it as seriously as he could. He wants to go off and do bigger, better things. He wants to be the jousting master, right? Chris Duckman is like that with YouTube, except he was, except our protagonist in Nice Tale, he was good at sparring. 
Yeah, I, forget, I, I, yeah. You know, forget I mentioned anything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was following that. I was like, wait, but. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, look, he, if you're good at YouTube, he's like, but that doesn't really mean anything if you're good at YouTube. You know, good at YouTube. That's the course. trouble. No, because, is you can have because, no talent and still YouTube. be popular. What you made well, didn't you get shown in a theater. You can on Netflix as well. Yeah, I, I do think it's just it's rooted in almost dated thinking. It's like, well, no, like if it's in a cinema, that's like that's that's something. He lives Yours is on a computer, like you well, showed yeah. it on a computer. That's not. He that's wants not the such thing as medium hierarchy. You you didn't have catering on your project. You just did it on your own in like your house or in your backyard or like through a video game or through like a animation. It's like that's not that's not like I I had a premiere. Like there were people who came to my premiere, like critics and other filmmakers. You just made it on the internet. That's not. It's not like Chris, anything. Chris yeah. Stuckman is a person who is married to the argument from authority fallacy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he, yeah. He, I must have the oh the big filmmakers, the Netflixes, the 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 authorities in film craft. Those are who I need to be approved by. They are the ones Whoa. who decide what is and is worthwhile art. And I have to make myself somebody. That will be approved by them. It's, it's, well, it's, it's kind of built with... into the film industry because it, you know, like, there will never be a YouTube film. Like, if you made a film and put it on YouTube, it wouldn't be considered for the Academy Awards. Like, they already have the barrier that it has to be released in theaters, and everything is building That's up to the Oscars. Change, so, soon. That's got to change. Soon. You, you I, really I, think? I I feel like it has to because there's just going to be more and more films that don't get released theatrically. That's just going to become more common. And then well, that's what Netflix things. has been doing a lot. They've been bypassing yeah, that, theaters. So yeah, that's well, what I'm saying. okay, that's you have to consider that there's been incredible a, films. There's been a boom of the the streaming services in general, and those are going to yeah. be trying to do originals, and they're all going to lobby together to say, "Hey, get yeah. us into the fucking show." Yeah, yeah. I'm watching. Yeah, I think that that's 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 more doing. And once it's Netflix, it's and stuff all money now, anyway. Online. It's advertising. What do they give a yeah, shit? Yeah, like the giant marketing I, event. If they get more money, who cares? Oh, well, I, mean, I, I think, just think there's an old guard in films who wants to protect what they perceive the craft to be. Yeah, but it it won't matter with time. Eventually, people will be like, well, eventually, no, I yeah. Movie. Eventually, yeah. those people will just prime. Like, well, die. I was, I was going to say it's not even yeah. just the prestigious elements. There's like the experience of he playing. A, he plays one of his short films in a theater with people watching it. He's like, I have made it. That's what this is. That's when that's the experience. When I would just be like, "Dude, you the film is what means you've made it. You completed the project." Yeah. Like, and it, it it's such a like uh, almost a wholesome mistake that he could be talked out of when looking at it maybe philosophically. But I'm just saying they're like really frustrated. It's like stop, appreciate the work you've done, not whether or not people saw it in a particular building. Like, damn. <clears throat> it's true. So, people know, get focused on the wrong thing. Does like, it represent the, sort of the the achievement <clears throat> and the like? You know. No. No, it represents. No. It, it is a. It's like it's like enjoying the party that uh, that you have to celebrate that you finish something. You know. That's a, that's a, that wouldn't even. No, I'm talking about. He doesn't see like the value until it reaches the theater. Oh well, no, yeah, that's that's the problem. Like, there's a healthy way to do that. There's a healthy way to be like, oh, um, I'm proud of having my film shown in the cinema. Like, that's not unhealthy. Well, I can see how that would be healthy. It's all about priorities. Like, are you happy that it got to be on this massive screen with awesome sound that you can experience it in this type of way? Or was it specifically, well, movies are meant to be in theaters and like, yeah, that's what I'm yeah. to watch my Essentially, if you're, if you're placing value, like, yeah, it depends why you're placing value upon it. Yeah, of course. Well, if, and, it's yeah. Shown, if it's shown <clears> in a theater, <throat> it's a movie. If it's played on a computer, it's a video. That's, you know, that's and it's, it's a yeah. frustrating form of gatekeeping because that's a whole topic on its own whether there are times to do it and times not to but it reminds me of when um jay from red letter media and i, I always use this example because it was the most frustrating one where he described todd phillips as not a real filmmaker oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> why why for why? reference the guy made all the hangover movies and joker and it's like yeah. it's not really a, it's not a real film made by a real filmmaker it's like okay <laughs> like, i don't like that kind of thing of like you're a real frustrating did, did you not qualify real... why why is he not a real filmmaker i don't i think that's what was that move that that is video he, from them got fictional? more down votes than usual because they were people were annoyed they, they seemed a little skewed against uh, uh joker because of the fact <clears> that it was they really didn't like the fact that Todd Phillips had said he he tried to sneak a real film inside. Uh, did he say a real film inside a comic book movie because they're the, what's yeah. being watched right now? Um, 
Yeah, and it's the same thing with Martin Scorsese with like Marvel movies not being cinema. It's like just using specific terminology and saying that like a certain genre or a filmmaker, it, it isn't this. Well, it's it's the thing, man. Like, um, yeah. People really hate that we don't like his take on that. And like most of the time, you watch people try and justify Scorsese, they will change what he said. They'll be like, because exactly. What he said was that he nope. said that like that superhero movies are not the thing of people relaying like their experiences and feelings to each other. And it's like that's yeah, categorically it is. untrue. <laughs> it is. So that's just wrong. Well, it, yeah. Well, like, I mean, what he said was was false, and it was a misrepresentation. <clears> but then the question then cinema. becomes, yeah. when 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 does something become not cinema? Well, yeah, like, and, if and, you have, and, and have yeah. apes. And people are like, he said they like roller coasters, which isn't offensive. It's like, you know, roller coasters are fun, they're just not cinema. And it's like, shut up, just shut up. Seriously, Jesus well, Christ. I mean, like... It was like Taika Waititi said, it's like the Marvel Cinematic Universe, it's cinema. They're films that you watch in theaters. Like, it's Favorite. cinema. Well, the big deal for me, it seems to be, is like, there's a there's fast-paced explosion and mixed tones, therefore it can't be, like, a true art film that, where they... So and it's just that like, like that's yeah. absurd. That is yeah. absolutely so absurd. It's not a black and white Matrix, does that apply to Terminator? Does that apply to Die Hard? They're not cinema because there's explosions? It's it's like, yeah, people will change the goalposts, argument. say, like, it's not, like, yeah. it's not high art. Not that it's cinema, it's just not a high art well, film. There's, like, far more. Uh, it's like, you're <clears> telling <throat> me you can't have, like, a bombastic blockbuster that's, like, really, really well made and be high well, art? Like, yeah. I mean, exactly. Well, then we get to the part. It's all art. It's all oh, yeah, art, yeah. and it's all film. It's and all... someone said, I agree yeah. with Scorsese, cinema's dead. That's a different topic. <laughs> They're not you've also, you've changed, you changed what, what he said. said. You, you did the thing. That, yeah. You did the thing uh, we said that people do, and you did it. Changed what he said. Yeah, because what he said is really disagreeable. But people really like Martin Scorsese, and they always cite, "Hey, man, he's one of the like foundational people that made filmmaking what it is." Like, oh, there okay. always has to be someone who makes something what it is. That doesn't mean they did a good job at it. Well, I, I find it fascinating because I mean, it's like, hey, made the Third Reich, what it is. I, I, I would, well, I think the Rex, counter that's is a strange like, argument you just made. Yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, I feel, I feel like the more apt thing to point out is it's like Martin Scorsese has made a lot of great films. That doesn't necessarily mean that he's going to have a correct take on this particular topic. Well, imagine someone said you don't like Prometheus. Are you aware the guy who made that made Aliens? So what are you talking Blade about? Runner and Aliens. Yeah. yeah. It's like, you uh, think like black walk down and gladiator. No, no, it, you need to have the right inflection. The guy who made that made aliens. Alien. Alien. Yeah, it's like, Alien. how did that happen? Alien. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah you don't like um, old the guy who well, made those, that those made are both films. Bum, 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 Is alien bum, bum, bum. cinema. Nope. Maybe not. I don't <laughs> know. Have any yeah, of you when, seen when does it stop old... becoming cinema? Yeah, I'm confused. Well, that's the, that's the thing you know. You'd be like, Scorsese, look, if I had an explosion, one more extra one into Godfather, is it still cinema? And he's like, yeah, two more? Mm -hmm. Yeah, three more? I, I saw somebody mention... Yeah. I, no. I think I saw, it's, I saw it's somebody mention in chat cinema? something. What? I was just going to say, like, I saw somebody mention in chat, like, there was a time when special effects, like, people were just like, oh, this is just stupid shit, like, this doesn't... This doesn't mean anything. And then it was like Luxo Jr. came out, and it's like, oh, right, this is like art. It's just another medium. And it just seems like it takes, because again, there was the quote of like, video games aren't art. It takes time to catch up to what is obvious, Rob which is that it's all art. Oh, Roger God. Ebert said that one. He Roger said that video games will never be art. And it's like, that's yeah. the oof well, take Roger from him. Yeah, here's when you here's, here's, here's a quote yeah. for you. Here's a quote for you that surprised you. Roger Ebert said he gave Batman Returns a not positive review, he said that noir and superhero genre can't mix. <laughs> it's like, the, these Ooh. just ridiculous <laughs> statements that don't mean anything. Why would you say that? Like, what, yeah, I was about I, to say, why? What, I, I why don't know, because, be because there are people who unironically believe that you can't mix genres for some reason. I distinctly remember, science fiction and fantasy, like, they're distinct, they can't mix. And of course you're like, Star Wars, Marvel, like DC, all of the biggest properties ever. It's like science, no, they're not, they're not like, oh, action comedies or like uh, um, horror comedies. Like you, you can blend genres that are like yeah. more comedic with other ones that like are more bombastic. Well, There's like that I happens mean, all the time. It's just get out of this genre thing. Stop getting caught up in it. Like films, it can be anything. It just as long as it makes sense, basically. That's yeah, it's it. like, I'm, like I'm not, imagine there were loads of foundational works that were like called that were a genre called like form, and they've got like, <laughs> um, yeah. oh my That's god, funny. an art form. Yeah. It's, it's very fun. It's this very um, early genre of fiction that, that took hold, and it's all about uh, these uh, women who use magic, and that's what Flom is. It's about women who use magic, 
and someone wants to write a film about men <clears> who use magic and you let and they're like men but men aren't really a, an aspect of flom so you can't really that's mixing flom with like fantasy and that really. makes so you can't really you can't really <laughs> that do makes that bad. yeah that makes it a two out of four. It's like, well, it's these, certainly these not people, cinema. These people aren't arguing from what does and doesn't work within the art itself. These people are arguing from how it compares to previous conventions, which is yeah, it's meaningless. All the meta stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, it's not meaningless. There is, you know, met the meta changes how people perceive art, but it is, it is still not a uh, a way to 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 determine what can and can't work. Yeah, um, it sure as hell not consistent. It's yeah. relying on other things instead of what the thing is. It would seem uh, really sold out. Thought theater yeah. must must leave us now. I'm afraid. Oh, got a bounce. Sorry, I but see. it was a good time. Yeah. Good time out. Oh, maybe we got maybe. a minute of grace. Yeah, That's loads right. of minutes. You even got to Let's play some minutes. gothic phone. Even oh. some gothic. I might I might come hang out later, much later, mm -hmm. but we'll see. We'll be around. We'll be for here. A long time. We'll be around for a while. <laughs> All right. Take care. Bye bye. Yeah, bye. See, you, see you later, man. Bye bye. What if Grace Randolph gave this a tomato? Well, I was going to say, oh, no. the, the, the people <laughs> like 10 million years ago who were looking to find out her opinion, they're sitting there like, is this real? How is this happening? Like, what is, what? <laughs> yeah, well, we're only a minute in. We kept talking about Chris Stockman and Mort Scorsese. Really it's interesting like, topics. Uh, very yeah. interesting. Far more interesting than the video. And well, the what are you? Liar. Let's find out how interesting it's going to be. Liar! Liar! One of the only handful of negative reviews. And I don't want to give thought to the narrative that some people have come up with, which is ridiculous. Is someone echoing? That I have someone like a personal. Mm. I think I saw Parkus light up. Sorry. I think you. I couldn't even hear it. I couldn't hear it either. That's what I was worried. It's like, wait, am I echoing? Oh my god. Go for <gasps> it. Stop okay. it. Well, vendetta against this movie. I, I mean, I honestly don't care. So then why did you make yes, video? You do. Yes, you do. You do. Stop you do saying, care. when you yeah. make a fucking video about anything, it's like, I don't about. care about this. Do the I example. I didn't want to make this video. Yeah, you fucking did. You just, for me, for me. We're right do the here. example. The Wait. example of, oh, lacrosse. Yeah, I don't care about lacrosse. <laughs> That's what I never talked about. You can about you can verify that Franny does not care about lacrosse. Yeah. <laughs> like yes, because of how many times I've said that I don't care about lacrosse. <laughs> I need to pick a new example. That example yeah, is Yeah, because gone. clearly it's you done. care about lacrosse at this point. Yeah, or at least okay. you've got strong mm. feelings towards lacrosse. Mm -hmm. What's uh, That's the problem if it comes to... What's, what's something that... Um, What's the the one with the horses that jump over the the things? Is that a quest? a quest? Uh, oh, that's oh, that's horse jumping. It, horse jumping, yeah. Quest, I don't, I don't yeah. Is it, was I don't it that simple? Horse jumping. Horse jumping? <clears throat> no, it's not called horse jumping. No. All I know I is the jockeys do it, right? Yeah. Dressage, it's dressage, isn't it? Oh, what's what the name? That... I, I don't know. It's isn't it uh, dressage? It's proper name. Equine obstacle. Maybe. Point? I'll tell you what I do care Keep about, though, rock, course, rock like. climbing at the Olympics. That was like the coolest new sport ever. The rock <laughs> climbing stuff was awesome. Surfing was dope. The I, I feel wait, like what? surfing is a, surfing is a, oh, is a strange one because it's like, do, do the conditions at the time affect what your potential high score could be? Like if you just well, don't get a good I mean, run? That's like, that's dressage, right? Where that woman who had a horse that just wouldn't fucking do anything. That's, yeah. That happened, right? Well, yeah. That's what happens when a sport relies on animals, I guess, right? Like, do it. Like, no, I don't. I don't want to do it. I want to. I want to eat grass and roam in a field, and no. I want to. I want to eat ice cream and not and just tomatoes. Like here, but eat grass. Like, really we want to be free. It. We want to do what we want to do. <laughs> I just want to be good. I want to be alive. I am do you think alive. Do you think do, it's do, 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 Um. All right. Well, I guess I didn't you... really watch much of the Olympics. <laughs> I didn't lost. Watch it, but I think it just didn't really care. Was really cool. That does sound cool. It, it was. It was like the way that it worked was that there were identical tracks to go up to the top. So the whole idea was that there was a button at the top. You needed to get up there as quickly as possible and hit the button, and that was that was basically how it worked. Oh, um, oh the speed really... climbing. Yeah, basically. Um, and, th and they were climbing up in like five, six seconds. Oh, you know, yeah. Maybe a little bit longer than that. But They're it was throwing it was themselves incredible. up. Basically. Wall. It's yeah. disgusting. <laughs> I, th I, I thought it was really Not impressive. Bitch. Spider monkeys. Spider Speaking of spider monkeys. I don't want to take that away from you. I, get it. I don't want to rain on anyone's parade, but I do feel oh, that I have Jesus a responsibility. To what, what would it mean? You know, wait, if wait, I. Wait, wait, wait. Our responsibility. Yeah. 
I really wanted to hear the end of the sentence. Well, but I got a comment for something you said earlier, so... Oh, okay, yeah, go ahead. So, if, if it means... So, if, well, if you guys don't like a thing, and I... No, if you do like a thing and I don't like it, I'm raining on your parade. But what does it mean if you uh, hated it and I loved it? Am I... Am I am I drawing rain out of your parade? Like how what, what's what's that? Is that bad? That's, hmm. that's not, putting though. the sun on your parade, drying it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny to me. It's like don't Debbie down on me. I'm enjoying it, but also if I'm not enjoying it, it's totally fine for you to. I don't know. Up, don't up. happy Harry me. I'm. That's what I mean. Because like, you know, someone someone it. having a good time with something <clears throat> that you are really not. You, 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 we all know, like, that's just a common human experience of that being, like, really annoying, that being yeah. like, poorly timed, <laughs> someone feeling great when you're feeling shit. Yeah. I fucking mm -hmm. hate it when I see other people happy. <laughs> it's disgusting. It well, makes I mean, me I... swell with anger. Whoa, the, the big memory was, oh, wow, I got, like, a 95 on this test. I thought I was going to fail, and you just want to throw yourself through a window. <laughs> just <laughs> get out of here. Yeah. Guess this must be correct. <laughs> I thought I was flawed, but I guess I'm perfect. Oh, it's it's what those the girls good. on um it, that's what girls do on the internet. All of them, every single one, is they do the they they post a picture of themselves and they're fucking drop dead gorgeous, and they're like, Ugh, I kind of feel really ugly, but I guess I'll post this anyway. <laughs> nice <laughs> tweet later. <laughs> Yeah, no makeup selfie. No, babe, you look so good, I babe. ate a blueberry you, yesterday. I feel like a pig. <laughs> <laughs> I ate a blueberry. I ate one. Also, here's a link to my OnlyFans. Just, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> well, not, not anymore. Is, not, not anymore. Sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. This grocery well, I'm going to put it tomorrow. Just, uh, I ate, ate another tomato. I ate an extra tomato than normal today. <laughs> I ate one extra. <laughs> Had one spare. Yeah. Feeling bloated. Might delete later. It it extra rotten, my diet certified fresh. <laughs> Point out that the pr this parade. Oh wait, I'll roll this back so that other thing happens. Mm -hmm. Get away mm -hmm. from you. I don't want to rain on anyone's parade, but I do feel that I have a responsibility to point out that the pr this parade, I believe, appeals Man, this to a smaller group a pop guard. than Warner Brothers <laughs> and the initial Rotten Tomatoes. And it's not just the lead. pop guard, it's the obnoxious tone of her voice where it goes really high for some things and then it goes down and then oh, it's we're back up here. Welcome and to maybe Grace I'll normal for a little bit bit and then oh, I'll surprise you there with that one, didn't I? Yeah, like her delivery is kind of distorting the mic here and there. It's just like delivery is everything when it comes to like your voice and like how close you are to the microphone and what you're saying. Yeah, that... I don't people, know what you mean. people say that a lot. We've heard that said more than I want to hear it, which is once um, where hmm. people say you. Well, I mean, I just can't change my voice. Like, no, you literally can. Absolutely. That's, that's something you that you can voice. do. Definitely yeah, can. You absolutely can change your voice. Stop saying I mean, you this can't. is. This is kind of what brought on the jokes about the whole video essay presentation, like talking yep. in like that flowery voice. It's like you can just talk normally, you can talk authoritatively, you can talk like angrily. There's like a lot of like like tone can like dictate yeah. how your video is presented, basically. Yeah, because people aren't people aren't saying stuff well, like like literally change your vocal cords. People generally like, can you change the tone with which you present this? You know, well, guys, guys, you, you have you, like, like you have like, a no. lot of voices. She sounds Ooh, yeah, like she's exactly. You do have a lot of voices. Opinions. Someone said yes, oh, but isn't that cringe though? So they're thinking about the closer look, probably. Um, you don't have to change your voice to a from a perfectly acceptable normal voice to a different crazy voice. Like that that's the specific event that that is. Um but like Ultimately, just just um lacking any like confidence and, and, and recording in an awkward position as you're over here and then sort of mixing voice together and stuff. It's just like, oh you need to you need to work on that. And then if they're like, no, that's just my voice, you're like, no, mm. no like all no. of the elements that combine to make that sound, you can, you can alter. Well, yeah. I mean, the easy, the easy go-to for that is people will train to sing, like they train, they learn yeah. how to, they learn how to project their voice, like these are things you can learn. Ultimately, there are loads of tones that you could be presenting a YouTube video in, right? Mm -hmm. um, so when you're when you are when someone says can you do this in a different voice if your answer is well this is just my voice you've clearly not actually thought about how you're presenting what you should like if you if you if you someone actually says that to you um, if you have if you if you actually have a reason to be presenting it in that way your your argument won't be well this is just my voice it will be oh, well I think this is the appropriate way to present it yeah. I think this you know 
Um, whatever your style is, if you're like, if you, if you're talking like really awkwardly and nervously, if that's actually what you intend to do because you think that fits the style you're going for, then go for it. Bone uh, chilling. Yeah. It sounds like you guys have a problem with the YouTube voice. I can't yeah. imagine why. Well, wait, because see, I just talk like this. You're correct. That is more so the YouTube voice, but we we hate the subcategory of the video essayist voice, which is when so you know all the, the text on on the left of his screen. Yeah. It would be like, "Let's not fight for mainstream," and then a pause. Why? Like why, why? Why not? Why not have a t Why not have a conversation? Grace, why not have a conversation? And that's why the Suicide Squad is kind of crazy. It's like, yeah, it's that kind of thing. You Just hate it. You stop, hate everything about it. <laughs> Speak like a normal please. person, I beg you. <laughs> you don't need to pause. There's, it's, it's okay. As, as people right. are pointing out, yeah, the, they go, the Goodell mm -hmm. voice is just the fucking taken to the nth degree. That's all it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hate it when they go, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, God, uh, it's cringe. Cringe all the way, yeah. I don't want to take that away from you. I don't want to rain on anyone's uh, parade. But I do feel here. that I have a responsibility I think it's a bit to point out that in this parade, I believe, that Grace thinks her strong. opinion's so strong that, that she can take your enjoyment of the parade. <laughs> right, single-handedly. A lot of people... It's, it's audiences who believe that. Let's not, let's not pretend that she invented this. <laughs> loads she, of people hey, she said a it. Negative review. Loads of people. No, but like loads of people. But this is just this is a response to what the audience will say. As in, like loads of people will go to a negative review and go, um, "Why are you trying to take my enjoyment away?" And my that's my only answer yeah. to that can be, "Fuck off." Well, yeah. see, that's the correct <laughs> yeah. response. <laughs> yes, that is the correct response. It's like you ruined my time. I couldn't enjoy the movie. It's like I'm sorry you feel that way. Like that's not my fault. Yeah, it's not his. Yeah. I didn't do it, I swear. I do feel that I have a responsibility to point like out that times. this parade, I believe, appeals to a smaller group than Warner Brothers and the initial Rotten Tomato score would lead everyone to believe. I'm what a strange what thing to say. Does, does he mean, does she mean the audience? Like the audience? Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I guess it's a, it's a legitimate thing to... If, to talk about, I guess, if it's... I don't it, what do you I mean? Don't wait, 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 wait. I want to make I sure... We are... There's cocks in it. I want to make sure that we're all on the same page. Did she or did she not just say, judging from the score and who's releasing this, the parade is being celebrated by people who aren't that audience? I think what oh, yeah. she's trying to say, if I'm being good faith, is if you look at the score, you would think that this film has broader appeal than it mm. actually has. But yeah, that is a bizarre thing to say. So I'm not sure if that's what she meant, but I think it is. I think that's what she's trying to say. I think it's why would this particular and reasonable? I, why, do, so more, you're about to say like why would why would the score indicate that? That's a good point because it's a stupid thing to say if that's what she meant. <laughs> like, are we supposed it doesn't to make any like, sense. R rated doesn't mean appeals to less people in terms like it's age group. So the oh, I think she meant the musical automator. score. I think she meant really the confused. <laughs> No, no, yeah, no, so, I, 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 no, 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 so what I'm saying is, what can you go off of this film to assume that the, the tomato meter isn't representing it properly? The only thing I can think of is that it's R-rated, it's got more violence, more, so it's like, it isn't going to appeal to as many people, and it's just like, well, I, the people it does appeal to will still rate it as they believe it should be rated. Well, so, what you've just oh. done is say something that's correct, and I think she said something that's incorrect, I think that's the impasse that we're at, <laughs> that she believes something also, different. <laughs> I was about to say that position that she just arrived at. She could have made that position without even watching the movie. Like that's a, I, I don't yeah. know what the point of that's like adding that it, no, into no, your that's review how good is. Of a critic she is. Whoa, that's so yeah. cool. What would I mind? Well, if she's that good, then why isn't Brother. she giving it out her goddamn tomato? Yeah, so keeping them to yourself. Yeah. yeah and the initial Rotten Tomato score would lead everyone to believe. I thought I was going to love this movie based on that high R RT score. I man, thought it was going to be amazing. Man, I was telling I people about well, this RT. What what is this that high RT score. She really puts was... a lot of fucking faith into the worst yeah. possible system ever. <laughs> it's, it's literally the worst one. <laughs> it's not it's how like it works. the yeah. worst system and she just is, she buys it hook, line, and sinker. No matter the film. No matter the film that you watch. You're like, what's well, got a high score? So I'll like it. It's like, do you like romantic comedies? No, I fucking hate them. But, yeah, oh, but it's got a high Stockman. score? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Keith like the, 
It's like those Amazon reviews on movies like The Master oh from some country bumpkin in Missouri who just doesn't get it. It's like, okay, cool. You don't mm-hmm. like the movie. Not meant for you. Cool. Mm-hmm. Go see it. I- I'm going to watch it again with you in the watch along. Maybe oh, now that I know what's coming, that'll Chill make on. it a little bit more digestible. You've there are really seen it good once? moments in it that I'm excited. Yeah, I'm okay with people yeah, doing it after one time. I just, it's, yeah. yeah. I just got kind of bugged out here. Did she just say she she thought she liked this movie because of the score of the Rotten <laughs> Tomatoes score? Yeah, yeah. So just want to make sure she, she like. said that. Really, <laughs> yeah. I like that. That needs a, a second, like concreting. Like that is a thing just that she so said. We're clear, <laughs> because that's fucking bizarre. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. It's yeah. the same trick that they use on on us, the audience, when we don't like a film. And well, they like, go, oh, uh, well, if you look at the critic score, hello. You remember the it's fucking just, just the audience score meter for Rise of Skywalker just locked in at eighty six, was it? Yes. It never so changed. It, it, it never <laughs> moved. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think we've talked about that as much, but like talk about untrustworthy when yeah. you start looking at some of the things that they put together, like Rotten Tomatoes. You cannot rely that even the numbers are true in the well, slightest. Yeah, we're, so. we're talking about how useless the system is. Owned is. By Warner Brothers, it's owned by fucking Warner Brothers. The site. Exactly. You can't. Exactly. We were talking about how useless the system is, and that's when it's working. Oh yeah, that's true. Well, yeah, it is working yep. according to them. You know, as in like that is the. Also, well, my definition working. of working is like it. functioning as as presented uh, that it should function. They so able to convey accurately some level of information. I think, that I think working normally means reality. Working means like working is intent intended right normally oh fuck i'm not no i'm not saying oh it's working when they have it doing what they want it to do i'm talking about what it's described to do Mm. yeah because the nazi party working as intended isn't great yeah but it's still working like it's still no no no, you've you now you've muddled it Mm. so what i'm talking about is the tomato meat how everything works on that site is supposed to be a particular way the rise of skywalker is one of many examples where it was clearly not fucking working that way And so, it, what I'm saying is, we think it's shit when it's working, and then most, well, I don't say most of the time, I don't fucking know, because I don't fucking care about Rotten Tomato scores, or I do in that I hate them. Um, it, <laughs> it clearly doesn't work sometimes, and so it's like, what the hell is the point of this? Yo, Did you see but... the score for this film scrawled in shit in the bathroom? <laughs> <laughs> I know you, you may not be looking forward to this movie, but that score Man, is pretty Yeah, I can't wait to go see The Suicide Squad and also call Tammy for a good time. <laughs> no, the only utility I get out of that site is Glorio. Uh, the only utility I get is the immediate comparison between the two numbers, critic and audience. If it's way out of proportion, yeah. like in favor of critic, but like, or no, like super low critic, but like super high audience, then I suspect like, oh, that I it's like some this. political bullshit, right? That's like getting in the <laughs> or way. Some really artsy <laughs> thing, because we had that right. with. Um, I'm thinking of ending things. I fucking mm-hmm. hate that movie. <laughs> and critics really, really liked it, and audiences were pretty not thrilled about it. Mm-hmm. I think there's ever been like a glory hole where two guys have just stuck their dicks through, and they neither can agree which one's which, and they're just like their dicks poke into each other. At the oh same yeah, time. Oh, there's got to be a name for there's got to be a name for that too. Okay. Jousting. Jousting. Uh, um. Let's go no. back to Garda crossing Carmel, swords. <laughs> Rax is not happy with docking or jousting, damn. No, docking's different. Docking no, not really necessarily. Different. Not necessarily. Well, if you just, I mean, if it, you just put your penis could... in the glory hole so hard that... Well, uh, it, it could be that they, they wish to dock the you through the glory hole. They wish to use it for docking. Well, yeah, docking could, could, docking could, could occur in that be... scenario. But the yeah, scenario but that would be its own thing, yeah. Two that's, that like, you know, that's like, that's like you're talking stuff. about two people in a room together, and you're like, you could call that fucking. It's like, no, they could fuck. But just the fact they're in a room together doesn't mean that you could call it fucking. Well, you just made and it about that. I thought it was just the act in general, and I was just under the assumption it could have been docking. Oh, no. Me. Oh, no. No, docking is not that. No. What are you talking about? It was, something... it, what I just said made it docking, so you can't get out of that. Well, if you... A docking could I, maybe result if two guys did that, but that seems highly unlikely. Um... I think that would be it, it's something you have to probably specifically try and do. I don't know if that could happen by accident. Yeah, I don't but the think al- you can accidentally the, dock. 
Yeah, and the alternative to this is if two bottoms are on either side of the glory hole and they both both put their mouths up to the hole. Oh, and they, said just they just have a thing. Yeah, they just. Oh, well, I was gonna say, yeah, they just have a pleasant conversation about something, I suppose. But <laughs> that, which, nice. is a, which is really nice. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. I feel like that's the rarest yeah. scenario. I feel like most people want. That's most the people happy see a glory hole and they're yeah. like, oh, I get to have my dick sucked. No one ever thinks about. Oh, but one of the two people has to be sucking the dick. I feel like <laughs> I don't know. I've never used a glory hole. Me neither. I don't know how you would like. No, but I, I'm guessing the person that's arrange. sucking the dick is 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 wanting to suck. I mean, they don't just say, "Oh, look, I actually wanted to put my cock in the hole, but someone else has put their <laughs> cock in the hole, so I guess I better suck it." Then you know, I think. Oh, like, oh great! Are just we gonna have to? Oh, We're gonna have just to have randomly trust, fight uh, one while you're on the shredder. It's like, exercise. oh man, man, yeah, I hope I this isn't. I hope I'm not on the mouth side of this hole. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, it's, you it's, you it's would no think that they'd write that, right? There would be like a, 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 a something like. Um... Usually there's a dick here with an arrow. <laughs> I'm just imagining you don't even notice that the hole is there until you grab for, for toilet paper. It's like, oh, that's a penis. Oh. <laughs> that was oh, what? Sex that's drive? toilet paper. I didn't I think, think it was yeah. round. <sighs> well, anyway. What, but what if it's like a polite glory hole? And and they've actually <laughs> thought it through, and then one there... side's got insert penis here, and then the <laughs> and then the other stall has got uh, wrap mouth here. Uh, well, and, there and then... probably is like a, a writing or something like a scribble or a something, right? There's a hole on the toilet side, and then you stick your pee pee through it. But you get through the wall to a little grate, and then there's a little bell, and you got to ring the bell with the tip of your pee pee. And then it tells the guy on the other side of the wall that there's a thing there because he's Won't probably he just dozed know that... off because he's been smoking crack all day. <laughs> well, I don't. That's quite a scenario. <laughs> you could say I that. Mean... How desperate do you have to be to kneel down and put your mouth over an empty glory hole and just wait? <laughs> like, wait. <laughs> Who knows how yeah. long it's going to be? It could be hours. Oh, could be there wow. overnight. You, you are... walk into a bathroom and there's just this tongue <laughs> wagging wildly through the wall. <laughs> oh, I'm not leaving. I've been licking this stall wall for two days. <laughs> <laughs> that is a thirsty person. That is. A... Yeah, that is. Oh, <laughs> man. That's unquenchable <laughs> thirst. That is. <laughs> <laughs> I've had those days hypothetically, but Jesus Christ. Just down like to another reading level. a newspaper, you put it down. <laughs> <laughs> Unquenchable thirst. What if a dick comes through a glory hole while We'd rather talk glory holes than Grace Randolph. <laughs> Randolph says a Gandalf. What if an asshole just sticks his cock through and starts pissing on you? What? Oh, That's, no. yeah. what, if, what if you're just having a shit and someone sticks their dick through the glory hole and starts peeing? <laughs> well, and that you person says, back, that so guy's an asshole. Right while well, you have an erect penis? Because I sure can't. <laughs> People have an erect penis. Yeah, you just have a yeah. You put your dick back through and piss on them. It's, yeah. Uh, then he starts sword fighting and you know. <laughs> it goes in... <laughs> sword fighting. <laughs> but I would think that most people who go into scenarios like that know that it's a, within everyone's best interest to be polite. There's an understand. I imagine that a there mutual, is a glory yeah. hole. Yeah, there's a glory hole understanding. An right? unspoken there's rule. A... I'm yes. just imagining that the other person is polite about it. Like one person puts their dick and starts pissing, and the other person just goes, "Um, excuse me, excuse Oi. me, excuse me, sir, excuse whoa, whoa, me." My... What the fuck am or I listening to? Of... Yeah, I know. Yeah. Or they just I mean, say I'm straight? I think we're very, I think we're very clear on what hey, we're talking about right now. Strong. Yeah, it was, there shouldn't be any confusion. <laughs> Don't see what you're confused about, chat. We're talking about Suicide Squad. Yeah, we're talking. Yeah, yeah. 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 Did you know that you imagine if canonically has two penises? <laughs> oh no! I was I was gonna go with imagine if you went into a toilet and you heard a bunch of weasel noises King coming from the other side. Canonically has two penises or just sharks? Well, I assume that King Shark has two penises because I don't. I don't make that assumption. I think he is a big you... juicy. He, he was. A, he said because, and you cut him one. off. Because he has shark features. There you go. Ah, he also has shark have two penises. Why? Why do they need two penises? Is one of them a decoy? I don't know. I've never asked. Well, no. I imagine if you live in shark point. worlds where things get nibbled and bit all the time, it's good to have a uh, spare. A However, it's, it's I will. If, if they want to use I, the I glory hole while I mean, pissing at the same time.
I mean, I'm oh. into foreplay as much as the next guy, but I don't need a second penis for it. I mean, you know what I mean? I mean, I'll take one if you're just you passing out. Right? Dry it, you know? Just just you... pass them out. I, I feel like, why would you just take that if they were getting putt? Like, the world is not built for you. Like, you know? Like, it's not built for that. <laughs> for shark like men? Think that, um, does that mean fe female sharks have to... I mean, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think female. I don't know about that, but I like the female koalas that are they free. Evolved, they're they evolved to desire the extra girth because they're all whores. I don't know if you know that. <laughs> I didn't know that, <laughs> but it makes sense evolutionary <laughs> speaking that the whores would carry on their whore genes to the yes. next generation. What? The most. Exactly. So I, so I mean, yeah, it checks out. Damn, I didn't know there was a uh, whore gene. There's a whore shark. I disavow, <laughs> yeah. I disavow these people sharks. I disavow them. <laughs> I like to think that uh, Nerdrotic just poked his nose in here, went, no, <laughs> and then left. No. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> piss him out. What are we talking about? Glory holes? Fuck me. <laughs> Not gone. again. Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> every every <laughs> time I come in, it's the same water. conversation. <laughs> we were talking about tomatoes and stuff. <laughs> Speak no, uh, speaking of fruit. <laughs> <laughs> I need to see again. Um... But I am curious to see just exactly how many people love this movie. One of you in the UK, where this movie opened last Friday, uh, DM'd me the other day. <laughs> and, you know, nobody wants to talk about it. So I wonder if the fact they're, that they're from the UK is ever going to play into the story. I'm, I'm <laughs> curious. Yeah, this is UK international Yeah, we got a week early. We got yeah, a got week oh, early. Oh, oh see, that makes sense. I see. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because so many people want this movie to succeed, which is cool. Again, that's awesome. Have your day in the sun. Enjoy it. But it no, means that's, that's that someone think... else. No, that's someone else's day in the sun. If you want some, if you want someone else's thing to be <laughs> successful, that's like I want you to enjoy your moment in the sun, and you know I want your thing to be successful. Okay, chat. You know I did said? not. I did not dem the um, Grace. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay, that was... <laughs> I was about to put my point out to me about saying that. <laughs> what? It was you, as wasn't it? No. <laughs> okay, this is this is not me. <laughs> I'm from New Zealand, holes, right? Kinda. Also, Gary's trying to figure out how Discord works. I don't know how to explain yeah. this. <laughs> well, there's, oh there's, there's a button that goes here, and I appear in this place. He's like, how do I jump in? I was like, click group, enter. And he's like, hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> well, what do you mean, click? I'm very confused. I ain't got no road. Also, wow, a lot of bot activity today. Be excited about the yeah, anniversary anyway. stream, oh, clearly. Any um right. hot boys uh, uh, now hey at least they're saying hot girls and boys no so they're being they're, there's equality at least with these bots they heard they heard about the glory hole so like maybe um <laughs> there was a different market in this stream <laughs> they put the bot in bottom they they just they there's um there's a bot out there that listens to every stream live on YouTube for the word glory holes and then immediately shows up in the chat to advertise gay porn. Hey, it's a thankless job, but it has to be done. I wonder how many people it's caught so far. I want to program that. I want to program that bot. These are the words that you are going to respond to. Oh, yes. Someone had to program Talk. that. That's the thing. I feel more there's <laughs> like though it, it's one thing to feel sad for the bot. It's just the person who really had to program all of the stuff. Yeah, they oh, they're uh, probably making money. It, re it reminds me yeah. of the people in the factories in like Malaysia that just make nothing but horse cock dildos all day. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, well, that's a job. Well, that pays was, pretty uh, well, that... you know. Pays the rent. Pays the rent. Yeah. I make so the, uh, ever do you remember the uh... merchandise home every time it gets fucked up in the machine. <laughs> do you remember the gag and jackass too, where they it was like a, a fake horse uh vag and they they Got the they got the semen and and then one of them got dead to drink it for, to get out. Of oh the yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, it was a <clears throat> semen. It was a shot. It was like a gun that blasted it in your mouth. <laughs> oh, like it was like a no. It was they, a they drank it out of a cup. It, 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 it Did he? Cup. What's the one that I'm it thinking was, of with the gun? Oh, you're just thinking about movie. that's just you your <laughs> porn habit. Yeah, right, sorry, that's 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 confusing it with. Because I mean, you need a big old you need a big old thing to squeeze the you know. Because I imagine a horse I, vagina is pretty deep. I think the funny part was how they asked the guy who worked at the horse place, like, is it okay to drink? And he's just like, yeah, no problem. Is. <laughs> that is like, oh. I guess. That's how Fear Factor got cancelled. They made somebody drink donkey cum. 
Oh, oh, is that yeah. true? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that was like the the episode. They, Didn't they do yeah, that on yeah. Jackass or whatever? They drank horse cum. Well, that's yeah. their own. Yeah, thing. Yeah, I guess you that's just missed that whole yeah, conversation. Yeah, well, what do you yeah, think I've been doing, Fringy? I'm trying to fetch an old man to get into this call. That's true. I forgot. I have become the old man. The thing is, yay! Yay! Opinions on horse cum. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi. What up? So yeah, Word horse up. cum. We were just discussing. Um... Yeah, we were, we were just talking about the Suicide cum. Squad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now oh, it makes sense. We're watching. We're watching Grace Randolph's review of the Suicide Squad. Also, oh. notice how she typed the title. The Suicide Squad review 2021. <laughs> yeah, it should be 2021 before review if you want to do it in a way that's not confusing. Hey, look, she got excited when she wrote the Bro. word review. She's like, whoa. Mm -hmm. 2021 should be in brackets as well. There's your link, uh, Gary. You can jump right in with us. Um, got it. We're um, we haven't actually gotten <laughs> to the movie it. yet. Yeah. We've. <laughs> we've... <laughs> We We've keep coming up with excuses days, to not baby. talk about the video. We keep talking about <laughs> other things that we find more interesting. Like horse cum. Yeah, like, like school yeah, various yeah, species yeah. of cum. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like a fucking like five minute tangent about glory holes and horse cum. <laughs> glory hole etiquette. Etiquette, yeah. yeah. <laughs> etiquette. Hey, I'm if you're sticking your if lot. you're sticking your cock into a mystery hole, there needs to be an understanding about etiquette and politeness. Some unwritten an rules. Arms, yeah. Yeah. Okay. An armed society is like, yeah. You're going you, into you a... can only have glory holes in a high trust society. <laughs> You're going to a glory hole for the first time. Do you look going to see if the hole glory. is finely shaved so that there's no barbs that'll get <laughs> get caught, or do you just go for it and you don't you don't care for your safety? You're already there. I guess You're already well, taking feel... a risk, right? Like there's no, the no, danger that... of it. Isn't that part you... of it? I'm I don't know. I feel sort of if going it's not... to a glory hole like this is like your activity for the day. Yeah. yeah. Um. So if I go okay. to a, if I go to a glory hole and I arrive and I notice that it hasn't been like sanded out and smoothed and everything, no, they put I tape. That it's they just put not tape a... around it. They put yeah, tape seen, one yeah. size to another. You see. Exactly. exactly. If there's no Do tape, it's yeah. not cared for, or it's new and it's fresh. Well, I I don't. If they don't care, I don't. If they don't care about my safety and comfort, and the people who go okay. there don't maintain the glory hole. Then I just I I don't think it's up to my standards. Yeah, I'm it's got to be somewhere where they have like prefab glory holes. That's not something like they bought someplace and just drilled some holes and some I don't know How do you stalls. Prefab a hole. You have it made. That... Uh, well, all oh, of, like you the, have the, the whole wall? thing made. Yeah, the whole yeah, wall oh, made. Okay. <laughs> the construction, oh, not the whole. I see. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, you don't want people from the just... factory, it comes and they polish it and they round the insides yeah. nice and soft. Yeah, give it some yeah. labels, a nice scent, you know. Oh yeah, it's got like a rim that you can in ex exchange after you know. I guess the old one wears out. Maybe I don't know, but yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. It's kind of yeah, like, like taking your car. If I found car... one of those, if I found one of those, I'd be like, all right, you yeah. know. Yeah. So we have Grace I Randolph, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Grace Randolph. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I feel like the clientele for that kind of, you know, I. I'm really glad Grace Randolph is reviewing glory holes for us. Yes. <laughs> how, how else could this have happened? I know that she is the hero from... we need. Somebody from the UK emailed me, DM'd me, and this is what I happened. found this really great glory hole in the back of this bar down the Mahler, <laughs> what's the weird you the, what's the weird Welsh word for glory hole that you use over there? Okay. No, that's the sound of when you use it. I mean, what, what, what is the uh, well, what, what do you think we word? named it after, right? <laughs> We named it after the sound it makes. How do I pronounce this? Wales through and through. So the Welsh word for orgasm is. It changes a lot, though. Someone in the chat said. So in the chat said this glory hole got a 96% on Rotten Tomatoes. Sort of fried fresh. Okay. Well, so we can we can segue this back into the the, the topic, yes. which was of course glory hole. But 
also, um, Gary, do you, when do you, if ever, use Rotten Tomatoes? What do you use it for? I gotta say, oh, Gloria yeah. Holes. <laughs> when do you use Gloria <laughs> Holes? Well, oh, well, when don't I? <laughs> yeah. Tuesday, there's well, I've got, I've got some at home. So, the, <laughs> yeah. oh, is that what the, the little blue panels? You take the right one off, and it's just yeah. a hole. There's a guy <laughs> waiting in there, you like just finally. Knock on, you knock on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you gotta pay the rent somehow. You gotta. Uh, content. I can't remember the last time I went there to actually see what anybody thought about anything. <laughs> I mean, content. When did anybody like do that? Professionally or casually using Rotten? Tomatoes. Casually, casually, and just to see the audience stuff. I don't care about credits. Critics, I'd never have. Okay. What? <laughs> what? What? But you're a Crazy critic. Talk. Yeah, you're a critic, Gary. You're one of the people wow. that Hebert do the thing. Valuing your crap. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a hater. Thank you very much. <laughs> Excuse oh you. God. I provide only yeah. Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the guy who's... No, that's not true. Source Grace didn't give any tomatoes this time. Come on, get... None. Wait, what's happening to Fringy oh, there? I'm sorry. I don't right. know. I, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. You Wait, does your beak tomatoes. does your beak get stuck in the glory hole when you? <laughs> I don't <laughs> stick so, your no emergency I don't, Singapore. I don't. Oh, Singapore, yeah. <laughs> All right, it should be. Well, internet now. works nicer there. Yeah, I can hear him fine. When oh, you, I'm doing it just in case. When you your knees in the glory hole, and you, <laughs> does your beak, does it get stuck in the hole? Does it plug it up? Do people mistake it for an odd penis coming through the other side when really... Someone's just stuck in Fringy's nose. <laughs> <laughs> that, so that sounds like a gothic phone thing. <laughs> well, when that just next round rolls around... <laughs> They're like, well, this is the weirdest cock, but I mean, you know, I'm I'm down for it. I like him exotic. <laughs> Suck. <laughs> uh, also, I gotta hop off for now. Uh, we'll be around. Uh, don't worry. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. Uh, well, uh, might be um, just a couple of hours. I'll just boop someone to come back, or it's gonna be yeah, after I, I wake up. Yeah. I don't, I don't know yet. Very well, <laughs> Toodle bit metal. Yeah, catch you later. Oh, yeah. Well, sleep well. Later, man. All right. Nah. So anyway, back to Grace. So anyway, glory holes. Or gro Grace. Grace, Grace, Grace holes. Eleven Grace, seconds. Soul. Grace holes. She's she's oh, gonna yeah. get to the movie any second now. I'm so excited. Stay in the sun. Enjoy it. But it means that I think a lot of people who maybe don't care for the movie are probably just gonna keep it to themselves. Don't cough for the so movie. So this person told me that at the movie theater where they work. A lot of people have been walking out, and I really. I don't. I don't. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Yeah. I don't know that I believe it. The people walking out of the suicide. I don't believe it. Yeah. Yeah. That was my first reaction. Is that I don't believe you. The follow-up question. Well, that is to say, I don't. Are you a big fan of like Zack Snyder's Justice League? Oh, you are, huh? Well, then why would they have fucking? Would they have gone to watch it specifically to walk out? you might have. Yeah. Oh no, I mean, if... I mean, like the person who worked at the theater. It's like, oh well, biases. Well, I mean, like, a lot of could mean like five, and that's just like a coincidence. That's true. Like, what is yeah, if, yeah. If, yeah, I guess what if, if it was nobody the family that brought their kids, out. thinking it was just going to be a, 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 yeah, a like, superhero movie. Well, yeah, that's that was my guess. It, it, maybe it was maybe, like the yeah. violence in the opening beach scene where like everyone yeah, gets maybe killed. Maybe like, ah, gets blown ah, off, and then like, right, we're going, we're going. Okay, but I mean, it's an R-rated film. All the fucking yeah, yeah but our, our, out. it was a mass exodus all, all in the theaters around the world. Everyone <laughs> stood up in unison. Down. We're straight leaving. Straight to the toilet, straight to the glory hole. Oh yeah, I like the idea that someone <laughs> so in the theater was like, "Oh shit, I forgot I have." Sucking a big juicy cock will keep my mind off of the Suicide Squad. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> Tastes like popcorn. That's weird. Tastes like liberty. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I I don't know about I don't know about this. Oh, this is the extended cut. Oh. oh, this is the, yo, this is the, the uncut version. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, what? I got that DM before I saw the movie. And I just couldn't believe it. I was like, the trailers then why are you pretty good, that? right? Because she's, she's probably going to say, oh, then I saw the movie and I can understand or something. Please don't, Grace. <laughs> Please have some grace. I haven't loved them, but I thought they had nice moments. I was intrigued by the high RT score like the rest of you. Oh, stop. And I was kind of coming. 
no, 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 not like that. Don't drag me into your sins. I was like, you know what? This might I be like a fun the posters, so I will enjoy the film. Uh, yeah, so yeah. posters. Professional, like all the time. Professional like critic. Someone, someone She's still got the exit flabbergasted sign, by the idea that they couldn't, that, that, that they might face. not enjoy a film <laughs> that had good posters, a good trailer, and a high Rotten Tomatoes score. <laughs> I don't understand how you can how you can review films from not the year 2008 critic. onwards and still be of the perspective that that is surprising to you, that, that is shocking, that you can't comprehend the world in which that would happen. Uh, We're I almost live. three minutes in, and is she past the first talking point that she has on the screen? Like, not I literally yet. don't even know. She might be on the second. She might be on the second. I think second. she's oh. on the second. I think oh, she's yeah, on yeah, the yeah, mainstream yeah. audience's question mark. She's got okay. a glory hole face right there, though. Oh my but, god. Good pause. Like, What's wow. the thing you can't you can't see a glory hole face? It's like Schrodinger's expression. Yeah, it's what I imagine. I think we all know kind of what expression they're making. Their mouth mm. is open. <laughs> <laughs> that part, well, the yeah. other I mean, I hope that you've actually seen it before. <clears throat> We're not even into any story all... beats yet. It's like three minutes in, and well, it's just all this pr uh, preliminary stuff. Need... Like oh, I read what people said about it, and it was uh, like Posters. interesting, and I thought about going, and I was like, hmm, I don't know, and then I decided, <laughs> oh, what, what the hell, I'll just the go. Film critic, it's like, the get on with it, dude. Go yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. This is a big movie coming out, and I am a film critic for my fucking job, so I guess I'll go watch the movie. Not yeah. Well, we wouldn't pass? want to inconvenience you. Why, why would you need to? You could see the Rotten Tomatoes score. Easy. That's true, yeah. It was probably good, maybe. I saw the poster. Why do I even need to see the movie? I've seen the score. That's enough for me. And the poster, yeah, yeah that's right. And the poster, that's right, yeah. What's happening? Well, and the poster. Was... <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was bizarre. Posters, I was like, you know what? This might be a fun ride after all. But then while watching the actual movie... You know what? She reminds Jesus me Christ. of... What? She reminds me of what? someone... If, like, if there was a fourth Ghostbuster, or a fifth Ghostbuster... Yeah, what do you mean? What? <laughs> yeah. However, how many... And 26... There were four of them, right? There was a mm -hmm. third yeah, of the Three were... Musketeers. Well, she she gives me Ghostbuster vibes. Like, as Oh, you're talking about... Like, she could be... Dude, Melissa McCarthy's character. Yeah. yeah, I was gonna say, don't call yeah, that own. Ghostbusters on its own. Jesus, I was so confused. It's now Ghostbusters Answer the Call. Yeah, that's that's what it's called. <laughs> no, it is. It's the subtitle. Oh, I know. It, I know it's the it is. And, yeah. and, it, and it was a part of Ghost Core, the universe, the extended universe. <laughs> <laughs> GCU. Yeah, so funny. I think something's going wrong with this call. I'm noticing weird things about people's timing with what talking. What kind of weird things? Yeah. Like, like you started it your sentence right and then you cut strange. off, and then everyone talked, and then Rags finished his sentence, and no one noticed that. Oh. Yeah, I did though. Because um, I cared about what you said, Rags. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Ho right. Hopefully, hopefully it goes away. I don't know what's going on. There's some weird sync issues happening right now. Hmm. Hmm. Like a plumber. Yes. But then while watching the actual movie, Jesus Christ, I was like, I yeah, hate I her voice. See how people could walk out on this. I, uh, there it is. <laughs> I could yeah, see how people would walk out. <laughs> so, all right, let's she let's hear it. Though. Why? Yeah, why would people? Why? Well, yeah, she's going to explain it. Yeah. Surely. I I could definitely see it. I still think the film will do incredibly well. Oh no! Explanation. Well on HBO. Oh, I guess she won't. I mean, what? No. What? She'll get, she'll get I don't she'll understand this commentary. She'll, Why would you say this? Oh well. <laughs> she'll she'll get there maybe. I don't. People won't she, like this in theaters, but they will like it on a streaming service. What? She keeps what? talking about things that are outside of the actual film, like that have nothing to do with the yeah. plot or characters or like anything about it. Everything she said, you could say without watching the movie, and it's like I. You should probably be talking about the film itself in a movie review, or at least three minutes in you should be. Yeah. But didn't she just say, I could see what actors did. why people would move, walk out, and then she didn't say <laughs> And then why. she didn't. She just yeah. started talking maybe, about why it would do well on HBO Max. Maybe she will still <laughs> get to that at some point? I don't okay, know. Okay, let's see. Okay. I don't have time. I, it's very hard for me to walk out on a movie. I believe I've maybe walked out on one or two movies, but other people tell me will what they are. On movies. Yeah. So I think you have and to why be you curious. Did yeah, this is all fluff. I'd be yeah. curious to know what movies yeah. she walked out of. I almost walked out of Where the Wild Things Are, but that's the closest I've ever gotten. I but... would have walked out on Birds of Prey if I wasn't doing it for YouTube. It was so fucking shit. 
I almost walked out on John Wick 2. <laughs> oh, I almost what? walked out of the snowman. Yeah, because that movie's really shit, yeah. It pissed me off to no end. You'll find you'll just, Metal will eventually complete his video on John Wick 2. Maybe that'll uh, <laughs> like help you understand why. I don't know. Understand the type of person that's being described here. It's not going to be a hardcore fan. A hardcore fans going to want to see this through to the end, no matter what. They want to know exactly what. You know, or they'll you, be the most likely to walk end. out because they have the most investment. Or just, just like someone who likes watching movies to completion. What's There's a lot like, of people like, who are uh, just like, they see a bad movie, they're like, ah, oh, this sucks. But it's like, you know what? I, I mean, paid I'm money. here. I, well I paid $78 down. for my ticket. I drove. I bought my $17 bottle of popcorn or whatever the ad. fucking sunk cost. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sunk cost <laughs> this all the way. Why are we talking about yeah, this? Yeah, I mean, I'm here. Get why on with we it. Talking about the film. Yeah, yeah like why, why are, we... are we talking about this? Spider-Man's coming out. Exactly. You've, you've moved hey, on she's to got just. Fifteen minutes. Who knows? Pe people have walked out of it, you know, and and a lot of people do walk out on stuff. I've walked out on well, only like the but, one, you know, but a lot of people like do suicide, walk out on stuff. And, and so I just like want to make it clear squad. that we're talking specifically about the concept of people walking. I don't care. Get on with the fucking review. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Was it a thing? Was what were a lot of people walking out of the Suicide Squad? According to her, one one she source. She says that someone. All she said was someone from the UK messaged Don't look at her me. and said <laughs> that more a, a lot of people were walking out on it. End of anecdote. Okay. Yeah. Tidal waves of people everywhere <laughs> leaving the yep. theater. Yeah, from drowning. People are drowning. I just I like no! the idea that it's the it's the preamble. Like it, it I was prompted, you see. I was prompted like someone told me about this. It's not that I'm bringing it up just for no fucking reason at all. It's just, it's just someone told me they were walking out on it, so now I must speak on that. It's like do you do this with every film? The potentiality of people walking out on it? I doubt it. Stop blaming me, chat. <laughs> Ends, do the whole thing. Uh, but there are other people who, who are more willing to do that, more casual fans. Thank so you. So I think that might Thank be you. that, that, that demographic. You've said nothing valuable. But anyway, as I said, I still think this film will do very well on HBO. Some Max. people okay. will Why do you think that? that? I'm getting really frustrated Can you with give the us, uh, Maybe she'll say that. it. Maybe she'll what? explain it. She's got 15 more minutes. I swear to God. Minutes. Maybe we'll get... She does. Give us a single why. Like, please, just one why. I mean, like, why. this is something that could, like, fill an entire video is the whole HBO Max thing and, like, how that affects box yeah. office with, like, COVID yeah. and all that. Like, that... But that has nothing to do with the Suicide Squad. That has more so to do with the platform. So, yeah. It's designed to do incredibly well on HBO Max. What? No, why? What? Was not do well. Well. It was I want to hear this what? thought that you have explored. <laughs> Please explain yourself. Maybe it was. Yeah, it was she's designed going to explain to it win. right now. She's going right, to tell yeah, us in great depth right now. Yeah. It doesn't yeah. matter what she says because it wasn't. It, it was made for theaters. It was meant to James Gunn totally the made this for theaters. Yeah. It's, well, I know. I know you're going nuts, but let me explain. Why I say that? She's gonna say that right now. I yeah, guarantee she, it. Yeah, let's see. Right, By let's the way, go. from what I've let's heard go. from people, this film is actually like worth seeing in the theater. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Was. getting very confused. Yeah, I saw it and it was Twice. great. Twice. Yeah, but were they from yeah. the UK who told you that in DMs? <laughs> maybe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I saw it I twice saw it. in the UK. Maybe oh. that's the guy. Maybe that's the guy. I don't know. Maybe it's you. Maybe As walked out both times. Uh. As is now. Well, the UK. I need to the glory <laughs> home. He, he came to the UK to walk out in the UK. Yeah. <laughs> it just so happens that his favorite glory hole is at the movie theater. So yeah. exactly. Cars, yeah. cars lined up for that career. It only choice. made sense. Bought my ticket. Sit down. Oh, I need the loot. Even if the movie shit, at least I get to suck a nice dick. Hey, you know oh. what? This kind of ties in with uh, the Jim Sterling video. This video has been nothing but just. This is what I think about stuff, I can't and it's got his dick through a glory hole. Okay. Um, okay. And then there was a pause. <laughs> um, so, oh. So, so what I was saying was like the, the explicitly subjective review. This is like the straw man I would make, where you just say stuff. Uh, Why? What did Jim? What oh did God, Jim Sterling do? Oh, it was just uh, it was a hundred percent objective review where it was just saying things in a very monotone voice, but without actually explaining anything in detail. Yeah, and I was oh, saying that. I, was, I wonder if. Maybe the lady on the left is all the things she doesn't talk about. Yeah. Didn't talk about the size of the poster. Which poster <laughs> did she like? Cover today. <laughs> Why yeah, but... does she judge a film based on the poster? Isn't that 
Is she like the 11 by 17 smaller ones or the big movie? Uh, you know, I, I need to know these things before she tells me about the well, actual yeah. movie. What value can popcorn? we get from her without knowing that? You know, it's really important. That... Was it salted? Was it buttered? Was it mixture? Uh -huh. Sweet? Light her? <laughs> Is this all because she didn't get a free pass? Did she have to pay? <laughs> you do I have to wonder it. about that, don't you? The second they stop re them, they're like, you know what? Your movie was shit. That's what it was. It was mm -hmm. shit. That's why he didn't invite me, because I'd have been honest about it. <laughs> Give me a gift yeah, bag. can't handle a true critic like me. Give me a, Grace, yeah. explain to us why this was made for HBO Max. Please. It's designed to do incredibly well on HBO Max. Partially, well, I think actually especially, because you can screenshot actually, stills and scenes There's from no the movie especially. and share them on social media. Fred but you can do that for any film. So, so what, why would that be specifically to this <laughs> film? And again, you failed to address the meaningful thing, which is that this film was made before the decision was made to put films on HBO Max for the whole year. Oh, Not details. to mention details. <laughs> it was made for HBO Max so you can take screenshots for Twitter. Of Twitter. Yeah. And Fuck I was about to say... Oh. Would wow. those images even like make the social media posts like more popular just because you had images from the movie rather than just the posts themselves? Or hey, like, Grace, even there's just this thing called uh, DVDs, Blu-rays, now 4Ks. Uh, people can put them into their devices at home, pause them if they so desire to take a screenshot. You can't do that day one, can you, As Owned. <laughs> uh, oh, well, oh, you got him. Got him. Got him. This is a bizarre fucking bit of reasoning, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> That's so we're, going to change, we're gonna change our entire strategy for the release of this multi-million dollar film because we think that if enough people take screenshots on their computers, it will generate enough revenue from sheer interest because of those screenshots. Woman, are you insane? <laughs> that, that'll do it. You know, I like to give when it a she didn't explain this views. The thing is, she needs to craft <laughs> she needs to craft some kind of narrative that proves ah, this is why it's not working for people in theaters. It wasn't even made for them. And it's like what Because those are Whereas... two entirely different just segments of humanity. Well, you know, <laughs> the ones who go to theaters I mean, and the ones who I feel like the elephant in the room is hmm, DC has a shit reputation. Maybe that has yeah. something to do with why people aren't going to watch it because they it's like, oh, it's DC, they make the shit movies. Like, well, that's, like that's why a lot of people think Birds of Prey didn't do so well, right? Like that one well, didn't perform very well. At, at this point, either. it's at this point you gotta wonder because it's like there was that one, and now there was Suicide Squad, and then if you look to next year, it would be interesting to see what happens with those films as well. Yeah, and, and plus <laughs> pandemic stuff. How did um and other factors as well, like confusion on whether it's a reboot or a sequel. How did Wonder Woman eighty four do again? I can't remember. It didn't do that Terrible. well, what I understand. Like, box office numbers were shit, but then again, there was, like, the HBO Max thing again, so it's hard to say. Yeah. Yeah. I think From California I was locked down, too. So. Yeah, exactly. Big, big uh, place for, like, films. It seems like Mortal Kombat seems to be, like, the big success story overall for, like, and, the movies uh, that Kong, they released. Right? Uh, and Godzilla, Godzilla Kong. versus Kong, true. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, so Goodell, particularly, actually, especially... <laughs> Like, <laughs> this is what, what? That was a trifecta. I'm learning so much. Like, actually, though? Like, literally, actually? Actually. Literally, actually. For instance, I am fairly confident that John Cena's bulge and tidy whities will trend because it leaves absolutely what? nothing to um, the imagination. Some of you. Yeah, it does. Like, I can't see his car. This is, uh, this is, this is, <laughs> this should. I think it's like, a, a lot to the imagination. And, it, and again, <laughs> why are... couldn't you tweet about that without the actual picture? You're telling me you couldn't like talk about that on social media without taking a physical screenshot from like HBO Max? Like, of course you could talk about that. I also wouldn't be maybe. surprised if that turned up in something of a like this scene getting shared, you know, promotionally and stuff, since it's an early part of the film. Yeah, yeah, possible. <clears throat> But um, that Let's is not start this review with themes or characters. Let's start with John Cena's cock. <laughs> yeah. What if we all? Well, think... I mean, be... I think that that's a decent. And see, place HBO to start Max. Me. You know, they had their meeting. <laughs> they had their board meetings to figure out. Hey, look, this movie would do well on HBO Max because people could take pictures of John Cena's balls. <laughs> 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 like, this, this Imagine John wonderful... Cena being in that meeting and just feeling so good <laughs> that this is being talked about. My cock. <laughs> Sell Most a movie. Chad yeah. move. Ever.
Well, yeah. in the not next even room, you've got Gal Gadot screaming that she's talk. not going to get fallen on. Her tits aren't going to get grabbed in the Justice League, and John Cena's there in his tidy whities I would yeah. prefer to imagine Peacemaker, the character, sitting in on that meeting. Where like, <laughs> 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 where he's just there going, if it's for I will get my cock out for this. For, I will do for, that if yeah. it was for save the sake life. of peace. So, yeah, yeah, for yeah. peace. Yeah, let me just write. It's clear that the Suicide Squad was released for liberty. streaming services because of John Cena's tighty whities. <laughs> also, she applied the whole screenshot argument, but like that's not specific to the movie, even though she framed it that way. Like that would be literally any film released to HBO Max in, in addition to theaters as well. Yeah. So oh, did she just and basically you're... say, I want to see John Cena's cock. <laughs> I mean, you can well, see it it earlier. Yeah. Look, really. look, look, this the is the thing. It, screen, I guess. It's fine to talk about what you're interested in, but I mean, you've just given away a lot more than you probably realized. That's all. <laughs> John Cena's Come on, Grace. I prefer you when you in didn't, a glory you didn't hole. explain your ideas. Oh, it ha you have to have a custom glory hole. <laughs> about this, and some of you said, oh, look at John Cena in these tight pants. And I was like, that's you ain't not the seen same. nothing yet, especially because the camera gets right in there. And I saw it in IMAX. It was a little bit like how with Watchmen, the <laughs> movie. Christ, woman. What, what, is, what, is, what are we doing? About what is this? this? I really <laughs> care about this. God, there's a, like, this our, the three-year anniversary of ECAP is kind of developing a theme. <laughs> Look at what we got on those like, three different men. <laughs> what is like, happening right now? <laughs> she's gonna have cocks coming into her mouth and then like... <laughs> there's just gonna be dinks everywhere on this screen. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Why are there so many dicks on the Grace, <laughs> on your thing on the left hand side, I don't say spends 10 minutes talking about <laughs> John Cena's like cock. We, we are in the social media friendly section of this video, and on the screen right now, we've got a blurred out picture of Dr. Manhattan. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Manhattan. They, for whatever you started the, the glory hole discussion Dr. before Man all this, Hood. turns out it was quite like, relevant to the discussion Grace, of the video. Grace, you gave away Dr. too Man much. Handling. Of cocks. Grace, you're so thirsty. His crotch Jesus. was bald like a G.I. Joe. That's misleading. Hey, man, I, I appreciate the, you know, this. I would like to know about the movie, though I'm glad we're on the same page about John Cena's genitals. Yes. It's definitely the most important thing to bring up first when you're actually talking <laughs> about the thing she brings qualities up. of the film. <laughs> next, next Friday, <laughs> take, 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 take next Friday off. <laughs> <laughs> Dress yourself up pretty, go out to some <laughs> sleazy bar, and get fucking hammered, you know? This picture is amazing. Well, what do you think of the Suicide Squad? Well, John Cena does have an impressive cock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Tell yeah. me more. It's Dr. Manhattan's, just for good measure. Uh, if, you're, um, if, anyone, uh, in, if anyone in the audience wants a reminder of some other good cocks, uh, here are a few. <laughs> Can you here recommend some cocks of my me, favorite cocks? <laughs> it's, it's almost like a. She wanted. She wanted us to know she saw it in IMAX. <laughs> like I saw the cock in IMAX. <laughs> I saw his cock in IMAX. <laughs> <laughs> what else is IMAX for? <laughs> it's. It's important that we do that. That's all. I was about to say, she's also advocating for, like, HBO Max being a better medium. It's like, would you not then be advocating for watching it in IMAX if you if that's what you're interested in? I, <laughs> so you I know, don't see this called, cock on the big screen. Oh, yeah, exactly. I want to see exactly. his cock on streaming. Some lady's tits or something. <laughs> it's so oh, nice yeah, I mean, it's, to it's see it's when definitely... the mask slips, by the way. It's so fucking wonderful to see when it slips. Well, that's not all I hope slips. What's, what's funny to me is like this: if this were about you know the the other side, like holy shit, this would be shat on. It's like oh, you can see this girl's tits uh, in IMAX too. It's great. The, I can see why people. Dude, are... You can see the outline of her vulva. It's like man. <laughs> <laughs> if you look hard, you can just see her clitoris. John Cena's what? getting me too. This is not fair. We got to stop it. It's an injustice. Oh. He's being, yeah, he's being molested. I molested well, I mean, by Grace. I do think it's, it is kind of weird to just talk about an actor's cock. <laughs> you know, <Yeah>. it's, <laughs> you know it's what you said earlier. Brendan Fraser it's, got blacklisted. it's not just Especially talking about the cock. First. It's talking, really yeah, like first, tweeting yeah. at John Cena. Hey, John, Grace Randolph really likes your cock. <laughs> do more, please. <laughs> do more tidy whitey scenes for her. She wants to see them in IMAX. 
Do more having a cock. <laughs> <laughs> Do more of that cock thing that you did in Suicide Squad. <laughs> Came for the story, stayed for the cocks. Yep. As we all do. Yeah, I watched this movie for the plot. Can we see King Shark's cock? Yes. Oh, Both God. of them. You know, I don't, I I'm not like convinced sometimes, there's two. I feel like sometimes John Cena wants to go in a movie and he wants to be appreciated for his acting talents and not his impressive cock. <laughs> well, too bad. He's been objectified yeah, we'll all his that. life. This is a man who's been objectified all his life through his physique. Yeah. Now it's his cock. It's like, it's, have you ever seen that, that comic where it's just it's this, this, this sad guy going when you realize that she's just another woman using you for your massive wiener. That's, <laughs> that's what Christina goes through all the time. In there. I saw it in IMAX. It was a little bit like how with Watchmen, the movie, everyone just focused and became the Blue Junk movie. Uh, but what, what are you no, talking about? That's you. That's you. No, Grace, yeah. you're, pro you're projecting. Projecting. Grace, you need to calm that's down. You. That's you. That's in the ground. You like him exotic. Like what? It's fine. Who the fuck talks about Watchmen really, as the blue really junk movie? Avatar. The fuck? There's a scene in this very film where a guy has his cock out. Yeah, but, it's blown. But, well, bloody yeah. Grace is too fixated on John Cena's tidy whities. Like, yeah. Grace, you gotta calm down. <laughs> why aren't you, why, yeah. Did it become the Latino cock man's movie? I'm <laughs> so wrong. No. <laughs> Latino cockman to the rescue! I'd watch it. Oh, that was, that was a silly man. cock. Oh, it wasn't like a sex cock. It was a silly cock. I see. <laughs> yeah, he was the man there, getting I killed. Think it was handled cock. better in the television show. Handled better. Oh my god, there's another, <laughs> there's another the cock. <laughs> what, what is <laughs> this? Gray, stop! Please, get a good pass. Please, get on the screen. Superhero <laughs> media dick. <laughs> <laughs> you never have to I, I, I fucking pissed myself if there was a hard cut between this scene and the next one. A where hard she cut? Fucked, she's <laughs> fucked off to get the rampant rabbit out of a fucking bedside drawer. Grace, I swear to God, if you put Cracking one more dick on this screen. Superhero movie cocks. <laughs> Room for more. more. <laughs> I'm gonna get delved this, man. It's like just add more and more pictures. We, <laughs> we were asking explicitly for more explanations. And the, the, she's finally given us a scale of cocks like that's the first thing she's explained oh, to us in detail. Max Cox. That, yeah. You know what to do. Right. You know what to do. I will yeah. fucking swear to god I will tweet it out. What the scale of no, cocks? I want to give this a rotten cock but I think I'm not going to be able to give it any cocks at all. <laughs> now that cock is right. This gets a fresh cock. <laughs> that was a shiny red cock review. 96 <laughs> on Rotten Cock Marto or something. Look at your fucking pupils are dilated. The like fucking saucers. This place is in the game now. <laughs> it's like the percentage it's determines the how erect the, the dick is. It's all flattened at zero. You no, know, 96. Grace, this is a weird yeah. video. <laughs> yeah, you can, you know, can get over a 10 on this scale. Oh, to explain, what, to explain but... why I feel this way, here's, a, here's four pictures of cocks. <laughs> I'll explain this... why this film was more successful on HBO Max. <laughs> I give this three John Cena like cocks out of eight at home. She's in the boardroom, she's like, hear me out, okay? She pulls down the black in from the board, and it's just all the cocks. <laughs> I, can, I, can, I can explain, I swear. <laughs> How do you think that's gonna help us sell more burgers? <laughs> or maybe, maybe she just sent this off to her editor. Her editor's just like, "Fuck this bitch." Like, <laughs> I, mean, she's talking, I mean, she's talking about it everywhere. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> that Imagine sending point. this off to an editor, and this is what you get back. <laughs> The quality of this Grace, dog shit Grace, video. should I keep the cock part, or do, do, should I? <laughs> I can get rid of it. I don't know. Can I just change it? <laughs> I put the Twitter logo, the HBO Max logo. That's, uh, <laughs> Poor editor. Do you like? Yeah, we, we, we're past the. Oh man. 
There, I think like it was handled better in the television show. That, that was not the focal point. Of, the cock you know, was handled better or what? I, I, she you said know, it was handled sure better. It, it, it was, she just <laughs> said it wasn't <laughs> the focal point. None of these are the focal points. No, of fucking no, movie. Yeah, you're you making the focal point. Focal point. The focal there's, point the focal there's one <laughs> scene with John Cena in his tidy whities where it is kind of the focal point and the butt of the joke. Well, you could say that about all of these, that they would be the focal point when they're on the screen. Whenever I, see, yeah, whenever I see a wiener on screen, that becomes the focal point. <laughs> They're unusual to see on screen. That's all. You it don't is. normally just see them. Yeah. Oh shit! That's normally a they're behind there. like layers of clothing or something. True. Yeah. Uh, so it was. I think like... done much better, and therefore it was received much better. Um, <laughs> the cock was received. Was received. Much <laughs> Grace, stop I don't know it. if she's joking or not. <laughs> she's you see her starting to up now. There? Look She's at her winding right there. there. She's, you know what you're saying, you dirty whore. Yeah, imagine what's on this screen right oh. now. Like, oof. You don't, because you need to make sure she gets these points right. Do you think she's reading from a script? My name's Grace Randolph and I'm a dirty girl. <laughs> we'll see. I, I, I'm sure that people will I'm snap Grace Randolph page. or uh, future Mrs. Cena. No. <laughs> <laughs> Shared all over social media. I've uh, seen the movie a cocker too. Of record scratching moments. That's how I would describe Sarah, it. Why Including... is there a, a, a just a video after the cock section? Yeah, we're, we're, we're done with the, the cock poster, section. There was, yeah, yeah, yeah that, the, the poster yeah, that was foundational that is just gone, replaced with another one. So it's like, oh, okay. And now there's like a huge social slate. media friendly, but it was actually John Cena. You know, friends. Yeah, yeah that was really friendly. about my, social media. That's my favorite part friendly, about yeah. this frame right now is that this poster is small enough that if you just moved it a little bit to the right, it wouldn't <laughs> overlap with the red tag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And yep. you've it, still got the Twitter logo there as well, even though you've moved yeah. on from that point. Yep. Lay. Also, David's something else I didn't notice. Character. Something else I didn't notice that's upsetting me. Chapter times with a capital T. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty sure that chapter times is not a proper noun. Wait, so, where? Is I, I don't know what. And also, <laughs> dot dot right. dot. That's chapter very times? ominous. Dot dot Wait, dot. Uh oh. Times? Chapter times. Oh, is that the, in the bottom, bottom, bottom right. Bottom right. Bottom right. So, chapter times. Oh, okay, with a capital yeah. T. Oh, so yeah, what, what are we yeah, doing? That yeah. is bothering it's me. It's like a. It's like a newspaper yeah. chapter times. The January the chapter, chapter times. times. <laughs> it's all about chapters and what's going on in the world of chapters, where chapters are alive. They're like book. They're, well, yeah, they're not like books. Book they're newspaper. just well. It's not quite books. They're small books. They're little tiny books, like ten pages, no more than that. Novellas. No, that's still too big. No, they don't have to be women. Mm. What? <laughs> I feel like my this little chapter story has got off the rails, and I'm very upset. Welcome to Eat Fat, Bringy. Hey, alright. Stop it. So anyway, we're going to talk about the Suicide Squad now, apparently. Record scratching moment. Maybe one day. Finally. Maybe yeah. one day. I mean, I'm really excited for this Full video. Full frontal nudity. Oh. Uh, male. No, she's quickly, back to uh, male again. and female. <laughs> she's still on that topic. She, has she went back to golf. Oh my oh, god. No. <laughs> Yeah, yeah now back to the cock. There God are, damn it, there Grace. Are briefly... That's why the Twitter logo's still there. She can't get a mind <laughs> off the cock. Grace has been locked down for way too long. <laughs> we made it out Jesus. of the cock section oh, and we God. fell right back into another cock section. <laughs> of all the things to talk about in your movie review, there are two very brief sequences where we see a flaccid penis and a topless woman or two. And mm. very brief. And it only happens twice. Why are you talking about... Are you... I... I'm telling you to grow up about nudity. That's how bad this is. She's calling them record-scratching moments. It's an R-rated movie. Yeah, what are the odds yeah. of seeing boobies in an R-rated movie? Oh my goodness. Uh, what? They're breasts. Have you, 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 your job is on the internet. Like, that stuff is not difficult to come across. Well, I mean, it shouldn't be hard to, like, find this sort of thing. <laughs> it's quite easy to come across. For, um... <laughs> They did it. Uh, well, no, just anything. topless women, because like, if, of course, because of course it does. Uh, at one point, what do you mean? Of course it does. What do you mean? Yeah. What do you mean? Of course it does. Yeah. Mean, of course it does. You just objectified John Cena and also. <laughs> like, man, this is like, yeah. Man, you, I was about to say, say, man, gender equality, baby. It's it's a full frontal and it's a record scratch, so it's a surprise. But obviously, it's in the film. What? Yeah. What do we? It's obviously in the film. No, I'm saying there's more things that are up that you knew were going to be coming in the film. Yeah, unless well, no, you what meant... I'm saying is it's like 
she, she's saying that these are surprising moments, but also obviously it would be in the film. I think maybe she's doing well, that as a just additional note. So like crazily enough, there was a penis. There are tits, obviously, but there was a penis. Maybe. I think yeah. that's what she's going for. Yeah, I guess. I guess, I guess she's saying, saying maybe whole... female nudity is more common or something like that. Like that's well, more topless female nudity, nudity certainly because you can get away with breasts to a much greater degree than you can get away with penises and vaginas. You and yeah, yeah. yeah there's, you there's no vagina in it. There's no vagina. There's just a couple of tits yeah, here or there. Yeah, I think it's yeah, arguable very briefly in the background. Mm -hmm. Very vaginal. Yeah, you don't get to really vaginal. Yeah. Vaginal, as I, I would say. I have a theory about film where if a film has flaccid dick in it, it's a good movie. <laughs> and <laughs> sideways, but it, 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 it can't it be an erect dick because then you're just doing porn. But if it's a flaccid <laughs> cock, it's a powerful and artistic statement. About yes. Yeah, I mean, symbolically, yes. a flaccid anatomy. penis represents potential. <laughs> a flaccid penis used to mean strength. <laughs> Back in my uh, day. <laughs> back in my day, <laughs> we'd all right? walk out with flaccid penises because it was a sign of strength. Which was that the style was at the time. <laughs> Grace Randolph's <laughs> giving me a flaccid fucking penis. I'll Look, she, let's just... She's gonna, I remember my great great Let's hope she penis. gets off this topic, all right? Oh, great. my God. Well, that's oh, why we call him at great At one point granddad. in the movie, they have to go to a female, uh, you know, a gentleman's club, let's say. A female to very cool. <laughs> female gentleman's club. Crude discussions. <laughs> like here's an example. This crude uh, discussions. Oh my wait, god! In an R-rated movie? movie called like, wait, the Suicide look, Squad. I'm very curious what what her example will be. Uh, at one point, a character says they would actually love. A, he would love a rat up his butt. So that's like that's just a sampling of the dialogue. Well, no, no, well, no, 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 no. You ruined the joke, darling. Uh, rat catcher said, "How would you like uh, six rats going up your asshole?" And, then he, turned, and then he turned around. And, yeah, then he turned around and said, "I think you might find the answer of that question." Surprising. <laughs> <laughs> That's surprising to you. This is like the most I'm, bizarre. I'm sorry, you got no video. sense of humor, Grace. Like, I'm sorry. This is bizarre. Well, okay, so just, we've got a clear. She loves the the dick, but not rats in the oh, butt. Yeah, rats in the butt. That's no. too much. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm the, I'm She's the same. Clearly way. homophobic. I Suggest love the dick, but I also do not like. The butt. Uh, oh yeah, it's the con, just the 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 notion of it. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. True. The threat Over the of top rats score. up to that. I actually had to look away several times because at a point you started Plus, to realize in the, when it was in the R-rated movie. Like, Jesus, I mean, it's, yeah. I mean, I, I can well, you know, I it was like it was very, it was very deliberately very gory. Yeah. Well, so it's not like this it, is one yeah. of those ones not, where it didn't just show what it needed to show to like communicate the you know like to be realistic as as what would happen in the violence of the scene. It was like, whoa, look at all of this blood and gore and. Well, so it and always works for gore like, though. Yeah, at all. The, yeah, like the, in that the, opening beach scene, you know what they're doing. Like everyone gets killed in like an overt way. It's like basically being like, yep, full on R. This is going to be a violent movie. So yeah. Yeah. I, uh, if anyone says like I I just couldn't handle the gore, I'd be like, yeah, yeah, that's the thing. People sometimes come yeah, out. I'm, I'm not that keen on gore myself, but in this film, it was it was all right. It was funny, oftentimes. Uh, <clears throat> I yeah. mean, it, I get the Austin same entertainment too. out of it as I do with like Quentin Tarantino. I find it engaging for the most part. Yeah, yeah. seeing Peter yeah. Davison have his face blown off. He was did one of the great greatest things yep. I've ever seen in my life. Yep, King Shark that was a that guy in half lengthwise. <laughs> that was like awesome. an absolute triumph. <laughs> absolute triumph. Yep. Like, Someone's got to I don't want to see that. So I would look away a couple of times. But you saw the trailer when they showed some of it. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, the maybe the well, stuff the, in the trailer was what the, she... The King they Shark King one. Shark eating yeah. person. Yeah. Well, they didn't yeah. show the shot of him ripping the dude in half, well, too. That's in the like, trailer, well, too. So I'm sorry. You knew what you were getting into. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, well, those were, no, those were I, not the glorious scenes. Those only show the violence that you need to show to communicate what's actually happening. Whereas some of them are like, hey, look directly at this. Well, like, but like the fucking, Fringy's point um, is still valid the that the, he's, you've the reached a level, is, so that level should be now expected. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Think the things but I that feel like it goes above that level at points. Which maybe is, it does, but if you, see a, if you see a shot of a shark ripping a person in half sideways, it's like, I'm sorry, what did you expect you were going to see in this well, film? Well, I, I guess it, it's weird how she's communicating what her potential point is. I think that's where the thing is, because I'm, I'm fine with the idea that in and of itself, the idea that it was really gory, but some of the gore I had to look away from, if that is just something you're saying to describe the levels 
in a broad sense, that's fine. Yeah, but, but if this is, is a complaint, it is a complaint. Then that is, sure. yeah, then that's what's strange. That's what I think is happening here. These think... are the things that are being said as like, ah, see, this is why I don't like it, and this is, which I guess is fine. But like, you're you're not just gonna stop there. I I know it. Like, it's not just gonna stop it. Well, I didn't like it, but it's it's neutral. It's gonna be a point of criticism for sure. What were you gonna say, it... Jay? I'm I'm just like I'm not even sure why she's going with this. Yet. Well, let's roll it back and see what she says. Uh, I, yeah. you, at a point, you started to realize when it was coming, and I was like, I don't want to see that. So I would look away a couple of times. Just like a horror Tons film. Tons of innocent people. Um, so oh, this like some people doing it in a horror this, film. You know, yeah, they I'm, know it's coming, and they <clears> they kind of peek behind yeah. their hands. Also, now well, I'm not I, sure I'm, if it's a complaint or just a description of her watching the film. Yeah, Maybe. that's where I'm at. I'm confused. Yeah, I think it was just a, a description of her because she's just done with it now, or she seems to have dropped it at least. She just like she looked away a couple times. It's like, but it's, so it's, remember it's the con her, it's the her con delivery, her inflection here. Yeah, yeah and, and the context was record scratch moments, as in things that may very well make people leave, because that was where or she how she rolled into this topic. Them. As far as I remember, it kind of depends on the person. <clears throat> I mean, Didn't you know yeah. a review and a plot summary are the same thing? <laughs> I mean, they, they are the parts of the film that will probably go, like, will, will probably, what's the word I'm looking for? Some people will feel, uh, of anything that was going to make someone walk out, it's probably these repulsed? things. Yeah, I or guess the, the most objectionable, objectionable stuff in here compelled. would be you look, Is it violent? compelled, the word you're looking for? I'm not sure. Compelled. I, I think the moment Believe. of the word is passed. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's, I it's feel weird compelled it... to leave from this movie theater. Huh? Someone said, "Let her finish." She's already on the next topic. She's talking about innocent people dying in this movie, which is going to be a fascinating fucking topic. Yeah, Jesus Christ, it's a oh, fucking yeah. com. Oh my god, no, Mark, okay, go on. Uh, go I'm just not. It's just good to know that our protagonist and quote unquote heroes aren't the one doing it this time. So that's yeah, I like that on the film. Way a couple oh. of times. Tons of innocent people killed. I'm surprised that more people aren't making a comment about that, especially because what almost they make? all of them, yeah. I'd say 99%, are impoverished people of color. Oh, oh, what? What? Oh, 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 what? But hey, why is the life those of the people heading, person of those so are the white people heading of the movie? That's what. That's, yeah, who? That's, that's yeah. That's who would everyone on that island rich white people should die. I can't believe the, 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 I don't believe it. How are you so blatant about saying that? Do you not understand what you've just implied, you crazy bitch? It, it would have been okay if they yeah, were like, white people. Like, oh shit. <laughs> like I'm I'm on board with the idea that a lot of innocent people dying could turn you off a movie, but like I we have gone to the next level. This is a record scratch yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah, it's like it placing is. almost value on different yeah. lives, where but it's like, well, just yeah. like a race. The whole like, I mean, but, but, but did she watch the film? Because one of the things in the film was that the people were like condemned and then the heroes tried to save the city. Like, why yeah, would it be Starro. a point of criticism well, against the film? Point, I don't think innocent people are at risk, and they yeah, save exactly. A lot of them. This is like saying too many uh, black yeah, people die also... in Resident Evil Five, where it takes place in Africa. I'm like, oh, the of Suicide course. Squad is yeah. made up of ninety-five percent villains, by the way. Well, they pretty much yeah, but what color were they? Time off their what jail color? sentence. I, thought, it, it, I, th I think you guys are already detailing it too much. She's specifically just saying, "I don't want to watch people of color who are innocent die." It. No, oh, impoverished. They're impoverished. Of just, I don't want to see innocent people, people in color. Part of movie. Instead Which, of just innocent people in The most general, bizarre fucking weird. So if she watches yeah. a movie where the whole world explodes, is she like, oh my god, the, the people of color, no. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, like, the distinction. The I, what the hell was this? <laughs> I just... What a weird this, fucking thing to say. I can understand why this is getting uh, hit quite hard, because this is fucking well, some dumb shit. Th does she think that it's intentional? That, like, like, the movie's saying something about that by having as many innocent people die who are, like, uh, impoverished and of color? Because, like, I, I don't well, think there's isn't a white... white angle there. It's... Or, like... Yeah, where it takes place. It, so, like, the nature of this film, the plot is kind of reliant on where it is yep like the kind of place it is a dictatorship that's an island in the middle of the ocean and it's not gonna like this wouldn't work the story wouldn't work if it was new york right 
or Which Kansas City. Story at that point. Wait, so yeah, you couldn't. Yeah, it wouldn't operate. What if what way. if we established with like a fucking deleted scene? Uh, they were all rich, actually. They were all really rich. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> we can kill them all now. Now I hate them. them. Yep. Bloody hell! I, it's, you flip it around, and, and they're you know, all racist as well. It means she wouldn't have brought it up if they were all white. It's like, oh god, that's so cringe. Uh, why are you're such a fucking racist? <laughs> mm -hmm. They have no agency in their lives within the film. What, what do you mean? They're not because the, they're they not the feature no characters. Agency. They run. What else can you do with a giant starfish away. is attacking <laughs> your town? Yeah, <laughs> do, I mean, do a lot of the ones. A lot of the ones we... who ran away, they like escaped, and they are no longer part of the movie that we need to see anymore. Yep. Yeah. A lot of the ones who ran away increased their chances of survival. They didn't die. They weren't part of the movie anymore. Yeah, like they kind of distract Starro, like bring Starro away from the like him attacking all the people, and then from there on out, they mostly fight him in like one place. So yeah, they just stop being relevant at that point. Well, what's, what's James Gunn going to do? Is he's going to make a fucking phone to go, call to Grace Randolph and go, hey, he you got it. me. I fixed it. He's like, I'll kill more you, you white people me. next time? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, 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 I thought nobody would see my blatant racism and, and, and yep. you know, dictates on class. Uh, you, but you saw right through me, Grace. Oh, God, <laughs> it's funny why... to those white people. You're so clever. Uh, that's why Jeez. the only two members of the Suicide Squad who die are white men. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, two, but you know what I mean. Two. If anything, um, there's movies about taking down the high the mind conglomerate. Like, that's that the whole point of the movie is to take down that thing and then free those people. And, it's like, it's like a, it's kind of like, like she missed a lot of points I, I was about to say like the u.s if anything is more so vilified than like any of the people on the island i mean they yes. are to an effect yeah. once you burn birds or whatever oh but they only do that through waller who is yep a person of color and a woman <laughs> oh no yep. <laughs> Check Check they might be right uh, let's see if people she's been careful up. amanda waller <laughs> let's, see, let's see if she brings people it up really like know. the villain I, yeah, who knows? There's a whole section for Amanda Waller here yep. that she didn't care for. I bet. Should we take? Should, I mean, I should we keep a tally? Do you think that the reason that she didn't care for Amanda Waller was because she was a woman of color portrayed as a villain? Well, mm -hmm. yes. um, one hundred. I'm aware because of... I wouldn't have even thought to say that yet. But now that she's brought this up, well, mm. as Gary, what is? Because I know that. Uh, there's a lot of people mm. making arguments from the comics where they don't like Amanda Waller. Is she a comic person or is she not? She's she a is. comic person, yes. Yep. So she Long might time. make that argument then, yeah. We'll have and to see. She's, she uh, read. she's an absolute badass in the comics in regards that she takes no fucking shit. Uh, yeah, the portrayal of her in, in the film is pretty decent. It's a pretty yes, fucking... It yeah. She takes no yeah. fucking she's shit a... in that movie. Yeah, she didn't well, take well, she's, Yeah. Honestly, like, so I've seen a couple of videos that are very anti this movie, and one of the biggest problems a lot of them take is that she's been assassinated from the comics because she was outmatched by her workers. Like, because the, they knocked her out. Uh, what? So she got blindsided. So Anyone in the comics, she has like surprise. a. In the comics, what she has like a fucking titanium plate in the back of her head. What? Like, <laughs> I think <laughs> I think the argument would be that she would never have fallen for something like that. Um, they also well, say like she yeah, would... yeah, that's being that's hit the in the difference. head by the, her coworkers the... in the back of the. Yeah, that's. Uh, well, she had like I tech coworkers. workers. And, but it was I mean, it I, was being, set up way before the rise multiple times. Yeah, I don't know. It seems to me up about. You wouldn't Amanda want to... wanting to kill the, her uh, uh, blood sports Daughter, child, yeah. and yeah. that was that was festering within the group for a long time until when she was literally going ape shit at the end, go fucking kill them all. They were like fuck it, and then and, and the golf clubs were also set up. So yep. I think it was a pretty decent right. setup for yeah. what happened. Well, I, I kind of saw it coming. Like she was hit, she was hit in the like, back yeah. of the head with a blunt object by people that she didn't like. That she had Expect, no reason to assume yeah. were gonna yeah. Yeah. What exactly did she fall for? Like, what, what well, was it? I mean, this is the problem. Okay. I, I've ran out of my simulation of those people. I don't have those arguments myself. Because I, I, I think she was pretty good. Like, I liked her. Uh, yeah. I, I think I the only yeah. argument that could be made is that in the comics, she wouldn't hire a staff like that. Like, making bets on deaths. You know, it was kind of tongue-in-cheek. That would be the only argument. I, I still think it worked in the movie. Personally, well, right? I, I, I usually hear praise hired, like, for her portrayal it, it, as well. It, in the past, in the comics, they would just uh, her subordinates would do what she said because you do not fuck with Amanda Waller. 
like ever. Yeah, she she'd usually just have like yeah. guards with her. Yep. And she would literally well, just turn up to Superman, Batman, or whatever if she was chewing them out, and she would chew them out. And then uh, you know, obviously if you was dealing with the suicide squad, then it was just like her really is the central command. Isn't this supposed to be the beginning of Suicide Squad stuff, right? No, like we've got... Be, no, it's not how the far 20... into the thing he is. I don't think we ever get it confirmed, but of course we've we've got the 2016 I mean, movie, so... Right, I mean, like, of the timeline that exists in their universe, how long has the program been going? Like, four years, right? Oh, uh, we don't know. Still... Yeah, that would be a guess. Don't know, yeah. Crazy that they didn't cancel the program after the first th like, attempt. <laughs> first disaster. Nearly destroyed the entire fucking planet. <laughs> they released we their we, own. We don't know. I mean, this is a very sort of tongue in cheek. We, you know, is this a reboot? Is this a sequel? Mm, yeah, they yeah. give nods that the characters know each other because of the previous films, but at the same time, it, it, you know, the tone is completely and utterly different. Which, so yeah. it, it's kind of up in our. It's arms a requel. About, it's a requel, yeah. Well,. What By that, is going yeah, on here? They could tell us we've actually decanonized the 2016 version. That never happened now. Or they could say, no, this was a sequel. That, this was a direct sequel yeah. to that one. They could. Because there's nothing that necessarily contradicts the 2016 version in this film, right? But Fiona Davis uh, absolutely rocks as Amanda Waller. Yeah. Do you argue like yeah. Red Flag's characterization contradicts the previous one? Why? Doesn't Boomerang die in both? He's, um, a, little, he's a little less... Um, uh, hard ass but there again when they pick up but as soon as they pick up the thinker he does get hard ass towards the thinker so um yeah i got the impression I know, that he would have like they try to go go on he spent so much time doing these suicide squad missions that it's because that was the first one we saw him in in the 2016 version i could believe that he's trying to drum up camaraderie instead of yeah like, chewing them all out yeah so he's learned that, uh, suicide squad came out in 2016 yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. Crazy, Fuck. huh? Yeah, we're all so old. <laughs> I know. Five um, years. We have we have an art ago. submission uh, here that I think you guys will really enjoy. Oh, I think oh my god! Here. It's gonna have so many dicks on oh. it. Isn't <laughs> it? Oh <laughs> man! <laughs> oh, that's so oh, good. good Lord. That is well amazing. Done. Yeah. We've got both sides of it now. Uh, look, you can see so Friggy's little <laughs> legs. <laughs> Oh, that is great. I like how your beak's just in there. Like, you wouldn't even be able to open your beak out of thick. Frankly, like, do you have a robe on or something? What's going on there? This is for sounding. This is sounding position. <laughs> That's your yeah. penny. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, Fringy's missing it. He's, he's, he's left for undisclosed reasons we'll have to for a wait. small amount of time. It's yeah. so sad. Oh, location we'll, unknown. We'll have to wait until just he's back. Wipe me, daddy, right above the toilet yeah. paper. <laughs> 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 EFAP, <laughs> talking about glory holes. Grace, right now. <laughs> talking about John Cena's <laughs> She brought it up, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he certainly surprised us with that. He one. got us. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, 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 wow. Oh. <laughs> right, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh no! Hey, oh, that is. Like, that is the his legs back. just cut off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's, she, she just wants to be rigid for them. Three percent of her balance. <laughs> the glory hole incident. Yeah. <laughs> that is amusing. Will the world ever recover? Oh, scroll up, Fringy. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no re hole. Oh, no. Did you show the one that I sent through just before? The, uh... Yeah. The, the more cutesy one? <laughs> the more cutesy yeah. one? You could say I that. Do like, I do like that we've got both sides of the perspective. <laughs> well, I like how on my side it's really fun and nice, and oh, then on the other one... It's inquisitive and naive. You're like, oh, yeah, I wonder what the... <laughs> Well, it wouldn't mean anything to me. It's a beak, and it's not my mouth. So oh, I suppose I, w I wouldn't feel a thing. It would just be nothing. I'd just be like, "Huh? Why is it all wet when I pull it out?" No, no. <laughs> oh, well, you made someone happy, and that's what matters. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, what has she got for us next? Uh, in their lives within the film, 
And, and I think they correlate with people in real life who have you know, agency, and that's a problem. No, it doesn't. Uh, and also, they certainly... What in the fuck? They're running just like, the people what? who are being chased down yeah. by a squad of uh, maniacs who have been let out of prison to get time off the jail sentence. They they can relate to that. Is she talking I about them, or is she we... talking about being chased by a giant alien starfish? Like I don't know which yeah. one is less relatable. I, I... <laughs> I think lost, we should she wait. She lost and... me after John Cena's cock. In all fairness, I think we should wait until she's done with her moronic diatribe. Okay, yeah, the probably... people. we can't skip Before the video, Borgers. We can't do that. <laughs> yeah. They certainly have no a agency as characters in the film. They're all secondary. Or they're extras. not characters. They're what like extras, about? basically. Yeah, no, they're secondary I and they're extras. You yeah, got it wrong. Just... <laughs> they're exactly that great, yeah. you dumb fucking bitch. What is that? I'm so confused. She's like, why aren't the secondary random characters have as much agency as my main characters? Like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you could almost argue that all of the people with starfish on them is the same character, the hive yeah. line of the yeah. starfish. Whoa. You dumb bitch! Anyway. You dumb bint. Hey, bint me up, Scotty. You know, they don't even have the benefit of, of having lines, and for the most part. Why would they have Holy lines? Fuck, that's what extras oh. don't have. You... Jesus Christ. Why would they, Why would they need what lines? How could thinking? you even include that? I, they have lines, don't they? Say something in unison, like unity. Oh my style? cock! Oh, that, that, she doesn't count <laughs> the stuff that they would say as a hive mind, probably. Oh, that's right. Okay. We are the, well, all so the when... people running away from Star were too busy, like screaming and crying, screaming? And like ah! <laughs> Yeah, you like Imagine this is their dialogue. A A A A G H A A A A A G. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably Imagine in the, the script. Movie... Yeah, yeah. Imagine this the movie that she this... wants. I cannot believe she's fucking said this. It... It ends up just being a vignette of like 30 different individuals in this small village as they get face sucked at the end and then it jumps we to gotta, the next person. Dude, we got we gotta try and get we, we gotta try and get her and her son together because my god, they would have the most retarded fucking child in the world. By <laughs> Can you imagine the conversations they would have? <laughs> uh uh can you can you cook me some nuggies? That I, good. I, I don't believe that is a woman stop to cook nice. Sounds gory. It does. I sit in a chair. I sit in chair. <laughs> what am I? No repercussions for their murders. They're like, oh, it's crazy. This is our bad. And you're like, you just murdered all those people. Yeah. Well, actually, wait, 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 sorrow or. I think she's now talking about squad. the camp area. Yeah, I think she's talking about the okay. camp. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They were dead already, Which, right? I mean, no, um, the camp, no, they didn't have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, 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 I was thinking something else. Where John yeah. Cena and yeah, Bloodsport. Are... <laughs> so she's yeah. like, they yeah. don't yeah. get they any. Um... That was hilarious. <laughs> oh my god, my kid was dying at that. Scene, oh, it was man. funny. Was funny. I... The only thing I I wanted to say about it was just that I didn't really believe the uh, the the general person who ruled them would have given up the um the sort of like we'll help you plan so quickly after watching all of your people yeah. get slaughtered. Um, humans don't tend to deal well with stuff like that. <laughs> like when we're like. You killed yeah, everyone I that issue. I care about, love, and fought with me against this regime. Yeah, I'll help you. It's like, mm, 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 I, don't know. I don't think don't Grace copes well with humor either. I don't think she quite no. understands what humor is. But the thing, I love the 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 fucking humor in this. Thing. It is funny as hell. Like when they all have to deal with. Yep. Like, oh shit! Yeah. Well, I mean, I thought we were helping. Sorry. Um. Yep. But like, it's so weird to to frame it this way. It's like innocent people die. They didn't even get lines. You're like, what are you? <laughs> How how many lines should they get? Should they go ah? And then where were you or... with Saving Private Ryan? Huh? <laughs> On the beach? Yeah, where were their lines? No, I can't believe that this is how it all ends. A giant starfish in space. Ah. Uh... <laughs> yeah, there the you guy. go. The film's better Except now. That's Do you have the where was their backstory about, like... though? I wanted to explore their lives. Yes. Where's their where agency? They came from? Out of yeah. curiosity, does she have like a favorable opinion on Man of Steel? Well, those were white people. Yeah, it would be okay to kill all the white people. Yeah, they're they're probably statistically yeah, mostly white, which is they right. were making over uh, 125 thousand a year. <laughs> right? Yeah, they were impoverished, <laughs> and they were mostly white. As, <laughs> as the laser scans past them, she looks at them. She's like, "Is that a suit? That's a suit. Go away. Yeah, that's fine." Yeah, he's dead. He's fine. Uh human torture. So 
wow, some of that stuff I will not unsee. Uh, animal cruelty. That was the one oh, that surprised no. me. I didn't... Oh, no. Wait, um, what were oh, the human... Not animal cruelty. Oh, yeah. Harley human Quinn. torture. Yeah. Is, he, is she talking about the taser on Harley? Because that's I really... I think she might be talking... I think she's talking about, she talking the, about the Star, Star experiments? experiments. Yeah. Yeah, oh. and they're really, he ripped them up and all that okay. sort of stuff. Oh yeah, that that was horrific. Yeah. But that's to that's but to motivate. Bird, bird that's bird yeah, exactly. Yeah. Is, yeah. is the animal cruelty. You don't get to praise Rick Flag as you will later on without commenting on that <laughs> being like an irrelevant part of the story because yeah. it's the thing that propels him forward. Yeah, seeing seeing that and knowing that it was done to children as well. Like, okay, yeah, we're yeah. done. Yeah. Film clearly like frowns upon that. It's not like encouraged in any way. Like they course, condemn yeah. the thinker, and he's like the villain without question of that. Think movie, is a so, monster. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, and then uh, sorry, animal cruelty was referring to what again? The bird. Yeah, the birds oh, getting the burnt birds in the yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, that was wait, absolutely so fucking on, stupid, like, unnecessary, but yeah. Well, and maybe, maybe, uh, like, he he yeah, that's a bad guy randomly shoots his own men moment. Yeah. I'm yeah. just I'm I'm even more evil than the last guy. That's like stakes yeah. going up, right? <laughs> oh, and fuck I'm the gonna bird. show this by the burning birds. the birds. Yeah, the bird. I'm Sorry, I, was, I forgot about that. Yeah, that part was like bizarre to watch. And it's off like screen it. too. Mm -hmm. He really well, hated those. He turns, he turns away from it before they light it up. Yeah, because I don't I don't have fuck all to say about that. I just, it's such a scene where it's like, why the fuck did you do that? Like what? Well, if anything, that gives character development for the guy who's taken over. Where yeah, because he says that the El Presidente actually, yeah. was too, uh, he was too nice, too weak, he was too nice. You he, can have he birds. Yeah, he gets somebody else to do the dirty work and then looks away as so that I'm a bad, uh, You can be a bad person and have birds, though. <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's okay, you can have birds. I feel like yeah, just like the guy when he said uh, who had them, who said, yeah, I had a dog. experiment on women and children. That's why Harley Quinn killed him. Well, what's more evil? Uh, killing a no, bunch of birds or keeping them, for me. keeping them for their entire life in a cage? What's worse, huh? I argue mm -hmm. killing I don't them. Hey, those birds seemed happy. Eh. I mean, as far as the birds Why are concerned, they're like, go. I'm safe, I can eat all I want. I do wonder with birds, though, specifically, if, like, if, if, if it's preferable to be able to just fly around and explore they look like the world. They roomy, room, big roomy cage. I guess it's just... It is pretty roomy, but you gotta wonder. It's like, what is a bird's perception the cage of a small space? And the thing is, they it's not might be compared to the sky. Yeah, exactly, but yeah, but yeah. what if what if they're birds that require like looking after because they're special kinds of birds or whatever? Like they need particular yeah, like, food or whatever. Like we don't know exactly elegant. what's going on. Well, I guess I let's put it elegant. this way: I feel like a bald eagle isn't going to be super thrilled living in an enclosure that small. No, not a bald eagle, no. If you're going to have a big, like, falcon or something, th that's why they're very expensive, and they, they just I, make uh, terrible pets in most scenarios. Now I'm just thinking about something. I, there's a video that I would like us to watch after this that's just a bald eagle walking. Pretty fantastic. Did oh. you guys know that they burned actual birds on set that day? Oh that's that God. I know that's dedication to the craft. Yeah, I'm very proud. It really is. They recorded the screams and everything. Yeah, it was... <laughs> Really, d just the, beautiful. Some guy farts. Like, okay, oh, we have, have to reset. Lab microphones. Reset the whole cut. I fought it. We got to do it again. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Get some more birds. <laughs> it's like a I box of birds. Out, covered up with bird Get screams. Backups. Did not know, need to know what birds screaming sounded like, yeah! but I do now. Okay. Oh Political come on! Comment. It's not like. Oh, dude, <laughs> dude. Okay. it's just like <laughs> you review it film. Has political commentary. That's a record scratch well, moment. It, in wait, a film. Like, it, it doesn't even wait. sound that different from a oh, normal I mean, bird. Political commentary could be the. Moment when I was going to say it could be the, the umbrella. Thing. It could be if Maybe. she's going to because because in fairness, I think we were all taken back when it was like the government wants Starro to kill everyone. It's like oh what? sure yeah that was, <laughs> that was yeah that's stupid. but but that wasn't a record scratch moment because it was commentary. No, it was of course. a record scratch moment because it was strange. Stupid. Weird. Yeah. It's dumb. Yeah. Yeah. She should have bizarre political commentary. Yes. Not Terry, just... Which I thought was sloppily handled. Uh, oh. And some lead characters doing shockingly reprehensible. <laughs> oh no! Not yeah. the oh. lead characters doing oh, evil. The suicide squad. Oh, no. Literally, the, they've come out of the prison. Oh, no. They're serving. They're bad the, guys. Oh, what's happening? The yeah, characters were doing we evil things. Well, who do you think she's referring what we, we to? Missed, um, what, what we needed in this I film is just so that people would understand is uh, Harley going every few minutes. We're bad guys. It's yeah. what we do. Yeah. Don't forget we kill people. 
We're the <laughs> bad guys. I can steal this thing from the show. That was, that was the 2016 vision. Yeah, yeah, she did. Yes. Yeah. In this film, well, I want to know who she's referring to specifically. Things. So I think people are going to talk about this movie, which of course will benefit it on social media. Oh, I, you think oh, people really are going to talk about this movie? Wow, oh, really? Social media. People social are going to talk about a movie. Where's my right? example? I, I've earned an example, haven't yeah. I? What, what do we you think deserve an example. I think um, Peacemaker probably. But he's the villain. Well, I yeah, and he is the villain amongst villains. Yeah, like. <laughs> Maybe she's talking about the well. thinker, but at that point, like... But he's, he's just the bad guy. Yeah, he's, he's a villain he's as well. Bad he's bad the human human actual character. antagonist. Is it, is it, okay, is it gonna be like, um... I don't Blood think we're getting an example, Peacemakers, uh, like, I don't think No, we're, we're getting not getting one, but like, do you think she's referring to in her... I assume in her own brain, she is thinking of something that she, that she is referring to. Oh, so... <laughs> maybe shark killing people? My like, eating people guess, is that it's Bloodsport and Peacemaker's contest Wait. and who can kill people in the coolest ways. Someone said she's not going to spoil anything since so it's a non-spoiler review, so you don't have to spoil the event by describing it vaguely. Yeah, you can... But she, she's already it. described a lot of things that happen in this movie, so... Yes! I think saying that Peacemaker is a villain is a spoiler, I guess. Why would... That's specific, Jay. That's not vague. <laughs> But as in, but they were, I think, well, never oh, mind. Oh, she yeah, didn't say that, though. Yeah, she didn't even say that. Well, let's pretend for a second she wants, she has a problem with Peacemaker. All she'd have to say is, like, there is a character who turns on the team in this film, and uh, the things that they do and I don't like are absurd. Them. Yeah, or crazy Anyway, evil. things I don't care for, Peacemaker, like, <laughs> ah. <laughs> like, yeah. Well, I don't think we've gotten that far yet, so. No. Well, yeah, I think the worst thing. We haven't gotten to that does. side of the waste yet. Although yeah. he had a glorious cock, Peacemaker was not my favorite character. She probably will bench the honorable mention for his penis. I wish, was, I wish, I wish, baby I, maker. I, wish I could sit on his face like the toilet head that he is. <laughs> it's the only thing that I can say from oh. like a... She's either referring to a villain, which like, that's a really dumb thing to say. Uh, the villains did bad things. What? Uh, or she's referring to like, I think, Bloodsport when he did like the killing contest with... Peacemaker. I think that's but the that's worst a, thing that anyone... Technically speaking, they, they wasn't doing evil if they were rescuing because someone who's been captured. they were bad guys. Well, yeah, but like, you know, still, it's like, it's the edgiest, I guess. That you, I, well, so, yeah, sure. but one thing, you could argue that maybe they should have shown more remorse, but then, in fairness to Bloodsport, the character is he kills people for money. He doesn't give a shit about life, like, yeah. in terms of, in a general sense. Yeah, and I think that's the most reprehensible, like, that any of the main characters get. But, like, it's not much. Uh, it's not, it's a shock, and it's not worth saying shockingly evil characters, I yeah. think, in a film about criminals who have been recruited from a prison to go and kill people. Like, well, uh, not to mention not that Waller that. actually ordered them to like kill them with extreme prejudice. So it's not like mm -hmm. they like didn't yeah, do that they, without being directed to and do so. If they so. don't follow her orders, they get killed. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, yeah. Yeah. Really confused by what she's referring to here. Well, if you, if you look, <sighs> we're at record scratch moments. We're about to get to matter of taste, so this should be interesting. Oh, boy. Mm. Oh, boy. And quite frankly, if you find some of these things frankly. offensive, as I did, I don't think you're going to want to talk. You're not going to want to join the conversation. You're not going to argue about it. There's nothing to argue about. You're like, you know what? Just not There's for nothing me. nothing to argue so about. So I do feel that the okay. majority of the conversation will be positive. I'm just curious to see what the breakdown is. I'm very curious to see what the audience scores are theatrically, like the cinema score. Um, why? You don't care what? Are you care about the fresh film? Stop Freshness. saying that. How fresh is it, lady? How fresh is it? How fresh is the tomato? <sighs> Be pre I'm not sure. Maybe in the 80s. And then I'm very curious to see what, I, what the box office looks like, not only opening <gasps> weekend, but with the second. You have no means of knowing what it would be. What's the point of guessing? Oh. Why should it matter? matter? Clown math. Honk, honk. Build. Stop reviewing this way. It's so painful to listen to. <laughs> uh -oh. Weekend drops look like. Uh, this really boils down to a matter of taste. In a moment, I'm going to talk about how well the film is made. It's very well As made. As does everything. Uh, <laughs> and what your threshold is for questionable questionable behavior and how serious you take the topics at hand for instance squad. some people might feel that the movie deserves credit just for bringing these things up and um, it just, still got you know, it, it
the Twitter Bringing fucking up logo up, Bringing the full up. frontal nudity, and other stuff up. Jesus Christ. Well, yeah, but she's saying those things being brought up is what people are saying the, the film should be complimented for, just being it's brought up. That this film brought it's good up that this film brought up full nudity. frontal nudity. No, oh, well, it is, but yeah. Uh, okay. But why is it? Okay. So, you Twitter? About film? You're, you're running out of time now. You're running out of time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but hints at the wider discussion. By the way, a serious time. Do you think that the um, like the stuff about they killed a lot of innocent, impoverished people of color? Do you think that's where all the dislikes on this video came from? Or do, um, you think, or do we, we go to the, the controversy to come? Well, well yeah, wait, yeah. Should, should we do the comments we're once we've done the video? Because yeah, let's do that. Yeah. Let's do that. Could yeah. be spoilers for the crazy yeah. shit she said. <laughs> yeah. Topics imply, but others like myself might feel that it's, you know, irresponsible to play these things for laughs. I don't think there's any- What? Oh. <laughs> Shut up! Jeez. Shut up. <laughs> God. You can't have an innocent person die for funnies. That's fucked up. You no. can't have full frontal nudity that's funny? No more boobs. No more murdering. You can't have a crude no discussion. More funny cock. Only <laughs> John Cena. Only John Cena's cock. You can't do- miserable movie. You said you can't do gore in a funny way. It's like, huh. So, I'm just, I'm now thinking of that joke in Archer where he tied up, I think it was a bunch of Irish guys and like, pretending it was Jeopardy and if you guessed the wrong, if you gave him the wrong answer, he'd blow out your kneecap and it's like, yeah. that's really funny. You can make, yeah. you can make that funny as just a thing, something well, that's really bad. Uh, as will definitely know what I'm referencing, but I'm sure the rest of you will. The, near the beginning of Tropic Thunder when he explains the whole plan to them. He's like, right, let's yep. go. It steps on a bite and explodes. Steps on a landmine. <laughs> 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 Gets absolutely blown to kingdom come and then Ben Stiller starts playing with his head because he thinks it's a prosthetic. Yeah, and you yeah. have fucking um, uh, Jack Black going, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, Shaun of the Dead. Mm -hmm. Yep. Or just any number of things where, like, South Park, how many jokes in South Park are just people dying? Well, I can't believe died in nearly every episode. I can't even bring this up, but you know yeah. she's got human torture when Homer's forced to eat the donuts in hell. Yeah. It's really that's, funny. That's, like, that's a kind of torture. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, no. Conveyor belt donuts, yeah. yeah I yeah. don't understand it. James Coco went mad in 15 minutes. And Homer's just this balloon. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. And then you can't do political commentary for laughs. It's like, woman, are you? What? <laughs> what? Are you actually? Have, what are you? What are you saying? Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever heard of like political satires? It's like that's the whole point of that type of I genre. I think it was so. charitable to assume that she's not including that one. No. What do you mean? You, she said not. Maybe not for laughs. And we've covered basically all of them except animal cruelty and shockingly evil characters. Because like, I'm pretty sure you can make this <sighs> funny no matter again. what. Well, remember all again, of these things another, can be funny. Another, My guess is that she's not thinking well, of political commentary when she's another, maybe not for laughs. No, she's thinking of well, John Cena's cock. I got one for the. Don't present that for laughs. Simpsons, there was that The Simpsons. Homer kidnapped that pig, and he just kept making its tail curly straight. Then it bit him. It's like that's animal cruelty. Yeah, and that's that's a funny joke. And then shockingly evil characters, but not for laughs. Like goodbye, Austin Powers. <laughs> like, goodbye, yeah. many things. At that point, yeah. Anything funny about Rick a lot of stuff yeah. here. And then also to touch on them so lightly By that Archer. one could argue that- Wait, what was she gonna say? say it. You're retarded. Say it. Say it. One could argue what? Oh, yeah. That one could argue that a border is irresponsible. Like if you're- Oh, oh go, go. fuck yourself. Shut up. Oh, fuck, fuck off, off. Right. Irresponsible. I need- Jeez. I need examples. I can't work with you just saying it as a broad thing. Like, help me out here, yeah. Grace. This is you gotta go there, you need to go there, in, in my opinion. What also, is her demographic? I think they what went there. She's go. itching to. We need to qualify this shit. Yeah. Well, well, no, because now, now we've gone here. into something different. Because once you say it's irresponsible, you're kind of saying that there's like real world harm that comes from this. Yeah. That yeah. can't just be your opinion. There needs to actually be real world harm that comes from this yeah. film. You can't say that lightly. Content. Well. Yeah, that's a of serious course. thing it's, to yeah. say. It's it's Something pretty. Really yeah. need to elaborate on as well. And she's not going to, and it's horrible. How do you watch this? Like, it's, you never get the. You, it's all a tease. <laughs> like John Cena's. I calm. think it's irresponsible to do that. Let's move on. <laughs> like, okay. 
If someone put a team together of Jeffrey Dahmer, Ted Bundy, Oh my God, you're actually I would already watch this Hypotheticals. Movie. It would be hilarious. Oh my god. I would already watch it. I don't even have to know this anything. South else. Park South Park did a joke of the three stooges with Ted Bundy and Jeffrey Dahmer <laughs> and John Wayne Gacy. Like it's a it's a joke that's happened before. I don't even We've been man, over this a as a society. People on Catch a Predator just constantly committing suicide when they realized it was Chris <laughs> Hansen that they were walking in on. Kickstarter Wait, is web. She saying... <laughs> Is she presenting a hypothetical where in our team of villains they had to worry about one of them eating each other? Let, look, I, well, let's hear. Let's let's hear this. This because that uh, kind of that kind of sounds take. like the suicide also, squad. What the yeah, hell are we doing? What? Yeah. what? Can we talk about the film? What's going on? Why are you going to bring no, up talking about Jeffrey Dahmer, of... Fringy? I, oh, it's very important. Well, so I'm writing this down for Gadalb. Imagine how irresponsible it would be to have murderers in your team of people who are extreme criminals. <laughs> yeah, like I, I'm so fucking so lost. Is that, is, is that her point that it's like it's bad to have a story about murderer protagonist? Because surely, I, have you not like surely that that's such a that seems like such a sheltered thing to say, but it also seems like the best faith possible interpretation of the argument. And it all like depends on how you depict them. I think this movie has like a pretty clear sense of morality. It's like it's not saying that these are good guys necessarily. They no. do things that like help save people, but still, like all of them are morally reprehensible to an extent. So yeah, is, well, is the, no the country for old men. Oh, the jail squad. sentence is not altruistic, uh, you know. Well, just no, like, just... like we're, we're going to lead to the Reservoir Dogs. Is it irresponsible to have a film that's about a bunch of bank robbers, like? Is, is it irresponsible? And, then, and feeling you know, for them anyway. Tarant Tarant and ear scene? Most I mean, Tarant Tarant Grand Theft Auto? Auto? Yeah, yeah. Was, I mean, again, this is like the, what was that guy's name? The Jack Thompson? It's the Jack Thompson thing of like Grand Theft Auto. You have a story that's just about reprehensible people doing crimes and stuff. Are we going to say that you can't do these at all? Like these types of stories? Or do you have to do them a certain type of way? Yeah, like Bloodsport needed Maybe to die in the end. that Jeffrey Dahmer's glasses look better on him. I think she wants I to think, see this film. I, I think it's quite that. interesting, in all honesty, the idea that you can have characters like this and still have them be endearing and have like an audience really yeah. enjoy well, that's... spending time with them. It's like, you know, it's, yeah. it's an interesting yep. concept. And I think to be a villain, you kind of have to assume that they're damaged in some way, because a lot of them are. They got some fucked up shit going on. Yeah. So um, I think like, as well... you're going to yeah. have a, a weird, dark story no matter what because you're dealing with people who kill people naturally so it's gonna be black comedy fucking think... <sighs> whatever you literally have <laughs> somebody think, on the think, team um, who Octodia? melts people with polka dots because he sees his mum in everybody yeah and just think, wants to murder yeah. them you said it's important to have the characters be damaged though but i'm not sure that any of the characters in this were really damaged because like it didn't say on their foreheads that there were. You had oh, us there for a moment, Joe. I think everybody was about to disagree yeah. with you. <laughs> yeah. All of us like had an example, and then all of a sudden, oh no. Uh, okay. True. Very true. Yeah. Well, there's this great moment with Rat Catch. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. The gotcha. Ed Gain, that's who Norman Bates is based on, and John, much Thank worse you. in real life, and John Wayne Gacy. Uh? You just couldn't <laughs> root for them. You know, no matter how well. I don't know about that. Uh, um, I disagree. Yeah, so, you got a yeah. team. This is the thing. This is the power of hypotheticals. In head, That's you know? a stretch. Yeah, so We've put an explosive in all these criminals' heads, folks, and we're sending them out to to save the world to get time off prison. <laughs> <I'd be> like, <laughs> can we watch, can say, we watch this live? You know? <laughs> haven't so, all like, of those people, to an extent, been adapted into, like, movie serial killer characters? Well, like, like people have said they take yeah. inspiration from I, well, I, mean, I assume like that's a point. Like American yeah. Psycho, right? I assume she that's a point, yeah. though, is, like, you can portray them as bad people, but not as people with, like, some level of redemption about them. That would be wrong. Which well, that's uh, makes me very uncomfortable. Surely, well, like, these people well, you can't show these bad people as being potentially redeemable. Ugh. Exactly. They've been to prison. Confused, yeah, yeah. They're I tainted for life, though, don't you know? Like, why would you watch The Suicide Squad if you didn't want to watch a story that's from the POV of, like, bad people? Right? I can't she's believe just, how racist she is. This is in the, the title. stupidest fucking argument I've ever heard from she, She's absolutely fucking retarded. I mean, retarded. <laughs> she thinks she's watching as, a documentary, for fuck's sake. It's a comedy. As like it, she retarded. Yes, 
she she sorry, she tarted. Could you imagine she if she if they had one I'm of gonna, them? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say Zertarded. <laughs> if they had one of them on their team in the actual movie, and it was literally the guy, the person from history who set that time so it works or whatever, and like they were just constantly staring at everybody, and then there was like one scene where they just killed shit tons of people for the team. I could see that being hilarious, but then, uh, you know, you could make whatever you want happen to them, but then if you flip it and make the tone something like, um, Psycho, or something, it's like, yeah, you can explore just how monstrous this person is as a result of their hard history. What I'm getting at is, can you please not put these arbitrary restrictions on storytelling? Please, 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 please. Like, it's it's just, it's super lame, because you're, you're basically saying, like, you can't make this movie. It upsets me too much, and it's it's gonna make people think that these people could be good when they're very much not. Like, oh, and I was, I was about to say, what, what you just described, that's essentially Weasel. Like, basically, the only thing we know about Weasel is he's killed 27 children, but at the same yes. time, like, people are kind of endeared by him because of the whole <laughs> isms he has with the screaming <laughs> and all that. <laughs> and the I, don't, I, I, I don't have a context for him killing those kids, so I'm going to... Well, not to mention, judgment. though, if you had these no, four... No, but it's done really... But he says he's harmless. Well, well he's not harmless. He's eating 27 <laughs> children. <laughs> but the thing is, right... If these four, because this is the thing about, it's a tough thing to think about, but if these four were on that island, as you guys said, and they've got a job to save the world, and it turns out the four of them are like, yeah, I like killing people and stuff, but I don't fucking will to end. And so they try and make a plan, and they struggle to get through it. It's like, yep. yeah, how fucking awkward is that going to make you feel, right? Because that's just a reality. You want to see them Jeffrey as... Jeffrey King Shark, he just eats people. <laughs> <laughs> like, all I'm saying is, is, like, it makes me uncomfortable. It's like, yeah. It does, doesn't it? Thinking about, like, you need to root for them to win because they can save the world when they've done such horrible things or whatever. Could those two things coexist? That they care about the existence of Earth, but not particular people on it? I don't know. Could be an interesting movie. Mm -hmm. I agree. Sounds, sounds like a concept worth exploring, if you ask me. Yep. Like, if someone you said... Hitler defeats an alien invasion. You shouldn't root for Bloodsport because he's killed people for money or something? I should be like, man, it's a lot more complicated than that. Like... A hell of a lot more complicated. Human beings are super interesting sometimes. The movie was made, yeah. and I thought way too often the movie slipped into that territory, where that's really kind of what I felt I was watching. Well, you're now, a fucking snowflake, said, and you need to grow some fucking balls. I mean, I don't know why she's watching Wait, the movie in the first place. The argument that, yeah, was she saying that the John movie... balls couldn't rub off on you? <laughs> was she saying that the movie was like watching those serial killer docs, or was... Well, she's saying that she the saying? film wasn't, like, punishing them. It was, it was like, glorifying the bad guys, basically. Glorifying, okay, yeah. Even though they she's start off in prison, stupid. the characters are not punished. And a lot of them fucking yeah, get killed. Yeah, with bombs in their head. And, yeah, and there's morality between them. Like, we talked about how Peacemaker is, like, like he tries killing... Or he does kill Flag at the end, and he tries killing Ratcatcher. There's, like, there's tears worth of, like, the morality with the characters, so, yeah. <laughs> I, I think I figured it out. She looked away from the screen every single time somebody got their retribution because it was violence related. Uh, so she missed uh, half the movie. Yeah, yeah, well, what about, um, be, yeah, yeah. does she think this about 2016 Suicide Squad as well? I don't know. Can I we mean, find out video? Watch video? Or... Oh, Maybe other God. things bothered her about that. Oh my God. You know how... I'd, lo I'd, love, I'd love to see her do something like sh Saving Private Ryan. I really would. Oh god. Um, you know how we've had a, a story in two images for Fringy? I guess uh, yeah. someone felt yeah. the need to finish the story, I guess. Good old play creations, actually. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh my god! It's just oh, goo, guys. Jesus. It's fine. It's just goo. Oh, it's it's just goo. goo. It's all good. <laughs> it's or is that it. saliva <laughs> from someone sucking on his nose? Could be either, you know. Saliva. It could be. By the really way, he looks thick thick I love his eyes. He looks really good. <laughs> no, the drawing's great. Yeah, the drawing is, is awesome. The subject matter, just mm, icing it's... on the cake. Mm -hmm. What were you expecting to happen when you put your nose in a glory hole? <laughs> yeah. I, I, what was the goal? Like, I, uh... I, I, leave me alone. The water drinking look bird. At, look at this. Like, in and out. part one, part two, part three. That's great. You're gonna get a comic soon, Fringy. <laughs> Someone, <is> story. <laughs> Someone needs to make a prequel now. Just uh, alternate back to frame two. Incredibly well made. It's extremely well made. From a craft perspective, it's flawless. From the... Wow. I would yeah, say wow. that. That's one hell of a claim. <laughs> uh, well, that's not something that you God. can say after seeing something once, I don't think. Review of Whiplash, though, after everything she just said, and she's like, by the way, executed perfectly. Like, what? <laughs> what? Okay. Just like on every, what did she just say, filmmaking? It's flawless? Like, 
that's I don't a know that huge that's possible. Claim. I don't think it's possible. No, to make I, it's flawless. This, what, none of us would describe it as flawless. <laughs> so it's like, no, I don't no. know. <laughs> no. like the storytelling. It's that's highly a stylized. I liked it. <laughs> I like, I'm wondering, like, what she includes in that like category as well. Like, yeah. you mean, um, d does she mean like, oh, the camera was in focus the whole time? Yeah, maybe right. she's like more so talking about the direction slash production yeah, 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 values. Yeah. That's the thing. Like, probably yeah. the performances as well. I didn't see uh, a single microphone boom. Oh, there you go. She's she's actually saying them. Let's listen. From a craft perspective, hmm. it's flawless. From the directing to the cinematography to the VFX. Yeah, so you're not going to say anything about it. James Gunn has a ton of clever, thrilling visuals here. Uh, uh, visuals here, and some of them are just downright gorgeous. Ah, oh, the rain. You're not saying anything. Oh, emoji. Emoji. The emoji no. to really stress it. The point. Oh, oh. You're not saying anything. You're just saying, oh, really... look, the the cinematography was great. She praised the, 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 the mystical weather event that saved yeah, them yeah, from, like, from being caught. By the way. I might show you guys the comment later, but someone said they are baffled that we didn't understand what rain is when talking about that scene. Oh yeah, because I looked at this because I've never seen that's true, I've never seen rain before. I've not but if I had seen rain, then I would know that whenever it rains, it, it's like a it's like the world sets off a fucking flashbang <laughs> and you can't yeah, see like, anything that how, exists. Everything is just well, covered in a weird all of the white. soldiers like, immediately just, have to take shelter. They, they have to yeah, hide like from the fucking word lost yeah. in a time machine. I have been in a storm that's been very close to that in broad daylight in Florida. That has happened before. Literally once. making the entire place it was pale. Super foggy. Oh, whoa, whoa, yeah, yeah, too. yeah, yeah. No fogs allowed, because I, I, I agree. If we allow no, fog, there's fog in the thingy, though. No, there's no fog in that film. The, it's no. just really bright. In the train, it's just right. getting rainy, oh, well, and then okay. the world turns pure white. Yeah, yeah. It looks like fog, but it's not. It's just the rain and the light, basically. That's what they. Uh -huh. That's what they depict it as, basically. Yeah. It's rain cool like effect. that is real. It's a cool effect. Yes. It makes no sense. But People are saying it's real. Even if no, that was mean? real, the odds. It's highly, highly unlikely, but it's a movie. Oh, that makes it okay. Yeah, yeah. it's as if this is a film. So? <laughs> it's oh, so right, I... There is fog in that so scene. Weird. There is no fog. It's it's generated in an instant. Maybe the pavement turns so on. Hot it's like someone flipped a switch. It allows them to get into the building. Look, I'm not a fog expert, like but I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure fog doesn't work that way, where it just appears in a split second. Fogology. It can get bright when Fog rain evaporates in tropical weather, but this was extremely bright. Hmm. This is right. Yeah, it's it's white. Like this is a screenshot from like the movie. This is just what it. This is the world. It, you can't see a thing outside of what's right in front of you. Like it's it's bizarre. I I don't know that rain does this ever. Like um. At least in my, and I've seen a lot of rain, you know. Rain for rail is isn't everything. I, I, the I do live in the Britain. Yeah. This yes. would be more of a. This would be more of a tropical reaction to rain. Well, where it's just super in that case, and, it would be. It's yeah. like that must be a gap in my knowledge that I've just never heard or seen anything like that in, in, in any coverage of any media or news yeah. or anything. Like, uh, uh, like in Florida, when I've been to to do Florida. something. Well, I like it's so phenomenally convenient. Florida. I was about to it's say, so, like, like, I would like, actually have a lot less okay. issue with it if it didn't save all their lives. Like, yeah, well, it's like, yeah. oh, it's it's like, oh, if only, like, imagine they were in a scenario where it's like, oh, all of the enemies they'll die if they get wet, and suddenly it just starts raining. He's like, oh, good, okay. Like that would still be shit. I yeah, like it would be better if it was raining thing. when they drove up, basically. Like, that, like at least that it. way they would have well, known to use it. Well, yeah. Evan, let's just rewrite it so they actually have to use their intelligence and combat skills to get in, right? That's the way that we would want it instead of, oh, look, rain. It's like, what? Oh. Yeah. Well, for like, that, you just use like gas. You'd have like gas grenades or something like that to like have at a, at a smoke screen or something along those lines if you wanted to basically skew vision, which is what the scene's doing. Like, that I mean, would have made more sense. Some people want us to make it's like, yeah, yeah, the shot's cool. I like the shot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It, it looks, looks cool. Neat, um, yeah. 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 Well, yeah, that's cool. I like the shot. We, we, you know what would be really convenient right now if there was low visibility in this area and suddenly <laughs> out of nowhere comes the most low visibility possible weather, like 
<laughs> and it's arguably with, um it's arguably lab shaded. That's being discussed whether or not it's even possible. We had no fucking clue what was happening when we were watching it. We were like, "What? What is this? Why is everything?" Yeah, we didn't know if this was a James Gunn, James uh, Gunn style thing, or if well, this was supposed to be some dream sequence. Yeah. Or oh, it's just art It's just nice artistic license. Yeah. It's a cool visual. They wanted the team together. They wanted to do some glory shots. See, I think all of that's still um, possible without it, it making it so that it couldn't. Shot. It saved all their lives, right? Mm, like, if shot. we did this after they defeated everyone, so that all it's for is just to have this cool visual in the rain, I'd be like, yeah, it's fine, whatever. No, Milton's there. He is there. I mean, yeah, he's there, yeah. <laughs> well, and something. He's not in the poster, though. He should. He should have been front and center. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he should have been. Would have been yep. <laughs> that would have been hilarious. Could call it a gamble, but I think it would have been. It would have paid off. Yeah, it could have paid right. off. Could have worked. I um, would like to hop out here because I'm sleepy. Wow. Well, thanks for joining us, and obviously we're going to be going for some time, so we might just see you later. Yeah. Yes, I will be back, perhaps. Good, Bye, good, cunts. goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. So something I was going to show, right, is um, this. I actually collected these. I told Fringy about this for um the EFAP stream we did on it, but I never showed them because I'm a forgetful man. But um, I was keeping an eye on her in the film, uh, Rat Catcher, <laughs> and it's very clear, very quickly that uh, she's got a particular posture in essentially everything she does. Most accentuated by that shot. And, uh, she I think yeah, when she like, hunches over when she's got the mask on. She looks like a feminine Pete Davidson. Uh, she just hunches over all the time. Pretty much all the she's time, yeah. Like she a has a little, little rat. Yeah, she yeah. has the movements and the sort of way she holds herself is just very, very unique compared to most people. And I just thought it was really neat. Well, it kind of ties to the sleep in the film. Word. That was definitely, like, she was great, yeah. She's almost characterized like a teenager with the way that she's like sleeping all the time, and that might, mm. might be one of the things. But just her like slouching over, almost being like lazy and loafing around. That's that's kind of one of the things that that might be a, a result of. She's all, well. She's kind of almost narcoleptic, though, isn't she? She's always falling asleep. I th yeah, like, like sleep she's, thinking. Yeah, whenever they to have either. a you know somewhere to sit or rest, she's she's just sleeping. She just kind of starts sleeping. And, uh, so maybe yeah, there's, yeah. you know, the, the, some sort of narcolepsy there or something. And she's dropped, like, two meters down, and she does the, she's just like, mm. <laughs> like, when King Shark's trying to eat it. Just stirred a little bit, it's like, oh. <laughs> yeah, she, um, yeah. I think she was this, the surprise thing for most people, because I think everyone would be like, I'm probably gonna like Idris Elba, probably the John Cena Peacemaker thing, that's probably gonna be cool, but she's the one that everyone's like, man, I really like that rat catcher one, you know? I would love it's to see her in more stuff, not just playing rat catcher, but in just anything. Yeah, she was a really good well, actress. That's the other thing about her. Yeah. yeah, like she wasn't like one of the stars of the show. She was like an unknown, and everyone's like, wow, she's really good. Like they give her that full bust scene. It's like, wow, she's good stuff. Yeah. Um, what does she, and she, she calls her father, what did she call her father, you know, her, her father's drug addiction? She used to call him it, it, it. Yeah, I love that. It's, yeah. I loved it when she, 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 she couldn't say addiction, it's burdens. He, 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 his burdens got too much, and it's just like I really love the the phrasing of that and the way that mm -hmm. she kind of put it, and and you know it's kind of really felt like a way to not not judge her father, you know, not be judgmental um, on him. So yeah, I thought I I love that. I thought it's so cool. Yeah, um, but let's see what Grace has to say about that shot. I guess I don't know. Yeah. Where should we go with this? Uh, some of the jokes, as we know from the trailers, are not great, but you've actually seen pretty much all the jokes in the film. Uh, what? No. Uh, no. 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 Not the Peter Capaldi one. Not a, Jeez, no. Dude, most Christ. most all wow. the good jokes are out of the trailers. I was going to say, wow. like, real. what are you talking about? There's so How many jokes. you say that? There's a ton of jokes that aren't anywhere near the trailers. Oh, yeah. yeah, I've. There were like five minutes of trailers, and the film is over two hours long. It's like, you think there was... One hour and fifty five minutes was played totally straight. Dude, like one of my favorite parts oh. where he screams after saying, "I'm an assassin. Why would I share my liabilities?" Yep. Yeah, like the the scene, the scene Did after like the briefing is the weasel could swim. Yeah, all of the weasel <laughs> jokes. All of the weasel yeah. jokes. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> 
when he just screams into the air. Yeah. <laughs> and all the weird sounds. Belly flops into the water. <laughs> the weasel is Nobody dead. likes to show off like that entire scene between yeah. Peacemaker Unless, and Bloodsport. That's not the trailers. That's what hilarious. they're showing off yeah. is dope as fuck. Oh, yeah, unless it's <laughs> dope as fuck. His <laughs> face is kind of priced. It's so. Oh, I love this movie. I really do like this movie. It's good. Do the, yeah, yeah. When, I when, it more on the second showing as well. So. When Milton's yep. just crying his eyes out, he's like, Are you Milton? Me? <laughs> and of course, <laughs> when Milton gets shot, Oh, Milton! Milton! <laughs> it's like, oh. Yep, that's Milton. <laughs> yeah, she calls Bloodsport Milton at the end. I'm not fat. I'm not Milton. Yeah, well, oh, we, yeah. we just had a conversation about it. I love as well that it's like when when he realizes it's Milton uh, Bloodsport, he's like, wasn't he back at the car? <laughs> why, why, yeah. Yeah, he's like, why isn't he back at the <laughs> Like he doesn't care that he's dead. He's like more yeah. so confused than like yeah. sad. He's he, just he like, cares what? more he's logistically dead? about why he's here rather than him being dead. <laughs> <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> it's just lovely that Milton came, he just came to help. Yeah, he, he did. Just yeah. He's right there on the far right in that little still frame, right? Yeah. Yeah, Milton's face. here, yeah. Which again is very deliberate <laughs> by James Gunn. I, I thought that probably. Milton bit was fucking hilarious. I was dying was laughing great. at that Milton. Yeah, I loved it, yeah. Yep. So, so I disagree, Grace. <laughs> there was only yeah. two minutes of jokes, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Disag well, let's agree to disagree on this yes. one. Uh, the soundtrack is also very well used. We start with a Johnny Cash song. Is... I had such high hopes at that point. Oh, is that, that all you have to say? Soundtrack. I knew she was going to say that. The soundtrack is good because Johnny Cash was in it. And annoying. And that's it. But thanks. Johnny Cash. That was, it's yeah. annoying to listen to this woman. A little bit. She has an annoying, not... grating voice, and she has her mm -hmm. job talking. It's... It, it's... Uh... <laughs> Hey, yeah, you want to talk about the music? Like, talk about John Murphy's original score, man. That was like really good stuff, and it yeah, sounds unique track. compared to a lot of other superhero no, movies. Like, no, the music's good no. outside of this contract. She said Johnny Cash. I, she recognized Johnny Cash. That's good enough. I kind yeah. of feel bad for okay, the people yeah, who true. do the original compositions for James Gunn films because Guardians had a really cool main theme. Oh yeah, and Suicide Squad oh, yeah. had a lot of cool tracks as well. Like when when Blood Sports assembling his gun. It's like there was a mm -hmm. someone, someone said to be fair, that's completely Dude. acceptable. What we're highlighting here is that she just has nothing interesting to say. She's like, yeah. soundtrack was good. Why? Johnny Cash. And it only got it was, worse from there. Oh, like, it's like, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, like there's barely any qualifiers or anything to like back up. She, it's just bullet points without like any substance. It's like, give yeah. us a little something more to chew on, man. This is going to be good. Uh, it's the soundtrack is very well used, much like Guardians of the Galaxy. This is very yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy. Because of course you'd like say that through James Gunn's, Hot I think, take. true sensibilities without Marvel holding him back. And some of you will think. Wait, wait, wait! She said what? it's just like Guardians, but he's not being held back. But it's, it's just like Guardians, I... though. This I, is I like, you have to elaborate on this. You, you're gonna have to convince me. You can't just say a thing, and my brain's just like, oh. I'm of get, course, that well, thing I, can I assume, heard is true. Because people have talked about this, I'm assuming she's just referring to the fact that he got to do whatever he wanted, where he wouldn't necessarily have been able to do whatever he wanted in the MCU stuff. Which may be true, but I mean, most people conclude the Guardians is better than the, the Suicide Squad. So now what? Yeah, I mean, they're both sure they're both team up movies, but I think they're very different movies. Yeah, very, no, I, very different movies. I agree. Yeah. Kind of hard to compare them. Yeah, it is hard. And and but that's the thing. It's like if you're going to bring this up, can you please tell us a little bit more about how you came to conclude this and what it means? But that was probably foolish on my part. But it's Grace Randolph. So. No, I, think that I mean that's they, fantastic. They got a Jackson Pollock joke in Guardians that they'll never do in Disney anymore. No, they never do that again. That was, honestly, no. re-seeing that, no. you're like, man, this is, I like that joke for how it is a bit edgy. <laughs> I put it, I put it in my video. It was that. That was a good joke. That was probably the best joke in anything MCU. So, they, well, they never go well near delivered. It. Yeah. Nah. Bring him back. And some of that? you will think that first. So, I think. They say like his place uh, is a mess or something, right? His ship. Gamora, Gamora says your ship is filthy, and then she walks up the stairs and he checks out her ass, and he's off. You have no idea if you put a black light on this place, it looked like a Jackson Pollock painting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Rocket's like, like, "You got issues, Quill." Yeah, yeah. nice. 
It's uh, yeah, and it's not even just the line; it's how they deliver it. It's all of it is great. Yep. But that's fantastic. So again, as I said, it's an issue of taste. The script, well, you can see I have some issues with it, but it does feature some oh, very clever twists. I thought you twists. said it was it's... flawlessly made. No, no, no she ex- said... No, like the that was the cinematography. Stuff. Cinematography. I like how the craft of filmmaking excludes the script. <laughs> 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 the screenplay anyway, isn't a flawless, flaw. except for the uh, flaws. Except for uh, Marvel lately. Right, yeah. Anyway, now to less important things, like the script. Yeah, like, like the words. Yeah plays with time in an interesting way and it handles a very large plays cast very in nicely an and i think it gives almost every character their due the first down. is yeah really what good accent is this other than annoying um martian <laughs> uh, <laughs> i tit it <laughs> how it sets everything sound, up. It sounded kind of, kind of Boston to me. Like, it could be wrong. Like, there was a yeah, little bit yeah. of that instead of her A inflections. In Boston, maybe. do they say Dow instead of Jew or do? I don't know. I've never actually been there. <laughs> All I know about Boston ask, is ask someone who Boston, lives there. And that's basically it. Every, like, basically anything I've seen in Ted. That's like my extensive understanding mm-hmm. of the Boston accent. Yeah. They, they departed for me. <laughs> that's that's everything like you need to know about. Boston. About Boston, yeah, and Ted. <laughs> so, oh, actually, here's a here's something somebody posted in the Discord. James Moore actually posted this. What are your thoughts? One sec. All right, I can see it now. What is this? Is everybody mm. like silent because they don't want to read it? Or? Oh, polka, uh, wait, polka dot man. It so, says I don't think polka dot polka dot man thought about Milton much more than anyone else, but he's always for grabbing an opportunity for people to feel sorry for him. Thus, their connection. Talked about this with at Dust and Milton before the film. I that disagree. does not. That doesn't come through in the film. Yeah. No, no, I no. I think he's very, very sincere. Oh, I thought he actually yeah. Just wait to make sure because people listening might be a little bit confused. So there's a tweet that says in Suicide Squad 2021, the reason Polka Dot Man is attached to Milton is because Bill Finger, also known as Milton Bill Finger, is the writer that created the character. And then he said no. Mm-hmm. James Gunn quote tweeted that and said no. I don't think Polka Dot Man thought much about Milton much more than anyone else, but he's always for grabbing an opportunity for people to feel sorry for him, thus their connection as if it wasn't real or anything. Talked about this with the actor before filming. So if you guys were asked, did Polka Dot Man actually care about Milton was using it to grab attention from himself? I'd have been like, of course he cared about him. What do you mean? Yeah, yeah, he really, I thought he came across like he did. I, I don't think the film characterizes him in any way as like a glory hog. Like he's no. mostly reserved and doesn't talk a lot. So that yeah, I don't think that's even in character. I'm but, very confused no. yeah. by this take, honestly. Yeah, didn't come off yeah. that way then. Yep. No, because they do that. Because <laughs> the only time that they try and like pump him up is at the end, where they they do the uh, they take the piss out of the Avengers with the Hulk smash, and he's just like, focus up, man. That's your mom. Well, because you got <laughs> someone said as a quote, "I always liked him. I just never said anything." This is a line that made me think along those lines too. It's like to me that was more so. He's very quiet and to himself. I never thought that mm. that meant he didn't actually care, he's just pretending to. I really didn't get that from yeah. the character in the film at all. Yeah, honestly. they need to show no. that a lot more. Why? To get, he to sounded get that across. like furious that they'd forgotten who he was. Yes, yes, he was, yeah. I'm. It was yeah. no sympathy. He might have more dialogue to, uh, than. I'm confused yeah, by that. He's usually honestly. not the one I, who's I outspoken. That's I feel like that scene, it's because he's projecting because everyone forgot about him and he's like, How could you forget about Milton? Like he was he fought and then he's dead because of us. It's like the, Yeah. Someone else said it felt more poignant because this is a guy who views everyone as his mum, but yet could see Milton for Milton. Presumably, yeah. Um someone said that's also why he let the polka dots fester on his face so everybody could see them. What are you talking about? It t- what? It, it, he has what? to vomit them out, so he, he takes it at the limited, like, he, he twice a day is yeah. as much as he would ever want to. Mm. 
you think he wants to look like that to look all deformed like he he's like horrific and like humiliated and like goes off into the woods away from the camp to like vomit out the polka dots he's not Man, this, proud of it like, this, hmm, this might be one of the best like examples of death of the authors like i'm sorry you're not in control of the film anymore yep yeah no, you should have put that in yeah. the film if you wanted that to be in the film <laughs> i don't know what else to tell you I, yeah, I really. I think what comes across on screen is better than what he's describing. Honestly, it might be like it might be because the actor did too good of a job in terms of portraying that he actually cared, not that he was faking caring. Mm -hmm. like, I'm sorry, but yeah, that's that's. Well, that's I, cool. I read that the actor really gravitated towards this role, like he really saw something in here because he had like a rough childhood or whatever. I think he had a real skin condition, and so he sympathized with this character in a really that strong way. <laughs> so once like, he got the role, I think he he really wanted to like make it his own and make him really likable and sympathetic, and that probably squashed whatever James Gunn is saying was his intention with the character here. I I don't mm -hmm. think it works what it, what James Gunn is saying here, because when you're dealing with a character like Polka Dot Man, like you you want to like give the audience reasons to like like him, because you're starting from a very kind of low level, because he's like a he's, he's like hailed as one of the dumbest characters in DC history, right? So. You don't want to give excuses for the audience to hate him on top of the fact that he's so underappreciated already. No, I don't know. He, he's a character with a redemption. Art. He's a character that that was experimented on uh, because his mother wanted to make a family of superheroes. But essentially, he, he ended up being this horrific, horrible uh, creation that turned evil. Or in the, and so I guess we don't know why he went to prison, right? Of, yeah, because he's in prison. So he's obviously done something wrong. Um, mm -hmm. And and we you know we have to probably lend I think they said bank robber or something. So if if that character went from that disposition to what he went through on the island with the camaraderie with the other people, and when he when he's fighting Starro at the end, and and he you know it does some damage with his polka dots to it, and then he 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 before he even turns to one else he was screaming out I'm a I'm a super I'm a superhero yeah. Because mm -hmm. he's, he's to him, he's now you know he he's now helping. He's trying to save, and then he turns to Bloodsport. He's like, "I'm a freaking superhero," because <laughs> he, he felt like his death. You know, his true potential had finally been was uh, it, been made. Someone yeah, wants you to right. clarify. Are you saying are you saying he's evil or was evil? I, I'm saying that yeah, he he probably was uh, evil or used his powers for evil means. Uh, when he when he sort of saw how hideous was his mother most likely you know without trying to drag head too much head cannon out here but you know he was so obviously um uh disturbed by his mother this you know there's the premise of abuse there because he didn't turn out how she wanted uh you know those horrible yeah, polka yeah. dots growing on him the expunge of it yeah he, he probably got absolutely downtrodden and and maybe beaten abused etc because he wasn't the hero that she wanted. Uh, he well, yeah, and he's vomiting freak. polka dots up every day. Then there's the, um... Oh, yeah, oh, people are sending quotes. So you've got, remember, when he he keeps telling them to, like, just don't ignore him, it's fine, the the stuff, just don't look at yeah. him. Yeah. It's like, you got that, mm. plus the fact he said, I'm sorry, everything's so flamboyant. Yeah, that sounds like someone who wants attention. Yeah. Yeah, there, yeah. there would have yeah, to be something like in the, in the dossier when they're like, oh, this is polka dot, man, he's very manipulative. Uh, or mm. show a scene where he uses somebody for that attention and then they interact with each other again and he just tells the guy to fuck off or tells Milton to fuck off. Yeah, I've that got... Would uh, yeah. Portray that. He doesn't, yeah. he doesn't ask any questions during the briefing either. No. Yeah, no, it, there is nothing to support this. <laughs> like, I, I'm trying to think of, like, why, what? Like, I'm supposed to believe throughout the whole film he's desperately trying to get their attention? Like, I don't think... So. He slinks in the background most of the time. Yeah, they characterize him as, like, the unpopular kid at school who's just, yeah. like, going along with the group but, like, doesn't have any role to play. He's just kind of silent and, like, walking behind That's, everybody. And, and you know like, what? He's not a glory hog. That's what makes that bit way more impactful to me is that he's finally, like, he's taking the microphone. He's like, you fuckers, you don't even remember this yeah. guy and he was helping us. Like, I like that right. because of the fact that he doesn't usually speak up but he will for Milton. It's like, that's, that's good shit, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but now you're telling yeah. me he did it because ah, oh, this is my opportunity to get attention. It's like, no, no, I don't, I don't, I don't see that working. And you know what? People, people be no. like, uh, this is the writer director telling you that happened. And I'm like, I know, <laughs> but that isn't but... what happened. Like, I'm sorry.
I don't think anybody would interpret it that way. Not a single person. But thank you for providing that <clears> example because we'll be using that in future now. When yeah, we talk that's about death of the old James. Well, I'd love to talk to him about mm -hmm. it because like the other interpretation fits way better and it's I, I I would argue it's hard to say, but like more meaningful in terms of just more for me to chew on mentally in terms of who he is rather than he wants attention. I'd say it's like so. oh. This could be pretty cool. At that point, I still felt maybe pretty good about it. And the third act, while the most vile, was also, I think, the vile? most interesting. She's probably talking vile? about the experiments like, and stuff. In terms of body count. Well, on the gore, it's, it's pretty... You could say vile. Yeah, I'm the fine. Gore, there's the amount of people killed. Yeah, as long as she's um, not using vile to mean this film is disgusting. Like, fuck this film. Or something like that. I'm, th I'm assuming she just means gore. She might be. Maybe. Maybe. Hard to tell. Dynamic-wise. And it's some of my favorite moments in oh, the third act. Also, some of the characters finally get their hero on in the third act, and that made them more likable. The acting is okay. excellent across the board. Everybody. I love how we're halfway exactly through and happening. we're finally getting to the characters. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. You did it. Great Here job. Here we Chris. go. Finally. Cast of them in a very strong manner. Very, very good. And I like some of the characters quite a bit. Some of them I did not like. Oh, Jesus let's Christ. Let's start with the ones oh. who I did. Uh -oh. Idris Elba's blood sport. The man can do anything. He just oozes cool. He looked so great in his uniform. He was fantastic. Uniform. Every single moment he was on screen, I'm like, why is he not a movie star? He, he really should be. Star. He is a movie um, star. All of that has to do with the actor. He's Idris fucking I, I, Elba. Yeah, he's... He's a Christ woman. I'm, yeah, I'm a little bit confused with that. I'd be like, well, so we all know who he is because he's a movie star. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, David Dasch Oh, we're done? Okay. Wait, what? <laughs> That's it. Oh, yeah, he's great. She mentioned he's really his, great. He's I really cool. I didn't get to see his cock. Yeah, well, why, t why that, talk about him at that point now? Polka that, dot cock. That's kind of amazing. That, that was um, all mostly about Idris Elba. That's how he... Than, like, the character, though. She, she, she mainly commented on, like, his look. And then, oh, I wanted more of him. It's like, okay, then. It was cool. Right. He looked great. Why is he not a movie star? <laughs> As Jay just said, that's why he's in the movie. He's a movie star. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Smulchian's polka dot man. Oh, wow. Very interesting take on his powers and visually stunning. They were very cool. I, very I would never cool. imagine you could do so much with polka dot right, man. Sorry, I, 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 I don't want to sound cruel here, but he, it's now actually sounding as if this video was written by a fucking five-year-old. She's not saying anything ever. That's no, it's just saying... You get to I the characters and you can't say anything. It's like, damn. I like Polka Dot Man. He got his power. Like, look at how many little. Look at how many bullet points she dedicates to the characters. And if this is the <laughs> amount of time that she's yeah. going to spend with each of them, like, why would you even label those as sections? They're, yeah, you're not talking about them. She's probably going to talk more about the characters she, character she didn't care for. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, uh, probably. Yeah. Yeah. And I, it's fascinating to me as well because um, there's so much to say on these characters compared to like, that's the, the juicy part of the film. And she's like, they're cool. And you know what she said about Polka Dot Man is the one thing everyone says first. Oh, that's yep. how his powers work. Okay. Interesting. That's all she said. Great. Mm -hmm. But James Gunn did. Although, oh. I thought his dynamic with his mother while intentionally disturbing, it came across as a bit misogynistic. Oh, no. oh, what? What? what is going on? That was funny. Because it was just what because is... it was what? she was depicted as an ugly, evil woman. Oh, That's what all is it's going to be. It's an abusive all mother is misogynistic really now? <laughs> what the f- Maybe she should have been an evil reader to do that part. Damn. Enough what abusive mothers. A mental gymnastics. How could you right even there. draw that from the character? That doesn't even make any sense. What is going on? Misogyny. Well, sorry, sorry you're experimented on the family. It's my fault. Killed some of the fucking children to try and give them powers. The way that he fucking hated it, <laughs> Amy Campbell was a little bit misogynist. misogyny. How did you get there, Grace? Which which turning oh, did you take? Please, which please wormhole did you there. enter? How did you get there? <laughs> This is she's one of the Literally. people who, after a terrorist attack, are most concerned about how people might think of Muslims now. Yeah. yeah. Isn't it literally it just the isolated fact that he like it holds disdain for his mom? Is that what's misogynistic about well, it? So, so Evan, I would tell you, just wait and she'll explain it, but that would be a lie, so there's no point. Yeah, yeah exactly. 
<laughs> I'm trying to <laughs> figure it out. What were you saying, Freaky? Sorry. I don't understand how you can... So, is it just impossible for somebody to have a bad relationship with a female character? Is that, like... Yes. That, that would be yes. misogynistic. It's, 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 it's his fault. Well, wait. You can have the bad relationship as long as it's on the on the guy's part, not the girl's part. Yeah, yeah. It, like I said, it's his fault. Yeah, yeah. Would, would he, it be... Yeah. Uh, Slay queen. Uh, literally. literally. The, like, uh, would it be hypocritical? It's like, well, of course it would be. Like, I, I don't even know how you got this from the film. <laughs> She's... She's just a horrible human being. Her being a woman it, is not fucking like that's not the point. It could have been father. That's the thing. It could have been father, and yeah. nothing would have changed. Yep. Yeah. Disturbing. It came across as a bit misogynistic. <laughs> a, a lot in the way that it was. Quentin Tarantino made it seem okay that Brad Pitt murdered his wife. Why what? is that misogyny? <laughs> like what? You do We're, right. Just because you Grace, kill a, Grace, just Grace, because darling. an interaction occurs with a woman doesn't mean there's exactly. a, 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 a exactly. misogyny I'm to it. So fucking yeah. lost, dude. The hatred of all women. <laughs> you can hate an individual in even a group or a subsection or a, of women, but it doesn't mean it, oh, fucking misogyny <laughs> is such an overused term. I can uh, see um, it. I can see Earth cracking in two, and a dis she's like, misogyny. <laughs> like, you just killed yeah. all of the women. <laughs> That's the joke. Yeah, Earth explodes, women most affected. Yeah. What is happening? What, like, what? Wh why are we here? Just to suffer. Yeah. Yes, oh, for yeah. me, this is EFAP. <laughs> Welcome to EFAP. We, yeah. th that's <laughs> our job. We suffer for money. This is our job. <laughs> I just want to, just to explain it, because uh, some people just don't get it. Um, okay. <laughs> I think that there's something that some <laughs> guys me. do that if a woman disagrees yeah. with them, I mean, Polka Dot Man's mother did some horrible things. Oh, thank you for mentioning. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you oh, recognize carry this on, makes carry it on, worse because on. you recognize it. Did you guys exactly? I want to see how far this whole fucking issue's uh, digging she for. She killed herself. some of his siblings, but this mm. this is one of those her editor needed to be like, don't. This bit, don't, just don't. Don't, 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 don't. Oh, also, whoever asked, like, do you think this is why they've disliked the video? It's like, is there any part of this video the fucking commenters would have liked? Like, what? That's likable? <laughs> yeah. Movie. I mean, the Without part before doubt. she started talking was, you know, in retrospect, kind of nice. I would have preferred more yeah. John Cena penis talk at this point, yeah. Mm. <laughs> I feel like a butt isn't coming. But I think there's there a flavor yeah, to it <laughs> that if a guy doesn't like something that a woman does or says, they can. It's okay to vilify her. Like killing oh your God. siblings, like, oh experimenting God. on children. I will vilify oh, any bitch that experiments on children. Oh my Christ! God. You are a fucking What's dumb. How, so how did, how did horrible. she say this? How? This is why. The, this is what the world's fucked, folks. This is what yeah. the world's fucked. Absolutely. This is fucking retarded takes like this. This Can't is a Hannah woman Piker. experiment on her children. Jeez. Sexist. Well, it's okay because it was a male child that was been experimented yes. on, but it's fucking tech dude. Dude, uh, sorry, I'm gonna have to nerd with nerd Roddick. This is tech Tayoon all over again, mate. Yeah, I've heard that. This is, this is you can murder, murder children, but oh, but I got a regeneration out of it, even though I killed children over and over and over again over to get and it. Over again. I'm a great scientist and everyone loves me. No one has any idea what she sacrificed. I think, Fucking hell. I think it was fucked up that they took the person who experimented on children and killed several of them and made her a villain. What the hell? Yeah. And yeah, he's a little bit misconstrued. This, uh, this whole world is uh, upside down. I just can't tell. You know, what am I... But like, actually, though, <laughs> this is incredible. If you, can't, if you can't recognize what you've just said is fucking retarded, then, then we're done. We might Let's just check out now, folks. Waiter, yeah. check. Ding, ding, ding. Guys, yes, there's only a little bit. Waiter, not waitress. There's only a little bit of possible <laughs> lethal child experiment, but she has the hardest job in the world: being a mum. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> who let her say First this? I don't know. I don't know who oh, let her yeah. say this. <laughs> and you know, there's the issues of perspective and opinion, and there's just I think the way the mom was portrayed. Um, evil? Trying to be the most disgusting thing that they. Could... Oh my god! She the was. poor actress. Oh, the poor actress was. who played it. <laughs> She's like, you're so Grace, disgusting. Grace, can you please tell me what is not disgusting about experimenting on and killing children? Please, I'd like to hear your take. Yeah. I assume she's also this referring to the woman herself, which is so fucked yeah. up. 
She is a real person. She's an actual she, like, actress. Actually exists. You're like, oh yeah. god, what an ugly fuck. How could they portray this character that way? It's like, what? The fuck? How could it's, they? How could yeah, they say this about that's women by portraying by, by, by portraying women. such yeah. disgusting, it's like, what, 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 bulbous, old, ugly, repulsive person? How could they possibly say this about women? Oh, my I wonder goodness. why people yeah. didn't like this review. <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it was, it's a shocker. Oh. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm I'm surprised that this isn't 100. percent Oh yes, my it's... god, I was not I was not ready for this. I'm no, so I, glad I didn't watch no. this ahead of time. Because remember, Gary, this is your fault that I'm watching this. By the way. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why? Like, well, it was either you or as someone on. It was either someone on your stream or one of you Don't guys told me. me about this. You Who's guys... to blame here? Uh, we are blaming you. you. You're the one who messaged her about people walking out of the theater. <laughs> this is misogyny. <laughs> yeah. Misogyny most affected. It was, I don't know, I, it was just a feeling I had from it. Yeah, I still thin. love the character. Did that oh, feeling okay. tell you to drink bleach as well? It was just a feeling, I still love the character. This, this man, he hates okay. his mother for having done these horrible things. I still like him, a bit misogynistic though. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Don't stop it. Uh, Joel Kinnaman was much better here as Rick Flagg. I actually liked him here. I thought he, had, he came across very much as a leader. And he, he has probably, I would say, one of, if not the best scenes of his career in the third act. I mean, I have to like his performance for Very that true. alone. All right, I'm fine with that. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah tell us how brief. he hates women. We did it, everybody. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, now, yeah, now tell yes. us what's wrong, because he's white. And what a breakthrough performance for Daniela Melchior. She and her right-hand rat, Sebastian, actually made me feel not so bad about rats, which is incredible. And she has one flashback scene with Taika Waititi, which was incredibly brief, Two. but was by far and away one of, if not the most powerful moments in the oh, film. fuck off with the emojis, I swear to God. Yeah. Yeah, uh, this is like, uh, I, your, your fucking boomer humor is really <laughs> upsetting to me. Yeah, Steve Buscemi's in the background <laughs> with this fucking epic. fellow kid shit, like, come on. How do you do, fellow critics? <laughs> <laughs> it was, and what, what it said, I mean, that was great. That was just stunning, so good. Pete Davidson. He's hardly in the movie at all, but when he is, he does a fantastic job, and he is huh? just an excellent fit with Wicked. the suicide. He's in no, like he less than two minutes of screen time, he right? Fre he he's, freaks out yeah, because he thinks is a good thing. Weasel will eat him, and then he, yeah, what? well, if anything, you know when he gets up to say, hey guys, you know, we're all here, I was like, man, he's kind of annoying, and then he gets killed, and I was like, hey, there yeah. you go. <laughs> yeah. I can't yeah. help but notice that her <laughs> list of favorite characters doesn't have Weasel on it. <laughs> yeah, Which I mean, is, you know, oh, I, yeah, yeah, this spoiler. Is, oh, this invalidates the review. You're right. That yeah, is, that's yeah, like that, the that's the test. And that's is an Lisa that's an implied spoiler character? too. Yeah, because if she's not on the not on the favorites, all they didn't care for. Why? What happened to Weasel? Did she not even remember Weasel and Weasel sacrifice? I think not. <laughs> Weasel died for us since. No, squad brand. I Weasel. Thought, Weasel lived for us. Did not die. <laughs> He lived for our sins <laughs> in the end. Thought he should have been able to. He should have been. They should have given him more to do. He was very good. No, so everybody no. thinks the reverse of no. that. Like, yes, yes. that's the. Uh, it's Pete Davidson. That's all I've heard. He's a twat. Everyone hates him. They thought it was hilarious. That his face got blown yeah. off. That's all I've heard. <laughs> good. Now here's who I did not care for. Okay. John oh, Cena's Mad. peacemaker. Mad. Oh, I thought she was gonna say peacemaker. Oh, you know what? You know what she means by peacemaker, per right? Perfect yeah, timing, like by the, the way. The earlier uh, section implies otherwise. I promised a commenter that I would yes. mention this. Um, you know when I said it was an eagle that came out of his gun? It was it was a dove. Dove. Peace. Oh yeah. It, uh, yeah. Peace. Yeah. yeah. Which you know is great. I, I just I I mixed them up. Yeah. Uh, well, rather, yeah, I they thought it sort of makes sense. So yeah, yeah. Um, obviously because they were saying the dove is on his uh, icon on the front, and I was like, oh, ah, yeah, yeah. of course. Whoa! What a disaster! Uh, oh, oh no! What? Oh, Use your next words carefully. Oh, yeah. Oh no! Don't get to a reference, please. Just stay in the realm of. <laughs> I just don't like it. Stay there. Not only as a character, but I think as a career. Not only as a Johnson. character. <laughs> Yo, oh, why, yeah. why are we getting so Boston-y now? Like, not only as a character. <laughs> the accent all of a sudden is... Let's get next to John Cena on the subway. What a disaster. <laughs> Forget about it. <laughs> I'm walking here. She liked Holly his bulge at least. Gosh, he's objectified the fuck out of him. <laughs> yep. That's okay, he's yeah. a white man. 
Let her talk. This She's making a video. Is absolutely a not only disgusting. You but let her talk. He's disgusting and disturbing. That's the problem. Did you know what films are? They're not documentaries, darling. Well, even if they were, that wouldn't be an argument. Like, oh, I don't like this person being gross. Like, oh. This he's literally me? a bad guy. Like <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, like me. Did she like did exactly she like exactly on his side? I need to see a review of Empire Strikes Back where she's like, this Vader guy, oh god, so horrible. <laughs> horrible person, and I don't Can't like him. him. Uh -huh. I don't like Vader, he's mean. Irredeemable. Like, I can't... It were... She'd be torn because you he's know voiced by a black... You know what? I'll push back. Uh, I mean, I don't Grace, even... I mean, those would be horrible characteristics if they actually were given to the other villain of the story. Mm -hmm. Dun, dun, dun. I don't think he's irredeemable. Hot take. I think. No. That, I... Um, no. The context in which he kills people, I find fascinating and want to know more about his history in terms of where he's chosen to end lives. Yeah, who's more of this guy? How did he get to be this way? Well, How does he gonna solve find other out problems? Hopefully, yeah. Max. But um, this is the interesting thing about that TV good. show. That's the interesting thing about the TV show moving forward is basically they've set like a principle that he holds as like his core belief. So the question is like, is that's going to get tested in future? So you're like, where is he going to draw the line? Is he going to kill people for peace no matter what? And it's like there, there's a lot you could do with the character moving he's... forward. That seems to be it. I hope yeah. hopefully since we'll James Gunn. Kind of came up with this character as he exists. We'll get he he'll really feel yeah the the extra desire to adhere to it. I can't believe he's but getting can... his own show. He is. I can I... believe it. Oh, <laughs> it's... The HBO Max is back. <laughs> it's all about that package, dude. <laughs> Gets you right Thank into. God, it. I had the graphic from earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I would think would be the last character to get character. A... No, no way. <laughs> the last <laughs> character. Wow, that's really strong sometimes, isn't it? Spin-off yeah. show off of this movie. By the time the movie was over, I absolutely hated him. I just That's not a problem. You're supposed to. Good? Yeah. yeah. I, I would argue you can get well a myriad correct. of results, but I think uh, the most common one would be that people hate him, yeah, because of... Yeah, he's not the good guy. He is not portrayed as being correct. I, no. I, yeah. I, I didn't so hate him at just... the end, but like I feel like you, in either. a way, are meant to hate him. So I felt yeah, I felt a bit bad for him because his principles led him to places that he didn't even like. Yeah, which was super interesting to watch. Just hated him, and I, I'm really curious to see how John Cena's fans react to. to I'm sure to... they loved it. To be fair, his fans yeah. like he gave a really good performance. Yeah. It was, it was, yeah. As an actor, as why well the, as like the physical performance. So. Why the fuck wouldn't his fans the, like the this? Performance. Why wouldn't his fans like this? Apologizing that China was worse for his career. Than Absolutely, this. that would have fucking Easily. pissed everyone off. Yeah, that this though, like, a... can you imagine being a fan of his wrestling and then being like, I don't want to watch him be a like absolute amazing shot with a you know assassin ex person from prison going on missions to dominate and then essentially win out by the way in a sense like that he survives. Like, I don't want to see John Cena doing that. I don't want to see him mm -hmm. shoot a hole through an armored truck that he was imprisoned in and then get it. Like, I don't understand the connection. Why Waller, if only this? we had wrestling fans nearby that we could ask to confirm that. Hmm. No, Mel's gone to sleep. None here. Yeah, oh well. No. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Couldn't say again. I wasn't, I was, I was, I was typing a text. Well, I was about to say, That's well, right. it, I mean, I feel like we already know his position, but I'm guessing as that his portrayal mm -hmm. of Peacemaker wasn't as annoying to you as his comments about Taiwan. Oh, no. His comments about Taiwan were, yeah, he was a fucking cuck. Yeah, and, and yep. that pissed people off way more. Like, it's such a bizarre comment from him, but it's, all right. Yeah, well, the, it's great. playing this character. I, I, if I was his agent, I'd be like, I, I would not touch this. I Are you kidding well, me? Well, I guess it's I guess he's oh. lucky then that you're not yeah. his agent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because yeah. right so career fortunate. choice. <laughs> yes, she How fortunate get, for she, him. She just said he's got a fucking TV show deal in the in the era of TV shows being the thing to do. That she's like, man, I wouldn't have told her to do that. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> like, why? What, what? It's it's basically like saying, yeah, if I was an architect, I'd just design it to fall down. And that's you know she would have won out. Dude, we're about to get to King Shark. Oh my god, I'm not ready. Oh, no, I'm not ready either, yeah. Just a it's probably that he eats so people. That's, that's what's evil about him. Yeah. 
All right. You have to, it has to be seen to be believed because you won't believe that John Cena is willing to, to do the horrible things that they have Peacemaker. So have. this is called what, acting with is it? acting. Yeah. What a yeah. weird <laughs> thing. Yes. So they this are is getting really fucking weird. They are not yeah. the actual thing you see. They are simply pretending to be. <laughs> this is an awesome it's, yeah. it's, 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 though It feels like it's like Grace. I think it feels like Grace has lost the plot. She doesn't realize that this is a film. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't know if she gets out much. Jeez. I do. Then, with both Harley Quinn and King Shark, I much prefer the animated versions, who are fantastic, by the way. I love that Fucking show. Terrible. Okay. Here, yeah. they're both God, portrayed yeah, as really gross. stupid, which I really do not care for. What? That's not what? a, That's not a criticism. Say that they're stupid, especially I don't like King Shark the... because he's portrayed as stupid. Well, it, that's, that's not a point. It's just, a, like, okay, it's a, I like him. I yeah, like I like that he's portrayed character. as yeah. Like, yeah. It's neat that we have a character Maybe who like operates on a lower people. level of critical thinking. Like there we go. Yeah, he's just like friends. You friends, I'll help you. Like that's he's like it. childlike. He has very basic I... ways of like approaching the world essentially, and it's interesting yeah. to see how also, he reacts, even though he's like a shark that eats people. You've also so. got to be really careful because you're like I don't like it when people are portrayed to not like be them. at the peak yeah. of intelligence. Oh. You're like, oh, careful. You're you don't, you right, don't. careful. Yeah, Einstein here with his video. <laughs> I don't like this Grace Randolph <laughs> character. She's too fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, Grace, that was really funny. You can drop the act now. <laughs> Please. And I was disappointed, so disappointed, to see that Harley Quinn once again is defined by how the opposite sex sees her. With some weird principle. No! Show. I'm confused. The, the, okay, him. so I don't, I don't understand him. it. The point of the f yeah in this film is that she's not defined by that. She's breaking yeah, out of it. That was like the way. Yeah, the little that there if is. If anything, of her she took a very that. clear step in the opposite direction. Yup. I was. I, was I mean, like, she literally she, says that to the guy when he's in agony, yeah. dying on the floor, is the whole yep. boyfriend yep. thing and the red flags. So yeah. I, yeah, there's I kind of scene that went of through all that. Oh, that was red flag. Yeah. Sorry, I don't know the thing. Oh. Somebody said apparently her ranking of top f top characters she puts Peacemaker at number four. So I don't understand wait, one, two, how three, that's possible. Four, five, so, so wait, but Bloodsport, Polka Dot Man, Rick Flag, and Ratcatcher—that's four characters. So that means that he takes the place of one of them. And then how does that make any sense? And then all the ones below him are worse He's already than him. Crossed the threshold. <sighs> I'm very conf like if that's true, I'm very confused. But I don't know if that's in this video or she's because they said at the end that that was she did it for damage control, which I could believe. So it might you know it might be after this video. It might not be in this video. Girl routine that they decided to do. Harley Quinn is not supposed to be a twisted version of Marilyn Monroe, and this is the second what? time that it's been. She can be whatever the person who creates. Wait, the, the, the yeah, the, I mean they have the, what she's supposed to be. They've literally I done saying, it. Is she supposed like, to be? They're pulling her around all over the place in the fucking film, so I don't see how. Mm -hmm. What what is she? Ref so is she saying she takes problem with all three iterations, or just this one, or this one and Birds of Prey? Because that visual is from Birds of Prey, right? Yeah. Ain't here done it's not the right path to go down and it, why not you know, it just shows a basic misunderstanding of the character be more specific oh, what, what i think you character right now she's saying that that her being platinum blonde in a red dress with this guy at the whatever on top is the exact same thing as her in this other photo being all dolled up like marilyn monroe it's wrong but that's what she's saying i'm gonna say the context is completely different and surely it matters more so how she's characterized not whether she's in these scenarios also, Harley has taken so much abuse from men at this point. Which she, she kills the person. She makes that, very clear. It. Which she she, <clears throat> it's what motivates her to shoot. She doesn't take any abuse. Yeah. She uh, in fact I was, might even. I was just gonna say she doesn't it. take any abuse from any men instead of this movie, at least from this guy that she's got the picture of. So that's if that's <clears> what you're referring to. I don't know. Also, what else the torture scene maybe. Interesting screenshot to choose where Joker is like. If you want to date me, jump in there. Like, like, is it is her choice to do that? Because she's a fucking idiot, I guess. I don't know. Like, remember, he's not exactly a catch in that movie. I could. <laughs> he's, he's an idea. Yeah. He's an she idea. is ready to try yeah, something different true. and fall in love with Poison Ivy in the DCEU, and I will be very upset if that is the next step for the character. I mean, if if anything good were to come of this movie, it's that she's ready. She's at. She's. She's. Ready I think she's. For what? He's proven to herself that she can lunchbox responsibly. I don't know what's happening anymore. I'm... 
ready for she's disappointed yeah. that that harley quinn isn't a, a lesbian a, I guess. a symbol of some kind for why do you women? want this crazy know. character as your symbol of anything yeah, pick someone yeah. else for this fuck's sake. This is like, sake. oh, the Babadook is a gay icon. And I'm like, what the, <laughs> the fuck Babadook. are you people smoking? <laughs> Am I wrong? Is that not, is that, that's what she's saying, right? <laughs> How does yeah, think she, the, the... she would prefer yeah. her to be a lesbian in this story because it was better that way. I want, I want the thing to be a gay icon. Well, I guess lesbian, whatever. Who gives a shit? <laughs> <laughs> I think that Poison Ivy would be so wonderful for her to meet right, like right now. They've teed her up. She's ready to go. Teed her uh, up. And I'm a, teed her up. For what? What are you to, ma to have her sexuality? I don't, I, I don't. Is that how that works? Well, I mean, if she's bi, then it doesn't matter. So, but again, I, like, she always bi. Okay. I don't know. How, how does it? Be, how do you become an icon for this? That you have been abused so much, then you finally decide to to go to the other sex. Well, yeah, Is what a fucking icon! I was tortured by men for so long. Yeah. Like, I want women. You're like, yeah, oh, okay. good job. Yeah, but that's what DC like wants. Against the whole thing that they're trying yeah. to do, you know. I don't know. I, I don't <clears> also, to Poison Ivy intuitive. hasn't even been introduced also, yet into the DCEU, so yeah. it's weird and to like bring about, Poison Ivy into all this. How about you don't define your fucking character by her relationships all the time? How about maybe yeah. she's just a person and you characterize her? Yeah. What if you give me? Yeah, give me some actual characterization for this character. Reminds me of fucking yeah, Ray. Thing. Like Ray is a character yeah. because she's a Skywalker. No, because she's nobody. No, because she might be related to Kenobi. No, because she nobody, definitely nobody. Luke, eh, Palpatine. <laughs> like, can you please give her a character? I don't care about all this blood shit. <laughs> the Upset only the thing DCE. that I can truly connect with on a character is what the I have to know what makes their dick hard every single it's time. Who their genitals yep. connect I with. To, yeah. I have to know. True. Won't do That's that. It. I'm so happy that the animated series has 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 taken that step. Uh, Harley Quinn has some nice moments here. She does, but she disappears for very long periods of the film. Even though she no, has been it's sold. that she shows up. Oh, you got it completely backwards. <laughs> the problem <laughs> is that one of its absent. The problem is that she's sometimes present. Yes, and that wouldn't be a problem if James Gunn had managed to fucking write it, but he didn't. I'm sorry. As in, as in, like, if he had, Quinn. yeah, written her well. I'm, I'm sorry. Like, I thought he could do it, but apparently he couldn't. Harley apparently Quinn, no one can. She's just, like, writing poison. Yep. Claire is an extremely writing. difficult character to get right. They still haven't been able to do it in the comic. And so many writers have tried because it. Because she's two-dimensional. In the, the comic? In the comic. Why did she say the comic? the comic? Is there only the... The comic. There's only one comic. In <laughs> it's one big she's, comic. She's from the animated series. And they put her in the comic, and she, I, I don't know what Grace Randolph's perspective of Harley Quinn is, but uh, most comic fans is from the animated series. And she's a two-dimensional character. There's, there's not much else you can do with her. She was jo the Joker's girlfriend, and she's really fucked up. I don't yeah, know where you go from yeah, that. Yeah, they, it's they kind of brought the abusive relationship thing in a little bit later on in that series, and that's kind of what they developed her in from the comics, from what I understand. Yep. But yeah, like yep. she was mostly just the henchwoman for the earlier part of that series, that is to say. So, Isn't it fascinating at this point that she really apparently is poison for writers? That you're, you're like, someone's got to be able to do it, right? Like she's just the biggest yeah, writing it, challenge. For what, and it shouldn't be because she's basically blank slate at this point. You could kind of do whatever you want with her. She's just, he's at she, that point. Throw her into she a just has sort of a past, but spectrum. that's it. Hmm. Point. They just can't get it right. But the animated series has gotten it right. They have, I can't wait. The comic, I think, comes out this month. Uh, they oh, the other comic. Um. The comic, but not that comic. <laughs> the cover of that comic. comic. <laughs> wait, what does that say? The Eat Bang Kill Tour. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eat out. Uh, she's, I, they eat. Um. Like. Are they marching on that pussy? That spotlight is actually a wall in a doorway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's iconic. Man, they yeah. really want. That's she just wants her and Ivy to fuck like that. Yeah. She's like, she's rock climbing her vagina. What the <laughs> Okay. Like as well. Hell yeah. Uh, and I really wish they would bring in that writing team to handle her live action. No, uh, go away. <laughs> because this just is get just rid of it for fuck's sake. We're three movies. Yeah, in. make her die. Uh, it's but... not. So it's unfair to me that she's been given three huge chances. It's like, can we just throw someone else in now? Like, she's not working. Uh -huh. Okay. Viola Davis is Amanda Waller. 
Now that surprised me because at the beginning of the film, she no, was why? Why did it surprise you? She was in the last film as that character. I'm not sure what. <laughs> I'm not sure what she was referring to as the surprise. I'm lost on that one as well. Like what? Why are you so shit? I never would have guessed. Never would have guessed. I was like, wow, what a power player. But in the third act, talk about misogynistic. No. Oh, you said the M word, and I know it's going to be bullshit now. Oh. I don't know why they chose to do this. She was so humiliated and she took it. No, I, she, she had no, leverage. the whole epilogue yeah, was okay. Waller has, has us on shit. Are they doing these crazy shit because of what we did to her? And a very well, she important took it. thing she to didn't note. She didn't see it coming. It, it, that was the, an important thing to know done? as well. Tell me what she should have done. Knocks her out. Arguably unhinged. And you know what I'm going to say? Here it is. We don't actually know what she's going to do to that team. The last thing we see is she looks at them. Nope. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And that's well, after... she doesn't kill them because at the end, the other two go off to do their little post-credit thing. Yeah, well, that, and they it, reference like Waller's got us doing this because of you know. Well, so what? what I, I, I didn't mean it. we don't know what she did to him. You know, you know what I mean. You know, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. She could, she yeah, could literally yeah. have been like, yeah. "I'm gonna do X, Y, Z to people you love." Or she could have done, she could have done anything. Um, point being, she was dealing with the leverage of. She's the same. She's got the same logic as Peacekeeper. She thinks that if that stuff gets revealed, it's all over. Like I don't know why this isn't being appreciated. Technically, mm. she won. She just loses all of the uh, her leverage over them as as Suicide Squad members. I don't know. There's there's a lot here to to break down, and I, I just feel like you people can turn are... this into a win with not that much difficulty. Yeah, especially with look what the Suicide Squad was able to do, and da 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 da, and look how good we look, and you know things of that nature. And also, give me more money and more funding. Of the people program. who turned up to see Peacemaker, were either one of them the one that hit her? <clears throat> uh, I no, assume she I think thinks it's someone all else, right? Too, I can't remember. No, of course, she but was I, knocked out by another black woman. Well, that's what I'm saying. Is like yeah. maybe she did have something happen to that woman. I don't know. Shocked. Amanda <clears throat> Waller would never, would never take what happens to her. I don't know that we can maybe conclude. Maybe this one that, does. Maybe like, this one does. Maybe this one is. Yeah. I just, it's, it's, Who knows what they'll confirm in like the sequel? I was about know? to say like Maybe we don't we don't. Like, oh, continue shit, off my team on is that. willing to turn against me when I'm not looking. I better better play my card. Let better see how this develops and see what's going to happen. Like who knows? That's the thing. Yeah. I mean, I guess maybe you could argue that, she, so, that she'll get her revenge after. But it was just seems so out of character. Or maybe she won't, and she learns a lesson. Who knows what they're going to do? The problem is any Suicide Squad could pull the same to blackmail the country. So that's why Peacemaker's on the team, and obviously that didn't work. Like, he was supposed to prevent any of that from happening, but he got defeated. Yep. Like, I don't know the... How can you... What do you... Like, she has to use the Suicide Squad, so yes, they are going to get in positions where they can use stuff against her. And that's something that she'll want to account for, but she can't account... She had accounted for it until her team knocked her out. Which, I don't know, like, how much of a mastermind is she supposed to be portrayed as, where she could never be subverted? I don't know. It feels a little bit weird. She's definitely like, a character you need to be fearful of, like, and respect. Yeah, absolutely. Well, this reminds me of Tywin. He was killed on the toilet by his son, and if someone went, he should be smart enough to have that never happen, I'd be like, no. It's like, is it, I no. I would go yeah. for shit sometime. Yeah, there's there's so much to it that's just like no 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 we're, we're veering too far into fucking Mary Sue territory. I don't want him to be unbeatable. Amanda had lost the plot. She was in she was absolutely out of control, and Amanda Waller is normally in control because she was having her team uh, turn and actually try and help uh, the uh, the town. They were turning from from villains to heroes, and so she was losing the plot and going to kill them all. And because the rest of the team knew, because it was set up earlier that she was going to kill Bloodsport's daughter for this, uh, and he and she was just going to wipe them all out. She was going to flip the switch on all of them. They, they had more of a moral compass there than Amanda does, which is exactly the point. Amanda's moral compass is not there. It's non-existent right now. Uh, and so I think it was, a good, it was a clever thing to do, especially from the last movie where she um, sanitized the room. This time, she oh. was the one that got a little bit of her own back. Out of curiosity, like, I don't know if this happens often or not, but like, what do you, how do you guys solve problems like this if, let's say, half and half people believe she was assassinated from the comics or she was represented well? How do you deal with that? She's a minor character. She's not a major character. So there's, you know, 
I think I think uh, they did a decent interpretation of her in the uh, Justice League. Yeah, cartoon. I think. She yeah, I did. I do too. I think there is an argument, well, especially with DC. There's so many different versions. Uh, there's not a ton of different versions of Amanda Waller, but there's there's different Batmans, there's different Supermans. There, uh, this is just an Elseworlds. That's all you got to tell a DC fan. That's all it is. I I don't even know if this is officially DC EU. They haven't said it. They've kept it vague. Uh, I mean, I mean, like, yeah, would Justice League Amanda Waller put up with this, or even I don't know. I don't know, she, but we don't know that if there is another movie, we'll find out that that staff has, you know, been horribly tortured or sent off to Alaska or somewhere, or, you know, uh, you know, that, that I, there's so many different ter- interpretations of every character anyway. Uh, and this is something I had to deal with at the comic shop every day. Cause you know, like there's, uh, I've grown up with Frank Miller, Batman, and I've grown up with uh Denny O'Neill, Batman, and they're, they're completely different Batman. Um, so it's did just you, did a you matter a of your perspective. Shop? I owned one. <laughs> oh, uh, no shit. Yeah. What's the For worst smelling customer that ever came in? Worst smelling? Worst smelling? Yeah, oh. I need a description, a full description, what you felt that smell. day, whether you oh. could eat even later, uh, if they Oh, I couldn't. They, they used to... Um, Is this your fetish? They used to... They used to... <laughs> They used to uh, do experimental drugs uh, next door to my on Fridays next door to my store. So I would get all the homeless uh, people from San Francisco on Friday. They get their 25 bucks and they get shot up with something. Plasma donations and shit. Yep. And then they come in my store and they smell like they rolled around in shit and pissed on themselves (laughs) and somebody died on top of them. Oh, no. Yeah. That's dope, dude. That's so good. I love that. Um, San Francisco. Someone said, "Computer geek taking out Waller is like Ray pushing Luke." No, Not she hit her in the back of the head involved. with a golf club. I, f- I find it interesting because, like, uh, when they say well, Ray pushing Luke, I'm assuming they're referring to when she beats him on Arc Two, right? Arc Two, whatever the fuck. Um, when they have their fight. Yeah. Um, yeah, that that was frustrating to watch because he's so much more advanced than she is in like every way in terms of understanding the Force and fucking like sword fighting or whatever. Um, but so that was a fight. This was she got knocked out by a golf club when she wasn't able to fucking know that that was gonna happen. I don't know why. Why would you say that's the same? I don't understand. What a ridiculous comparison to make. Also, like the comparison between Luke and Waller in terms of like being hit on the head. I think Waller is a lot worse than Luke in TLJ from what we see. Yeah, if you're gonna go that far, I, I don't think Waller would have that kind of staff. Like who was betting on. Mm. Yeah, and, and you I, could I, argue I, yeah, that yeah. through this version, she's just struggling to get the the people she wants in the right places for the Suicide Squad, and the, especially because this is still, I imagine, relatively untested. They've only recently gotten a reputation or whatever. So you, you... What, what made a... What, yeah, what probably would have made it better if, uh, if she's going to have that staff as they say, well, there's budget cuts and she fucked up the last mission or something yeah. like that. And, uh, I think, but she's stuck with it. Who they gave yeah. me to yeah. work with. Ugh. Yeah. yeah. If, if we had like one That's explicit line for that, that would fucking solve all of these problems. Right. But you can infer that that was what happened. She didn't, she wasn't, de- she clearly doesn't yeah, like these know. people. Yeah. Yep. I That's kind of what I villain. thought. And, and they don't take their job seriously because of the betting. Yeah. But it was I just so out of I'm character to me. I mean, she's a villain True. for sure. She's still a villain, as she should be. Um, That's misogynist. <laughs> but uh-huh. I, I just was shocked. And I wonder if they hate it. <laughs> what is that? Was just what shocked. the fuck is that? Yeah, so that, that I was woman is losing its value with you, woman. Evil villain. She, she's talking about this woman. We got wait, long which pause. One, which so one's the why. one where she walks by people and shoots them in a line? Is that the that's first one, two, or that's the first one? That was, yeah. yeah. Oh, two, two, okay. yeah. well, never mind. Because that was ruthless. That's Amanda Waller. I, I mean, was that, shocked. That... Right, but it's yeah. the other movie. It's not yeah, yeah. Movie. And that's yeah. And DC does not have anything established yet. That's their problem. So I, I think people are still using the head cannon from comics, and mm-hmm. they're still trying to figure out what the hell they're doing. Uh, if you want to blame anybody, blame Warner Brothers. They're stupid. How dare you? Would have been done to a male character. I, I just what? Really... okay. We need to roll it back because uh, what, 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 what was that? You know? <laughs> a villain as she should be, um, but I, I just was shocked. 
And I wonder if it would, would have been done to a male character. I, I just- You never- yeah. what? You never see a male character get humiliated in any way, shape, or form. That just doesn't happen. No, not- no, definitely not. Every Steven Seagal movie. I'm- I'm lost with this woman. I know, it's like- like if he, he, he completely flag. reversed it. Yeah, well, that's what I was just about to say. You took the opposite of Amanda Waller, Rick Flagg, who said, I didn't sign up for this. I didn't serve my country for this. They're killing women, they're killing children. And he put his life and he died, died for it because of her puppet, because of Amanda Waller's puppet. So, yes, they did it. And they did it pretty much uh, in the next scene, Grace. So, uh, I'm. Shut up. What a shitty movie critic. I don't understand. How could oh, you have watched garbage. mainstream movies and conclude, man? They always, you know, they always just rip into the women characters. The male characters are always celebrated and on these high have horses you, and stuff. Uh, you don't even have to go to cinema. Have you watched any commercial in the last 10 years yeah. where the woman is not allowed to be in any way less than ideal and the man is always the one who has to be chastised, who always is wrong, who's always humiliated? bit weird my yeah, dude this, this is the perspective of somebody who hasn't left like what is she in manhattan there she hasn't left manhattan in years uh and if she she does it's to a press event or a nice hotel wow, or a con wow man manhattan <laughs> well it's got to be she hat now well, manhattan. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah well manhattan who runs the world <laughs> oh it's so bad <laughs> she was really upset about that and oh yeah starro so disgusting. So horrifying. Like, wow. Like, I'm familiar with Starro from the comics, but... Mm, the one you're showing like here looks like eon. shit. Well, com I mean, it's horrifying looks pretty simple. <laughs> it's just it's like... The 60s. Starfish with an eye in the middle. Well, he looks... I could see how you can go from that to the movie one. I, you know... I can see it. Well, yeah, it's the Star with an eye. I mean... Yeah. Starro is problematic from all points. Oh, God. <laughs> you know, uh... Wait, I, problematic? Starro problematic the now. God, Terry, nobody's safe. I think there's a lot of... A lot of it is just not, I think, played out the way it should be. What they have mean? turned up the, the grotesqueness of the character. I thought that was the, the coolest part. How, I'm, I'm confused. How cool is a starfish. giant fucking starfish? So, you know, starfishes aren't... Like, they're not... Starfish eye. <laughs> they're, they're beautiful from a distance. I'm lost. What's she saying? Get, but they're just like, they got like suckers and tendrils she's and like she's a weird retarded. mouth in the middle. They look like you know, starfish buttholes just can with turn legs. their stomachs inside out. It's like, it's just not. I know. think my brain what? stalled after she said Star yeah, yeah. was problematic. Like, I'm, like, I just. What are you. It's probably a Pavlovian yeah. response from, uh, from these type of people. Now. Yeah, whenever she doesn't like anything, it's problematic. Yeah. It's problematic. <laughs> Oh, was the giant the starfish, starfish representation okay. in this film was really problematic. Looks like the, the alien a... entity you'll be which waiting was captured from space was really problematic. It's very yeah. misogynistic against all the women. <laughs> all the starfish. And just zero qualifiers for any of this. She just says it and then moves on. It's like, <laughs> yeah, let's something. I'm going to roll it back a little bit because I really, I am so lost. A lot, of, a lot of it is just not, I think, played out the way it should be. They have turned up the, what is that? the grotesque, grotesque. How should it be character? played out? Like how how, how should it be, be played out? So she's out? saying it's too yeah, grotesque. Yeah. She said too so grotesque. Character up to an eleven. It isn't the grotesque the stuff mostly like the experiments that are done by like the thinker? Like Starro just like attaches the stars to the people and then that's it. Which like, by the way, yeah. he's the one who was like cutting people in half, yeah, and experimenting on children. And until you take the stars off him. They look like they, they, I wouldn't call it grotesque. It's more like, oh shit! So what are they now? Body horror. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, when you tear them off and you tore them to pieces, like yeah, okay, that's yeah. It looks, but you know, in the comics, if you get a star on your face, they can pry it off and you'll be okay. Let's just say that's not the case here. Okay. Yeah. At least. Yeah. Uh, we don't. You know. Yeah. We don't really know that much about it. But it seems why is that, that an issue? This, yeah. I'd, you you can't. Pr I feel it. Okay. I feel Somebody if anything that almost ups the stakes a little bit more. Yeah, that once a star so that, like, is on you, you gotta watch you're out. Fucked. Yeah. You're dead. Yeah, yeah like it's you like have to get it off it. within. Yeah, who knows if they're gonna do rules about? Oh, you you've got an hour, or else it's permanent, or once it's on, you're dead, or like we we don't know exactly. Oh. It seems to be once it's been on a while, for certain, it's just your body's just gone and you die. Like, we don't know. Again, some of the things I will not be able to unsee. 
I, Good. I it looks like you ruined. fucking need it because you might have ruined Jesus Star Wars. I was about to say. And Starro. <laughs> yeah. Ruined Starro by having it be scarier. By the. They ruined a, 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 oh, a, a, a alien villain which is barely ever used due to its ridiculousness and actually turned it into something legitimately grotesque, which is great yeah. for an R-rated movie. Yeah, and Wait. I don't know about you guys, but like, I think everyone's a huge fan of that last line Starro gives out. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, miss, I, miss the I wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't have done any of this if you left me the fuck alone. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. I, I, was, I was happy. This video was just, so vacuous. I was happy in space, just looking at the stars. Oh, ah, yeah. man. Ah, and yeah, so like vacuous. it is really hard for me to take it seriously when you like they ruined the starfish monster. Like I'm like, uh, okay, mm. you re you ruined the butthole creature. Oh, <laughs> I'm no. trying to empathize, but like it's, it's causing difficulties. <laughs> So, I, have, I told you, and I reported to you before, at one point, I believe reported. before James Gunn even came along, uh, back when, um, oh, I forget the name of the director, he did um, the Ben Affleck movie. Which well, I you can quite pause the, the, the Ben Affleck, Affleck movie. Yeah. There is yeah. zero yeah. editing in her. Some reason in Google, Google it. By the, way. the Ben Affleck movie. I think That's it's the Gavin, Gavin, Gavin thing. O'Connor, right? It, I just I just love the idea that it's like it's one of the Ben Affleck movies. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, you know, <laughs> Man, he's been in so oh, many really? fucking movies. To be edited, and the editor I put was way like, too much no. work in my videos. I think my favorite part is you can't remember the name of the director nor the film that they made, so I have <laughs> nothing to work with. <laughs> you Ben be Affleck. Anybody. Ben Affleck. Oh, ben yeah. Affleck. Yeah, well, I had Ben Affleck in it. That hey, Matt, you know what, Friggy? One, like, yep. 50 movies. Hey, Friggy, it's a non-spoiler review, so <laughs> she's only uh, going to give yeah, you the right. small detail. <laughs> he was going to do this, and at one point, they were Warner Brothers was considering having Supergirl be the weapon that was locked up here that the Suicide Squad was supposed to liberate. Yeah, you would have screamed misogyny. I think that would have been a much better idea. No, she would have said misogyny. She would have said misogyny. Why? She would have said misogyny. Why? How could you say that? Superman. She would have called him misogynist, yeah, 100%. Like, why? This is, this why? is a perfect time for her not to discuss the film or spoiler-wise, yeah. give anything away. Why is this a well, better idea? Grace, come if on. Someone is, if, if someone's wrong about something, but they explain it in a way that shows they have some level of like critical thinking skills, some some kind of thought process. It's a lot more like, okay, you're wrong, but I see how you got there. Yeah. This woman is just a mystery box. Her, I know her ideology drives her. Uh, she's because by if it was Supergirl, I heard it was Superman, not Supergirl. But uh, that is missing an opportunity to show the subjugation of women, which she would have just loved. I think so. Was... She loves that Harley Quinn animated series so much. I think you're oh, right. Which is god awful. Wasn't it? Wasn't it that James Gunn even considered having it because it's going to be that Superman would have broken out and become the temporary villain for the Suicide Squad to have to fight, right? Something like that. Yep. 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 I think Star. No, no clue how oh, they would have managed. Just to opened beat up him, a though. whole can of starfish, yeah. and I don't think this movie needed. So I saw this film in IMAX, and if you choose to go to see it in theaters, I think that is 100% the way to go. Otherwise, yep. if you want to um, see it... I think you see a film at the cinema, you probably should... Mac. I'm so confused. Did she just recommend seeing it in theaters after having said it was made not for theaters? Yes. yes. Was, what yeah, the she, fuck? She said the whole HBO Max thing. What, what the hell? Well, here's the thing. No. It's made for theaters, so is when you see it... sponsored by theater, IMAX? Biggest screen possible. I'm lost. I guess. No, I oh. want to see it on the smaller movie screen when I go. What makes this not shot so for tweet pictures a of it. cinema screen? So lost. Theaters, I think that is 100% the way to go. Otherwise, if you want to see it, I'd watch it on HBO Max. I mean, unless- Where else are we going to fucking watch it? <laughs> yeah. If you don't want to do the one thing, do the only <laughs> other <laughs> thing! <laughs> 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 Oh my god, this is hilarious. If you're like a hardcore fan, then yeah, go! Go! I mean, oh. you can, you can just try it. Her voice is like grating. Just... It's giving me a fucking headache. Oh. Don't Her worry, Rags. Hideous. Only one more minute and four seconds. We're you can make it. Thank Rags. God. Don't worry. Thank god. Just wait I mean, line. I've told you what the movie's like. And you can, you decide for yourself whether or not it's something you want to try. You've told us or very you little. Might even what think the you don't even know what the plot is. She's, you're not you saying never anything. She never talked about the plot. No, she didn't. It's just... At all. 
I, I do that love this ending. Spoilers. Watch it in theaters, or if not at theaters, watch it on HBO Max, the only other option. Um, <laughs> you know, you well, might not like it, or you might like it. It's like, thanks, bro. This has been the like, most useful bro. fucking <laughs> description. It's both sides of a dichotomous proposition. I, also, sure. how oh. is she going to talk about the end credit sequences without spoiling the movie? Like, is she just going to say they're cool or something? Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I really like them. They have people in it. I was going to say, yeah. We're saying cool. stuff. Good luck. Well, no, she'll hate it because Peacemaker's in it. And it was misogynist that he lived. <laughs> it's like, it's this, is, this is a perfect film <laughs> critic. He's a threat to women everywhere this is who a stand in the way of peace. Absolute fucking window licker of yeah. the highest order. That's what they want. They just want window lickers like Grace to well, go. They want oh, Weasel. Come they and want... go see the movie or not see the movie. I, just, oh. Now, look, Weasel is a window licker. And I got to say, <laughs> I think I would love to watch a Weasel review of a movie. <laughs> <laughs> weasel reviews she, right, like well, Avengers Endgame. Well, <laughs> he's, he's, <laughs> she's getting a downgrade from window licker to doorknob licker. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. It sounds fantastic. Then by all means, have a great time. Again, I don't care either way. But that's just how I feel about it. Okay, what you think? Okay. Uh, it also has two end credit scenes, very brief, and they're both totally non consequential. For the fact well, non consequential? Uh, uh, Taker being alive is non consequential. She, she, um, <laughs> can you imagine? One of the main what characters these... which they thought was dead is not dead, <laughs> is actually alive. Oh, wow, that's wow, wow, as, wow. That is what, what we call non consequential. Wow, wow. Uh, it's how Darth Vader did so die in episode four. It's not consequential, uh, though. It's so consequential that they're making a whole nother production for it. <laughs> it's literally got a TV show that's non consequential. Uh, uh, <laughs> and you acknowledge that he was getting a show yourself, so you can't even mm. plead igno ignorance unless you, like, forgot <laughs> what you said earlier. <laughs> Fucking so, I, that's the thing. <clears throat> it, we, we Both uh, end credit sequences are actually consequential and have like a character that you thought was dead alive because Weasel is the other yeah, they, one. They so are, in both cases, yeah, they are the opposite of non. -con they are the, as consequential <laughs> as it gets. Like, and basically, it, it reinforces the narrative that he's a werewolf as well because it's a full moon. Yeah. Oh, right. She's not using the right word there, because I think oh. what she means is that it's not relevant to the main movie's plot, but it's an after credit scene. It's not supposed to say, be. Like, the purpose yeah. of those is to set up the next thing, whatever it is. You accept or, that at that point, once the credits are rolling. It's like, okay, whatever I'm going to see now is probably going to set up the next series or the next the sequel or whatever. Or it'd be like a goof or something. Yeah, or our joke, right? Goof a gaff. Oh. I mean, a kebab. One kind Exhausting. of sets up the, the peacemaker thing, but not oh, one, one kind, kind of, of sets up. <laughs> Whole <laughs> other show. What wait, wait. She's saying, about? but not in a way. She said, but not in a way. Go on, great. Go on. Oh, not God. in a way. It's not it all, there's nothing to discuss. So. Whoa. Oh, I mean, so, so John Cena being alive DCU is nothing to discuss. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> stop. What a fucking blithering idiot larger way at all so if people see this movie multiple times and i know some of you already are it's just because you've liked the film which is awesome. wow <laughs> so what? No. yeah no i saw it many many times because i hated it <laughs> why yeah. did you yep. say that why why because <laughs> you like the film oh, i figured out how to describe her voice it's spicy shrill screech no i bite. like spices yeah i like spicy. shrill is definitely that's misogynistic. She's a she's just a banshee. How <laughs> did you do? All right, so she's the opposite. She's the opposite of, the of a siren. A siren's voice, like, is yeah. like it's seductive and compelling, and her voice makes me want to kill myself. Yes. She's, a yes. she's an anti-siren. Squad, share your thoughts down below. Please try to be oh, as they did. polite as I have been. Oh, please uh, let's have a look at this. And of course, Jeez. as always, be you can as, check did out she say be as correct as right I have now. been? Polite. 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 Polite, yeah. Oh, polite? Well, they did not That's stay as polite as she has been. If you want to wanna all of us have a look, see in the comments. Sorry, oh. doll. Thank yes, God. please. Yeah, we didn't let's... mean to uh, offend you, you know. Absolutely <laughs> not. Right. The absolute. If you weren't such an annoying fucking bitch, we would have been nicer. <laughs> I mean... Something, uh, something, uh, you remind me of my mother. Something, something, nothing like pasta sauce. Blah, blah, oh. blah. So, 
What have we got? Did Grace really forget this movie's about villains and they do villain things? Like, did she forget literally the point of the film's concept? That's one of the top comments. <laughs> like... I don't, I don't know if, I, oh, I was going to say, I don't know if she actually understood that. Never mind. Cr criminals doing Jeez. shockingly evil things is exactly what I paid. This says prayed for. Okay. Uh, this was a major problem with the first movie that were portrayed as heroes, gore, and extremely evil things is exactly what we signed up for. Uh, I did he see the pink comment from Grace, though? Look at the pink comment from Grace. Some of you are saying you're so glad the movie isn't woke. Yikes. First off, I hate that critique because I feel representation is important. Second, this movie is aggressively anti conservative, so boy, are you in for surprise. I, How is this aggressively what is, anti conservative? What is going on? Yeah. Yeah. I'm so lost. I, uh, she's retarded. She's fucking retarded. She anti conservative. Is. Like, I, I have no reference for that if anyone wants to I, help. I don't know. Yeah. No. Oh, people want me to show the screen. There's nothing to show besides I'm prepping something anyway, guys. You're going to have to watch yeah, the anti-conservative like it's putting the uh, US government in a bad light. Is that anti-conservatism? Uh, yeah. Like I, know, I was going to say conservatives and are Democrats are both of critical government. of the government, are they not? I don't know. I, yeah. I thought it was just a weird fucking mm. thing that they had happen in the film. I don't see that. Yeah, all the conservatives I know are pretty yeah, they're they're not the ones who instantly trust the government. That's what I mean. Like I I'm I'd like to know what it references are, but Okay, um, I appreciate your honesty, but it sounds like you expected more of a group of anti-heroes as opposed to villains. You hate John Cena is exactly why he works so well, he's not meant to be the hero. These are all just basic questions that people would want answers to. It's kind of sad you don't want to give a RT review out of fear of an angry mob. I mean... Yeah. Well, they're, yeah, they're saying it as sympathy for I her. I wouldn't have had a problem with, with Grace giving oh, it a, a, a rotten tomato. Fine, it's your fucking I job. Saying, I was saying it. it was sad that she wouldn't just own that position. Yeah. So so her her definition of woke is representation. That movie had plenty of representation. So yeah. that doesn't even make sense. No, that's not fair because they had things sucked onto their face. They don't count. Things happen to men, things happen to women, and that's that's what we want. We just don't, you know, we don't want one gender glorified above the other, uh, or one pulled down to to raise the other one up. No, there's tons, absolutely tons of represent. There were the the armies were full of women, both armies, the rebellion army and the fucking quarter mortis army. Yeah, and they were all killed and doing heroic things equally. Everybody yeah. was getting everything. Um, Everyone yeah, was getting fucked. Million. You guys need to see that. Let's take a look. Oh, hey. <laughs> nice. Very nice. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, very nice. Oh, my God. Oh, God. God. He's <laughs> crying. <laughs> Tell my Those wife I love <laughs> This is great. <laughs> look at him <Wow>. go. <laughs> <laughs> This is fantastic! <laughs> I love this! You know, I, I get the impression that maybe he's actually like, I'm, I'm doing this for the world. I know what I'm up to. <laughs> this is a tough job. But someone's he's like the Iron it. Giant. <laughs> My sacrifice. See, I, I look how sad I am. Like, please don't do it. I, I understand your sacrifice, but I don't need to go. I have to do this. Be good. <laughs> People saying new plushie. <laughs> Fucking crying onion <laughs> shotting itself to victory. <laughs> Beautiful. That mouth so good as well. Um, yeah, it looks like uh, a Kerbal. Wow, Grace's feminist politics really got in the way of her enjoyment, even understanding but like, of this film. Could you say it's her feminist politics when she's just not even... Like it's you could argue it's gotten in the way, but she's, she's not like right. Yeah, that's slow. Her feminist it feels politics. like she's slow, like in the head. It's it's slow. like yeah, that's why she has feminist politics. It's it's not her politics per se. It's her perception of the film. Like it's completely fucked because like it it wouldn't get in the way of her feminist politics if she understood what happened. Because she's like, oh my she god, had a how lot could they half baked? And bad takes, but at the point where you flag Starro as problematic, like I cannot, I can't not see that as like satire at that yeah. point. <laughs> yeah. What, yeah. What? Come on. What is I think it? I'm gonna subscribe. Uh. Like so many people, are like it's called like, the it's Suicide a starfish. Squad. I'm sorry. Yeah, like everyone's just confused in the comment section. <laughs> I work in a cinema <laughs> no, in I Ireland. Someone said I work in a cool. cinema in Ireland. There were no walkouts at all. People loved it. So it's like. 
That's what I would imagine. I wouldn't imagine people walking yeah. out on it, but okay. Evil characters Full doing evil nudity. things. Yeah. Whenever crude Grace doesn't like a movie, it means I'm gonna love it. I mean... Full frontal nudity, crude decisions, over-the-top gore, innocent people killed, human torture, political commentary, shockingly evil characters, just about everything that made Game of Thrones popular. Boom! Ah, <laughs> oh, damn. This is, Got him. Uh, I'm gonna give this a but fair review. But this had the review. one thing that Game of Thrones didn't, which is a good ending. A good ending, yeah. Mm -hmm. See, I mean, we'll the good thing put... I mean, it's called the Suicide Squad and not Boy Scouts on a day off. <laughs> <laughs> and some people like criticism shouldn't be problematic. And she's, she's like hearted it. And it's like, but what if her criticism's bullshit? What if she says that the film yeah. is downright irresponsible? Like, how is that not going to prompt a response? Yeah, you're telling me I like something that's irresponsible? I'm yeah. like, but if you're not interested in people criticizing you, then turn off the comments or don't upload anything. Then on you have the wrong all. fucking job. Yeah. Yep. Don't let people engage with your content then, or let them do it, but prevent them from being able to tell you what they think, if that's what you actually want. There's so many comments about like how villains are killing people, I don't understand what the problem is. Man. Yeah, and she's got like... You know, she. I'm imagining like her fans are pretty okay with everything, but this one just didn't hit well. And I'm like, man, is this one of those channels where they tell us it's just the one bad take, and then you watch everything else, and you're like, oh, oh, oh they're all shit. <laughs> oh no. I'm assuming she loves the what if episodes, probably. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise. Probably me. they're very, oh. they're very diverse and representative, and all that, all that stuff. So probably. They're probably not misogynist, and that's <clears> what's <throat> important. Um, so yeah, that was that video. Shocking, incredible. It was a roller coaster of emotions, I might even say. Um, and I laughed, I cried. We, we need to, uh, basically not necessarily do anything in terms of starting up a project, but hang out for about 20 minutes. Okay. I think we can so, do that. So, glory holes. Yeah. Um, because Next only some of you have realized this, all right? So, and by that I mean in chat. Uh, when we go for our break, which we need, me, myself, and well, yeah. everyone here. And we yeah, will come back. A few out. It'll be about 30 to 40 minutes before the next stream starts up when it ends, but we'll keep you busy with a little old... Oh my goodness. Batwoman premiere. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, oh my goodness. My god. Batwoman, what? she's back, the hero herself. The hero is what back. What episode do you want? Uh, what episode do you want? What episode do you want? That is episode seven. We are a bit behind. <laughs> The premiere. Oh, Jesus Christ, man. We've got, we got to have the round table before the season three starts. No, no, we're so <laughs> busy. We have so many things way. are happening. We we might be able to get... get Well, when, how long do we have? Do you know? Uh, it's October, mid-October, I think. She's back can, October 20th. We like can do it by then, I think. We can do that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Can do that. okay. We can manage that. Yeah. Um, we, need that we need that season two round table. In fairness, we've seen a lot... We've, we're, we're well past episode 7. I think, are we on episode, like, I want to say 13? <laughs> like, I'm not sure. I think so. Something like that, yeah. Um, God damn you guys, I need to sleep. We're coming, we, we're not even halfway. <laughs> well, this is a 24 hour stream. 24 hour stream, folks. Yeah. Um, oh, you need to sleep. Yeah, you guys go to sleep. Two hour voices. Yeah, what about we... us? Also, I like the, like, the first third of the 24 hour. We've covered two videos. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, yeah. And we've talked Wouldn't about Dick a way. lot, which is we've, which is weird. But okay. Well, to be is to be fair, weird? I know this is harsh to say. I don't not know if it's true. Not for you, <laughs> but that was one of the best Gothic phones, at least to memory. That was I that was, was really good. That was great. So I uh, my cheeks are still hurting. It was yeah, <laughs> it's not a good game of Gothic phone unless your face is hurting. <laughs> um. So yeah, of course. Uh, I, had tears. I always cry at tears coming out of my eyes with that. I mean, ridiculous. Is it, well, w hey, Az, would you recommend it for Friday Night Tights? Oh yeah, Gary, we we got to talk about this game for Friday Night Tights, dude. Okay. This is gonna add a whole new dynamic to the show. <laughs> Describe it to him. Do it. This is gonna change. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What, what, yeah. I mean, we kind of. I think we kind of did one before, Gary and I. Um. We played one of the versions, but this you uh, you draw somebody draws a picture, and then somebody else is like writing a line of dialogue, and then the other person will get the line of 
dialogue and they'll have to draw a picture based on it and the picture gets person who gets the picture will have to write the line of dialogue that matches with the picture and there's an animated one where somebody draws a picture and then it gets passed on and then you're oh. drawing everyone draws a picture and then it's all shoved up passed on and then you've got to try and animate the next frame and then it's all passed on and it so oh, everyone hell gets yeah. to animate a frame oh yeah this is good stuff dude this well, is good well, stuff. I'll we'll have to show we, him. Well, the whole stream was in tears, wasn't it? Yeah, so we'll, we'll have to show him the one that we did because that. Uh, I have to explain. Oh, have you got the animations? Oh no, but I mean, you'll see them on the stream, right? You oh. can probably cycle back or whatever. Oh um, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Um. So we're we're gonna we're gonna stay right up until the premiere starts. Then I'll end the stream, go and do things, and our past selves will entertain you guys until we start up the second stream. I believe this one is 32 or 34 minutes long, so we'll have that amount. Oh, wow. Yeah, we have all that free time to do whatever we want. Oh, boy. Nice. Oh, my. But you'll probably oh be eating for me. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm probably going to... I was going to say a joke, but you can... the joke I was going to tell you just can't tell nowadays. Whoops. Oh, well. Wow. Oh. I might... Yeah. You know, that's pretty problematic, going to say it. Might be. I'm going to go be misogynistic to my wife who just got home. Oh, Hello. No, no, don't be a starfish. Right. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know. Be a star. <laughs> yeah, uh, don't be a polka dot man, man. Um, don't be a polka dot man, man. Yeah, you know, there's plenty more for us to do. Plenty more on the way. <laughs> I just, uh, it is kind of amazing that that's what we were up to for this this selection. I I think that was an interesting yeah. eight hour, nine hours. Man, that's yeah. There's, we still got fourteen to go. I, you guys feeling Jeez. it? <laughs> uh, yeah, let's do it. Yeah. I'm still yeah, okay right. for now. I'm not feeling tired at all. I think that'll hit me probably so, by the time of the end of the second one. Doing pretty good. The problem is, I yeah. didn't sleep much. So, that is a problem. <laughs> or, already, a problem. I, can, uh, I can feel the tired creeping up on me, but that's okay. Nothing that can't be Go fixed take a walk. Right. And during your five minutes, minutes, go out and I, know, I, I, am, I am getting some fresh air when I, yeah, once, once we uh, take a wee break. What? Mola, why don't you uh, do a little bit of <clears throat> pluggy, pluggy, pluggy of your plushy, plushy, plushies? Wow, what a good remind! I like that you have to remind me yeah. to do that. I'm <laughs> just like, oh wait, what? Oh yeah, I guess. So, for those who don't know, because there there may be some people in the in the audience who never know this sort of thing, me and Rags released mm. plushies. That's how it's pronounced. I'm pretty sure. Links okay are present in the description if if you if you obviously need them. They look like this. Oh my god. They're Whoa. gorgeous, they're beautiful, they're cute, no, and if you, impressive. you buy them oh together, God. you get a discount, <laughs> and you get the adorable collection of, of EFAP, as it's called, Generation 1, and there, there's oh, yeah. very much going to be a Generation 2. What? They're so wonderful, and I think that if, if you're interested, you gotta you got to be grabbing them a little sooner than later, because you only got 16 days yeah. left, and 21 hours, I guess. Um... Yeah, it's, it seems like this was this was uh, as viable as people made them sound from chat. Cause people really wanted these, and it's like, yeah, they definitely wanted them. Um, of course, thank you all for that one, as well hey, as chat. Just, yeah, if 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 you want them, grab them up. And um, as I said, we'll probably have a chat with chat about what they would like to see in future, such as sad onion sharting <laughs> as a plushie. I don't. Know. <laughs> you never know. Oh my goodness, <gasps> that's got to be an EVAP <laughs> character now, surely. <laughs> We'll have to see if the community can keep him oh, alive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Including. That will be up to them. Mm -hmm. They have that. We give our audience that kind of power. Wow. You could make them like a. You could make them like a cushion or a whoopee cushion or like a slot to stuff a streamer. And when you squeeze him, he, he farts out streamers. Never mind. I'm gonna stop. The people at Big Ship will be no. like, "Is that chocolate?" I'm like, no. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You know, Onions you can believe chocolate. that it's chocolate. Onions and chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone mixes that, yeah. All the time. What, chocolate and buttholes? <clears throat> well. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. you know. One of those don't knock it till you try it sort of things. I mean, in fact, I, I've tried both. Yeah, see? Wait, what do you mean both? Not, not at the same time, though. Well, I like my turds to be candy coated. Oh, I just, I just, I mean, I wouldn't, I would just have the can. That's problematic. Yeah, that's problematic. Oh, and of course, I think I mentioned it, but in the top of the description or, or near it, I can't remember where I put it now, there is a survey 
And it relates to Ooh. all of year three of EFAP. You can vote on different episodes and peoples and sub subjects and hot takes, which you think were the best, the worst, and the most problematic. Um, and uh, we'll have a look at oh, the results on the third stream and see what everyone's been saying about stuff. Because oh, it should be some bad. fun. We did it last year, and there was some there's some fun results. I think uh, uh, last year's one said the favorite guest as voted was Fringy. So. See? Ooh, ooh. Oh, see? Uh, but now, now we don't, I don't know if we want to start a pattern here. No, we ain't starting a fucking where pattern. The favorite, guest, <laughs> the favorite guest gets to be the new host. <laughs> Look, I think the chat are intelligent enough to work out who the best guest is. Oh. I think they're sexy yeah. enough to work it out. I think they're kind hearted enough to work it out. Just saying. Hmm. I mean, they like Gary. I, just, I don't know if they'd vote for him, but yeah, yeah I was going to say that. Yeah. I, I don't know if I've been on that Everyone much. Like but Gary. Who doesn't like Gary? Oh, Daro, because he's probably like, I can think of a few. Daro. Daro. Yeah. <laughs> I was happy. Floating. Was we all know stars. who the best guest is here in this room right Could now. It, just it goes without Captain saying. Marvel. Well, Fringy's a host, so I don't know if it counts, but I understand what you're saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, uh, Fringy's obviously got to be on wave two, but who uh, who's going to compliment we don't know. We we that. haven't really thought about it. Our, we were worried that they might not. We, we had no idea if they would do well or not. We just. I think you I can know, call I guess it we just the best. Yeah. Yeah. No. I I don't. If you'd ask me how much would they sell, I think I said this. I was like, I have no fucking clue. It could be ten, a hundred, no a thousand. Clue. I have drink no idea. Oh, sing a drink, a plushie. I th I think that would be adorable. Well, that wow. would be really good. With well, the um, bottle coming out of his mouth. We said to you guys that you should do uh, you should do the Friday night tight set. Drinker should do that for himself. We're going to talk about it. I think we're, we're going to talk it. about it, Gary. Yeah, yeah. It's um, it is worthwhile because like it's a fun little. I think people like plushies for the most part. Cause they're just cute. Mm hmm. Very. Yeah, they have a lot of appeal to them. Yeah, they do indeed. I mean, it's going to be great. Just absolutely lifting your idea immediately you know and, oh, this and, wasn't our idea i think everybody all the youtubers and twitch streamers is sort of jumping into this because makeshift just do a really good job um you see these plushies and you're like look I mean, I, i've got that rags one i mean yours is great but i mean that rags come on he's just it's so adorable great. it looks so good they did such a great job with it it's Adore, phenomenal man. You could put them anywhere. Do they give you some kind of designer app to use, and then they they take you, that info and you sort of you give them a whole bunch of like artwork that represents the character, yeah. and then you sort of give them an idea verbally of what you're kind of looking for, and then they give you examples, and you choose between them, and sort of ask for changes and stuff. Oh, I see. Really That's good awesome. little system, and usually you can speak to someone yeah. directly from there. You're like you'll be handled rather than it being like super corporate and sort of distant. Would mm -hmm. it sponsored? Um, well, I mean, this doesn't count as a sponsor, does it? <laughs> How does that work? No, 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 no. Um, Hashtag ad. Uh, but this is one of the, they would, they would... Merch, this is merch, this classes is merch. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, they would be, as far as I can tell, very ethical to sponsor, though, or to take a sponsor from. Um, yeah, as far as I know, they haven't done anything, like, super shady, and they do good work. Um, I, this plush I've got, it's phenomenal in terms of the way it looks, and... Yeah, they they're up there, and I think they're yeah, expanding. They said, hey, because of, yeah, if they came to me and said, "Hey, because of how well things went, do you want to do some you know sponsorships and some videos for Makeship?" I'd be like, mm -hmm. "Yeah, I'll seriously consider it," because I've worked with them before. It's just kind of one of my stipulations. I've got to have a an example of your thing. I have to have it, use it. Got to check for myself. He's good stuff. Yeah, he's uh, good. Yeah. Would recommend. Which leaves us with just about eight minutes to kill. So what can we talk about? Well, let's well, take a I'm trip thinking... down memory lane with the with the Gardic phone. Let's play a Gothic uh, phone game in eight it's... minutes. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> Is that possible? No, it's know. not. Probably shouldn't be. Um, but yeah, I uh, I have not watched Grace Randolph like at all, but I've heard her name a whole bunch. Ever. And so, really? Have you? Is she, I've yeah. heard of her. Is it? Is she influential in some degree, in some like in some spheres or something? Because like, why have I heard of her? She oh, doesn't God. get that many views on videos, um, but she puts them out, you know, very consistently. She pumps them out. So, 
it's probably in like the thumbnails slash like second hand it's kind of like movie bob or other people like that have just been around for so long where it's like you'll see their videos even just offhandedly and then like oh okay you you recognize them but you don't like really engage with the content type of a thing probably you know what makes actually i've changed my mind we're, we're literally about to hit exactly nine hours so as soon as we cross that i think that makes sense to lock us i'll be able to remember that so i know much we've actually streamed um and mm. we'll just have a few extra minutes so you guys can walk and eat a little bit more. I think that makes a lot of sense. So what I'll do now is take the link of this stream and then plow it super rough like oh, into chat. Hey, there it is oh, going right in there. So it's your obligation uh, in chat now to click that to take you to the screen that I've got projected. And... uh Oh, yeah, Super Chats probably would have made more sense for me to start reading. I'm a fucking idiot. But, well, she, she, really, she, <laughs> she really liked What If. She did? Of, of oh, course yeah, she did. smiling. Oh, yeah, she did. I've been scrolling through the comments on uh, the Suicide Squad video. There's a lot of people that are bringing up Grace's um, political leanings. For What If or just case. everything? No, just, just in general, it's like, you know, she just can't get away from her political... I mean, it, it literally made her incapable of fucking watching the Suicide Squad. It's quite fascinating to see. Oh, I, 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 that dude, oh. it felt like a retarded two-year-old was giving her a review of it. Check out the link for, for, for efap.me. Oh, wait, what about it? Sorry? Yeah, I, I saw that from Keeping yeah, Kings on Twitter. Um, it's pretty cool. That's a really hey, he's cool got an efap for 150 that's currently running, and he's got, he's got all the memes like, listed. the character, like, the people who are currently live, and Ooh. he's got the covered videos. Oh my god! And the coverage. He's oh, got the this, memes this? up. Where's this? Uh, it's the link, link he just posted. Yeah. yeah. Holy schnitzel! Oh. Okay, oh, he's like updating yeah, it live and stuff. Damn, I didn't There's know about memes. this. Oh, look at the plushies too. Yeah, he just, <laughs> yeah, just the plushies in the yeah. top. Yeah. Look at them. Jeez. Well, of course. Oh! That is amazing. That's, um, That's awesome. Kibakins has been a, a legend for EFAP wow. me for a while. Wow. This is suspiciously good. Yeah, what are you You're <laughs> brilliant. Are you being funded by oh, aliens man. or something? What's going on? Yeah. That is so oh, cool. Whoever did whoever's done this, you it's are Kibikin. a oh, you Bro. are a legend. Yeah, that this was really so cool. There's so much information. Yeah. <laughs> videos covered. It's like, we did too. <laughs> Broke up with a round of Gothic phone. It's even got that in there. <laughs> this is great. Oh my goodness, this is... Oh, wow. Wow, that is something special, man. And these are links too, so you can click on like EFAP, The Long and Hard of It Part 2. It takes you to that Video on YouTube. Yeah. Oh, and oh also the links God. on the uh the people's faces, links to the yeah. channel as well. Links you to the channels oh if you click God. on the faces. Yeah. You can. Oh wow. Oh, nice. This oh. is dude. He writes a thought theater. Jeez. Absolutely legendary. Yeah. Legendary. Yeah, it's really, it's really great. So yeah, of course. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, thank, thank you, you. Ken's. Thank you. So that is that is just brilliant. Uh, I posted the link. I don't know if I'm allowed to, but sorry. I posted the link to the chat so they can see as well. Absolutely, yeah. Um, well, efap.me now, how long has Kibikin's been running this site? It's, it was year one that it started, right? It's I think so. It's always it's been impressive. Like, like oh, and the plushies take you to the plushies. Oh, yep. you can click the... That's all. Oh. link everything. Oh my god, you Dude. can't. <laughs> what you call a mensch? Dude! That's wild! Oh man, I feel like just like PayPaling you the world right now. This is amazing. I do seriously need that. I'm gonna keep this up because I, my brain has sort of just, it thinks that this has always kind of been here. I can't imagine not having efap.me. Yeah, I use it for all kinds of references. Just... <laughs> like, that is really uh, good shit. Oh, phenomenal. This is phenomenal. Yep. Since EFAP 31, oh, since EFAP 31, that's when it started. Wow. Yeah, it's, it, Kibikins yeah. has been uh, chipping away at the whole site constantly. It's, it's really slick, the whole thing. And it's good. And it's like just uh, him who runs it, right? Like he as does far as I know, it's just, just him. Yeah. Oh. Impressive stuff. I like that. Yeah. Oh. 
fantastic. I really like that. Superb, man. Superb. Um, and with that, uh, we will probably end here because yeah, the thing is about to start, which will take you all in, and then we will come back when uh, soon after it's over. So. Linkaroonies for everything you should need are in the description, and if you follow the link you can see right now, uh, it'll take you to us talking about Batwoman. Have fun with that, and yeah. I suppose we, we will we we'll see you when we get back. Yeah, we shall return. Um, I will see you for part two much. soon. Yes. Mm -hmm. That was fun. I... Thanks very much, guys. For having me on. You bet. Absolutely. Thanks. Thank you all for, uh, for hanging out with us, and for whether or not you may return. Who knows? Okay, Take goodbye, care, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. See you in a little bit for part two. Bye. 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 Thank you.